that's way better. Ah, oh, I think we fixed that. Holy shit, that's way better. Yeah, I think the latency is a lot better now. Oh, sure. Had enough. Hope you have a nice trip. Yeah, cheers. No, you take it easy, mate, yeah? Yeah. I'll be around. Give me a show. I'll let you out. Hang on. Man, could have done more to that turn, methinks. Hmm, Starcraft. So I'd die. Thank you, Bell, on it. That's way better. 
Wow, he like cut the delay by like. It was like almost 40 seconds. Like crazy. Now we got it down to like five seconds. It's astronomically better. But eight times better. Morning or whatever. Huh? Good afternoon. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm to your Twitch, soon. <laughs> oh yeah. Long story. Basically, previous account from three and a half years ago was suspended, yeah. and I got banned on this account for suspension evasion because oh, yeah. by some guy that is annoyed at me still after years and years for being ten minutes late to a BWCR match. <laughs> and someone sent him a Twitch clip of me, and like a few hours later, I was suspended. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. That's how it goes. So what are you gonna do? Evade it again? <laughs> <laughs> switch to switch to whatever that other one is. The one that they do DPTL on. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, um, uh, I'm doing DPTL YouTube also. at the moment. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. But it's but not does as good YouTube as have the cap emote? Hmm? No. Does YouTube have that? No, it doesn't. See, that's a big problem for YouTube. Yeah. Also, the the worst thing about YouTube is that you have to get a thousand subs before you can even monetize. Ooh. Yeah, it's rough. It's really rough. Oh, hang on. I'll sub to you. Oh, appreciate let me, that. Let me find you. Uh, uh, Zan, you can just either YouTube Zanessi or one word, Zanessi. or you, or if you look in the streams on the practice. Yeah, I'm just group. gonna click on streams. Yeah. I'll, I'll um, click on that. 199. I'm going to make you 200 and less whiskey there's there first. <laughs> Subscribe. Here we go. 200 subscribers. How's that? Nice. So nice. Only 800 to go. Your lifestyle is all but assured. <laughs> Career or whatever, you know. <laughs> It's a good start, mate. So I had this account from ages ago, and it had like 185 subs or something like that. So it was like a good starting point. It's better than starting at zero, I guess. It's like yeah, almost a fifth of the way there. Nice. What are we doing this afternoon? Who uh, just serve a deaf and shimmer? Does he do that himself? Yeah. Huh. There you go. But yeah, can you tell me what the stream delay looks like for you guys? Oh, I've got to watch it as well. I thought I just had to subscribe. Oh, no, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> I literally <laughs> just fucked with the latency is the thing. Like, before it was like 40 seconds. Like, delay. But oh, now, no, I can't, I can't yeah. listen to my voice. Yeah, if I put on the, the okay. audio, it's tough. Four, four, four or five seconds. That was the game, Ozzy. Oh, wait. That was the game. Oh, wait, wait. That's... Make it a little bit nicer. I haven't played yet. Hope it goes well, mate. I don't know how, how much of a delay that is. We got subscribers. Thank you, Boogie Man. What's up? You're welcome. I'll get all you. my friends to subscribe as well. Oh, I'd be so subscribe. Cool <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hey man, I need all, all the help is like more than appreciated. And thank you, Bonga. You're a legend. Oh, appreciate you, my guy. So, what, what are you what are you streaming today, John? Well, right now we're doing some freebie freeze with Mouse and someone else. Um, but I will also be wanting to be doing some practice games with you guys. Maybe we could do some coaching at some point. Nice. I was helping Forty out with ZVZ a little bit earlier. Well, I think I dropped in for a couple of seconds of that mm. before I had to go. So 
sausage monkey. <laughs> hey, people like this name, man. It's almost going to be like my brand name. Like Sun, well, Sun is like my brand, but like Sausage Monkey is like my my meme brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. My community brand, so to speak. I have the Sausage Monkey email on Twitch and everything. What was it? My Sausage Monkey email. Uh, Chis, oh. Ch um, what's his name? Uh, Chisel's got it. Because he he was he subbed to me before I got banned, so there's like there's like two people that have my sausage monkey emotes. That's like pretty limited edition shit right there. Wow. So just gotta put greasy in front of it when you're upset. Greasy sausage monkey. Well, I guess the sausage monkey would be pretty greasy. Yeah, man, it's a sausage and a monkey. He's like the most greasy you can think of. You playing this week for um, NSL? Doing? Yeah, I've got a uh, black swan. Oh, of course you have. Yeah, 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 nice. It's going to be a rough one. Best of luck with it. No, oh, Sand jumped in. What's good? Oh, Sand, isn't it? Yep. What's up, Sand? How you doing, buddy? Race your ear drums, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's a bit of a, a meme now. Everyone moaning about Sand's volume. I like Sand's volume. I think it's you can adjust his volume if it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it too loud? Oh, it was just a couple of streams ago. I can't remember. This is like a few weeks ago. Um, Saiyan's uh, volume was c relatively high and everyone was... Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Hello, Saiyan. Hello. Oh, Hello, man. No, you've gone there. real quiet. Okay, I've maximized your volume now. Yeah. Anything How's this? That I better. That's brilliant. It sounds like you're whispering in my ear. I'll I'll bust out the ASMR ears. Start doing it. That was actually something that was on Twitch for a bit, wasn't it? Yep. Still there. I thought that was so strange. They're just like people with those ear microphones. <laughs> I think you might have a new career again, have you, Wiki? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So does Aji's team always win, basically? Aji? Aji, yeah. No. He always loses on purpose. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Only if he's Terran. <laughs> well, I guess it is getting quite late, isn't it? I should probably make a bunch. Late, it's fucking morning. It's like two o'clock already. But to be fair, I woke up uh, pretty late as well. I think I only had like a four hour sleep. How you doing, Sam? All right, I did mushrooms yesterday, so I'm pretty tired today. How big do you do? Uh, I don't know. I didn't measure it. 
fuck? You didn't go crazy though, did you? No. No, I had a bunch of friends over. <clears throat> Announced it. I got married. Let them all know. Congrats. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. nice. Congratulations. And happy Mother's Day and all that good stuff. And lots of positivity to be spread. Oh, uh, yes, sausage monkey. Didn't build a sunken colony again. I didn't. But it's okay. Pink wasn't paying attention. It's good. Oh, we didn't kill Pink? I thought we got us. I thought we got his ass. What happened? Mm.
Forces are under attack. Forces are under attack. Spawn more overlords. Spawn more overlords. Require more minerals. Forces are under attack. We require more minerals. Our forces are under attack. Should've gone Hydra. Ah, uh, should've just gone Hydra's. Got like, really hard contained. Can't see that.
cards, he lost a lot of his mutants. <laughs> But Doesn't matter. Mouse is getting shredded. Yeah, it's GG. Yeah. Is what it is. Ozzy had a sick hold against the uh, two Protoss players. I don't mm -hmm. know how he held. I he didn't even move his links until after I killed his sunken colony. And then somehow our links or our zealots didn't beat his links. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. You require more minerals. You require more minerals. You require more minerals. You require more minerals. You require more minerals.
Oh, I took you to back. What the fuck? Uh. Oh no. Our forces are under attack. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, you're fucking shitting me right now. What the fuck is this? Walk through my mines? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Finally one connected. Should move your overlords so we can kill the mines. Yeah. This guy's lost so many dragoons to my mines, it's crazy. <laughs> With like 10 dragoons, no joke. 
Alright, I've got a decent ish drone count back. Should I go mess lings or should I go something else? Hmm. Hydra. Or no, alt uh, muta, sorry, you need muta. Muta? Okay. Take a while to get there, but. I just got a lot of mutas. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, fuck me. Of course. Oh, fucking course. Oh, shit. Help. We require more more forces are under attack. <laughs> you blocked like two of your mineral patches there. Uh, not only that, but I locked my drones out from even being able to get out if the Sim City's too good. Oh no. <laughs> but the Zella can't even get in there. Fucking dude. <laughs> Zella can't even get in, dude. Fuck it. I got a bunch of mutes building. Uh oh. Well, shit, my base. Yeah, we're kind of fucked.
forces are under attack. Oh, I got a tank line outside my fucking base. Oh. Ah, no. It's so hard to like put on pressure when you when you're playing with Terran. I'm kind of forced to go nine pool, and uh, it's hard to make three hatcheries, anlings, and sunkens, and switch to mules. <laughs> I think nine pools, not good. It's just not good. Yeah, but I need to nine pool to save you in case they like fucking go crazy on you right at the start. I need map control with nine pool. When you got a Terran ally, I kind of need map control because you can't come out your base. What if they attack my ally? You can't help the ally. He just gets three v one, and we're fucked. Or whatever, two v one. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of forced to go nine pool. Or my ally just dies. Or one one of us dies. I just went mines, and the Protoss just ran through with dragoons. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? Just literally just ran through the mines. Ah, uh, BJ just hurt, man. So hard. Forgot about her friend. Since we're not playing a Vazi, we can play fools. Mm. 
come, young son. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do in fours. Like, do I more have to go nine four now? <laughs> I guess it depends, like if one guy like turtles the choke for two people, the other guy can play more eco, I guess. <laughs> that guy lived up to his name. Starcraft just crashed, can you believe it? They're still in the game on my screen. Really? All right, I'm, I'm done tabbing out. Every time I tab out, it crashes the game after I try and type into Battle.net while tabbed out. Mm. Now they need to work on this shit. Oh, the game name went back to 3v3 for some reason. Game's up.
Slick Racer. What the fuck? I'm getting the blame for your bullshittery. You see that? <laughs> Seems fair. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Told him to get eyes. <laughs> Notice how I didn't name drop you as well. I defended your honor, saying. Such a good guy. I know, right? White Knight hit the shit out of you. <laughs> He's a lad of the highest order. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, look at my two SCVs stuck in my face. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you guys doing? Hmm? Some of my vultures just run out and die for no reason. Our forces are under attack. They look at me. They're really after you. <laughs> I want that ass. Are they just running through my mines again? Built so put down so many mines in front of this blue space, blue and red. Hmm. I don't know where they're how they're getting through.
<laughs> uh, it's not looking good. These guys are a little bit too good. Yeah, 4v4 is hard, man. Like, I feel like we either have to go crazy amounts of units early for map control, or we're oh, like forced it. to turtle like crazy and then we just get 3v1 or whatever. So I don't think I should overpull. Should I have uh, 9 hatch? Maybe 9 hatch, yeah, maybe. Maybe 9 hatch is the way to go soon. Hmm. Hey, Jean. Yeah, what's up? Uh, do you know who the question mark person was that messaged you? Did you try to respond to earlier? Oh, that's my uh, friend from a long time ago. Why? Yeah, so I have that bug with mouse. Anytime they show up as question marks, if you send a message to them, it crashes your StarCraft. Oh, great. Yeah, it happens to me when mouse messages me. I can't ever actually respond to her my, my StarCraft. Yeah. I've known, yeah, they got that, that guy in question, like, I've known for, like, <laughs> 17 years or something. Oh, wow. And he, like, stayed at my house for a few months at one point. We had a few mini LAN parties together and shit. That's cool. You met him on man? Yeah, I met him on Starcraft. Ages and That's ages cool. and ages and ages ago. He's a very good quick player and counter strike player. I don't know if he plays those games anymore, but... What you don't know, Ozzy, you preparing? Mentally, yeah. Uh, I don't know how long I have to wait. Um, by the way, do you think, like, nine hatch would be good in, uh... Um, 2 or 3 3 Uh... I've never done 9 hatch, so it's kind of hard for me to say. I pretty much either play Eco 12 hatch, um, or 11 pool, 12 pool. But because I knew you were going 9 pool, I was just going 11 pool every game. Well, it's, it seems like if I went like 12 hatch, I'd end up having to make like 50 sunkens in 4v4. <laughs> in 4v4, yeah. I, I don't mess with 4v4, that stuff pisses me off so much, dude. <laughs> get, like free v one and shit. Like. Yeah, it's always like that. Uh, yeah, four v four is like the most unbalanced thing. It's like such a coin flip on like races and spawns and stuff. Hmm. Like, imagine you get two turns and you're against three Protoss and a Zerg. Like, you you've just lost because you loaded into the game that way. <laughs> yeah. I would say like one Terran max on a team for 4v4, no? Well, unless the spawns are good for it, where you can like wall off two players or whatever. Yeah. The problem with mech in 4v4, it's already bad enough in 3v3, but in 4v4, it's even worse because if someone's going mech, you're, unless the other opponents are also teching, you can see mm. map control, and then they're pretty much guaranteed to have a Protoss that can like cannon them in, so the vultures are useless. So then you have to wait for tanks, and then it kind of takes a while. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, Terran on BGH is kind of tough, I think. Do, do you know anyone that is, like, really good at, like, Zerg in, like, 3v3 or 4v4 or shit? Like... Uh, there's one guy... Well, the thing is, like, the Zergs that come to mind when I think of, like, good Zergs, they usually play with a team, and you play in-house is different than you play pub. So, if, like, everybody's high level, then 9 pool is absolutely the best way to go. Like, I would never play 11 pool and then, like, actual in-house if I thought everybody was really good. Because 9 pool just automatically gets map control, and then you, you can't concede map control in, like, a high-level game. Because if someone gets to attack for free, then they just win. Hmm. So, like, in 2v2 especially, like, the best actual races combination is uh, two Zerg and one Terran. And then you do double nine pull and then Vulture. 
That's like the strongest 3v3 combo. But to... I almost feel like I should know pool all the time, because I feel like I can just get in situations where I either can't help my ally or I can't tow hard enough anyway and I die. Or... Mm. But, uh... What makes me decide if I nine pull or not is if I believe my teammate can carry, if I buy him time. And if I don't believe that, then I don't nine pull. <laughs> <laughs> so I should only nine pull if I have faith in my team. Hmm. Then I would never nine pull. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a reason you never see me nine pull. But I also think if like the whole lobby is not strong, eleven pull versus nine pull just is way better. Cause like I can get my six things out. I actually did one extra jump because you were cross spawned from me that last game. Um, but it's like you can start your hatchery. You still get pull at eleven, and then you start your hatchery before you make your like six things. So you're basically on the same link count defensively. Your speed's not too far behind, and you have the extra hatchery. You just don't get map control that way as well. Yeah. Like, not immediately, but after like a small amount of skirmishing, then suddenly you're ahead. That makes sense. Like, even that game, I made two sunkens and I was up three drones after. Hmm. And the extra hatchery early, yeah. So I, I just like 11 pull against 9 pull, and pubs anyway. Maybe I'll experiment with Love and Pull more. Yeah. Are you guys against four Protoss in that 4v4? Or were you? It was like three Protoss, I think. Three Protoss, one Terran. <clears throat> gotcha. Three Protoss and BGH is just so oppressive. by Mass Dragoon. They just walk mm -hmm. through mines. They lost so much, but they still just have so many, so many Dragoons, so many Zealots. Speaking of which, it was really funny, R383. Yeah, I was just like, I never said anything to Mouse, but watching her just like walk Dragoons through mines the entire game was like... I know! <laughs> That's I like, was like, 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 there's a better way to clear these out, Mouse. I was like, how am I not winning? I just killed like 10 dragoons <laughs> with mines. Yeah. We need Mouse in voice so he can like explain to us shit. I've been in voice with her before. She'll do it, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I used to do voice with her and her husband when we would do threes. Nice. That was Harry Beanbag. Wait, did he bring a bunch of friends? What was he pubbing? Spawn 
Our forces are under attack. Wait. You just leave, okay. Brown left. Wasn't able to contain me. Nobody can contain the beast. They shouldn't even try. <laughs> oh, yeah. sausage monkey's dead again. What hey, do you what? know? Oh no, that's, I thought that was you in the top center. <laughs> Have a like little faith, jerk. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. The best part to me about that is that 12 o'clock died like five minutes ago. <laughs> I got like 700 gas banks. I'm ready to like pump meters in a sec once I put someone drone. Sorry for my medics. How'd you fix your uh, YouTube delay, by the way? Yeah. Pretty yeah. good now. It's good, right? Yeah, it's good now. It was like 40 seconds, now it's like 5 seconds. Also, when the when the uh, game changed from Warcraft to Starcraft, did you do that or did it fix itself at some it fixed point? It fixed itself, I think it like was being weird and said it, so mm. yeah. I mean, I did open the stream like 2 seconds after you started, so I guess it wasn't registering right away or needed to sort something out, I don't know. Mm. Dude, Lings and Medic's a badass. Medic's so <laughs> OP. I wish my units healed each other. <laughs> your units, your units heal naturally. What more do you want? <laughs> you have that very passive slowly. region of like one very HP slowly. for ten seconds. <laughs> very, very slow. <laughs> you know, there, there have been plenty of times where if I have a sunk and get down to like ten HP, I'll just kill it and rebuild it because it'll be like fifteen minutes before it's full HP again. Hmm. Maybe longer. How how fast does it actually regen? Zen, freeze. Mm. Sure. I need to close the window. Go back a sec. It's 1 HP every 2.7 seconds. That's huge. Probably should have got new opponents before we started. I was away, so I didn't really check their stats thoroughly, but they're like, they didn't have very good stats or some shit. What do you say, Ozzy? I was saying they regenerate 1 HP per 2.7 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty slow. Fascinating. And look at probes like recharging their shields like a motherfucker. You can't even chase yeah, them. Down. <laughs> can't even kill him with like a ling chasing them. Just, like, keep hitting them, but they keep regenerating shield. <sighs> Saying I was trying to teach you something about your race that you can use later in your matches. Oh yeah, I'll be using that for sure. That calculation. <laughs> yeah. That calculation. 
I know, like, Jean will do it. Like, Jean will do mute micro, take out a week and uh, mute look at the HP and say, okay, I have this long until it's full HP again. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck over. <laughs> I mean, I'll do some crazy calculations, but that ain't one of them. It's too redundant. I can picture it now. You have, like, a... A timer in your head for each individual muta, thinking you're able to keep up with all of it. Mate, that would be uh, pretty anal. I'm sure my brain power could be better used on other things. Hmm. Although you went a full like building a sunken. Hmm? Yeah, building a sunken. I was definitely abusing you for that in both of our games. I was I was calling him out on it every day. <laughs> really, no sunken again. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm a, a sunkenless pit of despair. To be fair, in the second game, me hitting him there wasn't actually standard. I just did it because it was awkward. Like the way he was talking, being a nine pulls there, you typically wouldn't hit somebody there. So I actually would have skipped something there if I were him too. <sighs> Isn't my opponent like European? Who is your opponent? Cheetos. Cheetos, I don't know. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna nine hatch. We're just, we're just gonna do it after. We're just gonna nine hatch, okay? We're gonna nine hatch. Alright. You let me know how it goes, because I've actually never tried nine hatch before. Yeah. I feel like 9-9, nine, nine, I have seen people do 9-9, nine, nine, and it, it can be pretty strong. 3-9, 9-9, gate, you mean, or what are you talking about? No, like 9-hatch, nine 9-4. Nine, That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, this patch boosts. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some of it, and it's just, uh... It's BGH, you're trying too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> this is important. We must consult the Oracle on the proper Zerg BGH winner optimization etiquette. Yeah, just, I don't know. I'd be afraid of improving my BGH game any further. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful pool place. <laughs> I was wondering about it as I'm yeah. looking at it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking sausage monkey galore. Shit, man. Oh, well, we don't need that much gas anyway. Oh, happy day. The fuck? <laughs> this is a player or a computer up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, attack him with one drone and see if it pulls all the probes. <laughs> No, I was just too many. <laughs> no, he's got two zealot. He's got two zealot. Oh, 
thought my lings would die so that I would be able to make more. <laughs> yeah, those two zealots got one ling. It's pretty good. Let them have the cannon. Just let them have it. Kill everything but the cannons. Yeah, move your overlord away so the unpowered cannons don't kill it. I <laughs> know, it's smart, right? Never be too careful, mate. The orange might come and build a pylon for it. Fight the last man. No. Hello. Oh, What's up, man? Oh, no, either. What are you guys doing? Yeah, just playing some PvP, but uh, we could oh. just do some practice games as well. I was easy uh, waiting to play his uh, NSL game. Oh, versus who? Cheetos. Cheetos. Okay. I heard he does uh cheesing. <laughs> My favorite PvP style. Like nine nines and proxy four gates and dark templar rushes and all the fun stuff. Wait, can I change my YouTube stream title while it's live? <clears throat> yes, you can. No. Uh, I don't know, I use Restream for it. Uh, but yeah, you can probably do it. Let me check. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you go to your, like, go live, or your, whatever, your mm -hmm. stream on YouTube, you can probably edit the title from there, I'd imagine. From your dashboard, yeah. Can't see where to do that, but create. Yeah. It does not seem so simple. You're on the page where it shows like your like stream analytics and stuff, your like live views and all that stuff. You can see all that. Hmm. But there's no um, like edit for the title. Not that I can see. Huh. I, I know you can, like, I'm sure YouTube has it integrated somewhere, because I do it on Restream, but you don't use Restream. But the fact that it changes if I use Restream surely means that you can do it somewhere with YouTube as well. Oh, wait, I found, I found out where to do it. 
you just kind of have to do it and well, at least the way i did it was a bit of a roundabout way mm. how's that uh so what do i click on i had to go to content then live and then there's like you hover over the live now and there's like a little details pencil that you click on and then you can edit the title and description and stuff <laughs> okay it definitely seems roundabout but yeah i guess it works i couldn't see it on the dashboard <laughs> yeah Maybe next time I stream, I guess I'll look around and see. All right. Same. Um, Sam said he doesn't want to talk to you anymore. He told me to tell you. Yeah. It's like that, is it, Ozzy? How do you feel about your game? You feel confident? Uh, I mean, like I said, it's my worst matchup, and he has the worst style for me, so not super what confident. What style does he have? Um, cheesy. Cheesy? Like, I'm, I've always been able to... I never ended up getting in touch with Nomad. It's been such a crazy week for me. Today was horrible, but we survived, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, I never got in touch with Nomad about how to respond to what I see. Like, I, I always, like, correctly, or not always, but I almost always correctly identify what the other player is doing in PvP. I never heard you having a good day, Ozzy. <laughs> That's true, actually. It's sad, isn't it? You were fucking... Miserable every day. I, um, I had a good day like two days ago. Mm, nice. That's something. <laughs> oh fuck! That's funny, Wolfie. That, that's true. I mean. Yeah, no, that's why it's funny because no, you true, just you true. just said it how it was. <laughs> like... Every day is a bad day. <laughs> It's not as bad as Jinjin, though. Oh my god, it's fucking Ultra Disc. What do I do? Oh my god, Ultra Disc. It's like, yeah, you've been playing this game for how many years? How many Ultras have you seen? It's like he's playing the campaign for the first time and he's never seen it before. Yeah. Jinjin's so funny when you did. He sees like one Ultra and has a mental breakdown. Yeah, like, literally. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Ooh. I was telling John that it was so funny to me because I was I was kind of like tuning in and out uh, on the stream, and it was so funny to me when he killed the Zerg's natural in like ten muta and then scanned a third with like two drones on, and he's like, he's not even behind. <laughs> I was like, dude, he's almost dead. <laughs> Tear and cope right there. <laughs> Maybe. It is crazy that he could be that far, but doing that well and still think that he's behind. It's just yeah, mind-blowing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's... It, it, it's always like a meme. It's like the sort of like artosis mindset type thing where like the Terran just assumes the worst of every situation. Hmm. Like a like, uh, very defeatist way of thinking. Sounds like me playing, man. Yeah, but you don't play Terran. That's what's weird about it. Like, <laughs> does it does it make any difference? Yeah, because mm. like Terran players at least have an excuse. They play Terran, but <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> to be fair, though, they pick that race. It's it's a self inflicted wound, you know. Yeah, they're, funny, like, they're masochistic they on some level. Let's be honest. All Terran players are masochistic on some level. Old StarCraft players to some extent. If you are a ladder player or one one player or whatever. It's so funny how like consistent people actually do stick to the stereotype of their StarCraft race though. Mm. Like Terran players are like really overdramatic a lot of the time. 
Protoss players really do consistently do random, really stupid stuff in their matches all the time. <laughs> and it works. It works. And it works. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking true, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Protoss player, and I, I see it all the time, and it, it pisses me off so much. Like, when I'm doing PvPs and stuff, it, the, some of the stuff that they do, man, like, blows my mind. <laughs> I've just lost the game. Fuck. I didn't actually just lost the game. Not yeah. the first time in your life, so... <laughs> Just fucking chucked all my fucking lings. Oh, man. Not enough minerals. We got three Goliaths and three Hydra. Holy shit. There's not really a lot of stereotypes about Zerg players, though. They actually seem to be the most chill players, typically. <laughs> with the exception of black men. Uh, oh, and possibly, and possibly me as well. I mean, black men's pretty chill. He, he, he always says like he's extremely calm when calling everybody no hackers. That's, that's true. He's very calm <laughs> during his wild accusations. What of uh, people hacking? Oh fuck! Just missed my drones. If he loses a game, then you uh, stream cheating or something. Yes, that's that's the one. I saw Dead Infested like uninstalled StarCraft and started doing like bot games on League. Bot games on League, imagine that. Right. I can. It's. Yeah, I don't know. It's like the most boring thing you could possibly do. What the fuck are you guys playing right now? This is a uh, random. Uh... Team defense, that's your really Yeah, I would rather play fucking League against bots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't okay, believe you're doing let's, this. Let's do some fucking like, practice why? games then. I played like a it's bunch like... of freebies in a row, so I also wanted to play one. I was waiting for Saiyan to come back, so he disappeared. Yeah. I'm here. You here now? I'm here. You wanna do some games? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, I just lost again. Sick. We got Wolfie here, so let's do some like actual games. God. God. Actual games. Fuck. Actual games. What qualifies as an actual game? Like two v two non money? Two v two low money or one v one low money? Okay. Today was going quite well. <laughs> Why are those glass without range? Because they're not upgraded. Oh, okay. You can like make heroes like by like, combining two like this, and that would give them range if I did that. Is it fun, John? Oh, boy! That's alright. It's chill. It's not so much fun as it is chill. And because you actually do have to, like, click on shit manually, it's, like, engaging enough. I mean, I wouldn't even click on things manually. You have to. You can't. You die if you do. This is a hard they game. They, they, they have... Yeah, if you just, like, hold position, you will easily die. I'm telling you. Like, you have to click. Oh, you will not grow fast enough, you won't get enough kills, and you will not get enough damage quick enough, and you will just die. Already the units are stacking up even though I'm trying to do this shit. The more kills you get, the more you take away from your team. It's not how it works, they're team? spawning on all four sides, doesn't it? When do you lose? 300 units. 300, okay. And the is being casted right now. Yeah, uh, Rocket Raiders uh, versus Hydrolix. Hydrolix. Some, some Hydrolix. These nuts. Something. Hydra League, these nuts. Yeah. yeah. I think Snow. I think Snow is doing uh, casting uh, his team's games today. I don't know. I haven't played mine yet. 
what a prime season do Sunday afternoon, so probably the next couple of hours, I'd imagine. Just not message me. I heard him casting today, but... I mean, he said that yesterday in his stream, but he's not there, so I don't know. And he was fucking some chick in the hotel yesterday, from what he said on his stream, so maybe... Maybe he's been busy. They decided to stay one more day or something, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no, actually Snow just wrote something on NSO. Really right. Chant. Let's end, let's end, let's not play UMS, let's uh, play some actual games. I'm just watching a replay. Uh, oh, okay. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go do my match now. You gonna stream on Discord, muted? No, I'll stream on Twitch, YouTube. No, oh, okay. Well, good luck with that, mate. Thanks! Get him. Good luck. I'll just, I'll just um, drop 20 ladder points, I didn't realize a game had spawned. <laughs> Shim shimmy, shim shimmy, shim shim shimmy. I hope you know what I'm referencing there, Shimmer. Hey, didn't know what you said. Shim shimmy, shim shimmy, shim shim shimmy. Oh, yeah. oh 1356 Terra, no, it's gonna be hard. No, you got this, you're gonna crush him. Pa smash him into the dirt. His EVT is just hard. A drone. <laughs> By the way, if your drone ever gets like sliding in the minerals or something, you can spam click to the side that you want it on to get it out quicker. I can't really hear what you're saying because I've got two. I've got the stream running and I can't mute it because I'm playing. Oh, okay. I'm back. Hey, Wolfie. Ozzy's playing his game. He's streaming it. Oh. Should we watch, should we watch his game and discuss it? Uh, we can, but I don't see his stream on Twitch. Uh, what's, he, the, what's the matchup? Try YouTube. Uh, I don't have a link for the YouTube. Doesn't he stream both at once? Usually? He usually does. Or maybe he's... Why is he not there? I'm asking him why if he's not live. Yeah, he's not on either right now. Is our team done with games for week one or not? Hmm? Is our team done with our games? In week oh, one? Uh, let me look. How do you know even? Where do you check that? Yeah, um, on the side, where is it? Scroll down to scheduling. Which one is it? There was like names and they were like crossed off. Hmm. Line up one? No. Find. Yeah, all our games have been played. So, like, if you like in in the actual Snow's Forgotten Bros chat channel, right? Mm -hmm. They'll post like 
the AK posted like the lineup of like all our names, uh, okay, and he crosses he crossed the names out as the games got played. Uh huh. So that's how you okay. can tell if the games got played or not. And as okay, you can see, they so what's still. the final for three? Right? They said I think. Well, don't careful what you say in here because people want oh, to wait okay. for the NSL, so don't yes. say what score was to who, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So it's important that we both won. Mm hmm. We carried. High five. Yeah. High five. If either one of us lost, we were done. It actually doesn't matter, <laughs> Wolfie. It's only Shimmer in here, and I don't think Shimmer minds. I mean, he doesn't hear us anyway because he watches yeah. the stream. I thought there was uh, someone else in there. I'm, I'm also playing as well, so I'm not really concentrating on. Oh, okay. Uh, you know you have a drone in that control group of your links. Is that intentional? No, not at all. We'll take before you get it out of your control group. Tell it to I'll do already, something. Because grab I've this drone. Got yeah. Control group. I've, I've caught now. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. But in future, like, make this. Click this drone first to go to to the mining before you deselect it. So it doesn't become lost in the ether. And don't forget an overlord if you haven't started one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, make the gastric out something. You can gastric out something. Sorry, I'll just have to sit and wait. You know, there are some situations if I'm doing a timing attack, I will not only gastric, I will creep trick. So I will like gastric out and then creep trick out and then cancel both to get two lava going in a bad situation you lose an overlord or forgot to make one and you need to go Thanks, Chiseled. You shut up. <laughs> don't lose. Love Snow says when don't you, lose. Yeah, I'll be doing my best. Huh? What's up, Q? Love Snow says don't lose. <laughs> in the Aussie's chat. Aussie's uh, chat. Mm -hmm. I got no excuses going in right uh, now. Uh, on Twitch, he's yeah. streaming now. What was the map called again? Actually, do I need a map pack for this? <clears throat> no excuses going in, what's the map again? Yeah, I know. I'm drawing a blank on what it's called. <laughs> you mean the don't lose? <laughs> and then like, no excuses going in? No, you're trying in. to kill me before I start? That the game plan? You mean, is that my team? <coughs> don't lose LOL, no excuses going in. What <laughs> is the map again? Um, uh, he, I feel Love Snow is making fun of what Ozzy said because Ozzy said, like, no excuses going in, Wait, and then he immediately actually? asked, What's the map know. again? Like, like he doesn't. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. he already has an excuse plan. Kind mm -hmm. of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ozzy is the kind of player yes. who, or well, person well, who, like, always yeah, says, the Discord, I, swear, the uh, I don't like to make excuses, but, and then he makes his excuses. <laughs> <laughs> He's exactly that person. I mean, I, I make excuses sometimes as well, but, yeah, I've noticed that he, he does it a fair bit. <laughs> I saw maps, okay, I'm just not seeing it then. Uh... Usually I'm complaining about something I did wrong though. <laughs> yeah, like you you like to write to your opponent. Yeah. Which is completely fucking meaningless, useless and stupid. I agree. I don't get it. I agree. I agree. <sighs> but it, it, it's it, sometimes it's when like the game feels like maybe 
I can't win at this point anyway, so it's like, maybe it doesn't matter that I'm typing, but... Yeah, you're right, in general I shouldn't really type like that during games. But hey, Wolfie. Mm -hmm. You notice that, like, pretty chill, generally speaking, though. Uh, say again, please. I'm pretty chill, generally speaking. Even when I'm like, like, get annoyed at the game, I'm not like angry, angry. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You're rather chill. Right folder. Wait, this is week two game, or is this week one game, right? So it's no gonna... idea. We'll, we'll see after the first one. one. It's probably week one, because it's... Why is this not showing up? <laughs> oh my oh. god, Azzy cannot fucking copy the maps. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there it is. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to be getting into game number one on Retro. Azzy the Haki is... in one corner, and the other will be Cheese Toss. Name very apt, both a Protoss player and a bit of a cheeser, so already on brand. Not pretty, so retro. Yeah, it's retro, right? Yeah, right. What is the Snow's uh, team? Yes, yeah, the Snow's team, Ozzy's Snow team. No, I mean, uh, how is it called? Uh, Love Boat, I think. Love Boat, okay. Snow's Love Boat or just Love Boat or something like that. to ask him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be getting Beautiful. into this epic, epic series, series, series. Uh, why not? Retro, here it is. Very organized right now. He's picking blue. <clears throat> He's feeling blue. Let's hope he doesn't play blue. Mm. Is he? Yeah, he's picking blue. Ah, okay. I'm saying he's feeling blue as well. Blue is a good color. Oh, I he's agree. playing the cheese. Okay, I misunderstood previously. I thought <laughs> that you are playing. Me. I mean, I thought that you are waiting for a pawn, I misunderstood. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh really, this guy's dropped out because I'm fucking contained him on two base, are you fucking joking? Oh, that's so annoying. Not, no, Shim. That's disappointing. Spawning in the top left is the blue protoss, none other than your boy Arzi, the hockey. Up against cheese toss. Map is retro. Okay, uh, so let's hold this guy is pretty all any, which is a hard matchup for me, <sighs> and my PvP is not super great. But that being said, Yank the cable. Damn as long it. as we can navigate the early game relatively well, I'm pretty confident in macro. So we just got to deal with the nonsense. The server will determine the result. Oh fuck me, I was well ahead. Do you, do you think he's going to go yeah, one gate cool, recently. or do you think he's going to go two gate? <laughs> Sorry, I've kind of lost my voice today. I've been hmm? kind of outside. Do you think he's going to one gate today. or two gate? Kill the opponent? No, no, no. Well, yeah, both. Both ours and his opponent. <sighs> no idea. Why would I even yeah, guess that? Really so. <laughs> you watching Ozzy? Yeah, yeah I'm watching Ozzy. Lose my voice. It doesn't really make sense, but that's what happens to me. Twitch.tv slash Ozzy underscore yeah, Busy day. Yeah. Busy day on the farm today. Playing his uh, NSL game up against the cheese toss. Ooh, Shimmer is now following. Oh, Shimmer, thanks for I'll the follow. My Appreciate stream with. You're a dragon rider now, Shimmer. As much as possible. PvP can be odd, though. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, well, TVT is the only mirror matchup that's not odd. You know what I mean? Like, PvP and ZVZ, pretty crazy matchups. Yeah, PvP is like a, I call it a clown fiesta. <laughs> it's very yeah. apt. Because you go, yeah, you sort of just, it, it just promotes, like, I mean, no other matchup do you, like, drop uh, buildings in your opponent's mineral, mineral line to be all. Two gate versus two gate, or is it one gate? It's two, uh, it's two gate versus one gate. Oh, we're getting a mana pile on. We're getting a mana pile on. Two trap rooms. It's the dream. <laughs> it's the dream. See what I mean? It's just. Oh. The, um, surely he's going to have a core up by now, though, right? Where's the core? Yeah. It's probably At least good. his gateway is pretty far away from his ramp. Like, yeah. for, for a two gate. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 pretty, pretty pretty not too good, but it's not like the end of the world. That Polo is seriously screwing him over. Oh, he's gonna try and squeeze another one in. Oh, oh yeah, baby, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Those pylons aren't dying for a while too, because we're playing one gate, baby. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Ozzy. Which um, which team is Ozzy on? Uh, Snow we're team. Are we really making guys this early? Yeah, I don't know. I think he should actually even like be aggressive and make a shield battery. <laughs> He's not on that. Man. I mean, uh, you invested so much into the spirals and now you're fucking switching code of Zealots. I don't know. I don't like it. I, at I all. feel like he should have committed to Zealots and gone shield battery with the pylons. The um. Hmm. What's up, Jim? The um. Uh, I've seen um, which team. Well, which team is Ozzy playing against? Uh, I, I don't know what their name is, mate. Yeah, no, I, was, I didn't know if it was Love Snow's team or not. Well, Ozzy's on Love Snow's team. Ah, right. So, okay, right. Yeah, no, I'm still getting used to who's on. On, because I'm on Love Snow's team as well. So it's. Should we look in the shave probes? Shave probes. I don't think this is going to do anything. Oh, Just Desserts. It's Team Love Snow versus Just Desserts. Yeah. Um, did that do any damage, really? And the pylons are hampering his... Uh, I'm gonna go yeah, his economy go. was pretty shredded from the... I'm going to go into 3 gate goon, are we? Good-o. If especially we can especially we can hide it as well. This could hit pretty hard. Uh right, like opinion, anyway. um, <clears throat> after this mining a little bit. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's good enough. I don't know if that's really worth. I normally don't do that as a thing. It's like so outside of my normal play, but it seemed okay. Start pressuring, I suppose. Why my fucking stream dropped? I'm gonna have to death him, sorry. Like, as he said, he feels comfortable in macro and then he plays all in 3 gate nice counting on the opponent not going DTs. Yeah. And I that's 
a little bit suspicious. Suspicious? Mm-hmm. Do you mean suspicious as in... Like, like the play is suspicious. Mm. Because... Yeah, what if he goes to this? Yeah, it's pretty. I it's think just... he'll try to expand though, so maybe we can punish it. But yeah, you're right, like, we don't know for sure, like, he can just hold his ramp and go DT, it's like, yeah. I think we're getting lucky this game. Oh no, there is actually no expansion yet, so... This could still be some kind of tech. Pretty good focus fire. If there's no DT, we win. Yeah, that's a oh, he, didn't, he, he, didn't see it. he didn't see it. Why did he defend on the low ground if he's going 4k? What the fuck am I watching? What? Fucking ruffle stomped. Can someone I explain to me what just happened? I, I, I think he was sure that he has to have more because of 4 gates. Yep, yeah, but he had two mana pylons. Like, he, he, what? My brain. I don't know. I don't know if that's even bad because, on the other hand, if you defend on the ramp, your opponent goes three gates, and then you pretty the much yeah, 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 you're fucked anyway. So I don't know. Of course, your opponent doesn't have to go three gate, but I don't know. I suppose the question is, does he does he do the same sort of thing the next game? Because it just seemed as though his opponent didn't, I don't know, wasn't able to react to the um, how that was played. He only had two gate production for so long, but he only just got the four the four gate. <clears throat> Yeah, we already won psychologically. The opponent is letting us pick the bet. It's <laughs> saying that he I was a big seven six. Is oh, somebody okay. is somebody tilted out of their boots? Oh, he's that, thinking about it. He's thinking what, what kind of garbage. Man. <laughs> Wolfie. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna... He's, <laughs> he clicked on it, he clicked on it! Oh, oh no, it's gonna be Paradiso. I guess I played some games with Arzi on Paradiso today, maybe he's feeling more, more confident on this map. <laughs> Savage, no. <laughs> I would, I mean, I would pick 76 so much there, especially because my opponent said like whatever <laughs> and to play on this map together by my choice. It's uh, Paradiso, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paradiso. Uh, that's the map for this week, isn't it? Paradiso? Mm, I don't know, I didn't play week two. Did you play week one, Warfix? Yeah, yeah, I did. We won't, we won't spoil the result then. Uh, you want to spoil or not? No, I... well, no, well, I'm, uh, I don't necessarily mind either way, but some other people might not want the result spoiled.
although um, Paradiso is relatively standard, yeah. Hmm? I think Paradiso is quite a standard map, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's the remake of Dante's Peak. I don't know what that is, so... Uh, well, it's not a great map for Zerg, though, to be fair. I don't think. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got ZVP on it this week. Or, well, for week two, that is. We are not at that. Okay, okay, he's going to gate as well. Never mind. Mm, why? Huh. We really have to go more than three zones? And why second, third pylon before the cybernetics? I think mm. it's a huge temple, unnecessary loss. Because you would. Probably. Shield battery? Why is he, why is he playing? Why? So defense? He's, he's throwing, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. If, and he doesn't have cyber and he has already 100 gas. Come on. What am I watching? I mean, not that I can necessarily comment much, but it just seems that that first game, he he won that first, ga first game by exerting pressure. Guess he thinks he's being proxied. You can just go down the ramp and crush this. His opponent probably went... Okay, he also went more zealous. I don't know. Welcome to the clown show. <laughs> clown fiesta is in session. <laughs> uh. I would fucking go DT drop at this point. If I was in this position. Two gate, no tech. What? What the no fuck tech, is going there are two, on? There are two more gateways, probably in the third yeah. base. Well, either that or he's throwing. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to break this ramp for about a week. Yeah, well, how did he know? He saw no. Okay, maybe he saw no gas, and I'm actually wrong. He didn't pay attention, so maybe he saw there is no gas, and that's why he played like that. Maybe. So this game is over, basically. Yeah, you can just hold ramp for a long time now. Yeah. You can also off. three on one. If he keeps the zealots in a nice arc like that, that's really... Oh no, don't lose the arc. Keep the arc, you need the arc. Oh yeah, it's such a good arc. Is he can't he can't come down the ramp though. Man, Protoss is something else. Like, oh, he's gonna let him go. What am I watching? Doesn't you cannot lose that. No matter what you do, you cannot lose this game anymore. Uh, like, there will be four goons soon, and it's over. Like you can micro out an amount yeah. of zealots at this point. Oh, one zealot's gone for a wonder. Okay, but we can we have to shoot actually. This could, this could start unraveling. I mean, 
No, we still cannot lose that. Well, with some micro, it should be fine. We have, like, good green production. Set now up we have battery. range, so it's even more than... It's got green waiting on there. Like go across the map and kill him, I guess. I guess that there will be cannons for We cannot leave base really, uh, because we don't. We will he get didn't. backstabbed by the so he we didn't. should take natural. He didn't heal his goons on the ship, actually. <laughs> yeah. He should. Doesn't matter though. Unless he will lose this gun, then it would matter. Look at the ram. We also sh because <coughs> I remember him sacrificing the probe. I mean, sacrificing, losing the probe under his natural. I mean, under his ramp, he should scout with it for those gates. Yeah, two o. No it's GG. Hard game. Another PvP on Gnome Channel, oh my god. Like that, man. Hmm? Any other matchup than fucking PvPs? <laughs> like the worst matchup in the game, actually. Did put gates in the um, did the proxy gates. I didn't see where were the gates? Uh, down at uh, like four o'clock ish. There's a base down in that direction. Okay. Sorry, yards. Lana versus Ponga in NSL <laughs> micro, uh, NSL um, game. No time, so try a cheese file. Wow. I don't want to make excuses, but I hadn't time to play, so I had to cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good. Pause. What's up, Forte? Just watching Lana versus Memnon, but they're calling themselves Ponga, which is a bit old. It's fucking PvP again. Twitch. Uh? Twitch? Uh, yeah, on Twitch, yeah. Non-Brew Oh, he's doing the fucking usual dirt. Oh, God. 
<laughs> yeah, this is actually quite good. I don't mind it. If your opponent just aped around instead of looking for the probe, gets punished instantly. So it's over, I guess. Yeah, it's I over. Yep. GG. Oh, he's gonna get. Is he gonna get the robo? Yeah, he will. Oh. And and two DTs is enough to kill everything at this point. You can never recover from that. I mean, you can technically mine in your nut. And yeah, I don't know why we didn't put the robo next to the fucking cannon. Who are we talking about? About non brood war on Twitch. Oh. Just kill the pot. Yeah, just wipe the pylons. One, so he, he lost the money on it. Ouch. Yeah, he's just kind of in a bad Ooh. spot and broke right now. Lana moves forward, goes for the attack, loses two triggers almost instantly. Oh, and mining shot. has returned here from Memnon, so we should be able to get that robo down. We need to get that down as soon as possible, especially before the cyber core gets picked off. Being a bit over aggressive here, Memnon. I'm not sure I agree with chasing this army. And not even he's focus gonna... firing. That's the yeah, not even focus firing. Yeah, he's gonna win the fight because he had the dragoon and damage, but he lost a lot more dragoons there than he needed to, and he's in a defensive position right now. Interesting. Lana is focusing the forge over the cyber core. I wonder if that's just they just let the uh, DTs go and hasn't haven't been microing them anymore. Yeah, probably. And I, I really don't like the two more cannons going down for Ponger. I would have liked to have seen that Robo immediately. Um, yeah, I agree. He's just delaying, like, anything for himself, like, he, aggressively. He needs to get one of those cannons up, because the DTs can't hit part of that mineral line without being protection. I was the searching for this PvP. That cannon could have been the Robo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's too yeah. late now. The I was cyber searching for PvP. He's searching for the Robo up. He's searching for the Robo first. Okay, yeah, watch, he didn't even watch him getting PvP. Or rather. Oh. Mm-hmm. But is one shot two goons for free. Put two on there, and yeah, losing now goons to the DTs for no reason as well. He just needs to hold this ramp, make sure they don't get down there to his mineral line. I think I shift. Lana oh, going into uh, uh, air armor for some reason here. I wonder if that was a misclick. Ooh. Oh, you know, this is for the scouts, obviously. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. I hope see mass scouts and getting Wait, the expansion behind us. So. <laughs> Unless, yeah, the I don't, I don't see here. how Memnon like regained control of his main, and he needs to regain control of his oh. main. I mean, he can cannon creep slowly and retake, but that's such a long, oh that takes God. so long. He has to build a robo. Time. I don't know why he keeps he doing the point of a chat He doesn't have a choice though. anymore. He doesn't have a cyber net score anymore. He can't build a robo. Yeah, he's down on tech well, then build a cyber. Like, he does need, yeah, he does need to build the cyber and at least get up to it. Like he's he would happened. be better I, off I going out and building a nexus somewhere on the map since was. he was I able to clear the goons from in front of his natural yeah. than he is building all those extra he cannons. Like, he knows it's only two feet. Like he has one cannon there. I don't know. Yeah, Cybercore is going Cybercore down. Cybercore is going down now, but it might be just too little too late. Lana's going to be on two mining bases long before he gets his main back. And uh, I think that but air, air armor was just a misclick. I don't see any kind of Stargate tech coming down. So. Unfortunate, some wasted money, but yeah, I was talking to you guys the delayed, entire so... time. I was like reading and responding to the chat. Yeah. It's not gonna break time. her, not gonna break their game. I was explaining like why I did what why I, I did. Going for a third base here, putting uh, down a pile on the myself an idiot for like, opening up my ramp and looking down before I had like five guns. Is it not? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the four bushes are where the next is. That's, that's actually, you could go back even one more square. Wait, what? What do you mean? What did I say to make you say that? You see it covering the top right bush of six Oh, Big fight happening at the Usually natural. Usually I do, right? That's, for that's why it's kind of funny because like normally I do right mock six o'clock here. Shot. Okay, yeah, no, that's so, a scouting pile, and I'm pretty yeah, sure because he probably just seems super normal to you guys. Nine o'clock, not six o'clock. He said make yeah, whatever. Sure. It's all right. <laughs> we need a GG. Oh yeah, because uh, GG. Atlanta's gonna take it. I was saying, so I was like muted way back. With the dirty gateway in my opponent's main base, DT. 
Close I was right. saying, uh, <laughs> I've actually thought of some ways that I might have played PvP on 76 in case it wouldn't be the PvP without um, some sort of dirtiness going on. But I hadn't actually no, practiced PvP anything. PvP stands for proxy v proxy. Everyone knows this. It did cross my mind though. It's like <laughs> make it just rocks. a really weird game since he was letting me pick the map, pick the maps anyway. But there's only three maps I'm like really comfortable on right now. They're like the three most normal ones, which is um, the map we just played. All right. Not split. Well, good news is that's only game Perfect. one. We've got another game for Map uh, to win. So that way he can then go ahead and win game three, and, and we can bring it back to one. I kind of like um, is it? It's not called Tau Cross. I'm not what worried at all for our team. We got the this. one where you have like the little yeah, like walkway behind your sure. natural. What Both is this one called? Again? Heartbreak Ridge. Game, I like so Heartbreak Ridge actually. matchup starting all right and in the top left we have what our brown protoss it is Dude, it's funny is because hot. dustin and said he was muted bottom and right i spoke to him anyway he had me protoss. beckoned memnon playing on had me muted, whatever account for some reason yeah i think the um, id might have just turns out for a bit. i wasn't talking <laughs> to anybody might have maybe <laughs> the map is dark origin uh, yep what is fun map uh, oh, I love it's it. probably super late. I, <laughs> I should have just quit while I was ahead. But I was saying too, the, the responses that I came up with, like the response that I did there was, um, I didn't actually get to practice like hardly any PvP this week. When I was playing ladder, I kept getting like tons of zergs. Uh, but I did specifically think about like what I would do if I felt like he was doing a proxy gateway. Um, like the additional proxy gateways, which is what he did. Or like heavy mid -game or and I'm glad my theory crafting worked. The only thing was, like I said, when I stepped down my ramp <laughs> before I had enough games, there was literally no reason for me to do that. Why don't we just sneak in on Actually right away. There's minerals, so you can drop a probe and then put the pylon. Just assume I'm gonna block or what? You, you can you can answer your question, yeah. You can break down the stasis cell and you can also mine up the mineral field. Uh both are viable to open the back door. Doing another cheese. Yeah, surprise, surprise. I think I don't know if the mineral field is stacked, I think they're stacked. Oh, what's his plan? He's making forge. What? It's weird because he used to be such a macro player. He used to. Yeah, now he's just evolved into this dirty Protoss. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Piece. What the fuck? Camel on the ramp. <laughs> yep. I don't understand. Uh, but this is so telegraphed that you are doing something cheesy. Yeah. So in PvP, what do, what do you do? Like two gates, yeah, Robo sure into server, probably beats everything. Cheesy. Yeah, yeah, I, I always quite like three gate, uh, three gate going with the Robo. Okay, now, okay, this is a little bit tricky at least because he sent another probe. So the first one is still doing nothing though, but it will. I... <laughs> what am I watching, man? Major indication here if you didn't see the second probe come in, because the scouting probe still scouting Memnon while these. Uh, yeah. He's gonna make the gateways so the, uh, back there, and then he's gonna make DTs probably. Yeah, probably. probably. Three gates would be. In this case, game two and you won. I, I think yeah, I can put three gates in here. I guess it's possible. Well, we already have a gas built from Lana, so it might be DT once again, or maybe a... He has a gas, but he cannot put Cyber because he doesn't have Gateway. Imagine that. He's waiting for the Gateway to finish. Yeah, I know, but still, it's... He's not even mining the gas, it's even more funny, like, what's the point in taking it? Yeah, I mean, because usually you should start mining gas when your Cyber is starting. That's, like, the good enough timing, usually you don't need more than that. And Memnon's got to suspect something weird is going on because there's cannons at the front line. Looks like, looks like he's gonna try and force it. Oh, good block on the ramp with the probes though. He's trying to force these elves past yeah, to see what is going great. on, and these probes are. Why oh, would you even try to go past the <laughs> 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 Well, 
I guess because if he doesn't get proved, he can get proved. I mean, free. Definitely chucked. He definitely got the second one. On the ramp. More cannon. That was beautiful. Frisbees. And these guys when you fall instead of like you know just regular level. Be because he's seeing he's seeing ghosts. No, he's sure it's DTs, but there is no timing for DTs like that, where your opponent has two cannons for, and you have to rush anything. Will it even be DTs? Because it's DTs. Of so. course, it's DTs. What else is it going to be? No, I mean. Sure, but the teeth are so obvious, right? In this case. <laughs> yeah, but it's so like, I would rather go. I don't know, like for if you speed lose zones. It, right? I don't know, speed zones or something, something yeah. else. Because mm. you know, one opponent will have right. an answer to the teeth. Yeah. Well, I know what you mean, but oh. they will go DTs. Yeah, look, there are already two right. gateways, right? Over Maybe it is speed zones after all. It's not. Right? It's DTs. Oh, He's going no. DTs. I promise you. It's DTs. It's always DTs. But you don't have to put second gateway that fast if you want it. You can start your gateway along with temporary archives at the same time. This is... <laughs> He's got a cannon next to the Nexus already. This is... Yeah. Not really much to see. Okay, no, he does pull back this. Yeah, like the Red Brothers is fucking confused as fuck. <laughs> like, the funny thing is that... I don't know. Yeah. He was aware about the second ramp because he put Goon there, but he didn't go down to check. Which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is, like, if the T skills this cannon and the observer won't be in place, or even if it will be in place, there's only one gateway, so let's say there is a Goon and observer, you can kill the cannon and then chase Goon with one DT and the second. One yeah, can oh, no, actually kill the probes already. Mm. And then two more DTs will come after a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or he will wait for four, I don't know. It's actually funny how this can even work. Like, pretty, pretty amazing that someone can step, eat, step in into that. Because he can definitely pop this cannon and try and go for the minerals. Okay, at, at least we have yeah, two gateways. Like oh, in there. And why is this cannon not like in the mineral line? <laughs> but yeah, in the like open it's area. Actually, because oh. of the, the probe damage, he actually loses one of the DTs, so... Oh, okay, he lost, over, he lost one DT, so I guess it's fine, yeah, probably. Yeah. But two more DTs are in the way. Oh, yeah, he, like in a moment he off. will be overwhelmed by yeah, DTs, so but even with the observer. Like. Okay, he is going back with everything, so I guess oh, no. it should be fine. I'm going into the natural. <laughs> the, 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 the DTs didn't kill all these DTs are coming, and two more gateways are coming. They can kill everything, like, but they're not this, kill this, this is so okay, chaotic no that he might actually even win that. Oh, no, he's gonna oh, lose no. the DT to the cannon. No, no. He could have killed so many DTs there. I mean, so many probes there. Yeah. Is there another DT the or not? So many oh, no, he attacked the robo. Yeah, there's too many observers out, even if you could kill the robo. Two more DTs are coming to the nuts. I'm not killing enough probes yeah. though. Lana's got nothing back at main, or at her main. I mean, she, or she and he sent it straight to the cannon again. Like, that's so much money wasted. Looks like he's mining out his minerals in the back, maybe, or at least just mineral <laughs> probes. There is no probes. Okay. Oh no! Yeah. This game is such a fiesta. Two more DTs fucking out of that gateway. <laughs> You see him uh, walk about, hope that, it, that like he didn't scout these gateways and come in then. He's getting some more pros with yeah. him though, so at least he's getting some damage. It's yeah, that's kind of silly damage at this point. Like, you you got to know they're coming in the back door, right? Like even yeah. if you don't think the gateways are built there, you got to think, oh maybe he like mined it out or something. Yeah, he's got to realize something's going on. Where are these DTs coming from? Yeah, I think Two this is um, a bit of map awareness. 
maybe he's just like not entirely aware of the map and how it plays. I like how those two gates are still there. It's possible. Like the I said, CT. he had a Dragoon on that ramp and he saw the unbuildable <laughs> terrain. I wonder if he thinks the entire terrain behind there is unbuildable and so he just assumes nothing's back there. <laughs> he's he's still just the base. Chill back so he's there. Right now. Oh fuck you know, and he's moving out with army. He should make two HDs there and storm fucking not in main uh, though. It would be back. hilarious. <laughs> Wait, why? Why did he pull the goon back? <laughs> he box selected and grabbed the goon while trying to pull the probes. Bonger defying logic here. Oh, poor Memnom. Okay, counterattack is underway now for Memnon. This DT is still alive in the main base, but there's an Observer and Dragoon there. He's not um, getting anywhere with this attack, though. Is he actually going in? What is he doing? There's no he started cannon. gathering zealots even there. Oh, no way. No way. He did pick one cannon. With his well, that's observer, the thing. The other, can well the other cannons don't get in range, so as long as he does it carefully. Oh, this is the Observer, though. Yeah, yeah this is over now. Can't. Can't he lost the fucking observer now. Yeah, dude, yeah. Oh, there's no probes. I thought there was no probes left. I don't know. Oh. With the in observer, the he's the the is attacking. Gateway, gateway, gateway is in the pile. Yeah, I'm not having a time here. And, and the red brothers is like, <laughs> where are those units fucking coming from? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> We're uh, we're open to DTs once again. Oh, there is two observers. Yeah, this, man, this is not our <laughs> cannon is clutch. Yeah. When it's gone, he will lose. Too many moving Emron's parts. Still trying to break up that red yeah. Lava, Lava will win this. Yeah, no, that's like, actually. Yeah, yeah, though. I mean, right now he's winning, but, yeah. literally, because oh, honestly, Red Brothers is not mining oh, from his bad. two bases anyway for a long yeah. time, and uh, down, to the, there are. Um, Less mineral patches in the nut than in the main. So actually, Lana had like not disturb the mine time all the time. Two more DCs are coming because there is no cannon in the nut now. So he lose two observers. So as long as there's two units, you might be okay. But at the moment, there's no units. You're right. Nope. Where are these DTs and zealots coming from? Go do something about it. They're not just magicking into existence. You have a container no, on his natural. You know the thing's coming out no, of there. No, so. no, that's the natural. <coughs> we'll split one. One uh, to the main, one to the natural. I don't know if he remembers the there. Okay, he does grab one and pull it, pulls it over. Uh, but he does lose two probes before that. Oh, he's got one, one in the main. Somewhere. Oh, there's one in the main. Okay. Two more probes go down in a dragoon. It's gonna run away with this other DT. Two more DTs are coming out, and if they go to that natural, I mean, please go no to the natural. Defense. A couple zealots, like they could just oh destroy God. all those probes. Please. He's just hanging out. Now two cannons going down at the mat. He could still go in and pop. I think, Memnon, I think Memnon's gonna win if he can just hold for a little bit down. longer. He goes down there right now. That cool. entire is dead. Go well, down the ramp. If you went down the zealots, ramp, he might lose, but right now he might win. He's trying to block the entrance with those instead of. They moving there and killing those gateways. Unfortunate, because he had a really nice opportunity window oh. there. Does get three probes on the transfer, but like, yeah, it's just not enough. I mean, oh, Red a lot still has out of, very uh, big advantage, but here. I don't know. Still no yeah, I, I think those cannons are clutch again. To, to just zealot pressure, there's no We're holding those speed zones. Into the natural against three cannons, and they all died. Did nothing. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong. There is leg speed. They just were moving weird. So yeah, three DTs just lost for nothing. I think the idea here is he's building up enough to just go all in him with units count pretty soon. Letting the DTs kind of whittle down the unit count on the back end while he builds up on the front. And that he's going to streamline now down a ton of zealots with legs, probably about 12. And I think Lana takes this right here, to be honest. With the, okay, he finally scouts the, the gateways in the back, but this is actually the worst time that he could because those zealots are coming across the map. So with these dragoons back here trying to work on these uh, these gateways, these yeah. zealots can pick off a lot of these cannons and pick off a lot of the stack defense before the army can come help back up. Yep. Yeah, he's There's only on two Sim gateways City here. One of, those, is. one of those cannons can be defended by the probes. If he just right-clicks on the minerals and, or the gas and, and clicks stop command, but it does not do it. That cannon's going to fall without any, uh, any kind of defense coming down to, to hold it. All right, and big yeah, old brawl Lana here. Lana might just be taking it right now. Another cannon is going to finish up, but this new zealot stream, stream in and get on top of it instantly. 
the probes are helping to fight and actually doing a really good job of it because the zealots want to focus down the uh, dragoons over the probe so there's a lot of them are just dancing and doing nothing yeah this is some really awkward fighting here memnon but... might hold there's still uh... six, six zealots left against three dragoons more are coming in from behind him though but more dragoons are coming out there's one k in the bank uh, i don't know lana lana Can we lose? Lose? it's gonna come out of the we pull the main back to these cannons we can have yeah. three extra cannon support. I hear a DT's out. Yeah, there's DT's out now yeah. again in the natural. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. I think Lana has to give up on the natural, I think. <coughs> the craziest, cheesiest, weirdest PvP I've ever seen. Just and kill the natural and win. it out right here. Lana now has yeah, more probes is... than his opponent. He can kill that Nexus. <laughs> Actually, probably the most wild PvP out there. This is an incredible PvP. This is. It's a mistake to go into the main. It's got if you just, um, just kill off the gateways, yeah, so the Nexus. Oxygen, so if you don't like this, you're wrong. Mm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is, it is mistake, but to make sure it may work. So. Nexus dies. Like the damage is done is great, oh. but like at least kill this natural Nexus. Like kill the Nexus and then gateways. And then look, you look where, where, where Lana is expanding. In the nine o'clock oh instead God. of his natural. Try and break because the it's Protoss and he can and yeah. he will try to make everything as chaotic as possible. On, but but Memnon's in a really bad bizarre or spot right now. He needs to focus the DT, kill the DT first. You wasted go. so many units trying to bust yeah. the cannons, dude. Like so unnecessary. You need like, to micro this too. Zealots kill the Nexus, then kill the gateway. Just outright one on one. They do more damage. They have more health. I don't even know what to think about this game because how how much coincidence did Lana need to make it work? <laughs> how bad your opponent has to play to make it work? Like, yeah, th those are real questions. And the best part is that Lana is not losing because he's mine out. I mean, not losing maybe because he will mine in the moment, but. Yeah, but now he cannot produce. Yeah, but it's true that he's against two base economy because he will not be mined. Um, Pongo will not be mined out for a long time. Too soon. Let's see if Memnon notices because he's got an observer with a natural. He should see the long distance mining and be like, "What is going on at those probes?" It's two versus one base now. I don't think he has the army to push across the map though. We do have four gateways for for Lana. Is if he just produces nonstop zealots, there's not enough uh, dragoons to really push across. He the is map. up in probes by a lot. But... But Still only one base economy. He's not mining right now, looks really. Like he might be trying All the probes to. are transferring. If Lana isn't building a zealot at home, then this could actually kill that yeah. base. Mm. One goon getting caught on There's a lot of gas in the bank. Why doesn't he just go yeah, storm or something? He probably will go Archons at some point, I can imagine. From, from the main as well. Yeah, such a weird. Okay, now this is trolling because you need those zealots. Memnon knows they're there. Probably. Now. He went down and scouted them for sure. I wonder if he just forgot. He's got the dragoon count now. He can go clear up those buildings and push onto the map. He's got the dragoon count he needs. But he needs to Because he was tunnel visioning on trying to kill them. Lana's still making probes. Yeah, I think. Oh, now no, he's gonna kill the pylon, depower them, and then you can, you know, then you can head out. <laughs> come on, you got this, Memnon. Please, please. Okay, there we go. He's heading down. Good, good, good. Just kill the pylon. Kill the pylon, kill the probe, and then and then go. Go before the Lana can rebuild his uh, army count. Don't worry about the gateways. Oh, jeez. That's so much more time. These dragoons are going to sit here killing these gateways. I had a DT pops. DT pops will get picked off instantly. He hit the probe. Oh, my gosh. If this probe lives and rebuilds these these uh, gateways, I'm done. I can't, I'll be I can't upset. take it anymore. The probe might be hidden by the minimap. It's possible he doesn't see that probe there. Oh, oh, he sees it. Okay, okay, good. All right, Lana is taking another base. So Lana's gonna be on three bases here. But does he have the army to hold any of these bases? <laughs> four zealots on the map. He's got four gateways, but they're not really producing right now. It's like two. All the, the whimpering that I can hear is quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh my god. Like he kills the central and then he can. Meanwhile, in Jinjin streams, Ultra discs are raking Kyok. He's not yeah. responding, <laughs> as he knows, but at the same time, like, if he just breaks the main, that's also game over. I. Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, He's got the Dragoon count to end. Ozzy the Hockey, thank you for the raid. Yo, the Ozzy. Hope your games went well. I think Memnon and takes this, this no? Shoot, yeah, but he doesn't know about the expansion alliance, so he will probably kill the nut and then he will think he's won, and the game will continue because the game is not won. It's just barely started researching. Holding the ramp with probes and three cannons, there's enough here to break that, especially with the observers. Look, red will be... Okay, red is taking another base. That's very good, actually. If he scouts this third base and just kills it, that's game. After all that I've seen, I... Yeah. Actually, suspected him to not realize that he's getting mined. In, in Memnon's base, left it to where he still has minerals in his main, even though his opponents mined out because it was being unmined. That's actually an interesting so position, I know, because at the <laughs> he should try to scout them. every base, but for mm -hmm. example, he might not know the map, first of all. But surely you can figure out the map because he's scouting on his side, like on the right hand side, he's scouting this base here, so he should understand where the other base is on the map. Okay, okay, okay. No, he missed it. He missed it. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's scouting so, everywhere but there. Man, I swear, Manana has so much luck. Like this it's unbelievable how lucky unbelievable. he is. Yeah, exactly. It's unbelievable. That you couldn't write this scenario up, man. You couldn't come up with it. Like, what's going on there is just amazing. Dragoons are pretty good against Archons. Not even gonna get a storm off that High Templar doesn't have energy. Uh, yeah, that was sus. Yeah, he has high templars and he's not even waiting. For storm. He could uh, make a robot and shuttle. Yeah, but he should just wait for storm. That, uh, yeah, or Storm. He's got, even got High Templars. Like, but Storm, storm Drops would be amazing. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, even need to push out. He really gg the, with the base. For a while now, my game looks it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> the Cloud Fester is finished. Well, at least for that game. <laughs> at least for that game, yeah, we still got more. Whichever caster is saying the most amount of Who's, um, of who's NCX playing? It had to be you, man. I mean, uh, it'll be ultitasking. <laughs> ultitasking, oh, yeah, probably. I believe so. Brain. Yeah, Dragoon's pretty good against uh, Argon. Who's, who's going to stick around for Hawk versus yeah. G5? More units kill less units. Well, yeah. Hawk's going to bend him sometimes. over a depends table and sometimes. spank his ass. That's true. That's depending on the units <laughs> and my mm, Seriously. Yeah. Like, seriously. And, like, the, like G5 Rolling probably knows, build. like, I mean, I one or two timing attack Arcon, builds that. But... Will not work against Hawk. <laughs> it's a bit, um. It, it, yeah, because you get the feeling that he's just on a. He's on a completely different level to a lot of the people in it, and it's just like, yeah. Or the probe that built them will give him MVP. G5 is A rank. Hawk is S rank. G5 is really A rank? Yeah, but. Or if he just said he is. Because those rankings are just made up by people, not like anyone verified in those. Uh, I'm pretty self confident that he's A rank. He was my coach last CPL season. <laughs> I thought that he's like us without any problems because G5 was a very strong player, right? He used to be a very strong player, I just don't think he's a, as strong in the current meta and he's relying on like some particular. Like, I think he only plays like. Yeah, one or we'll two right builds and some matchups, so his style is like fairly easily countered by people if they know him. I think. Is um okay. Is G five the highest ranked player on that team then? Huh? Uh, well, not necessarily. He might just be the highest ranked that they put out that week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, for example, one week Wolfie might not go out and Exit might be playing in Wolfie's place or something. Yeah, and I'm not playing Quick 2, for example. Yeah. Hey, has anyone noticed that Discord keeps chopping off stopping your stream when it's running? Mm, what? I've noticed I've been... I've... Like when I've been streaming in Discord, all of a sudden it'll just it'll just stop streaming, and I have to re-click to basically stream the video. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. I never have this issue, so I don't know. Uh, oh, there's no maybe time. you have some hotkey binded to turn off the stream. I don't think so. But there is an update. Where, so I'll just go and install that, so it makes a difference. Okay. <laughs> 
Lana only uploaded three plays. <laughs> this is getting better every minute. <laughs> So, like, the commentators were commentating with the knowledge that Lala won the second game because they only saw three plays. So, at the end, they were still sure that Lala is gonna win. Yeah, that was six. <laughs> oh, man. This game was weird as fuck. I don't even know what to say about it. I think the, the, the amount of luck you have to to have <laughs> to pull this off. Is... Must be nice to play Protoss, man. Like, seriously. Fuck. Well, I do keep. I do keep saying they can do whatever the fuck they like and get away with it. Like it's even crazy that you can play, say, for example, Observerless against Pro against Terran as Protoss and just make a cannon for detection, and yeah, you can still win doing that's it. trolling. Yeah, yeah but you, you can... can still win doing. I'm, I'm not saying like it's not trolling. Of course, it's trolling, mm -hmm. but it's crazy that this race can win by playing like this kind of crazy style. You know, mm -hmm. that's what Lana does in PVT. He'll, he'll just go three Nexus before Robo, and they're just like, yeah, I don't care about Martins because I'm just gonna walk over stuff because I'm just going to keep pumping units. Meh. Okay, I'll play one quick ladder game, I guess. Waiting for this. Go, go, go. Stream on Discord. S-rank streaming. Everyone, everyone goes to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Casual S rank gaming. Wolfie is my friend. I like watching him play, even if he's not S rank. Indeed. I'm B right now. B. <laughs> what? <laughs> In what world are you B rank? In really? this one. Yeah. No. Is yeah. it because he's not played enough yeah. games to get the higher rank, Joe? Yeah. He's played seven games. See what Elo he is when he's played 20, 30 games. Yeah, it's when he goes and gets, basically when you get actual B rank players go, you're such a, such a smurf, such a smurf. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the situation is fucked up overall, because for example, if I didn't use VPN and I'm already like at 2000 plus MMR, it's getting hard to find a match. Like, look, even now I'm having troubles already. Right, it's yeah. Well, it's yeah. It's about yeah. I suppose um, I have to keep queuing and requeuing, for example. But yeah, I suppose like once you get like D and above, I suppose there's more there's more people to be matched against. Yeah, so I I understand those people who make new accounts just to play some games, but. I don't want to do that. Like, this ladder experience is terrible as it is for me. That's why I don't play ladder that much. Every season I'm, I just only try to get S on one account and then I'm done with laddering, usually. Yeah, I don't enjoy ladder experience at all, really. So I mean, I it's it. not that bad. I mean, I would play ladder if the experience was fine. But if I have to wait, like, six minutes or five minutes for per opponent, then... No thanks. Okay. Z. Wolfie the C. Like clubbing a baby fursuit. Probably. Okay, so we have, what? Four minutes until the next game starts? Yeah. Yes, 
definitely get a drink. Oh, once there goes Mr. Snibbles going off the wall. Mr. Snibbles? What? <laughs> are you watching? Are you watching oh? Mr. Snibbles? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, can you link raging. me to this guy? I've no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> he's raging so hard that he's not even playing his ladder games that he queues into. Can you, you um, link me this guy? I don't. I haven't seen yeah. him before. Um, if you think, uh, Sean, if you think I'm old and get grumpy, <laughs> this this guy takes it to a whole other planet which I can't even go to, man. Please link me this guy's stream or whatever. Gaming one <laughs> chat. <laughs> I think he's a. I think he's an. I think he's an SC two player. But I. Uh, what's he doing here? He just rages. That's it. I think he gets stoned as well. Is he literally going? Is he literally going off the way. planet? And and also this is where you Mine might find vicious as well. Is he in the chat? Oh, you can't play competitive. Mate, why is this stream oh. called A rank queuing F rank play? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what someone, do you think? Like this, this is Can what, someone this is explain? What uh, He's a cabbage. Huh? <laughs> Actual cabbage. <laughs> Theoretically, hypothetically, he's A rank. Yeah. Conceptually, A rank. Yeah. On conceptually, D know. rank, it's fine. I don't fucking know. I didn't even say it. I didn't even say it was. I was saying. Oh no. That's a theory. That's a theory. He is, he is literally exploding. And again, we've had evidence to back up that theory as well. He can't even get his green screen sorted out. Must have him for fucking once. For doing the exact same thing. So like, it's not. It, it's not like I don't know. I just like, I don't know. Like, oh, brick. I was like, no, no, no. It's not. It's not just that. It's not just undue paranoia. For once. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go back, drink. Back screen. What is that? One but exercise and extreme measures are Defcon 2 at the moment. Um, Fortunately, we've heard messages on our UHF receiver. Sky King has been said a few times. So, we've had to go to Black Screen. Like, if. Um, no, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I mean, I think. He is a genuine F rank player. He's a joke. Genuine. I was going to say if you turn on the news. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Nothing's happened. I fucking know. So, when we have conversations about, say, where I'm at and where he's at, there is a definite gap between the it's two. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Yeah, man. It's like, I'm, I'm you, less than 800 MMA. When your shit's together, you're definitely a solid E rank. I think this Zerg is trying to Zerg an all in Wolfix. He doesn't have gas, so. Yeah. Go ahead to be my guest. So basically, you're just gonna basically butcher him shortly then? Mmm, yeah, prob. <laughs> your vision was a banger. Actually, wasn't. It wasn't very good. There was. What the fuck? There's no games going on, and it's just molding. Two something, maybe. About it. Everyone else is doing the virtual. Who did we have one? It was like Albania and someone else. Is he for Albania or me? All right, guys, we went, we one got this figured countries. out. It looks like somebody, Our not countries. so Lana's hot, say names Lana's hot, but some <laughs> inconspicuous, not playing for my team person, definitely submitted right. the wrong replays. <laughs> So Whoops. we went and we got the right one, and we're gonna show you. GG. Like, Wrecked. Just, uh, so that was actually Pong. Yeah, that, that was actually Clumped. Fonger yeah, that was actually Proton. Yeah. We made it before the next game. My yeah, yeah, I made it. Clumped, bent over a table, yeah, and threw it. That's probably the most annoying part. Quite a we won't know who won that series. Because they just randomly sent us two replays. I'm actually kind of upset about that. End of the show, we go back to number two. Oh, no, Mr. Snibbles has stopped. Yeah, honestly. What is this transition he's using? Have you seen him stream before, right? 
but uh, I I will I will say during the draft I tried to draft Ponger. I didn't I ever see this guy before, like this Mr. Snivels. Uh, he's he's quite no, he, he's, he's quite recent, there, but um, we'll it's just Terran hatred on a level that I've never seen before. Terran, he's uh, what's there? What race? Uh, he's, he's, he, he basically plays Terran. So he hates Terran, but he plays Terran. No, he just. Like, when he loses and stuff, he just goes on these huge, unhinged rants. Um, and people offer him advice and stuff in chat, he just basically just... ban them? One doesn't ban them, he just sort of goes off on a big rant saying he's doing X and he's doing Y, and he's like, well, you're not. <laughs> so we just kind of... Yeah, some of us just sort of sit here and just, it's quite cathartic because um, when you're having a bad day and you think you're what? rubbish, then... Okay, I'm back. Wait, 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 guys. Hmm? I just assumed that you just type out Lana. The Lana sent the fucking wrong replays. Yeah. So those were in the games versus men. Are you kidding me? That's what I, th that's what I questioned what I said, Zonga. Uh, no, Ponga, because that was his practice games versus Fonga in the week. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, dude? That's a, that's a massive cluster. Because <laughs> what the fuck is happening, Holy shit, man, that's so fucked yeah. up. Um, and Memna, I'm not sending this out, I'm keeping it on. Um, it's a set figure, so, I mean, I don't know. Where's that to fucking scuff? That shit's all out. Uh, so I guess we know the reasons, right? Because he sent the two replays, he mis was mistaken, so... Now he... Oh, surely, you would, surely you would quickly fire them up just to check and make sure that these are the couple of days before you go live, right? Everyone's Land is hot. Yeah, sorry, can you repeat? Oh, no, I said surely you would check the replays prior to oh, no, going live, right? <laughs> I mean... Because people might yeah, no, like no, after no, that, I would. Land because without an experience, I would assume land, that people are really... In the past, Lana because about the thing is, if you win, you want to... Game. you want your game casted. Yeah, yeah. If you want to watch it, so <laughs> to be fair, you people, would they uploaded the right replay. Yeah, so people are less uh, expected, like to make mistakes. I would have thought somebody would, would have twigged when it said uh, it said Ponga in the player. I actually like the three guys. <laughs> Here we go. Man, I don't know. I, have, I mean, people use strange nicknames, so it wouldn't surprise me well, for a player to use any nickname, really. But yeah, well, uh, well, non Fonga when he's playing, well, when he's playing Terran, he plays. He's called non Fonga, and when he's playing, because he plays all three occasionally. He, if, if he's playing Protoss, he'll be Ponga, and if he's playing Zer. He'll he's be Zonga. Memnon can't leave his <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Way too bad. Okay. Yeah. Essentially. That's, how he, he, uh, that's how he names his... That's how he names his... um. for him to keep his army alive against... Yeah. Uh, ...much ideas. higher. Mm-hmm. Memnon has opted into a second gateway. I'm glad there's some because I well, won't well, watch another PvP and then... That's pretty normal though, if you're gonna get one gateway... It's so boring. Man, I watched... Use this PvP because it wasn't even a series. So it's like beyond fucking acceptance level I have for this matchup. <laughs> and, and the so second the game was right? such a shit show oh, no. that. Oh, man, no, I'm sorry, Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, no, no, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you have to be special to fall for that on the Red Brothers. I don't know. <laughs> Second of all, unlike, I'm unlike other teams. I'm sorry, that's true. I'm calling <laughs> everybody my boy. Well, Mabnam is actually my boy. Well, Snowstorm. It's just all it's just all about the delivery. So uh uh you know uh obviously uh Wolfex is you know accent and stuff, it just it's just like it just makes the statement just sound so deadpan. 
Yeah. Wolfie means it as well. <laughs> yeah, like, I wouldn't lie about yeah. it. Yeah, he yeah, says like, it how it is. That's why it's so funny. tell by his voice that he, that he really genuinely means it, and that just makes it funnier. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. He's just that again. Why don't you kill the gates? Kill the gates. Oh my god, kill the damn gates. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the funny part is he like for three he three times tried to block the entrance from this path, and he scouted around before and he saw this building, this mineral patch and so on. Wait, so like I have no idea how. What just happened? Why didn't he concave the ramp here? Oh, I've seen. I, um, I, yeah, I saw this game stream live. If he concaves yeah, the ramp, it's easy. Yeah, you're not, um, you're not um, none of you are gonna like this, by the way. You don't like PvP, because it's just, it, it just, it looks so ridiculous. Oh, purple missed a lot of shots walking down the ramp there. Effectively. Like, like, Shiba, listen, if, if Lana just concaved that ramp a little bit better, like, he can't even come down the ramp to the Reaver's out. Yeah. But, Purple should have a better trade there. When he moved down the ramp, he went to the minerals, then mm -hmm. st stood there two seconds and he didn't even take a shot. And yeah, and he didn't even break it, but he had more dragoons. Okay, I guess I guess Memnon's gonna just relax. He's gonna get the shuttle out. Maybe he's just waiting for the shuttle. But this is wasted minerals now. The longer he waits, the more, the more difficult this continuum becomes to break out of. Yeah, but the moment you... Put the reaver down the ramp. He's not cancelling the cannons. Look at his positioning here. No. Nope. Well, before the there was only two dragoons, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now he can't. Now he can't without the show. I do like this uh, this um, pylon at uh, three o'clock for Lana, just to scout if that reaver does come across the map. It's a really good move that a lot of players skip out on. Is just that scouting pylon. It's 100 minerals to basically possibly save your entire main base. Beautiful shot. Good reaver, reaver oh. shot. Holy crap! That was big. Might get a second one. He's gonna hit the cannon. That cannon falls. He's gotta be really careful with this reaver though. It is on the low ground at that Oof. point in the ramp. Very good move by Memnon there. Yeah, Memnon's getting some really good trades here. Memnon has actually just in general shown better. If he's pulling micro, all dragoons there with the cannons, you can also just counter drop. Because Brown won't have <laughs> much stuff at home. Uh, he's building a fucking yeah, scale. Is this what PvP looks like? <laughs> uh, no, no, it isn't. Uh, not real PvP wait, anyway. Wait a wait a minute, no. guys, 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 guys. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, code red. We've got a scout. That's actually I don't hate it. If you can, no, uh, it's the off right that You could just actually. also put Chris the Michael shield Memnon. battery at the ramp to recharge the reaver or shuttle. Um, like a plank. Oh, but the shots are good. For surround on the uh, goons. Oh, no, oh why do we pick up goons? Of... <laughs> oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's still gonna win this trade. He lost the shuttle with a reaver in it though, so. It was no, two, two goons in mm. Okay, Memnon, you need to really be careful here. We have a tryharder. We made a scout to kill the shuttle, well, but we suicided that. our army to kill the shuttle. Okay, now you can defend Why? this reaver and finish off these cannons. But You're far yeah. ahead lost mm. me. Now, I, don't think, I think the contain's gonna re, yeah. re go up. Yeah, refresh it. Re so refresh it. Oh, yeah, it'll right. up there. Oh, the, oh. the shots up the ramp connect. Oh, yeah. He does lose the reaver. Sometimes you can get caught in a longer right, to, the, to, to refresh damage, it. All right. well, the shuttle's already Oops, gone. Actually, it looks, it looks it looks good for, <laughs> for purple. purple. That, that's what it's four gateways behind. Yeah, it does look good for purple because I yeah, just crazy. traded off like he's, he's up on yeah, units of time sniper gas shuttle or stargate and scout. And we on purple side have the robotics and the support bay. Yeah, what's crazy is that he made the scout to kill the shuttle, but then he suicided his army to kill the shuttle. It's gonna so now, the no, oh, this is ridiculous. Here comes the scout! No oh. But what's the reaver doing? Yeah, we need this reaver to be it, part of the fight. He's not shooting, he's just the now fighting with three dragoons only. He needs to fight with the reaver and get as much damage as he can with it. Focus the zealot. Right. And now he's targeting the zealot with goons. the reaver. Nice oh! Shot it's a good well. shot. He's gonna, he's gonna trade out. Yeah, but, but the reaver uh, dies for... I don't know, if he that. stops the reaver production now and goes into the four gate dragoon and then takes his natural, maybe he's in a good spot. But Memnon has like a thousand yeah, moons. On he's making a shuttle. Yeah, he's just using this as a. He's missing macro cycles. So they well, now he's queuing up units. For that. He has yeah, but to me, he though, didn't pit the, uh, the next stone. Nope. The, the it's 400 missing. Where'd it go? Where'd that scout go? 
I need Still no it. shuttle speed. Has he seen the scout? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he noticed it, but the scout did fly over his natural now, for just a second. Observer. Yeah. So that's really odd. You'd think you would definitely respond by getting the shuttle speed at that, or that spot. But... I think it flew in just as he was looking away because it flew in while the battle was happening in the natural and it was kind of like right over the robo. Yeah, I don't know if he noticed it, but it definitely flew into his vision earlier. And it flew he just into saw it. Yeah, he Round just saw still no robo. At yeah. the natural of Lana. Yeah, now we should definitely know. I don't see. I think it more he's like the hell. Yeah, no robot. A scout. Oh. One fix. I mean, it's three hundred. Uh, what? Where, no, is it? Three hundred one fifty now, or is it? Oh wait, no, no. Brown <laughs> does have a robot. Sorry, he has um ups. Two hundred. Two hundred. Is it two hundred? No, 200? it's like. Yeah. It's like. But he doesn't have support. Two seventy five, one seventy five. I think. I gotta look it up. Are you talking about for the upgrade? No, the scout. I'm no, for the oh, scout. Oh, for a scout. Yeah, I don't know. I think wait, does he have one seventy five? Wait, like crazy. He doesn't have ups. Who doesn't have ups even? Hold on, I'm looking at Wikipedia now. Holy shit, does he have ups? Alright. He's dying. 125 says cookie. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. I thought maybe he had ups. Now he's making the robotics. It's main base. Alright, there's a lot of goons going across here. It's 275, 125. So. Alright, cookie wins. It's 9 versus 8 goons. But if he still has well, the scout and more, speed as 10 more probes, really the army supply should be way more ahead for purple game. now. Mm. It's gonna be really Especially easy going to against those shuttles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Lana dropping a pylon in the middle. Yeah. He's just a scouting pylon. I like it. It's actually a good decision. Yeah. The one at uh, 6 o'clock as well. He's got a lot of good scouting it's information. Like for almost where shuttle might be 15 20 from. supply ahead in army. He's got way right. more army, yeah. Memnon does. Yeah. I'm, I'm and not quite sure I want Brown to take Brown is going in the second it looks like. expo, so... Yeah, the one thing oh, that Purple right is not in. making pressure with that they army lead. Now, but, uh, he will Lana be behind in some minutes. The entire time, so mm -hmm. up about eight oh no. No! <laughs> oh, that's brutal. No, my boy. Scout's gonna be... Uh, just oh, lost job once again. Playing kind of blind to that ape. Unemployed okay, scout shuttle? can't kill shuttles. Yeah. It died. It just died. The shuttle died too? The shuttle, yeah, died with both Reavers in it. Oh no, I missed that. Oh. Yeah. That's brutal. Well, I was Memo. crying. Wait, I'll the shuttle with both Reavers died. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. The, the, the scout. The scout will do whatever it does. It, it's a scout. It'll survive. <laughs> oh, there it is. I thought the scout died too. Okay. No, the, the scarab carrier carrier died carrying scarab two scarab carrier. carriers. <laughs> scarab carrier carrier. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, it carries um, a scarab carrier. What else does yeah, it do? Yeah, no, no, I like it. <laughs> so Lana's up to three bases doing? now. Lana has a higher probe count. Um, they pink Lana around. Still has a bunch of gateways. I don't. I don't see how Memnon comes back into this game, especially. Right on second Stargate, more scouts. <laughs> yeah, yeah you could lose the game that way. Of course, here D webs. That's a great way to win. We're going up to eight gateways for Memnon. Eight gates, gates, and one robo. He's in grave. A lot of production. Interesting. <laughs> I'm posing grave. I don't know if yeah. he can afford that, technically. Especially with how mined out the main is. Posing. Yeah, no, the mains are going to mine out around 16, 17 minutes in PvP. That's usually when you'd expect it, so... Well, guys, you enjoy your day at the zoo? Income. He's got to take a third if he wants to... I mean, even two base income, you can't afford all of that, but... He's with some switching to Zealot, though. He's, I think he's going Citadel. I think he's going to switch to Raw Zealot Macro. Cause Contained he's got him on Eclipse, isn't it? And try isn't to just win on a unit. Terror, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. The There's diversity. some hidden there. Yeah, I think he's okay, going to win like on that. unit diversity. Uh, it is, yeah, I kind of like it, too. I think it's a good play here. He might have, like, a, a window, like, a gap before the macro kicks off for Lana. He just needs to get an yeah. observer over there. Uh, he has one at the net, mm -hmm. but he needs to get it into the main just to kind of confirm the unit situation. Well, and uh, Lana skipped Reavers entirely, too. It went straight to Storm, so that's a really good uh, response to that. The Zealots getting on top of the, the opponent's the Zealots and Dragoons makes the Storms not quite as effective. Was well, it if humans Reavers are being fascinated with monkeys? Apart, so. Close yep, legs are being upgraded. Gonna lose one of the Psy Templars for free, though. That's Oops. rough. I have oh. no idea where that was going, Lana. Then why don't we like PvP? He's just going for a walk. <laughs> PvP's not normal. Army. Yeah, but... Come on, monkeys. Scout! Oh, Lana might no, catch half of them on this guy. Going to the zoo. Saw me not going to Let's see go. it because action, he baby. didn't see it ever, and Some he still went first. But does have one Nexus. really low. On, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's 
And we do have it's a show crazy. Out with the I see this yeah, often, just this three tag push time. after the expo. One of the oh, but totally blinded. The, the Protoss is oh. he's not able First to do anything storm against. Oh, storm is massive. beautiful storm! Is storm. Awesome. Huge. Incredible storm. Being dropped, what is he doing? In the fight. Two dragons coming forward to try and pick off those reavers. Shuttle's taking some damage, but does get pulled back and saved. The reavers are going to be oh. all the difference in this battle. I think Memnon's going to take it. Yeah, those oh, storms Jason. were great to start, but he just couldn't quite keep up with it. And that misrallied yeah. uh, Gateway, losing more free units. He's got to be really careful about how he chooses this engage. Wolfie, did you tell Rez yeah, about how available, much yeah, he prepared for the game? No. <laughs> storms of Why would I? Almost kills it. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's why would I, I want to. Yeah, no, that was a really good start to engage, but. I mean, I don't want to show off or anything yeah, like that. Mm. We need to see Memnon press the attack here, though. I was just curious uh, yeah, if he knew. Yeah, he's growing. Um, anything. Really. Okay, where is this Goliath? I, I think this is, this is incorrect. Up. He's dropping Reavers in front of the Dragoons as well. Yeah, the, uh, those Dragoons are really exposed. From... Oh, yeah, there's really man, come around. Around. Oh, he I can't believe all this protest is a shuttle and two to take for yeah. 10 minutes. Ah, uh, well, the Zealots are doing work. Zealots it's never too late with Protoss units. The thing is, he didn't keep the Reavers yeah. alive, so he can't pressure the natural like he was supposed to do here. So, I don't know. Uh, I think oh, cleaning up High Templar. Yeah, I think as long as Lana pulls back and, and re-rallies with the next wave of, of troops comes up the gateways, I think Lana holds here, and then... Uh, oh, but he doesn't... Does he know about this third base? Looks like he does. If he goes oh, up and cancels silence. the third base, there's four cannons up here, but no units. There's five. There's one behind the minerals, too. Is there one behind the minerals? There's, oh, yeah, there is. This is not a good oh. attack. This oh. is not a good attack at all. Yeah, That's, that might be a throw. And he's gonna get flanked. Yeah, yeah he tried to get flank. in here just to avoid the flank, and then it just didn't work because there were so many cannons. Yeah, right. he's gonna lose this whole army here, and Lon is on a this higher income and a higher gateway count. Yeah, fourth base going on up here too. I think. I don't want to say that's game, but that's basically game. Lana now has plus one finish as well. No upgrades yet for Memnon at all. This is looking really bad for Memnon. Is there any? There's even a dragoon in the natural of Memnon right now, just pit poking away at probes. It actually gets a kill. <laughs> oh oh my lord! The... Probes are tasing him. Oh my god! He got another one. I'm just fascinated by this this dragoon. Okay, it's gonna get cleaned up finally. Uh, we don't have Apes even not a learning. Away. And like, could we micro maybe? Uh, maybe Memnon holds with here. With one two shots, he could just unload a big no observers, no load of army at the 11 o'clock, uh, like 12, 14 here. units, and then backstep or something. And that's yeah, he GG. GG. <laughs> He's just Lana wasting one shuttle after the other to drop two zealots. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for my boy. He will but... clean this up, but. It was a great game. Did we? No, we didn't kill the second Nexus, but still, it's we are on three base. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining us. Have a good Mother's Day. Just need to mark road with the upgrades. This is free. All right. How's your game going, Wolfie? All right. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, no third series, Dada. They didn't manage to sneak that many replays to us, not without paying us. Dada, if that comes true, I'm gonna personally make sure you're banned from the Discord for cursing us. I mean, unless he has like fucking. Alright, guys, the real secret is you want your replay. There. You want to put random replays in across the cache, you gotta pay. It's going okay. Oh, we don't mind third guess. Them yeah. Alright. It is Memnon. Something on your mind? He could go Arbiter from this. Three base Protoss versus three base Terra, that's not bad. Right? Oh. Mm, he might be trying to kill us. Yeah. Yeah. Sure he will go for ARP. I didn't see the start of the game. Did we take. Did we do any damage to him? He looks not too yeah. strong. Hello. Okay. 
His fourth base is like three minutes too late, so. Or maybe even four minutes too late, so. Seems it's like sad we did that we didn't get the damage. second Nexus. Mm hmm. Oh, so you contained him and then killed the natural but didn't get the other 12 o'clock? But still, it was three base against two then, this situation. This is a good start. Eight fag or... Upgrade's a little bit slower, I think. Yeah, but it's, but, uh, it's fine. Yeah. But we just quickly max out, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Just go more unit heavy. Nice. Good, good, good. Hey, is he really trying to attack now? He won't. He's just posturing. No, he's, he's just posturing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get out of here. Oh get out of here. He's pulled. He's pulled <coughs> cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is satisfying win. When they are, they realize they lost so much that they are shameful and need to disconnect. Uh, on a turn, did that to me earlier today, or about an hour ago. Those are the sweetest victories. Even you might don't think of it as like, oh, I lost out on my win. Think of it as like, fuck this guy, he deserves it. Like, yeah, the guy who just tilted out of his boots, rage quit. Yeah, it's a satisfactory win. Oh, I can't lose. We play protest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, there was there's been some comments made in recent weeks about how most people who are streaming and, and stuff in this game and one thing like Protoss are basically absent. Sorry, say again. I say there's somebody made a comment about most of the people streaming in this game yeah. in one bit are either Zerg or Terran. Oh, look, there's not many uh, Protoss streamers. No. Why do you think that is? Or why do they think that is? I don't know. It, it, it was just somebody made an amusing. I think it was more of an amusing, just sort of like joke. Like an observation. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I practically live here anyway, so. <laughs> oh, hovering over dragon. Oh. I mean, who's the Joshua? I don't know, he was messaging earlier. I don't know who this guy is. It rings a bell, I can't remember. Oh, it's Nomad. Oh, no. oh, that's why. The name was familiar to me and I couldn't think of who it was. He messaged me earlier and I was like, what the fuck is this? Still PvP, I see. Ooh. On the stream. Yeah, fuck. I don't want to watch it at the moment either, it's kind of boring. PvP is just... Even like high level PvP is still like so rock, paper, scissory, and yeah. Like, at least I enjoy watching ZVZ. But yeah, ZVZ not so much interesting. I don't know, it's the lack of playstyles that is really boring in PvP. Because on serious level, you pretty much have to go Good River, and there is no other choice mm -hmm. if you are being serious. There are some gimmicks with uh, fast expansion cannons and storms, but like, uh, people don't play it that often, and I don't think it works that often. Play your game. You go game. Mm. Okay. Random. Great. Doesn't matter. I know this account name. This is this guy is stupid. But <laughs> 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 it's a long time ago because I don't meet such guys on VPN. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that guy also. <laughs> it's, there's some guys on the ladder everyone knows. <laughs> Hello, Kiko. Hey, Kiko. Yo. Hey. What's up, buddy? Oh, just was in a 56 minute. P versus P. Oh, shit. Sure. How'd it go? I won. Nice, nice. Got Proto Simba, Carrier Simba. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just I didn't realise it, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a Terran level at the moment. We got one. Yeah, most there's there's mostly Terran players in here now. Yeah, we're we're like the user. Yeah, I think overwhelmed. I let Panda join just to like increase the Ozods. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Forte did did play Terran in ACPL. Mm. One season. Yeah, still makes you a Terran player, ish. <laughs> Not really. Terran when? I could go back, but I'd have to put a lot of effort into it. You love it, really. It's fun. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. The buildings look cool. <laughs> it's a good reason to play a race. The okay. Cool. <laughs> well, just that's just that's just my observation. Oh, I think Zerg has the coolest looking buildings. Yeah, I'm I'm quite happy playing playing Zerg at the moment generally. I think Zerg suits you actually. So there's some things you need to sharpen up, obviously, but I think it does suit you better than pros. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, when you uh, when you it feels to me like when you lose, you know why you've lost because it's it's it flips very quickly. Whereas um, I think when I was playing P, I wouldn't quite understand what why I'd gone and lost. Kind of thing. Yeah. I think your game sense has developed. You're just overall better now. I think playing Zerg has taught you a lot of things that you were never going to learn. Both Nexus it is, guys. Games, guys I think. Hmm? I think it's both Nexus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's probably yeah. both Nexus. Hey, well, actually, Spider. that guy always does oh, some safe to Nexus. Just make SEV non-stop. Yep. Is you... that the big build? He might cut anyway. He might cut probes to make zealots. So he's cutting now already. We don't uh, even do need. We, we don't even need to attack him. Look, he's cutting already. We don't even need do, to attack do him. Do versus. Oh, is it easy? Oh, hmm? uh, in the non-stream, doodle doodle mm. versus. Uh, Izu. Izu is how he pronounces it. Yes. Well, Fee, you agree with that theory? If he's cutting and making shit, we don't even need to worry about attacking, right? He's doing safe version. Yeah. He's doing the bait build. Oh, is that that quark, quark, quark bait build thing? Yeah, you build like two gateways immediately after the Nexus, and then you cut to make units to kill Terran's push and then kill him. You can call it the bait build if you want, but it's just a re it's just a safe twelve nexus. But yeah, it's not good because if you cut that much, like the the Terran just makes non-stop SCVs and actually ends up ahead on workers, even though his uh, command center is so much later. Which isn't the idea of twelve nexus is supposed to put you ahead in this in probes, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. But because he's cutting so much, he actually doesn't end up ahead as much as he should be. And now we see <laughs> There's a lot on map, so we get some Yeah, probes. here we will set a couple. Wow. This was Freebies. four probes mining at the natural. <laughs> Freebies. <laughs> this kind of stuff makes vultures look broken, like when somebody's good with mules, they can make mules look broken. Oh, one more probe. Yeah, I'm going. Uh. He too would die, he too would die, I don't get it. I want to get out. <laughs> he gets well, that, out. That's, that's, out that, that's, that, that's the beautiful down. thing about StarCraft, <laughs> is there's so much broken shit that you can exploit, but there's a huge skill ceiling that you need to learn yeah. to exploit it. He's, he's going to be unhappy that that got out. Well, yeah, yeah, losing the first vulture is actually like one of the worst things for Terran. Like, even if you get two probes with it, you're not happy if the vulture dies. Or you shouldn't be happy if the vulture dies because it's not worth it. Because you lose the first three mines, right? You, well, yeah. This and... scenario is actually okay. Oh, God. Careful, Wolfie. We'll prepare. No, no, okay. Oh, more donations. Why not? 
I guess we don't care about the bunker dome. Feels a little bit risky. Ass is held. Held. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, Wolfie, well, that's so calculated, man. I thought you have to repair the bunker at least a tiny bit. Uh, to be fair, he did. He tickled it. You will abuse now if you don't. Oh. This is risky, though. One more low HP, yeah. Oh my god, so yeah. fun. <laughs> Who is this guy? Jesus Who is this guy? Christ. Who is this guy? No, he, what the so fuck? fucking bad, get out of my game. What the <laughs> fuck <laughs> was <laughs> that <laughs> shit, man? What the fuck am I looking at, dude? <laughs> the fuck is... How are these people A rank and shit? I don't understand. Yeah, but that's the difference between... I mean, they run the right. They run the 12 <laughs> fucking nations and. He's playing random, you know? You already have an advantage for like free. Fucking hell, man. But if he's like A rank, there's a big difference between A rank and an S rank player, isn't there? So, yeah. He was B rank, actually. Yeah, he, rank, rank, he, but he was like 1980, though, right? He's basically A rank. Like, unless, like, <laughs> just barely not A, right? 1980? Mm, I, I don't remember. We can... Okay, we yeah, 19 can. something. I don't even remember the new... 1980. He was 1980, yeah. I promise you. He was 1980. The, yeah, it's mm -hmm. one of the guys playing random all the time and hit sometimes A rank and then just drop to B rank again. <laughs> At the same time. Now he's 1969 because he lost 11 points. Mm hmm. Oh my god, you're gonna, so, he's gonna get dumpstered again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now it's like, if if he doesn't leave, he's not Terran, so for sure this. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be like, 4 Easy. pool, 12 Easy. max, or double proxy gate. No. <laughs> it's so true though, isn't it? Like, yeah, we're not even dreaming really at this point, like, it's fucking true. It's just... It's just a statement about he's going to get dumpstered even before the game started. <laughs> oh my god. What well, the last game is an indication of anything. What the fuck is this map? Even, uh, what was it? Uh, Vermeer? Uh, no, Vermeer, yeah, it's not Vermeer. No, it'd be vertical mining if it was Vermeer. You guys are trolling. It's not Vermeer. Left side would be vertical mining patch. So what the fuck is it? So polypoid. it's polypoid, polypoid or dream. fighting, but I don't think it's fighting, it's polypoid. polypoid. It no, no, Looking it's at this polypoid. terrain, it looks polypoid for me. I think it's polypoid. Polypoid. it's polypoid. It looks like polypoid, I think, yeah. It is poly, I think. Yeah, it cannot be fighting because fighting is banned on my list, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah, then it's polypoid. Because I, I wasn't sure if it was fighting or poly because of this top left, but it's uh, it's probably poly. Actually, because I have banned Fighting Spirit 2, I even didn't think, you know, for a moment that it can be Fighting Spirit, like... <laughs> but yeah, it, I, didn't, you know, I didn't know your bans, but yeah, if you got it banned, then it's definitely Polly. Yeah, we have to scout one CV sooner, I guess, on this map, because it's four priors. He's gonna be, um, he's gonna be Zerg. I hope so. I can't believe you guys thought it was Vermeer, though. We yeah, some up. people are probably still stoned. It, it can't be the mirror. Does it have a vertical <laughs> mining patch? Are you still high, Forte? Yeah, this is very I've been high all day. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. High five, Forte. <laughs> Living the dream, bro. Living the dream. I could tell that when I was when I was playing earlier, and basically you was you was giggling for about five minutes. I just packed my vape again. Of course, we get the last scout. Yep. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> and we, when, when, why not end scout here? Because fuck it, so that's why. <laughs> I don't know. Why like... makes? Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> oh, he's there. <laughs> bunker on the ramp wow, for this GG. <laughs> bunker on the ramp, and we literally can't lose. Okay, that sounds good. High ground. <laughs> 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 Unlucky. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, 
to Sugi. Fucking, <laughs> fucking proxy route. I'll just, <laughs> just get out of the fucking game. We don't even need to, The funny thing is, is that we don't even have to make a bunker or anything. There's, yeah, no, there's, no, there's, no, there's, there's no pressure on us now. Yeah, uh, but we didn't see what he's doing. Yeah, but it could be like a normal Rax. Just it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's pro it probably is. Did the, yeah, um, it, it, it's a normal Rax, but we don't know if he's expanding or two facking or something. Did the um the SCV needs to be micro to kill a marine, though, right? Oh yeah, no, no. The, the SCV has a, uh, no attack range, so you have to constantly be moving it and attacking, or it will not kill anything. Yeah. Is that why it was sort of like it was like? Uh, you, you like you like you stutter step to make yeah, it. Yeah, you were stutter stepping with between the attacks because it, ha it has no attack range. So you have yeah. to like really like bump bellies with the target you want to shoot, right? Helps that they got more health than marine as well. Yeah, yeah. You can you obviously you win the one v one, but if he micros and you don't micro back, then you're fucked. So yeah, marines are the worst. They they kill only drones and probes one v one. Yeah, but drones are soft and squishy. Yes, but they actually have some protection against vultures, like uh, free shot. It's a free shot from vulture, right? Because they have a one HP regeneration, whereas probes yeah. don't have the instant regeneration. So they have some situations they're a little bit tanky, but they are the worst worker mm. overall. Unless you're super tight with two vultures and it's TR24. Yeah, if you make the the fragmentation grenades uh, land at the same time, you can two Didn't shot. I, them. Did, I did see Love Snow did a build with. Um, uh, ZBT three we got three, oh. we got three vultures, and just basically we're just m murdering entire drone lines with with three Let's vultures. Get the vulture. Yeah, well, you got the vulture yeah. run by build, and then you've also got the vulture drop for your vulture run by speed or vulture drop. Pretty okay against so. The fuck is Doodle doing? This is just. Two base pros cannon with lots of reba. This is disgusting. Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh, forty-two supply block. I can't believe this guy is playing a TVT macro game now. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Will be a week. Yeah, it can be a surprise. It can be a stupid Goliath drop or something. They or raid S. Yes. He had two vultures, probably no drop. At least Goliath. No, <laughs> oh, he's playing real macro. Game. Look. Okay. And I have nothing for that. Mm. Except those two By the way, is there a chance he has core because those rates are late? Mm -hmm. The vultures kill, um. Oh, I see. And he was prepared for it. He was really prepared for it, yeah. But he has not so many workers. Yeah, we can abuse mines. I'm dead. You're not dead. Kill the one right for red HP, bottom left. Yeah, the top left. Uh, yeah, but this one, bottom left. Yes, cloak. No, I'll make an uh, eBay hidden. Hmm, this will be either very long grind or the straight up loss. Man, well, I guess that he should win from that position. Oh. <laughs> we don't know. You should fight. You should fight. eBay, Armory, Academy.
If we stack up and get the energy advantage, he has no scan. Yeah, he, he has no protection. <laughs> oh, look at this! Yeah, motherfucker. And there's another, too. He didn't even chase my crew after he cloaked. He could have killed our wraiths. He wants those STVs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any series. Where is this fucking Rave? That is low on energy. You can cloak. Yeah, we have more energy than him. Oh my. Energy wars. He's moving out. Oh, he had scan? See, that's why that guy is so um, almost to k <laughs> We need to hold the push now. <laughs> Actually, did he move out because the mines are still there? He moved about the uh, across the high ground. Uh -huh. To bait him into the mines. Clang. A click. Nice move. Wow, nice connect. Yeah. Ape move. <laughs> oh, nice, yeah, always nice, hits his one nice. to connect. Pop goes as each tank. This guy. You're making SCVs. Constant SCVs. Constant SCVs. Come on. We need to slowly grind our economy up again. Aye, aye, aye. <clears throat> we have some position over him, but no SCVs, so make sure these are yeah. always, always spinning SCVs. Added factories. Okay, pretty scary. Pretty dun, scary. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good voice line. Lots of factories. There's lots of factories. Uh, we the only way we can win here is positionally. He's gonna have more shit than us for sure. I think yeah. you just throw over. Did he make 30cc? We have the ability of Rafe to cause some harassment and slow him down a little bit, so maybe we can get something done here. This is a good time to slow down his economy a tiny bit. Christ. We have siege mode? Yeah, okay. And he, d he didn't play CC, so... He's trying to kill us, he went to 6th factory. Yep. He went 7, I think. The only th all we are winning, defending is the win condition yeah. right now. We need gas on the nature, oh, yeah. We need... We have high ground advantage, but it's still going to be challenging. Yeah, but we have... We have tanks, we still can get more vultures and mines. Uh, it's um, hard to push up the up high ground. For I'm, him. I'm concerned he's made another proxy starport or something and we'll make maybe even. But oh, wait, he wants to expand. <laughs> okay, so maybe he doesn't. He, he made so many factories though, surely he wants to attack. Keeps on walking into mm. Soon you may even want four SCVs on your natural gas because the concept makes it such bad mining. Wolfie, you might want four SCVs on your natural gas, for real. Oh, just send it to the gas, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 
behind the building, no? Uh, you should send guys or something correct there. He's, he's moving his army to 12 o'clock? Is he gonna like contain you out of 12 or something? Maybe. Like, I mean, he can do whatever he wants, pretty much. Mm. Yeah, he's moving his army over. I'm curious if he's making drop ships and he's gonna do some weird or if he's just trying to contain you out of the expansions. If he attacks now, he's a Discord sniper. Discord sniper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need barracks. Oh, then no way. I really hate this when I barracks dies. Like, hey, Wolfie, seriously, put four SUVs on your gas in your net. Man, relax. Come on, it's <laughs> yes. already. We didn't do it. But because I don't want to. Okay. Can I? Working. Yeah, I it's don't think working. you can drop there. He should maybe get one, two more drop around, and when he's moving out, like, better go into his main with a bigger drop. Or you secure a corner base. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, bring it on! SCB, gotta go, sir! What do you want? Go, sir! Yes, sir! Destination? I'm listening. Go ahead, HP. Destination? I'm listening. Buckle up! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! What the fuck? Everything died. Yeah, this is... That was not the best drop in my life. Idea. I think we needed the Vulture to start laying mines next to the thing. I mean, he's ahead, but we don't need to force us in such things. We, yeah. It's better to take like 12 o'clock also, prepare for this. He didn't wait. He just went with his army here and he <laughs> yeah. came back. I guess he was just checking for an expansion without even scanning, which is crazy if that's true. <laughs> okay, it looks like this is going to be a long game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. What if he can secure those two bases? I guess. Army. What is he doing with the army? Just checking around everywhere. But we yeah. we should uh, try to delay bottom left if he's already starting. Uh, we should secure our expansions because like if we don't take like three o'clock now, we will never take it probably. By the way, that guy should be maxed still now, like, what the fuck? It's 18 minutes, he had so many bases. But it's not bad when he's maxed out, because we are already maxed out soon, and he cannot build more than 200 supply. Is this fucking CC going? Or what? Where did I send Where it? Where is it? You uh... built it? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It kind of was there. By the way, is there a chance he's making raids or BCs? Yes, I guess. Yes. I don't think so. Ah, he, no. he is a big factor. He's probably taking the bottom left. For this also? Mm. Yeah, both now. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. 
Yeah, but it's okay, he's splitting so much army, so we can just focus on one corner, drop there and get the one for ourselves. Before he makes 30 turrets everywhere. Yeah, he's everywhere. spreading himself too thin. Yeah. We'll figure out which spot is weakest and crack it. Yeah, I really hate when guys do that. Like, I'm spread to thin, have more bases, and they just, like, 1A through... 2A, 3A through the middle. Okay, vessels, it's matrix. We catch his army there. Yeah. Now we can split north versus south. Fuck, he has good upgrades, so I cannot do that probably. You will break it, but... Vultures first, unload the rest of the tanks. Need to try. No, you will break it, but, but with a lot of wizards. Yeah, but we That's... need, to take, we need okay. to take a corner, otherwise we lose the game. Yeah, we can't let him play like a Protoss and take both corners. Yeah. Now we need to scan for his uh, dropships probably, if he is making. Uh, he had two vessels, so I don't think, but yeah, he has the money. So yeah, probably he can afford it. Oh, uh -huh, he is. Okay. He had four armories. Is that so four armories? He, will, he will have the star prots in the bottom left. Please. Holy shit, this guy had four armories, man. So we should make a shit ton of turrets at the 9 o'clock. I feel like we should have gone up to like 6 dropships and have a bigger unload for these expansions that aren't that well defended. Can you go mass race? It's probably more cost efficient, yeah. Uh, yeah, they did battle cruiser, but as long as there as long as there are no like let's say four Valkyries. Yeah, Valkyries. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> like this is droppable. Like yeah. No, I have no options. I have no options. You have a twelve o'clock. You have two. Ah, okay. Yeah, I two. I don't know where's the rest. But... Yeah. If we had like six chop chips here, we'd crush this so far. Yeah, we this low oh, ground shit. siege. No, snipe the tanks. Oh, this is already here. Hello. But it's only three. Do we have enough Goliath? Uh, I don't think so. We had like six or seven, I think. We have enough to ward them away okay. to buy time. Oh, uh, but there's some tank. Oh my god, I didn't this want to do like, that. This. Yeah, I'm doing the, this every single game a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> we still have the dropships there.
I'm gonna chop the glass on top of the PCs. Oh, 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 it took too long. It's such a cancer. It's okay. Oops. He's still there. Imagine that. Imagine fucking building your base like that. Start mining gases on top right as soon as possible. Yeah. We lost too much army there because we need something to protect top right, but I think another drop to bottom left would be really really nice because there might be star ports and like two important. Yeah that's that's frame. true. That's true. That would it would be oh nice to Oh my god. god. No no drop there. <laughs> <laughs> another one SCV on each guest top right. Where where are these star ports? And Jay made... on... I, you, we need to find because it seems like he's not making that much PC or. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say ignore the PC and kill the vessels. Mm. Wow, really? He did that. Okay, I hope you I can, can kill be. The gas, I think. Annoying enough. Uh... Yes. This is good enough. Now just stretch this multitasking. Yeah. He's having the lights, I think, at the bottom left. Right side. Right side, yes. Raid's dying. Raid's, Raid's. <laughs> One more on each gas top, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they're just running like apes, these Goliaths. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, taking the high ground, it, it's, it's nice. Oh, I could actually break it. Ah, uh, we siege there. <laughs> Fucked up. This part. It's okay. He lost those tanks for free anyway. And and he's going BCs, but he's trading BCs all the time, so yeah. he's not getting a big stack. And he's still this now is when they really more. get dangerous. But with like four or five BCs all the time, yeah, he's, he's just wasting so much resources. And the map is split 50-50 now, so it's in our favor. Were you still making upgrades? Yeah, I okay. just started them a moment ago. Okay, okay. Bring more reinforcements to the top right. If he counter attacks, it would be bad if we lose the bases. No, we're ahead in guests right now. We can maintain the game state. Macro, macro, macro. Oh. Wow. Oh, <laughs> but we're ahead in gas, we've denied this gas bottom left, it's really nice. Yeah, so... and we maybe get the 3 o'clock, so... <laughs> oh, sniping more BCs, the other BCs still red well, if on the If there's only one tank, this is dead base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Just, just walk inside. Yeah, but he freed... Macro, macro, yes.
Where are the f those fucking tanks shooting at? I don't know. <laughs> macro, macro, take reinforcements. Yeah, I don't know where to go, I have to scan some. Mm. Okay, he's there. Will he defend this? Probably. I think I'm winning right now. Yeah, you yeah, are. You are with You're you having are with gas right now. You are, but he had four battle cruisers there. Yeah, we just need to make more army. Consolidate army and go. Yeah. Oh. I, I would like put more army to the right side because there's the base which decide who is uh, getting more resources and our top right bases because the nine o'clock is out mined soon some some time. We will also mine gas for long. Yeah, okay, look, he's oh, there. Go there. The corner bases can't be taken so easy, so... The 3 o'clock will decide the game, this situation. The battle see, cruisers are coming. coming from 3 o'clock. Yeah. Focus. But I think that they will die. <laughs> yeah, he will leave the game soon. Uh, I hope so. Those battle cruisers will die until you leave. I feel like. <laughs> He's losing so much resources. Okay, uh, GG. <laughs> this is why it's hard to play high ranked players, because even when you get into crazy good spots, they can still claw their way back into long games like this. Game. <laughs> what a fucking terrible game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But you didn't lose. Fucking drain you your soul this. out. <laughs> In TVT, if a player gets 200, he can't produce more army, so if he's not making smart moves, taking map control, there's no advantage of reaching first the 200. I mean, he played correctly, like he... He's even heading grades. More or less. But I mean, this is throwing, but generally it's okay. On this if amount of activities. If he's doing throwing. this and he knows he has more army, he should like place some tanks and mines at the 12 and 3 o'clock. Uh, 12 and 9 to prevent you getting a third gas soon. If he delays this with his army lead, he can abuse his advantage. But, but who, he's, he he's, just he's, walked. To yeah, he's doing nothing. I mean, I would I would go race every time in this position. Yeah. And now you see, because we had the mineral only, we are even in supply because we had the third CC faster, I think. Oh my god, this was so terrible. Uh, this, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. It isn't even the bad anymore. Like at this point, even it's even game. Which is yeah. Fun. <laughs> How can I, I? I felt so lost. It's because we took so long to secure more gas that maybe you didn't feel so comfortable. And you yeah, see, like... he's still having like so much gas. Yeah. And now he's taking both corners. We could have denied this. Instead of dropping 6 o'clock, you could have dropped one corner before, like the top right, and deny this. Mm -hmm. Then you wouldn't have lost so much by taking this now. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I even have a bigger bank, like... Well... And he never made Valkyries also, those BCs. I think I, I don't know if he, if he even scanned about you going raids, I don't know. Well, I mean, he saw the first raids, he could go and Valkyries yeah. anytime. He never did it. Because this is actually fine, like, those tanks should be there and I'm never breaking this again. And turrets, of course, like, to control the race. Yeah, people just... Uh... Okay, the army see positioning in TVT late game and then they lose games. There's also no turrets. Yeah. They didn't kill it. Now another gas getting denied.
Mm -hmm. He secured like zero map control at the beginning when getting an advantage. Yeah. This is this is just stupid. He was just sitting in his bottom right corner, trying to max to 200, and then sit there and like being surprised. Oh, I can't build more than 200 units. What I'm doing now? And then he's starting to take the corners. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea, but he didn't execute it properly. Yeah, probably he's just thinking uh, what happens in the game the next two minutes, and then. He's not thinking further in the game. Like, for sure he should go raves instead of this man factories. Because when you have an advantage, you can control the game with raves, and it's pretty hard to win from yeah. that. Yeah, he can do this. He can even not make more vultures and not that much goliaths, and like. Placing mines everywhere, putting some turrets and tanks at the high grounds, and just taking control of the map. So it's hard for you. Every time you want an expansion, you need to trade more minerals. But, uh, mm. We know he's a 1900 random player, so no TVT expert. Also, his, his rates. <laughs> like, you had nothing. No armory, no eBay. And he didn't abuse it correct. He was just AFK sitting at the SCV line. It was okay, but he could do more like search for building armory eBay or the, your style prod and just camp the outpopping raids and stuff. Put more effort in the raid attack. Probably just see the Corsair or the anti uh, Corsair Scourge and then Hive Drill extension yeah. there, but most likely, see. yeah. Cannon's about to finish up, so we finally do have that Zealot move out, and this is the first time all game that uh, Izu's had to make payments. Doodle is playing Izu. Uh, yeah, I'm watching that. How did Izu lose the first game? Okay, good micro. Where the little Zealots Terra? To kill some of the drones. There's a lot of zealots, though. I don't know. If he controls with these zealots really well, he might be able to kill this third hatchery again. More zerglings are on the way, but they're really slow, and we are getting the zergling speed again. There was 100 Yasalot missing a minute ago, but I, I didn't catch that at the time. So the zealot moved yeah. Out, so. Zergling speed is thinking away. So it looks like we might see Muta play once again. It looks like uh, Why he's not does like the play. selecting the zealots to check the age point? Makes me mad. These zealots have never gotten to a good position, so they never got a good trade. Gonna run back to this mineral line, maybe tuck in behind here, but uh, we might be able to stop one. Okay, he does get both of them behind the mineral line, so he'll get okay trades on these last two zealots, but they're, one of them's already pretty weak. And easy was not even gonna go for it, he's just like, okay. I'm oh, the door's there. open. The door's the open. The door is open. Okay. Oh. Doodle does pull back just in time. Second zealot pops out just in time. He'll be fine. He won't die to the, the zerglings. More Zerglings were made as well, so Izu kind of overmade Zerglings there, which is a little bit of an unfortunate circumstance for him, but if he's going into the Muta tech, it's also... Oh, I told this is starting to stream. ...to make sure that um, uh, Izu, or excuse me, Doodle can't just counterattack the free. We do have the Stargate tech this time for Doodle at least, so as long as he scouts that the Muta tech is what the plan is, he should be in a better position this time. Yeah. Dance all day. The Stargate in the Spire finishing up right about the same time. Yeah, that's about the time that you want. Zerg Spire's pretty much on time, and, and Protoss' uh, Stargate's pretty much on time. Yeah. That's Corsair will hit the uh, main base basically nice. as the Scourge are getting ready to pop. So, good timing for yeah. one of our players. Both of them know their builds really well. Very clean. You love to see it. Yeah, those Zealots did get cleaned up finally at the top of the the uh, 3 o'clock position there. Or, excuse me, 12 o'clock position there. Second cannon is coming down. He knows there's a lot more Zerglings on the map because a lot of extras are made. So, just being extra safe, I do like that. And our first four Mutas and Scourge are on the way. Bit of a miss macro there somewhere along the line. Usually you'd want five mutas with that first two scourge, because five mutas are what it takes to one shot a probe. I don't know if that's a build mess up or, or if that's a, uh, a, a specific thing with the way he plays it that I'm just not aware of. But only popping yeah. four mutas at the, at the start. 
It looks like the larva popped right after he um, right after he started the production. So gotcha. he only had four, and then the other larva popped. He's like, oh, another Doodle one. Doodle looking. Using those first two scourge is pretty painful, but uh, he's not making a second Corsair, and he hasn't scouted the Muta tech yet. He doesn't know what's going on. Now he sees the Mutas, Whoa. but... Oh, he's going to lose his Corsair. Corsair will not get home. These Mutas can just no. really shot this Corsair all the way back to, to death town. We'll see if a second oh. Corsair gets started up immediately. I'm going to refresh to make sure it's up to date. Yeah, gears have not been casted yet, NCX, so that's what you're wondering about. All right, we're going to shoot the egg, the greatest enemy of our time. About to start taking damage on these probes. There's only four mutas here. Fifth one's about to join. Oh, like so many probes five, going down. Probe. Yep. Two probes go down so far. The third's going to go down. There's Okay, Corsair production has started again now. So we do have one Corsair out with a second on the way. Cannon being made to help this Corsair And he's out. taking swipes on this. Uh... Is the little Protoss oh, main race? Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, he's going to lose one of these Corsairs. You really oh. have to be careful with these Corsairs. You can't be re losing Corsairs like that. That's just... That's how you lose super quick. Yeah, Corsairs do not do good I think he switched to playing well. Terran or something for right. CPO. Because his prowess was too good or something uh, like that. Again. Mm -hmm. he's on one and he's not building it up. Yeah, his production's not consistent of, star um, of Corsairs. <laughs> they're gonna move out here. They'll slaughter some links and that's good and all, but... I mean, any kills you can get is good. If he moves across the map, across the map with these uh, zealots, if these mutas come back in, that's a, that's a really good option. Yeah. But the hydras are started up now, so the the age of the zealot counterattacks is pretty much about to die. Yeah, I mean, look at. Oh, the Wolfie Sim Hulk there. showed me some mutant micro. Yeah, that is a really good Sim City. Those zealots are gonna have a really hard time getting in. There. What do you mean? He showed me one technique for me on my crow, I didn't know. Uh, Which one? Um, when you're hold positioning, um, clicking as far away as possible behind them rather than clicking at their feet. And making sure your muters go a little bit deeper, not trying to shoot at max range, like you want to make sure you go a tiny bit deeper to guarantee the volley. Yeah, like you see that, yeah. yeah, I think that's actually... I heard about that. I think that was the one. I don't know if the Soma is not doing this all the time because. Yeah, I'm recalling someone telling me that um, there is some new technique using, used for fighting them on the map where you lose more mutas but you kill a lot of marines. Yeah, and so worth it because oh. um, you're taking more shots because you're flying a tiny bit deeper, but you're killing like two to three marines each volley. Oh. So you're reducing the damage faster, even though you start losing. Oh, we just lost so many units. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit! Oh my god, what is happening there? It's crazy. A nice maneuver from the. Yeah. yeah. The mutas aren't necessary anymore, so it's it's definitely yeah. not something you want to lose for free, but. Uh, that's not gonna make or break the game. up now. But it would've been nice to keep those meters around yeah, for maybe some of my Templar Snipes. Here we have one last round of drones. It's gonna get him just about to 40. He might do one more round of drones then, but... Usually about right, 42 you... drones is where you want to be at for that 60... Or that 6 hatch Hydra style play. He doesn't have the 6 hatch... Doodle needs 4 cannons and storms to not now, die so... here. And he's got that just right, about, so... Are gonna run so... the past sunk it in the mate, or in the natural? Oh, all the Hydras popped. There goes his opportunity. Too many overlords. See if he notices it. It is running around in vision, but that doesn't necessarily mean, yep, he does see it, so. Yeah. DT's gonna get pushed back, and the contain is getting beginning to start outside of the Protoss' base. It's a soft contain, there's no lurkers yet, but it's gonna be a while before Doodle can push out and do anything on the map. Dragoon range, it should be on the way. I'm assuming that's what that is, not plus one air weapons. Yeah. Oof, don't lose that Archon for free. Hydras are so oh. good against Archons. And with one of the first storms, he's gonna get a little bit of damage on one Hydra, so... Really good control so far by Izu. Gets a free Archon, fates out a storm. Each one of these storms is really precious at the moment. The, the longer it takes him to break out, the, the more Hydras build up outside of his natural and the more chance that it turns into a full on Lurker contain. Yeah. Wait, you didn't start you, Lurker tech. Oh, he Zerg started it now. If Zerg settles in, you're in a bad spot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Alright, well. We've got five. Okay, he's gonna stay in with Lur. The Templar. The highest of Templar. True. They you are building a they smoke. The one thing that does worry me is that first uh, game that we had High Templars out. The 
storms and control. I don't like this map, PVZ. I think it's not very yeah. Zerg friendly map. But... Not discounting him at all yet. He was already in a pretty winning position. Mm -hmm. He wasn't paying close attention because he already knew he had. I don't know. What map is this? Paradiso. I don't know this one. Uh, it's a remake of Dante's Peak, right, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. It's gonna be miles uh, ahead here. I mean, look at the look at the supply. Look how close that is. It's actually used on the shield butter two v two ladder right now. No, you should never also. be close in supply. It's actually a cool map. I mean, it's pretty standard, which makes it cool already, I guess. There is one cool sunken spot, like, you see this spot, like, in the natural third, like, between the gas and the mineral? Like, if you put a sunken net, only two zealots can hit it at a time. Where exactly? On the natural third of uh, Izu's base. Um, natural third? You mean the Zerg's base? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spot mm -hmm. between the gas and the mineral, that you can put a sunken there, and only two zealots can hit it at a time. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be difficult getting good storms. First storm is okay. Gets a good dodge yeah, though. Fine. Doesn't do too much damage. Yeah, but I guess that's a little bit deep. Yeah, it's deep. It's something you'd want to do against like uh, a Citadel first build or something. You need to be on at least three bases against a four base Zerg. Realistically, as a Zerg, you want to be on five bases versus three base Protoss, but you can make do with four if you have to. Yeah. A Protoss, you don't want to be more than... If you're more than one base behind your... You, that's not where you want to be. Yeah, for sure. Lurkers are finally done. We have our first Lurkers out, and they're going to be used defensively. We do have two Observers with this army, but uh, Izu did a really good job of picking up Observers in the last matchup we had where we had Lurkers out. Yeah. Good observer That's... control this time, though. Not going too far forward. It's going deep with the observers. Oh, oh shit. Prowess is so good, right? He's going to need oh. some more storms, though. He has so many oh, gas, storm. but... The Hydra's coming in uh. for the hugs. Well, not can't. using not you using lurker technique like popping the axe to tank oh. shots. Oh, you play out. I don't think it's well versus right. goons. It's not. It's mainly good against zealots. Yeah, it's not so good doing oh, that against goons. Are nasty zealots yeah, streaming in from behind. Yeah, he needs to oh, get behind these zealots. Let these zealots tank for him. Yeah. Is there enough here, do you think? Do you think Doodle's got Lower it? Curse. I think, I think he's about to is so hard, man. Like, he, like, you have to hit all of your production cycles just to not die, and even if you do that, like, if your Hydras are just a little bit too pumped, and their storms are a little bit too good, or you can't surround them, like, you just die anyway. I think it's still conceptually harder for Protoss to play this Yeah, it, sh it should be Zerg favored, but it, it rarely looks like that. Unless you've got crazy mechanics. I always feel like Pro Zergs are not doing enough links. Uh, in this matchup, it's, it's because... pure, but it's purely because you can't afford to get Carapace early, and because you can't get Carapace early, they just two shot your links with the Zelda. Yeah, the thing, the thing is, links are still not that bad, even if they are getting two shots. Yeah, it's still not. Yeah, yeah, you, you're not wrong, especially with Crack. Uh, but they get yeah, I mean, more five without, without Crack, even. Without, I, crack, without Crack, I don't know. Because. Uh, for example, in this situation, there were only goons left, and uh, yeah. links are pretty good in this situation where they tank a lot for Hydras also, and they cost a lot less. And of course, I mean, the problem is, I guess, the larva efficiency, where you play one larva for two links, and it's not that worth it, but you save some gas and uh, Pro if Protoss wants to storm the links that are attacking goons, he has to back off a little bit. It, I think it adds another another layer of uh, action for Protoss to do mm. fight link. And you don't have to throw them all at once, of course, at first. Like you, all, you often fight like that. ZVP, where you only throw some units at Protoss, then you throw another wave, another wave to minimize the storm efficiency. Hmm. That's fine, we still got all of our good players going, right? G5, obviously. 
great player. NCX hasn't played yet, and he's fantastic. Reaper, great. Flipendo, fantastic. So. Look, if they want to make their name Hydro Lick these nuts, I will say it as serious as I have to say it, because uh, that's their decision. That's their that's their yeah. quote unquote professional team name. So. Yeah, we're professional Hydro Lick these nutsers. Come on. <laughs> the trick is how many times can you say it, in how many different ways before you start laughing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty good at keeping a straight face, so. Ah. Well, I guess the Hydra did lick these nuts last game because, unfortunately, they weren't able to do it. Look, Deadweight, if you want a professional nut licker, I, I have your mom's number on speed dial. It's fine. That's the licker tongue. Okay, tongue. I'm going to do the introduction um, really quick, and I just wait for Deadweight uh, to get my dog out. So well, this one team is just losing game? every game. Uh, Doc's like, get me away huh? from this Which guy. Team? <laughs> the left one. No, my dog's oh, yeah. been out for the last two games, so... Uh, in the bottom left here, we have our orange Zerg, going by the name Sun Spirit. That's going to be, let me see who that is, one second. Oh my gosh, why does it take so long to open things in Discord? There we go. That'll be Flipendo. That's, okay, yep, that's Flipendo playing a Zerg, really. Interesting. Yeah, he, and, um, he does Zerg versus Terran because he doesn't like PvP. Gotcha. In the bottom right, we have our black Terran. It is Deadweight. So Deadweight versus Flipendo. I'm going to leave Flipendo. in about wow. two minutes. I'm going to take my dog out. I was thinking of switching my color right. to black from Lion at some Perfect. point. I'm going to be right back as well, guys. Good luck. <laughs> I think black is underused right. and a good looking so color. We got. We got. Oh, mm. he's casting. All right, here we go. I don't like black, actually. Really? All right. I mean, I mean overall, I like black, but not this circle because it doesn't look that good. It's not even black, it's fucking gray. It's like charcoal gray. I've seen some dead white kings, but. Yeah, I think it looks good on Zerg. So I, I agree with you. It's more like gunmetal black or charcoal right, gray than black. But here, it looks like nice. I think it looks good on Zerg at least. All right, spawning pool is also down. Okay, I guess the casters got the board. Fucking Drexus. The game. No sleeping and not talking, and we need um. Uh, no, it's because they realize game. how many Ultimate games they got game. left, and they probably are worried they don't have any replacement casters. So mm -hmm. they're like, shit, <laughs> we need to get yeah. this going. Yeah. That would be absolutely tragic. Okay, high ground CC. Actually, I don't hate that. I, I'm actually a big fan of no, I, I CC on the high ground. I know he actually yeah, plays. I like this. <laughs> but you have to. Never actually watched it. Make some action to actually at least right. on the ramp. like I mean, make us the put a little right. seat of a doubt Bunk in your opponent here. that you are actually not taking this expansion. For example, in yeah, PVT you could uh, place this bunker normally and then yeah. make high ground CC and we'll he checks with here. Goon. He doesn't see CC and him. He'll probably think you are going. Uh, yeah, he'll think that you're telegraphing it, like you're mind gaming him. Like, yeah. Like he'll be suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, but you don't really win that much by that. Isn't this the ultra build? Yeah, because you're kind of relying on your opponent to read into it. But sometimes you can outthink yourself if you're thinking one step too many ahead right. of your opponent Third rack is like down. you want to think one step Dead ahead but not two steps coming. ahead because he's not even accounting for that you know what i mean i mean by the way what is this right. academy right. ebay placement there yeah i wanted to <laughs> touch the topic <laughs> later when i finish myself <laughs> yeah, it's terrible uh yeah but anyway about the um the fake two fact in pvd because Usually Protoss stops making goons to make third base faster, so you are flipping the order a little bit. They are not losing that much, they are safe anyway. Mm. So, it's the strange situation in my opinion where you actually kind of cutting options for yourself in a way, because you cannot go to, I mean, three tank push anyway, for uh, anymore, for example. And they just... Uh, delayed their expansion a little bit, so it's hard to tell whether it's really worth doing because you are also losing like CV doing that. Yeah. So it's not a big loss, but some loss, and then you may gain almost nothing from it. So I don't know. Hard to tell. But just to play with 
their minds a little all right, bit. All the lings are moving out. Ooh, yeah. All right, lurk and lurk also, lurk. they may think that you are going to drop actually too, because that's mm -hmm. also a possibility. Oh no! The lings running back in. All right, they're just gonna attack the bio. They do absolutely zero damage. LOL. No, no, no you, you need to go in the medic first. All right. Oh, if he's gonna first. He needs this to go. Is, uh, no, 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 no. And the lurkers will pop soon. There's just this brief moment where we have to send everything out and hope for the best. There's no way he's busting if he's oh, moving in like God. that. It, it yeah, really look bad. at this. It is really the best. This is the. This is it's exactly like... how lower right, the rankers, uh, as Terrans, lose their games versus their. Yeah, like this is exactly really. like the. Oh no, not the medic. They cannot uh, control their their urge to try to bust. Oh, these poor marines. Yeah, if they standing in front of the sunken, they will go. <laughs> it's like you have 12 marines for medics and you see 4 sankens. And it's technically possible to break it, but you should never do that. Mm -hmm. And they will do, the, do it every, every game and probably lose because of that. Because it might work out, but it doesn't have to. I was this kind of player in the past, I remember. I just couldn't hold myself back. Yeah, Composure. Especially because I also forced a lot of one base plays in the past, I remember. I think that's right. one of the things that is hard about playing Terran is you need a certain level of discipline and composure. Well, in Starcraft in general, but especially Terran. All right. Crack yeah, the, links, you know? they do love it. the very bad thing about Terran, when you are laddering, is right that now, you, you usually cannot win quickly there. here because in mm -hmm. TVP you cannot win quickly. Yeah, so you need um, a, that's why Shiva has problems because he gets impatient. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play one hour game. If I just have one hour left to play StarCraft, uh, it's like I want to play two or three games and not sitting in one game. Which is reasonable, I, I, I agree with you on that. Like, <laughs> I think this was all. Uh, very often the Terran's problems in those right. kind of uh, formats, yeah, no, for example BSL, where you have to play 40 ladder games. And like for Prodos, 40 ladder games is really easy to get. Especially when you're starting your account, you can really win your games easily and quickly, if you're good. But as a Terran, you have to grind your every game, even versus B rank. <laughs> I'm sorry, the grass like I have yeah. to play legit normal macro game usually. Mm. If you fall behind in the TVP, game will last for another 35 minutes. Yeah, and imagine the other way around. S rank Terran versus B rank. I mean, S rank Protoss versus B rank Terran is usually a very quick game because they just cannot uh, survive the aggression usually. Zerg might be in trouble. Ultra speed coming on up here first. Are upgrades looking one one on both players. If Terran well, the drop win the game, not at the moment. Well, it might do, but yeah, this on the other hand is a bane of uh, low rank Zerks. Those drops, yeah, because then they're, they're not even making Scourge or anything. Oh, and all the Zerklings in the line. This is. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh my god. Classic. That's classic. Group up your zerglings and then send them in. Oh no, he's gonna lose a lurker for a burrow. And now there's a lurker coming. His own sim saving his main base. This is crazy. Like if Special Forces UMS right there. Yeah. This feels like all my DVT right here. It's like, alright. The ultra speed might finish before he gets it cancelled. Before he kills the ultra. Oh god. He's gonna let it. He's going out of the spire now. Wait, what? Oh, man, Wait, why, why is he not focusing oh, the buildings? See, the he's going for the spire. <laughs> Kill the ultra cavern is researching. You deny the. <laughs> you deny the ultra oh, movement if you kill that. Okay, he does deny it. Okay. okay. More stuff. Oh no. Wait, it doesn't matter if you cancel your upgrades, right? You still get the money back when they die building style, no? Wait, am I wrong about that? Yeah, any of our so yeah. What? When you lose your upgrade building, you get the money back for the upgrade, no? Yes. You don't need to cancel it manually, right? Yes, you don't have to. 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, especially if you actually try. Yeah, many players do that for no reason, but I also heard. I, actually, I would have to check it because I heard something about. Mm. Like he a bit. Yeah, he was a little bit, but not like. Yeah. Like, like uh, so, twenty-five percent or something, but yeah, I always thought you you lose zero, but actually I'm only ninety percent sure, so I'd have to check. <laughs> Dude, okay. all right. Here comes the counter attack. The one thing that does worry me is the upgrade advantage is going to our Zerg. I don't know what happened in the early game, but our, our turn player got behind on upgrade. Thunder is playing. He's 1-1 one, one against 2-2 two, two of Zerg. Ultra yeah, I just checked. Didn't finish, and we don't have the Ultralisk armor upgrade, I don't think. Let's see. Nope. No. So, yeah. TVT? For our turn player, but I don't know. No. Natural, the Zerg is not gonna be it looks player. like TVP. It. it can be TVP, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no. The two tanks are sieged, too. And our first Return science was throughout. This is where he, the, the Zerg needs to be really careful because these science was going to start to get really massive amounts of uh, uh, payout. Uh, yeah, TVP the, is by far my favorite to watch, one, to be honest. The, the one science vessel in the Zerg is natural, just kind of hanging out with two irradiates worth of energy. He's just chilling. Yeah, he's just vibing. He's sciencing, all right? They're science vessels. They're not a, a violence vessel. Deadweight floating a command center to a third base location. This should not be allowed by Zerg. I don't know if he's going <laughs> to scout it, but that's it's one of the like key signs of, of um, lower level games is, is the <laughs> amount of information about the map that you have going on. So, uh, Sun Spirit, um, Lefendo has... It's actually crazy how this game is not over because yeah, Lefendo... This third base to land. No, he wait, not Lefendo. Dead uh, weight oh, has 3.5k in, in the bank. He so he's, 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 he literally has 70 supply in bank. Oh, maybe he's just randomly clicked them and just is gonna get lucky. Yeah, I think he just randomly clicked them. There we go. He, he can't hold though, third he and he's it. low on gas. No, no landing here. Uh, mm -hmm. just as the hello, my friends. Hello. Well, hello. <laughs> Having a good day today? Yes, it's a great day today. <laughs> 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 you wonder how much it has to be good day. Yeah, no, I actually, I feel like I've been playing pretty well the last few days, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, I did listen to what you said, since, uh, you can hear me talking apparently on my stream. <laughs> yeah, but the reason I knew I, or the reason I did the show battery thing, and the reason I knew I was getting proxy, yeah, yeah, yeah. the no gas and he wasn't mm -hmm. more proxy. Yeah, I, re I, I realized, uh, after a while that, uh, you didn't see the gas, yeah. Yeah. I even, I even said that, actually. But yeah. at first it was so strange to me, if, when, when I didn't understand what's going on, actually, yeah. You really oh. need to group it's happened to me too many times. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. oh. now, yeah, but you you shouldn't uh, mine the gas though. I think. In this yeah, I definitely started mining way too early. Mm -hmm. For sure. So they are four two chunky boys. Yeah, I kind of realized that I, I was sitting on like almost 200 gas before I started my core. I was like, oh god. It's not ideal. Okay, you can always um, stop, right? Yeah, I, I pulled off a couple after. Ah, okay. So this I didn't notice too, because yeah. like you you can easily uh, judge by the time. I mean, by the amount you already gathered, you can judge how much time you have to yeah. pull it off because you gather like 100 per 20 seconds, so you can easily count. Yeah, I mean, but in this game it didn't great. really matter, because the position was so won already, because if you see to gate yeah. and no gas, you cannot lose that anymore. Exactly. Yeah, I spent, um, even though I didn't get any PvPs, I spent like a lot of time thinking about how I'd react to certain things that I saw, and the shut yeah, that ramp was like a yeah, new thing that I've never tried important. before. Yeah, like knowing what, what to do is the most important of all. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of Eraser going on. Yeah, that's... Oh my god, that's... Uh... I don't know why. <laughs> There's the Zergs, they don't research the Burrow, it's so cheap. Yeah, I like getting Burrow when I'm playing crazy Zerg. So. Uh, I think it's more of It's also uh... good against in ZBZ. When you trading Mutas, it's good against... ZVP even to hide from DTs, it can be so nice. And scouting with like the barred links. Yeah, I think it's more of a... Like not knowing the idea, or just forgetting. 
more than oh, yeah. being greedy or something. Might have to break through this now. With more ultras coming in here, this might be just enough. Yeah. Because Barrow is generally Basically. nice to have late game, even not for drones, but you can Barrow Link in every possible terrain expansion, for example, which is free because links are free late game. And it's very annoying for Terran to deal with that because usually you want to put your CC on the spot. So you go there, you put your CC and you forget about it. Then you realize two fucking minutes later that it's not building. And you try to do it again. And you fail again. <laughs> and this legit might happen if you don't think about the possibility of Link being there because it's actually rare. Nine kills and 51 HP. He's just chilling. He's, he's healing. He's looking at his wounds. He's like, give me yeah. a minute, guys. I need a breather. The ultras are cats. They, they lick their wounds. Thunder all one with tr tricky dropship play. Reach the vouchers. Yes. Drones, which isn't great, but I mean, after the damage he just did, he's equal with Terran, which is great. Terran's not mining at all, essentially, because he's got 30 SCVs, but his main is mined out. Oh. It radiates that last ultra. That ultra's gonna fall. Oh. So it was 50 STV to 18 drones, now it's 30 to 30, and I don't know who's winning anymore. Honestly, I think Zerk is actually winning. Well, I also think the Zerk is winning, but it looks like he has no army anymore, like 30 supply. Yeah, but 30 supply is not that much, I think. This and not a big bank. He needs to remake this. Yeah, the bank is a problem for sure. Yeah. I mean, the amount of Vezor is just overwhelming. I think Terran yeah. cannot ever lose this. Yeah. And low supply? I don't think it's good for Zerg besides the SD Fighters. Because yeah. then you can just survive with 20 supply army, but... On the other hand, <laughs> Terran is almost mined out, while Zerg has fucking 4 bases, literally. So, I don't know. He he needs to take another base, and he literally can clean up every single Zerg unit just with the vessels. <laughs> yeah, and another thing is on this level everything may happen, I guess. Yeah. It can still be a one hour game, this. Yeah, even that, yes. What do you even fucking do versus this amount of vessels? I would personally go with the fighters at this point. Uh, and yeah, play, no, play, because play I don't more, think... Yes, Plague is more cost efficient than Scourge, of course. It's like... It, I mean... It's not even about the cost, but the probability of killing those vessels. Yeah, 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 yeah but... With Scourgers, it's fucking... Okay, I guess... This is like the oh dream my scenario. God. You can't get better than that in this stage in the game. And he won! Amazing. He won! <laughs> He's not getting more ahead though, like, yeah, his lead. Yeah, because the Terran didn't do any pressure like... after the Eraser trick, just it's let the Zerg build up drones and chill. Yeah. Just take a free ultra, that's Let's nice. see, maybe he's winning now. <laughs> Every single ultra is going <laughs> yeah, solo, good. or... It's not even the medics here, man. Uh, no, I mean, let's not hallucinate. Like, you, you cannot win as Terran anymore. After losing those vessels. I mean, I'm on, of the impression that any time Zerg gets Ultras, you automatically lose. But he might just barely hold. No, the tank's gonna go down, the other tank's not fighting. Even with the rally the Marines, I think this is it. I think our Zerg's about to take it here. I think our Zerg's got it. Okay, he needs to lift the CC now. over the other links he's got especially. And it's just and fly out of the map. <laughs> Line to the next game. Exactly. But he lost all his money for the next game. It's gone. That lead's gone. He's got seven minerals in the dream. Seven minerals in the dream. He's entirely mined out. Man, this turn will be tilted as fuck. I mean, he was after this game because it was as one as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> Not, not much left to do there. I need to go sleep now. Yeah, this is so sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too bad. <sighs> okay, bye, guys. Good night, see you. Yeah, bye. I think it's just Good night. That game gets really grindy from there, right? Yo, after a game two, I should have said GG. Dot dot dot. After I won, just for the replay, for when it gets casted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, man. Yeah. 
I can understand going. I, I actually did kind of consider playing 76 since he was tilted. Yeah, well 76 was the play though. Like, <laughs> when, when the opponent is letting you choose, you, you choose the most ridiculous map there is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's funny because I was talking about it, but nobody could hear me. Yeah, he t and then he enters and okay, everyone but this one. <laughs> and can he do that anymore? Even after? Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, what are the rules? When does I mean, he's right to choose? Uh, like yeah, it's outdated. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure on the rules and they concede their map choice. <laughs> I missed most of that first game. What was the openings looking like last time? Pretty standard. Um. No, that's funny. <laughs> no? Was it crazy? Usually I'm the one tilted. Um, and a half I mean, isn't the choice to make your opponent choose the map the choice itself already about the map? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. I feel like he chose me. Mm. That's... we have to put this into the rules. Yeah. Dude, by the way... About the rules, do you guys know that you can produce uh, units as a Terran while your building is actually flying? And this was never forbidden in any StarCraft fucking tournament ever, and you can still do that in the game. And yeah. it's pretty usable. I mean, you can legit use that. I didn't know it was still in the game, I thought I got patched out by now. No, it is. It is still in the game. That's wild. I recorded a video about that even, uh, I mean the, the technique only, not like the fucking rant, but it always amazed me that it was never listed on any IC Cup game, I mean ladder or never, really. I think no one ever even knows about this. Okay, Pandor, don't do that, wait for your siege mode, man. Yeah, not gonna be able to do much about this 12 patch anymore though, but... At least now he knows exactly Where is the Siege Mode though? I do like the drone scout yeah. from Zero. We are not researching Siege Mode. In every matchup, but uh, I think it's important, especially versus Terran. It's unfortunate that he's not able to get into the main base and see the gas or see what's going on. Because we do actually have a two racks play out of Deadweight here, which means he's not looking to expand, he's looking Ooh. to get aggressive. Two racks the and first... a gas? Interesting. The drone that mined the first gas had to microwave the SCP for so long and then become an Evo chamber. So just. All that time no! could have been mining gas, just wasn't. Siege mode, face up. Okay. If these Zerglings get over here and see the Marines, have will Deadweight, or excuse me, will Flipendo recognize that that is way too many Marines to have out at this point? Because as long as he gets a sunken or two down, mm. he has now he holds this. If he doesn't, if he doesn't yeah. though, continue the push, it's only because he took like another Nexus. Out, and we have a on the way, so which is either his third or fourth already. Yeah. But Flopendo needs to go in and see if there's no nav. At the very least, he needs to see if there's a command center on the way. This is a massive warning sign. Why is there no command center? It's four minutes of this game. Where's the command center? Yeah, it's... You will attack, right? Need to you could here. add more marines so from this floated barracks. But... Yeah, it's a lot of marines. It is. It is. Fortunately, the uh, the two on gas, like you pointed out earlier, might not honestly help him because it, it might force him to make more zerglings than he's intending. Because he's like, well, "Where's all my gas? I guess I'll just make some zerglings." So. Yep. <laughs> Whoops! All zerglings, and then it ends up working out in your favor anyway. You're like, "Oh, sweet." He does that was a mistake. Though. You can't hold this if he's got stim on the way and medics on the way. You can't hold it with just zerglings. If it was just no. the marines, sure, but he's gonna at least two need sunken. Two and you are golden. But yeah, two sunken, he wins the game pretty much. Like. At, you know, this is what is this like C or D level? So there's uh, always the. Oh, we are going muslings. Or is this even in flip in the game. Wow. I think that, yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is yeah. This so, is, uh, yeah, there's a, there's always the chance that something. Weird well, the the funny thing is that so, Terran is playing one base, so we have much win the game, one base versus muslings situ situation. Now. In fact, he's even making a third barracks instead of expanding. The first two medics are out. Stim should be done, but it's uh, still on the way. Yeah, it's still on the way. Okay. Yeah. Still now as a Terran, you go back and you put down CC into your head, which is bad. He doesn't have to be careful, it's a lot of Zerglings out. Before Stim, these Zerglings could clean up these Marines. Especially because they're not super... Then maybe make two Firebats. Yeah, I guess, why not? You cannot use your gas anytime soon anyway, probably, but... 
Yeah. You just end up with a conga line of. Lanes. I think you have to make at least two fire bets when you're seeing that many lings early. It depends on where you stand because you can stand on the ramp, make your CC high ground, and then you don't have to make it. But it, it's probably good. To make. Oh my god! What the Slow fucking links. Oh, I'm watching. <laughs> and there was oh, 500 no. minerals and Zerglings killed for one marine. Oh, he might get a fire bat in the end. He gets one fire oh. bat too. And he only loses another 300 and worth of links. No sunkins at home. Oh my gosh, dead weight. Just counter attack. Counter push. Counter push. You win. Oh, looks like he's going to do it. This might be game over here. He needs to get some sunkins down or he needs to get something. He scans and sees that there's no sunkins here at all. Is he going to push it in? Stim. Stim to win. Stim to win. One TA, Stim two to... TA. <laughs> Don't over micro your Marines, just attack. Yeah. This is one of those few moments where A oh, moving no. is going to be the best micro you got. He didn't he didn't stim almost all of his Marines. He only stimmed one Marine in that first stim. But it's still gonna be oh. enough because Marines are a pretty good unit. Yeah. Believe it or not, Stim is a very good unit. Stim is a good unit. You should check every expansion it's Thunder. Still good unit. To be honest. Because he can have storm for the base somewhere controls, the top three units of this game yeah I don't know that you can even clear this out was like, and scan for like, carriers probably it's possibility like, also yep yeah. <laughs> but even the low part of the map also we have no scans okay yeah for sure the armor doesn't make yeah sure yeah the medic yeah, so we have to kind of hope there is no carriers. Well, just be enough. Oh my gosh, well, actually, actually, clean this up. actually base, but... a hold's a hold. We take those around here. The units are rallied, so now they're just able. Don't forget to... about the six o'clock also. Yeah, Deadweight needs to get his macro machine going. I doubt he has another base because that would be extremely greedy, but you never know. He's making two fire and two medics. Okay, we got bunkers coming down, but they're never gonna finish in time with the Zerglings get here. The Zerglings are zero one. Uh whoever's asking you. Yeah. Oh, oh fire bat. He messed up the surround on that fire bat, he could have killed it easy. Good luck ever killing that fire bat. It's so easy to kill singular fire bats and Fire bats are not good versus medic versus links, what? Okay, doesn't play get a four. What? Man. I remember fire bats and like. Mm, I don't know, the caster just said. Town defense or something. That's so uh, upgraded. Fire bats like are actually not good versus things, but with the medics I mean, they are. Yeah, what? That fire bat just did. Uh, I, don't know. I mean, it's, it's like saying. Marines are actually not good against mutants, but with the medics they are. Or, Marines are actually not good against hydras, but with medics they are. It's the same for science vessels too. Uh, science vessels are good, but only when they have energy. Uh, only, only with medics. <laughs> no, I think I don't even think the medics are into the equation. What, what should, what matters is if you can deny surface area with the battle. Yeah, or not. yeah, that's for sure. Once you get the surrounding oh, bat, it's easy to kill. If you can't, the bat will kill you. This game will be so annoying, and I'm talking about the Pandora's game. Uh. Because incoming, and we have to camp. It's oh, the no. worst fucking kind of game you have to play against Protoss. Oh, yeah, Looks like a drone going up to the top left to try and take the third base, but, uh, Defendo, you're a long ways away from having the money to realistically take that third base. It's uh, a waste of money at the moment. I would say the only downside yeah, the, to my afternoon so far is that, um, I actually got Love Snow's team to win. Bunkers. But there's not one that's forward, though, so the... Yeah, Lurkers that's a little unfortunate. Like, no matter what if I win, there's also a loss connected to it. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have tanks on the way? The factory is done. Is he going to go into Stargate from here? Looks like he's building some turrets in the main as well. Possibly for Muta, possibly for... At least, but... Yeah. You always win when you're losing, which is actually a good part. So he have feel zero pressure no, when that's true, you yeah. other games. It's a good point. Yeah. Because yeah. Is that what, whatever is happens, look on the bright side. Yeah. Whatever happens, you win a little bit. Well, he doesn't see that lurk yeah. or hydra speed is coming oh, instead of lurk. But at the same time, you lose a little bit. But well, <laughs> that's why I didn't practice this week. It's uh, 
We're always gonna break even no matter what. Since every one of your days are bad, to, you welcome <laughs> even the <laughs> smallest victory. What is it with Terrans and yeah. never making enough medics? Like it's always like it's like two medics or whatever. Like, never more. Because because Terrans are never trying to foresee the future that they will lose the medics they have already. That's the secret of having enough medics. Like they push with six, and they never make more because they think. I mean, think I, I don't. I don't think there is a thought process behind it. They probably don't make more because they have six. You know. I mean, I don't make medics because they don't add to my DPS. Someone explain to me why we have hydras right now. No three enforcements. I mean, look how effective they are. No, they're good. I mean, why is this game fucking? We're getting plus going on. That, can somebody explain that to me? Because yeah. only because the Terran is not patient. Like if the Terran just waits for and like say this other Bible joins up with his army and then he attacks, then we can crush the Zerg. But he went. How did, how did he win Italy? I don't know. Like, he's playing like a sausage monkey. Because I saw like twelve Marines against twelve links in the Zerg nut, right? Zerg lost his nut. Why is the game still going on? Mm, I don't know. We have three bankers for some reason. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> With this I killing mean, the natural makes the game even. Yeah, be right yeah, I mean, yeah, this is E or F rank game, right? Three marines across the map, right across the map. I think no these guys, yeah, these, these guys are like 1100 or something. So, I don't hate it, it's just. I don't know. I was wondering actually many times uh, about how quickly can someone improve his fucking StarCraft. Or, how quickly could I improve if you throw me at some other R RTS game? Mm. Because for, for example, I cannot improve in League for shit. Right. For least how do you get better at? There's what? something about it. I don't know, but I just can't. Even though I know a lot of stuff, I cannot incorporate, incorporate it to my games. But in League, it's also about... I, I think it's also about the mentality uh, while you grind your rank in League. Because not everything is depending on you, so you kind of <laughs> have to take losses you don't deserve sometimes, which is tough. Um, but on the other hand, when you watch Challenger players, they win almost every game in like plat, up to like plat. Maybe so yeah, you, so you, you have the same thought process that I do when I ladder, yeah, when I ladder on the, because <laughs> I say that all the time. Where it's like it seems like. Like, I'll have a game where I'll get like super fed early, right? I'll be like 9 0 on Kazix or something. And then we're down like 10 kills overall because my team's just like hard ending the whole game. But then, yeah, you look at like actual pros and challenger players, they they don't seem to have this problem. Yeah, no. Yes. I, yeah, exactly. And even like. Uh, because I was trying to learn AD carry for the, this season, I never played AD carry before, like seriously, I mean I played some games, but I never uh, laddered as AD carry before, and I even enjoyed it, up to like, yeah, up to like plat, I was doing a big progress up to like plat, and now I'm hard stuck platform, <laughs> which is so annoying, and I even don't know what I'm doing wrong every game. Mm. Uh, and I feel like I have no impact on so many of those games, especially when, for example, I cannot ever play scenarios when I have immobile AD care, which are actually my favorite ones. Same. For some reason, I have like I like Jin and Ash, for example. Yeah, uh, and they have Hecarim, for example, in their team. And if the Hecarim is a little bit fed, I feel like I'm dying to, like, you know, Ghost E ulti. Yeah, and, down the the point. Yeah, and, and, and I cannot do anything yeah. at this point because I cannot dodge it. If I don't have flash, it's beyond lost already. If I have flash, I have a little bit potential to outplay if my team kind of cooperates to protect me, but it's also, I feel like it rarely happens. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, and then you get in those situations where it's like you're 
So you try to position better, but then you're having a position in a way where you can't even like fire. So you're yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Like yeah. I heard so many times the advice that the number one priority as an AD carry is to leave, and that makes sense, of course. Like I understand that concept that you cannot make damage when you are dead and so on. But or yeah, so for example, what I heard that let's say enemy team has very fat Kazix, and <clears throat> you are playing like immobile AD care. Then you shouldn't ever show yourself on the map before the Kha'Zix shows himself on the map. But what when your team is actually not doing that good and Kha'Zix can just wait more than you wait for him? Right. <laughs> Same concept, right? Mm -hmm. So it's fucking... I don't know, I don't understand that fully. Like, I should count... I, I mean, should I think that he will make this mistake just because he's like plat for example so i would uh, think the same um or similar i would use similar concept against i don't know like b to a rank player in starcraft that they will make for example i'm lo i'm in losing position and i wait for some mistake that s rank player would never make but i can count of on b or a player doing that mistake I don't know. I don't know if this can be like uh, put against each other. Mm -hmm. The concept from StarCraft to League. I'm not sure. We found the carriers. Yeah. Maybe you can kill the carriers before before the spawn. Oh no! Why are we unseached? Okay, carriers are there already. So what what rank are you in league? Uh, right now, I don't even know like plat or <coughs> your peak. And your peak? <laughs> my peak is diamond three. Okay, my peak was diamond two, but I played uh, top lane and mid lane. Hmm. So like so I was nice. jungle and ADC. Yeah, and the, uh, ADC I never played. So this is my this is my first season I'm on hardstack platform <laughs> right now. I think it's really fun, but yeah, I find it so much harder to win on than jungle. Yeah, I think like ADC is legit the, the worst role to carry, I think it's actually mm -hmm. counterintuitive, but but maybe I'm biased because I play ADC right now. But comparing it to the top lane or mid lane, like mid lane is the best role to carry, in my opinion. But you, you have li literally no impact for the a lot of time. As AD carry. Yeah. I agree. And it's actually <laughs> pretty strange because the action usually is centered around the bot lane because there is a dragon and so on, so fights are very near you. I I also think I I'm not good mechanically, good enough mechanically to, to carry very often. Because for example if you are a fighter or tank or even mage, you, you are allowed to make odd more mistakes than when yep. you're playing ADC. Yeah, my two jungle mains are Kha'Zix and Sejuani, and Sejuani's definitely yeah, very for forgiving. Sure. Mm. I just like Kha'Zix and low elo though. Feels so broken. Yeah. But I don't like playing Kha'Zix when I get the higher elo at all. I mean, right now the league is in a state of like tanks are the best, I think. Anyway, so spamming surgery yeah. is actually probably correct choice. And the thing is, it's it's kind of funny. Like as I get the higher and higher elo, I like playing tanks more. But at lower elo, I prefer playing assassins and carries. Yes, actually, people yeah. understand the game a little bit more. Exactly. So. Yeah. You don't have to do everything yourself, like the killing can be done together instead of only... Right, like when I'm playing Sejuani and I'm like super tanky on Sejuani and I have like 0-10 solo lanes, then it's like, <laughs> who am I protecting? Pandor, does this guy have cannons in the uh, bottom left? Because you could make like two dropships and uh, maybe win the game like that. And also gather gas in 3 o'clock, you're not doing that. And you will need it.
Do we have plus three armor? Because weapon we probably have. Okay. So the fucked up thing right now about this game is we have to be on the center of the map because if we are not, then he can go through the 12 to our main and we are fucked. So we constantly have to keep pressure on somehow. He just stopped. You can win this fight because he has no interceptors out. Yeah, so now we see up there. Oh my god, that's fucking... <laughs> I just got a carrier recalled. Oh my god, imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> I would honestly counter him rather than defending Kree because you are losing this, those bases no matter what. You can at least kill his because we have a chance, right? If you, if you kill the bottom left, then we have a chance of winning this even without those two bases. But otherwise, we cannot do that. This morning was still a morning. All right, all right. I already had lunch dinner. Yeah, and back to leak a little bit. Uh, like, um, also as I don't understand the for the whole fucking bot lane. It's so complicated, in my opinion. Like the matchups uh, that you have to play. Oh, uh, I uh, like I understand the concept of like enchanters versus tank versus mages as a support. Mm -hmm. Plus the AD carries, of course, you you can. Compare powers of some, but I don't know who is winning every matchup. I, for example, I know that Draven wins every time. <laughs> Draven has every... like no losing matchups. So. Yeah, but for example, Lu Lucian is also strong, but not as strong apparently. He has to have Nami more or less. Yeah, I heard that, but then I saw challenger players fucking making it work regardless. <laughs> yeah. So. No, you're on so I'm. Yeah, so yeah I don't know what's yeah. like. What's the right thing to do often? So I guess me yeah, on the bot lane, like. Yeah. Whether we should trade, not trade. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. It's a little bit complicated, I guess. And it, it totally depends on, like, the duo matchup, right? They not just the, like, ADC yeah. versus ADC. Yeah. Bit. And uh, the, the another thing is that um, for some reason, I don't know why, but in League, I'm catching myself not observing the minimap that often, like in StarCraft. Like, I feel like in StarCraft, my map awareness is one of my biggest strengths, and in League, League it's my fucking biggest weakness, I feel like. Yeah, it is funny how it works. Yeah, because, for example, I cannot... Uh, I know that... Um, some action is going on on the bot lane, for example, and I'm not sure where their jungler is. Uh, and it's not like... I know that I don't know where he is, it's rather I don't know if I could know where he is, because I, I, I'm not sure if I didn't observe the map or... Uh, he didn't show himself on the map. No. <laughs> Yeah, let's, uh, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Um, <laughs> well, I jungle, so it's very easy for me to watch them out all the time. Yeah, it's a little bit different. This game is actually winnable, I think. It's just crazy. <laughs> Either, okay, yeah, we can kill 12 on time. Let's make 8 more Goliaths. We, we can do that. You would choose certain options in the map by just pressing a key on your keyboard instead of like usually. In the yeah, it depends how much bank this guy have because if he has like zero, we can kill interceptors and win this game. It's crazy. And he will even lose the fucking nine o'clock. Oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah, we have to take twelve. We have no choice. We have to take twelve and. Pretend that we fucking don't have it or something. I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah, bounders of eternity. I think is what they call themselves. Because that's one of those things that, like, if we do it at, like, you know, it's like, oh, you know. Go, go, scan more, scan more. You have more scans, right? Let's find his carriers. It's not gonna take too long. Everyone's gonna die in a few minutes. We're all gonna have a good laugh, right? Gather, gather everything. We you need everything together. And also use your minds because they may be clutch. Saving them every round. 
Oh, that would have been me back in the day. As long as you are mining 12, you are winning. Uh, so we are not in no rush. Uh, my brother was a bounder. I was a defense guy. Kill the carrier! Defense back in the day. The yep. Were like... Oh yeah, you send the units and you get income and then... Yeah. Three player? Yeah. Okay, be careful to yeah, not I mean, be catched in the situation where you are fighting him <laughs> in the bottom part of the map and he's countering your 12. Yeah, ex this is exactly what happened. You have, to, you have to protect That's your 12. That's exactly how that game was meant to be played. <laughs> it's pretty much. It's a spreadsheet similar. So you should... Just like a lot of games. Scan his cars. Yeah. All right, let's talk and about figure out game. where you have yeah, to the move on the map cool, based on that. Rush out of and the those zealots are free units you can up. kill. So it's very good for you. Cars, come cars, where are they? He only built one set of links. Yeah, he only built one set of links and he didn't delete that bunker with the drone. You need to use vultures to scan the bottom part of the map, like whether he's taking bottom left, for example, again. Because if he can take and protect bottom left, we are still probably losing, unfortunately, because he has a lot of cars. Yeah, it's also weird because you don't control how Marines shoot in a bunker. So it's like, uh, it could be in range. They're just shooting the shoes, shoot, choosing to shoot the egg. The sunken fucker. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't. Hey, if the bender versus dead weight, the hatchery, the sunken bunker, just stop the third game. Uh, so it's just, it's just keeping the pressure on for a little bit longer. But ooh, hello. We're pulling the boys. We're pulling a lot of the boys. He needs to repair that bunker. He's not going to. That bunker's gonna fall. Oh my God! The boys are being minerals pulled. <laughs> Still his minerals, boys. And we don't fucking <laughs> reach the. Uh, no, 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 oh no, my no, God! Don't throw this. <laughs> no, you, you obviously you surround the sunken with mer, with um the boys so that way Zerg can't repair it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't want them to repair <laughs> that sunken colony. That's that's bad. Um, Deadweight was in a good position. Yeah. Even though he couldn't was... hit the hatchery, he still forced a lot of Zerglings. Oh, there's the uh, mass Templar amount of minerals build. Yeah, this is where we make vultures and we try to snipe the HD. SCV block, um, but he's nah, not gonna get his think... natural for a long time. He's gonna try and wake a bunker, I... but the marines are, I think the Zerglings are already here. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is a very quick replay, if I had to take a guess. Prepare to repair CC, if you need. Don't attack the SCV. Yeah. Okay, so here's what you do from here. Now you start taking out the SCVs, building bunkers and all that stuff down here, and then you... Oh, micro glass, far more important. Fuck those vultures. So that's something. The that's SCVs great. are fighting, but the Zerglings aren't uh, target firing the SCVs. The SCVs are actually doing really well against them. This Marine's gonna just Spam. run past everything. What? In the bunker. <laughs> you can make dropship <laughs> return. Like, dropship to kill bottom left is the best play you can do, because you have to stay there, you have no choice. Like, even two dropships, because you, you don't know how many units will he send, but... Up, yeah, that's yes, using dropship is the best we can do to keep bottom also, left. We can never leave 12 zero, at this point. Oh my god. Yeah, that's <laughs> wild. That's so annoying. Wow, actually, not that many units. Don't lose the CC, please. No! It's like he's gonna make marines out of SCVs out of one command center and continue. <laughs> okay. I guess the, that's okay. Yeah, now scan bottom left. See how many yeah, units yeah. does he have there? Of course, the after defending 12. You have a good time. Yeah, he's going for that double Evo chamber build again. Um, oh no. Ooh. Fucking cars. I go straight into ultras, but it didn't, and that was weird to me. But it worked. So, I mean. If it works, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, if it works, it works. I'm not gonna deny yeah. that. I've always been <laughs> anti like that. If it's dumb and it works, then it's not dumb. No, it's still dumb. It just, you're lucky. We need to eventually drop but, bottom left. No, no, no. Faster it's the better. Four glass, probably the best drop you can do. Really stupid, it wouldn't work. Most no, cost efficient. Stupid things can work and still be stupid. But no, there is, there's <laughs> actual builds that are like 1-1 EVO builds. I, I got a couple of variants yeah. of things like this myself, but usually you wouldn't get them this Find colors, find colors. They're going to 12 probably, and you are going away. Okay, there is nothing to defend anymore, probably. Yeah, fuck that. Take the mineral only, bottom mineral only. Like, the best expansion to, def to defend. Plus one melee in... Oh my god. <laughs> this is so not gonna happen. Oh, 
Yeah, we didn't find the cars. Game fucking going on between Flipanda and Dead White. That's so. Yeah, yeah, man. Like Dead White pulled like ten SCVs into the sunken. He lost all Marines, didn't do anything, and this game is still going on. Yeah, pretty good. Do you have EMP? Because you can make vessels so you won't spend this gas anyway. Those three new carriers. Oh god. I don't like being pessimistic, but it's not looking too good. Yeah, I mean, we're not killing bottom left, which means he has infinite interceptors and we don't have infinite glides. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't have energy for EMP probably yet. We need to take base. The mineral only is the best place we can get. Yeah, and this one, it's the only expansion we can reliably defend. But the problem is, it's not enough. And I don't know how we ever. I mean, maybe there is a world where we only stay defensive and we. Take the natural, bottom right natural, eventually too, but it's not, it's not looking like it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good effort. Yeah, cars are fucking hard. I think any protoss player that plays carriers is a scumbag. No. <laughs> no, I mean. I don't know, I didn't manage it correctly. I had a lot of trouble controlling my army. Yeah, I mean, surely it could be done better, but uh, the like, amount of responsibility that is on you in this situation is just overwhelming most of the time.
Oh, uh, yes. In the top yeah, right hand side. With the olive SCVs. Give it up for these NCX nuts. Oh my and gosh. And then his the opponent. Yeah, oh, yeah the top left we have our orange Terry going by the uh, name No Macro. <laughs> that is a uh, wild tomato, right? No, that's, no, um, that's um, no multitasking. No multitasking. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yeah, he's got no sense. macro, no micro, no multitasking. No multitasking, no macro. I, I think, I don't remember if I, rec I recommended either no macro or no mi uh, micro. I don't remember which one. We, I remember I recommended one of those to him. Right away, sir. I thought it was hilarious. D's and CX nuts. Wait, D, is that a responder? Well, it's total, yeah. So we were sitting in our team chat talking about how we have all put D's nuts in the Okay, name. so we cannot and talk about the game then. Got it. I can mute myself, or buff myself if you want. Yeah, like, I mean, no problem. No, no, they are playing friendly, right? Oh, oh on the side, misunderstood some. Because Dada is playing Panda and they are both on this curve. Yes, no, it's Doodle. Ah, Doodle, sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean Dada because I'm seeing the nickname is Dada Dada. So. There's always confusion. I mean you can make nickname Doodle when you are Doodle. <laughs> yeah. Additional supply required. Affirmative. Orders received. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Orders cabin. Orders cabin. Right away, sir. Report back. Yes, sir. Not enough minerals. Report for duty. Orders cabin. Report for duty. Yes, sir. SCV good to go, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Go, go, go. Reporting for duty. SCV good to go, sir. Jacked up and good to go. Yes, sir. Give me Drop 
Hey, Xun. Why didn't you decide to cast uh, NSL games? How come? I mean, you can just join your channel and cast with them. Ah, oh, okay. Oh man, did, did, did you see our lineup in yeah, week so two? We are so absurdly outmatched, I mean, my ways. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Possibly. I guess we are not winning this week. Delta here to help attack. SCVs are combat units. Okay. No multi the greatest combat unit. <laughs> no multi gassing does have his natural now, so he is on two base to one base economy. He has more SCVs. He has the map control with the raids. It's going to be a long time before NCX has the Goliath count he needs to push out the map. And this is a rough position because the random player is probably not something he's comfortable or used to playing against. He only gets, you know, tearing maybe 33% of his games, and then, like, how many of those games go into two-part rate? It's not going to be a yep. he's super used to of it. Yeah, it's just... I mean, how many people who play TVT regularly? Like, how often does this come up actually in TVT, you know? I mean, every like, time I play TVT, TVT I go to a four race, but, you know. That's fair. Why wouldn't you? Two-part race amazing. <laughs> but it's just one of those, like... It's not a very... It, it, it's a cheese, right? It's not like... 
I wouldn't say it's the majority of uh, players, sir, what? but I also don't play Terran, so I can't confirm that. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not a cheese, Today? it's a viable cheese. Like, I, I think uh, this and um, yeah. G5 versus Hook. Yeah, and I, I think that's it. Why? MTX having much practice against us at all is un unlikely. Thanks for following oh. the channel. Best no, why not? Best of five of seven. I think they were You're looking welcome, for more friend. people actually. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, or like now, but us. previously. Yeah. And quietly I guess they, they still are. I mean, it's open cast more or less, I think. Cloak right, yeah, now, we do have a few more raids coming in, public uh, but there's a turret ring pretty much everywhere now, so the cloak's not as, as useful. Oh, he needs to not lose these Ooh. raids, though. Cloak now, while you're, yeah, while you're away Ooh. from turrets. He's got enough to almost two-shot these Goliaths, so... Oh, gotta be careful with these raids. Raids are squishy. He's gonna finish off the other eBay, which is pretty big. Any building paper he can get is good. Yeah, paper airplanes, exactly. You can kill a factory here pretty easily, actually. No, you can definitely get it. Okay, that's gonna be the GG. Uh, it's pretty hard to recover from here. So damn. Gonna... Absolutely. Okay. Zerg player, and in the heart, everyone should be a Zerg player. It's the best race. Correct. Oh, and looks like we got Zoom joining in on the cast now as well. Welcome, Zoom. Stop. I don't know about you guys, but I'm here to see my boys Vile Tomato and Deadweight 8. Oh, yeah, the greatest matchup. Those are my boys. And Vile Tomato was my OG boy. I taught him. I taught him. <laughs> and then he just stopped talking to me. That's so rude. Wrecked. That's true. That would be, that'd be heartbreaking. That'd be much more interesting, at least. <laughs> All right, you joining in, Anderson, or are you just... Uh, you oh, just I'm, I'm here, buddy. I'm here for it. Damn it, this, this chat's like half Canadian now. We need... Half this Canadian? Is, is... Zoom's in the UK, what? Well, so we have two... We have two Canadians, two Americans, and a UK person. Well, technically, we're UK subjects, oh, so whoops. we can just Hold say. Hold on, I gotta fix my. Yeah. Commonwealth dense. <laughs> All dense right. Is the correct answer. You. This is a very <laughs> dense chat. <laughs> In the I'm top here. right, we have our <laughs> nasty yellow. Protoss player it is NCX, and in the bottom right we have our Brown Terran. No multitasking on 76. Unironically, a player actually chose this as their decision to play this map. No, no, no. NCX chose this. He went, "Hey, we've been talking about picking 76 as our second map all week. I'm gonna play 76." Yeah, unironically, someone wanted to play this map. We're gonna get a 76 game. Let's see if anyone goes for the early expand or not. So far, no one sent out a probe, and I think it might be a little bit too late. Because 53 or 56 seconds is when they disappear. Yeah. 54. Is it 54? I believe it's 54. No, it's 56. There it is. Okay. Yeah. We are gonna get a wall on low ground from our turn player, though. So that's interesting. Mm-hmm. No, unless you're gonna do some sort of weird one base all in, like you kind of have to take that back expansion. There are definitely Maybe he's worried because he's going against the random. Yeah, there's definitely some aspect of the fact that NCX is random. Like if it's a Zerg player, you probably aren't gonna hold that expansion, but like I don't know, I feel like you should still go for it. Yeah, I mean I always go for it. Yeah, both of them going for the mineral only expand, which doesn't really favor either of them in this matchup, but it's definitely better for the Protoss. A Protoss can survive a bit longer on a mineral only than a Terran can in this matchup, for sure. No, nothing. Really? I thought Vultures right? were smaller than Dragoons, but I guess... No, I guess that makes sense. 
Yeah, I think I think you're right. The largest yeah. thing, yeah, yeah. So you got like Marines, Zealots, and Zealots. And... Yeah. Nope. Honestly, I'm surprised SCVs can fit down these ramps. SCVs are thick. Yeah, they're kind of thick, boys. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Look at them drills. NCX has been mm. skipping a lot of probes here, so whatever he's going for... Like, that, that see through that Nexus is insanely early, and he skipped a lot of probes for it. Almost kills the SCV as well that was trying to go in there and scout, but SCV does get out. Is going to make the bunker on the low ground. Um, okay, he's going to build the factory the on the low ground as well. I was going to say, I wonder how like this is going to work out. Natural. Yeah, well, he, if he built it in his main, then he, he this wouldn't have worked, because the Vulture oh, yeah. can't get down. But okay, so, so I will say... On this low ground where he's building the factory, I've played some games as Protoss, but there is space there. I can build 14 to 16 gateways on that low ground. Oh yeah, that's so all the buildable. strategies you can do, I mean, you can just bypass that small ramp if that's your prerogative. Yeah, no, it's it's entirely, the low ground is entirely buildable almost the entire map, so you can you can build your build, buildings wherever you want to build them. Okay, so we got a factory on the low ground of a nice little bunker rush here to try and punish this expansion from uh, NCS oh, and a beautiful good block. SCD block. Oh no! <laughs> does manage to get the Zealot pass, but the Zealot does take some whole damage. It's entirely out of shield, and this Nexus is going to fall. That Zealot's not going to be able to do any counter damage either, because the Vulture should pop out before it gets there. Vulture easily micros that down and then rallies across the map. Doesn't even need to be there to finish off this Nexus. Yeah, and honestly, it's good confirmed. There's one more Zealot out, but we don't have any more production from our Protoss player. Our Protoss player is teching up, so it's possible that he might even be able to push up the ramp. Oh and my the game. good lord, there's a factory, factory the going down base. in the Protoss main. Factory ah. in the main base. Zealot's going to get in here, see that there's no command center at least, so at least that's some information for him. But at this point, no multitasking, can just rally across the map. Once this factory on the high ground's done, he's got full control of the main. There's still no more units on the way. It's still just the robotics facility with no units in production. Mm-hmm. Did, ooh, he this started he just, game um, for a flash of a second and cancelled it immediately. Change his mind, he needs another yeah. pylon, that's more important. Well, I mean, you can't build a goon here because it's going to be stuck here, you know? Well, I mean, eventually you've got to build something, and then, you know, you just have to drop it down or, or whatever you plan on doing. Yeah, that's the reason why he's going down. Around. Now, here's the interesting thing. Does he float the factory down to scout the low ground to see if there's a... a Nexus down there, possibly, or does he realize that because the Nexus is on the low ground already, there could be... Okay, looks like he's going to stay here and just make the vultures... Yeah, he's got to know. Well, he's just dead, because he can't escape with the probes, because the probes will die in the natural to the bunker, so if this vulture is microed correctly and the probes can't box it out into the corner of the base, he's just dead for this vulture right now. Yeah, is he going to wait for two vultures, or is he going to go with one? Let's see. This is the most Terran would... thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Terran buildings can float, they can be built anywhere, you know, it's, like, it's a good thing. Okay, he's gonna go with the first one, I agree with that decision, yeah. I don't think he should wait for two. Start getting the damage Terran on it, it's gonna be Okay, he's gotta be careful here, oh, he can't let that vulture get surrounded. Get oh no! Oh. That time for a lag spike, the vulture does get surrounded, it almost lets it out, but it does die! That's huge! And now he knows that there's a um, factory in his base, so he can start... Okay, or well, he can not. He's gonna go deal with this bunker, but I think the factory... well... I don't know. I, I just don't see how he comes back from this mission. Either way, it's a lose-lose spot. He built a shuttle before yeah. he built a Dragoon. He does like stop this. the bunker from going up, but there's no Dragoons on the way. He's got two Zealots. He's making a Reaver. I guess if the Reaver comes out, good drill, but doesn't quite get on top of the Vulture all the way. Some good damage going down on these Marines, but the second Vulture's out, and these Vultures can pretty much micro for forever. He still hasn't seen the factory, by the way. I mean, like, he knows in terms of visibility. Yeah, now you should, but... I could do a good job of targeting down these zealots Ooh. individually, and now all the zealots have been cleaned up, and he will be able to start targeting probes. Good job of trying to surround these vultures with the probes. NCX doing what he can now, scooping up the evacuation time, and getting these probes out of oh. dodges, out of dodge there, stop them from being cleared up by the vultures. But Save there's not them. much to come. There's like it's just vultures, uh, just zealots being trickled out to try and defend it. Finally, a reaver is made, but he's barely got enough minerals got... for scarabs. He <laughs> yeah, he's got enough minerals for one scarab. <laughs> This is tragic. Oh, There's the one no, scare that's gonna dead too. Oh no, oh, it he gets oh. the connection though on the vulture. Okay, drop the probes in mine, drop the probes in mine! Yeah, he's got come eight on, probes in this shuttle, he needs to drop them now. I don't think he can win this game though, he's so really, he's so far behind. Oh, he's oh, no. to attack <laughs> <position. laughs> He can't afford to make the scarabs! No scarabs, no win. Oh no. Oh, GG. What a way to lose. No. Oh. It's okay, that's going painful. in style, man. That was oh one of our more God. interesting games of the day so far. Holy crap.
Now that right there goes on the video for next season. Like day one, we were already getting content for our stinger for next season <laughs> or promo. Yeah. I can't believe he skipped Dragoons and all that for so long and just went for the Shuttle Reaver. That's so painful that he only had money for one Scarab. That's that's the most depressing thing I think I've ever seen happen. Yeah, that's pretty tragic. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I, I almost started to feel sorry for him. And he's a Protoss player, so that should say something. <laughs> no, he's a random player. He's a random player. Oh, okay, even worse. okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right. He was casually wearing a Protoss well, skin But then at he has point. my moderate sympathies. It's a moderate sympathy. He's not he entirely. He's a random player. Just a, after just a all, little bit. He's yeah, a random player bit. still. I mean, it's only slightly better, right? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I personally feel like random players, on average, are more dirty than Protoss players, and that's saying something, so. What are you trying to say? I'm a Protoss and a random player. I'm trying to say you're dirty. <laughs> I, I think that says everything. <laughs> Anderson, I think that says everything. That hurts. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. Truly All right. the headlining match for the night. We have a match everyone's been waiting for. In the top left here, we have our pink Protoss. It's the one, the only, Vile Tomato. And Woo! in the bottom right, we have our yellow Zerg. It's going to be Nom Reaper. Let's go. The match everyone's been waiting for. The big tomato. Reaper, 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 Reaper. Brotato's got nothing on our Reaper. <laughs> MCX calling us out in chat, saying that random players play the full game, all the other players are too stupid to have fun. <laughs> Look, I am too stupid, but that's a different story, alright? <laughs> <laughs> alright, PVZ, here we are, cross spawns. Um, I haven't played much PVZ on, on Retro yet, but uh, the wall in here that we've seen earlier is, is pretty awkward to, to pull off. You have to have that kind of weird angled wall in which is difficult yeah. if you are not practice it. So we'll see probably a few Protosses throughout the tournament mm. mess that wall up and miss some cannon placements because of it. I didn't realize uh, we were getting potato, not tomato here for this match. I thought it was going to be ZVZ. Yeah, no, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was, uh, was looking forward yeah. to the Z as well. Tomato no. betraying us, even using the tomato name while playing Protoss. That's just, there's something not right about that. It's actually disrespectful to the brand. Mm hmm I agree. Me and Tomato are going to have to have a talk later. Mm. Hatches oh. down. Pulls so down. We, yep, gate expand. We are going directly into the Nexus from there. He hasn't got the scout off yet, so it's a little bit risky, but he did scout that the uh, hatchery was there right before it went down, so... Drone's going to poke forward here. See that it is a gateway expand. Now, is he going to send the Spurs out across the map? It's kind of risky in cross spawns. Looks like he's going to do it. The Zergling should be out in plenty of time. He's got to be careful not to lose this first Zealot without doing anything. Mm. If he loses this first Zealot and no Zerglings die, like, as a, as a Zerg player, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling great. I'm going to just drone for the next five minutes straight. You're not doing anything to me. Yeah. I don't expect this. Like, I don't expect anything early game Zealot pressure to end the game. I've played with both of these guys lots in this matchup. They know what they're doing. This isn't going to lead to a really? loss or any serious loss right away. I mean, Tomato already getting some pretty good damage. A bit of an overmake on the Zerglings. He only needed four. He could have maybe made six just to be safe, but uh, so it's tucked behind the mineral line now. Yeah, don't don't fight it. Just sit there and like make sure it can't get out. Oop. Well, I don't mind him making additional links when he doesn't have a full scout. Off. He's like, it's very it's very likely that the uh, Pearl player could have moved out with the second and third Zealot, and he didn't know about it, and they could be coming in. So I think it's safe to make yeah. those Zerglings at least. And that's fair. It's definitely safe. The fact that his Overlord hasn't started moving towards the middle of the map or towards his uh, expansion, like, as, 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 as a Zerg player, if I scout the wrong Overlord path, I'm moving towards that base instantly, mm. and then trying to get yeah. towards the middle more to look for uh, Zealots that are rallying across, because it's going to take a while to get to the natural, but... No, at the end of the day, the extra four Zerglings, or the extra, yeah, four Zerglings isn't going to kill him, but that could have been, you know, an extra drone or two, so. Okay, so Reaper's probably going Ogre Zerg, because we have a Spire on the way, and he also just took a second guess, so would be maybe Ooh, like a... Ooh, baby. Would normally be like a six-hatch Hydra if he just stayed on one guess, but with this second guess, looks like we're going to be seeing Ogre Zerg, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Ogre the Zerg only reason to get that second guess is up. for all the extra Scourge, so... Should be seeing the uh, the ogres. Zerg <laughs> is, is tasteless. I love that. That's one of my favorite things. 
What, is, what was it that we came up with the other day when we were talking about crazy names like Ogre Zerg Gamer? I think someone said Bulimia Zerg. I want to see what that style looks <laughs> like. Bulimia Zerg. <laughs> Bulimia Zerg. It's probably like really low economy or something, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, <laughs> he likes trying to like produce player. units off of like three hatcheries with like seven drones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not even the that's not even nine seven three. That's the two two hatch hydra no, all in. When yeah, you're that's on, the like, nine two. Believe, yeah, yeah. Nine two <laughs> no, it's the ten nine because you have to draw. You have to um trick, so you're throwing it up. You know. Okay, okay so true. We do know that mutas are out, so we do have a cannon in the main already. The second cannon on the way. We're not making more corsairs though, which has me a bit worried. But he should be okay for now. <laughs> Interestingly, even though we got that second gas, we're actually going into hydro production. No more mutas were made, so Aww. I think I think it's a bit of a misplay on that front. Like, there's no reason to get that second gas this early. Like, you can see he's floating 900 gas. If you weren't going to commit to the mutas, and get the gas a little bit later. Um, right now, you're just hurting your mineral income, which it, it's really important. It's a balancing act as a Zerg player. Your drones are very important early on, so taking gas that you don't yeah. need to take or not mining minerals that you need to mine, it's like it's really important to to try and min max the. Uh, the usage of your drones. Like, like one thing he could have done in this situation to optimize is he could have uh, negated his hydro upgrades and gone straight into lurkers and tried to utilize his gas that way, or at least get lurker aspect after speed and not get range for a while. That would be a yeah. Good at way least then he's using the gas. gas, and then he's a lot safer as well. Especially because mm -hmm. a lot of Protosses early on do like what he's what his opponent's doing right now. A lot of zealots early on because you're just going to go against hydras usually, and zealots are pretty good against hydro speed. So, the Reaper might be one of those Zergs that likes to just sit and bank gas and like wait for like a later muter switch and like a 10 minutes, like make eight muters all at once and then just start trying to snipe Templars. That's true. It is a style. Um, it's not one that I favor. I don't necessarily think it's overly strong, but it can definitely catch people off guard. And I've definitely won games by like by that, like going into Hydras and then just the muter switch kills them because they didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. And that's something that Protoss players have to always be aware of. It's why you usually see yeah. pro players constantly scouting non-stop with their, their Corsair, because right. they're looking for that potential mutus switch, because mutus are just that dangerous in this matchup if you're not ready. And this them. is actually a misplay from Vile Tomato to move out with the three Corsairs. Like, he could just lose all these Corsairs for three if, for free if he was going Ogre Zerg. Like, it's mm -hmm. really yeah, he has no out. information. Yeah. He doesn't know what's going on. For all he knows, it's it is dangerous. what we expected against the Ogre, Ogre Zerg, and there's, you know, 12 mutas and 50 scourge just sitting here waiting. Yeah, you should wait. And, if that's... and then everything explodes. <laughs> yeah, no, send a zealot or two zealots, try and get into the main, the natural sea, that's what's going on, and then you can make the decision to, to move out on the map with the uh, Corsairs if you need to. He is fortunately not going to be punished as long as he doesn't lose them to the Hydras, and now he knows the Hydras are here instead of the mutas. Okay, pull those back, yeah. Don't lose them for nothing. And at this point, he needs to pull back. He can't attack into this. He's got the Ooh, High Templars, but... In. Probius? What are you doing here, bud? Okay, yeah, good. I like that decision. He definitely can't engage into the Zerg. I like leaving some of these elves here to the... Uh, maybe he's not doing that. Well, he's... He's a third base. He's kind of, like, scaring the Zerg a little bit so he can sneak out this third base and try to see if he can get away with just throwing down the Nexus on oh, yeah. I mean, this is... No, I, I agree with all of that. I just think mm. you should have left some of those elves there that, that base to counterattack if the Zerg did move onto the map. But... Yeah. By the very also least, helping the guy the um, fourth base. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think the Zerg would take a fourth there. I think he'd go for the other main, but... Well, I think this... Yes. And it's looking like this is actually going to go up. This third base is going to go uncontested. Mm -hmm. That's actually really rough. As a Zerg player, if I'm, like, sitting back playing defensive and then finally go to move across the map and the Protoss has already got his third base up, I'm feeling so bad. Mm -hmm. Like, that's such a free third base. You're so far behind at that point. And yeah, the, the yeah, fourth nothing base... Nothing you can do. And the fourth base the Protoss should take is the top right main base and can in the ramp, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. First move out here from Reapers. This will be the first time he's been across the map since the early scout with the uh, the Muta. It's kind of an awkward wall in for the Poros, isn't it, in, on this map? Yeah, yeah. No, you have to do it's those weird. kind of like weird angled wall-ins on, these, yeah, on this spawn and the spawn that uh, Zerg spawned in. Mm, so Retro but... is very strange for walls, yeah. If I were going to clean up five Hydras in the middle during that, a um, little bit of a nice pickoff, but if you're looking at the supplies, like... Uh, it's actually looking pretty good for Reaper right now. Even on supply, not too far behind in the work accounts. These supplies yeah, no, really favor the Zerg right now. He's got a lot more yeah. hydrogen than it looks like he's got because his rallies are just into his natural, into his third. So he's not rallying an attacking army, he's rallying mm. them defensively. So if you go actually back and look at his natural and third, there's a ton of hydras that aren't being used right now. He could push across the map, but that's also to be expected because this Protoss got a quick third base, so his army's going to be a lot weaker than a Protoss normally would be. 
the scary thing is if Zerg doesn't use this Hydra advantage and his supply advantage to punish the Protoss, that third base is going to come online and he's going to just grow out of control. What I want to see from Reaper is the Storm Dodges. <laughs> right, that's going to be essential. Mm, here. It's really you hard to dodge. storm dodge on this map, though, because if you yeah, look at like there's no the, space. If you look at the geography, yeah, like the the bridges are too small, and you've got you're attacking up ramps and stuff. Like it's really awkward for the Zerg to attack into these positions. Like, but, yeah. yeah, no, that there's the third that base random, up, like, I don't think you can do anything about it. I feel like the that Zerg breaks should, up how your army moves uh, too. The, the, what the Zerg wants to do is just soft contain the Protoss outside of these ramps and um, bridges, and take, and, a, fourth, and take yeah. a fourth, and just lurk her, yeah. and just lurk her up outside this uh, bridge here. It looks like he's... Does he even have Lurker Aspect yet? He's playing this like he's going full Hydra, man. Like he's going Six Hatch Hydra, but this is not the map for Six Hatch Hydra. No, it's really not. He might get punished for it. He's trying to get the High Templar snipe, though. Well, he's he not paying attention. Ooh, he gets one for one. his trouble. Nice. He's losing a couple of those uh, Hydras to the Dragoons as well. There's only one High Templar left. It does have full Storm energy, though. There's the first Storm. Ooh. I like okay. that. If you can move in with like four or five Hydras and just bait Storms, that's also really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially because there's only one High Templar out right now. Is there another one at the third base? Okay, there is a couple at the third base, but... You're never going to push across this ramp. Like, this is... Or this ramp, this bridge. It's a, one of the wider bridges, but bridges are still bridges. You you can't push across that. It's a massive concave on the other side, and this narrow little... Horrible for pathing little bridge. You want to bet? That's I mean, you can do these right little skirmishes. I don't know why he was trying <laughs> to target the Corsair there. That certainly wasn't the target. Yeah, that was weird. I think he was moving forward for a High Templar, didn't see it, and just instead of pulling back, decided to get what he could, maybe. Another yeah. storm goes down. I mean, he's baiting a lot of storms, that's something, but he's also lost mm. about about 15 Hydras well, at this if point. If you're baiting out storms, the best thing to do would be to like run in and pick off one Dragoon at a time and whittle down the critical mass of Dragoons. There's another mm -hmm. good use yeah. of your Hydra. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you pick off any units you can, but High Templar is obviously number one focus. If you can get a Dragoon, that's great. Dragoons do a lot of damage over time, so the lower you can keep the Dragoon count, the better. And in the meantime, Tomato's oh, taking a... Yeah, he's getting ready to take his fourth. Yeah. He's going to cannon up the top of this ramp. but these cannons finished, the Zerg is not breaking this until High Templar. It's just not possible. As well. yeah. he's oh, to we're now. running in. Beautiful storm on the front line of Hydra. That was a it's... great first storm. There's not got... many storms left over, though. There's two storms on this one temp Templar. A huge oh. storm does blanket the rest of those Hydra. and most. does manage to take off the Templar, though, before the second storm goes off. So that's at least something, but the concave is all just right. too big. With this, Between the storms yeah. and the concave, you're just not going to attack across that ramp. He kills all the Zealots, but that's fine. Protoss doesn't care about the Zealots. The Dragoon's keeping the Dragoon's alive. That's what matters. The Dragoon's yeah, and the, the High Templar. Yeah, the Dragoon's a hard hitter here. I feel like Reaper misplayed by Del oh. not getting his... Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, right. He, he, like I said, he's playing this like a six hatch Hydra map, and this is not a six hatch Hydra map. Six hatch Hydra works really well in maps that you can be really mobile on and dodge storms and, and be really aggressive. Mm -hmm. But this is a really good map for turtling up on three bases, and Tomato has those three bases. But you can I think even... at this point, I mean, to be fair, he did reset the entire Hyde Templar count just about. I mean, it doesn't matter because he didn't kill almost any dragoons. So the next army wave that comes out is going to be back to where he was before. There's there's only one storm available right now. Actually, if he goes right now, he could pick off this high templar and finish off this army. He needs to go right yeah, now. Though. He needs to go right now. He, he can, he, he the can win this too. game if he goes now. Where's the rally of units? He should have had more oh, units up by now. There's a there's a high templar on the yep. right coming down with full energy. He's got three storms coming in, so he's actually kind of overcommitting a little bit and will lose the rest of these hydras. And he's not going with, with the rest of his army. Oh, uh, he's got a lot of hydras outside this bridge that we haven't just come to help. down all of our own observers. There's still enough so hydras if... to bully back these dragoons. Some of them on a red HP target slows down. Few fall, few falling. Yeah. He, he, can't he's also work. He, just, he just needs to ignore the zealots and kill all the dragoons. Just kill the dragoons. Focus the dragoons. Yeah, the zealots gonna get onto the army late, and he's starting to hit the. He's gonna hold, but more hydras are coming across the map. He might still yeah, be able to do this. His production is six hatcheries. The army count is whittled down enough that the six hatcheries is gonna start outproducing him here pretty soon. He's got to use yeah. good focus firing though. He's just losing too many hydras for free. Not doing any damage to anything important. Bio actually using a couple of probes to body block there actually kind of helped out a little bit. Yeah, that was really yeah, great. It worked out well. Okay, so Bio now has his fourth base up and running, so this is getting really dire for the Zerg player. Reaper has to kill him now. Like if Reaper yeah. doesn't kill Valtamo now, this this game is going to go out of control. No, it's I mean, too late for his... him to go into five bases and go into hive tech. He's he's got to do real damage right now. Look at his bank right now, right? He has all of these all his gas, no minerals. Because if you look at his third base. Like, well, not right now, there's a fight, but there's no mining happening at his third. 
So like, he just his economy is in all sorts of shambles at this point. Well, the thing is, is that the Reaper's on thirty six drones and he's doing six hatch hydra. He doesn't actually have enough hydras to support no, no, this. No, 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 no. The, the problem is, is he doesn't have proper mineral smoothing. He has like seven drones in his main. He should have at least nine. He has like way oh too many gosh. drones he has in like his natural. Drones in his and natural yeah. Any drones mining at his third. He has no mineral smoothing, yeah, so he's not saying. he's not producing units properly. That's why he has like three lava at each hatchery because his mineral smoothing's off. Mm -hmm. All right, big round of lurkers will help break down that gas bank a little bit at least. So it's, it's kind of it's easy, too but... late for the lurkers. I mean, there's one observer left, so maybe yeah. if he snipes that, he can get it contained. But at this point, the protoss is just growing out of control. Single Muta on the way to help, I'm sure. This is kind of more how he should have been playing initially, just like setting up a big massive lurker field outside the bridge and then denying the fourth from going up and maybe from there it's playable after taking our own fourth. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's a little a little too little too late. Like you can get you can you can fight a four base Protoss, but it's such an uphill battle. It feels so mm -hmm. hard so rough to fight a four base Protoss. If it's, you know, two mined out bases and they take two more, then yeah, that's still a playable position. But this is actually a four mining base Protoss. His main's about to mine out, like it's maybe two or three back. I, I, but... I feel like on this map you have to rush Lurker, and not only rush Lurker, but can contain them out from taking this third base. Like literally like rush getting lurkers up onto this third base high ground and lock them out from taking that for a while as well. I think oh, you could so make a five hatch hydra play, but you do need to stop that third base from going up. I think you could hold that high ground with hydras and then have a second at the bridge if they try and push up the ramp, mm -hmm. you counter from behind or I don't think you have to go into lurkers, but you definitely need to contain them and stop them getting that third at least at least as long as you can. Because once right, they have that third up, like this is here. two really choked up spots that a protest can hold three bases from. That's really rough. All right, single muta here, gonna win the fight, I'm sure. Yeah, this muta's got it. Just in the muta, they're OP. Yeah. Our, our fourth base is up for our Zerg player now. He does now have enough drones that he can fully saturate four bases, but almost all of his drones are still in his natural. His natural's mining out before his main. That's how many drones are there. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's not even close. Oh, big bust out from the Protoss here, though. Yeah, there's just not enough army here. The Protoss, Protoss is. More than double with the Zerg supply. It's GG, yep, there's the GG. GG. Yeah. Tomato's gonna take it. Bro, Tato showing us he can still do it, despite choosing the wrong name for well. the race he's playing. He's uh yeah. Yeah, honestly. Now we get What's to the most important match of the day. The second game. Every match is you mean not match. Oh, maybe which one? Let's see what we're the playing is. for map score. It's got to be 76, right? That's how our team does it. Good old 76. All right, here we go. Game number two, unironically right. on 76. Yeah, Aaron called it. We do have 76 here in the top right. We have our purple Protoss. It is Nam Vile Tomato, and in the bottom right, currently up or currently down one or zero to one. It is Nam Reaper. Let's see if either of them go for a fast expand. Looks like Reaper's actually sending out one of his first drones. Isn't even mining with one of his drones. So we got uh, some sort of really cheesy nonsense about to happen here. Well, He's gonna try and jump over the minerals. I think. Having a drone not mining is not much of a cheese. Yeah, no, I think, I think oh, he's trying to go for the middle base, over. messed it up. And he's singling it for the third. So he's going to go for a quick double expand, but he's not mining from the drone. So he's only got two drones mining minerals at the moment. Yeah, those middle ones are hard to jump. I've been practicing it. It's not easy. There we go. Yeah, he got to get it at the nice. right angle. So he's going to go for a really fast three expand. If he gets both of these up, that's four gases. That's a ton of gas. Not quite as important in this one as in TVZ or ZVT, but... Uh, hmm. You know, it's a shame that he didn't get that drone mining, because I think he, uh, he he was so focused on getting that drone drilled that he didn't notice that he had one drone not mining for a long time. Well, he wasn't yeah. macroing at all during that time either. Like, he he just barely popped three drones all at once, too. Like, he was super mm. focused on, on jumping those minerals. I think that might cost him, but we'll see. It seems like Tomato missed some probes as well. We are 9 to 9 at the moment. He definitely missed his, his pylon. He went straight for the Nexus on 9. So this is going to be an interesting game. Nine Nexus versus a quick two hatcheries from our Zerg player. Zerg's actually getting a spawning pool first, surprisingly. He's going to get maybe he's worried about on. how much he missed. 
Yeah. He's going to get first got off with the Overlords. That's big. He knows the, the gateway timing now, so he should be focusing on getting those uh those hatcheries up. He might. Okay, he didn't save Larva. I was going to say he might pop a bunch of Zerglings just because he sees how late that gateway is, but I don't think the Zerglings will be across the map in time, even if he did. Yeah. Blocking scouting at the ramp, but uh, here's the thing about probes. Probe's pretty good. Even if the drone gets the first hit off, probes still win that fight. Yeah, probes are pretty broken workers. You have to get mm -hmm. two free hits with the drone to beat the probe in a 1v1. Yep. If you get the first hit and you just both A-click, the probe still wins. Yeah, drones are the worst Blizzard, worker please overall. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, I don't know. Moving shot with a drone is, I think, a little bit easier than a probe, but not much easier. SCVs are horrible for moving shot, but SCVs also have 65 HP. They're combat units. Uh, yes. I don't know, Naka. Me, personally, I find the moving shot way easier with a probe. Do you? I don't I know. Really I, do. I, it might be I can, that I, I... I can do it extremely it, consistently with a probe, but, like, very inconsistently with the drone. It, it might be that I practice a lot with the drone, so maybe I'm just better with the drone, but... Mm. That would make sense. Because I'm really good at moving shot with a drone. But I will give you one thing. Probes turn a lot easier, so it makes it a lot easier to, yeah, to you, chase. You can snap. Yeah, it's, it's easier to catch up. Like, say you make a mistake and they, like, slightly get away from you. You can catch up in the pathing by being more nimble and, like, snapping to the, like, yeah. the grid more. Yeah, no, that's true. Probes are a lot more nimble than a drone, so that makes a big difference on it. All right, this game is going to kind of even out. We are going to get in our three base versus two base. This is a Protoss on three gas, which is actually really big for the Protoss. Protoss is very mm. gas-driven in this matchup, not as much as Zerg, but Zerg could go for the Ogre Zerg type game style on four gas. He wouldn't actually need four gas, so he'd only need like the two and then maybe go into the third if he really wants to commit to it, but so we are going to see how not seen the middle at all, by the way. No, so it has middle not. Middle base will continue going unscouted for but now. But even if he scouts it, like the Protoss is a long way from being able to do anything. Hey, Protoss is actually making yeah. a scout. If he scouts his middle base, maybe he kills the entire middle base with this with this one scout. Oh, he's taking the other top base, the other middle. Oh my base. gosh, this is crazy. He's doing double <laughs> scout. What? 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 Guys? The only thing you can do on this map is Protoss. Everything else is horrible. Nonsense. I'm so happy. Of course, they're Reaver. That's an actual valid thing. It's not as strong as it was a long time ago, but, you know, it's still valid. I've never been so happy in my life. Okay, we do have the Devil's Spore coming up. You could still drop this middle base for the Zerg player by dropping next to that um, crystal formation, the Kydarian or whatever it's called, crystals. Yeah. Even transferring the probes over to this base. We're going to have a three-base Protoss versus a three-base. I don't even know what you do here with this kind of income. I guess he's just going to go mass scout is what it looks like, but do we have a fleet beacon somewhere? Is he oh. going to go for the scout speed upgrade too? All right, okay. Shuttle tries to drop the other main yep, behind the main, Zerg instead. Yep, is found. We do have some mutas out. Oh, One here come the there. scouts. Here come the scouts. There's five scouts. There's so much anti Oh, my gosh. Oh, those anti matter missiles making short work of the uh, Mulus. There's quite a few oh, Hydras here, though. Oh, baby. If he can get up onto the high ground with the Hydras and start focusing down these scouts he needs one to at a time, kill the he's scout, actually yeah. in a little bit of trouble. Oh. These Hydra should win this fight against the Scout, and if they uh, if they all go down, mm, Reaper might be able to end the game. If he just rallies Hydras across the map right now, yeah. I think it's over. That was a huge investment to lose these, so... Yeah. This is this is the game we all deserve, though. It with is. the Scouts and everything. Throwing down some extra gateways, but it might be too little too late. I don't know why Reaper's not moving more Scouts or Hydras across the map. He needs to just move all of his rally points to his opponent's main and just make nothing but Hydras. Two of his hatcheries can't rally, obviously, but he's got two in his main that can make it over there. Yeah. He's going for more mutas, it seems. I don't know if I agree with this decision to go after these cannons either. I think I would take out that pylon and then keep rallying over it and then come for these cannons. It takes a long time for cannons to build, like you've got time to to play with here. These hydras oh, don't have range yet either. No, they don't. No, this is unfortunate. Okay, that cannon's gonna fall. This one scout might be able to kill these two hydras with the probe's help. Oh, uh, they're trying. They're trying real hard. Okay, yeah, the hydras are gonna get cleaned up. There's no da, 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 da. more hydras on the way either. We actually switched into full muta production from here. We got five muta, six mutas on the way. Was is that, that eight that, mutas? Which is fine because he's going against scout. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, but this is—he's kind of like trolling himself by doing this decision because he's countering what the like, scouts are gonna counter the mutas. So. 
Unless he kills the, the scouts. Okay, this is a bit of a mistake from Valtimo. He should have been camping on top of the cannon with the scouts here. He yeah, I mean, he needs to be on top of the cannons. I, I wonder if he's thinking, since he reset the scout count, that the mutas will catch him off guard or something. I don't know. I don't agree with the decision to switch the mutas. I think he should have just rallied Hydras across the map. But I think at this point it doesn't yeah. matter. I think he can almost make anything and win. Mm -hmm. he he's got to be careful, I mean, though. Because there's now five gateways done, and all the other bases are still mining. So eventually the Protoss is actually going to start to come online with unit production. Kill the gateway, that's the important target. Let's go. I think you actually kill a gateway faster than a pylon, because pylons have base armor. You know what? You might be right with that. I'm pretty sure gateways have base armor too. I, I, I think all of the protest buildings do, but if I remember, I, mean, I could be wrong on this. Cannons Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Cannons don't, yeah, cannons don't. Um, I think pylons have two base armor and gateways have one base armor. Um, so yeah, 300, 300, and 500, 500. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they have one base armor as well. They might. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've looked at the, the base code for that stuff. All right, so now I'm, I'm, I'm really worried falls. here for Reaper. Reaper had such a for sure win, but he's he's being so passive with his attack that I think that the Protoss's gateways are going to start to come online now. He's going to hold here. And once he holds here, he's got a better economy and a better yeah, production he... system. And Reaper's not like trading units, he's like wasting all this DPS on a core that he can't finish off while bleeding all these units for free. So he kind of yeah. made a bit of a mistake there, I feel. Yeah, he got one of the scouts to like red, but the other scouts and the other units only took shield damage. Like he's not doing any any long term damage. Now he's sending just plain Zerglings across the map. Like there's enough Dragoons here to fight these Zerglings without everything else even. It's strange, because like, he should have been doing this initially. He's doing what he should have been doing minutes ago now. Yeah, he needs to throw like four or five more hatcheries down in his main, and then just mass hydras. But it's probably too late for even that yeah. now. Hmm. It is too late for that now. Honestly, I wonder if going uh, for quick hive here in Russian Guardians might be valid. The scouts are the problem there, but like, with some course, yeah. I don't know. The scout count isn't growing. Hmm. I mean, he could also go, go drops and try and hit the back base. No, he, the could, he can. He could just go Hydra Guardian. He'd be fine. Cannoning up this high ground, I think, is a bit of an overkill for Tomato here, but, like, he's so far ahead, be extra safe. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, you want to see cannoning. Look at the uh, middle base. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's nothing else he can do there. Like, he's not going to ever get units <laughs> yeah. there. I just really think Reaper needs to chill out. Right? There's no rush to get up here and kill him up this ramp, you know? No, the, more base. Yeah. The, the window to just instantly kill him is gone, so he needs to just relax, like you said, and well, he getting can... these picks offs on the scouts and the... Honestly, the, what um... he should have done is get the picks up on the scouts and then just go to the uh, 12 o'clock base with the viewers. Uh, I don't no, know. This is no, not the play, no, Reaper. No, what are we no. doing here, buddy? You still oh, don't have no. Hydra range either, like... No, this is not the play. Uh, He's trying to focus down the pylon, but even if you get the pylon, how many hydras have you lost to kill a building that can just be rebuilt? He doesn't even get it. Three HP left over. <laughs> this oh. is not the play here, buddy. Going up a ramp is, is... Oh, no. Poor Reaper. He's, dis he's disheartened. Bro. Honestly, out of respect, Brotato should kill that pylon. That's what I was going to say. Vile, how could you <laughs> let that just live? Someone <laughs> says, no, don't. No, don't. <laughs> Sportsmanship behavior from Vo doesn't want his opponent to give up. Just please give it him a fuck. Tomato's a good person, all right? Oh, yeah, Tomato's a great priceless. guy. But also at the same time, I like to think of the no don't is more like the Willy Wonka. Oh no, don't. don't okay, please. I don't mind this. Placing the three hatches on the low ground, it, it's actually going to improve your mineral okay, but saturation just a little bit can, and it gives you the production but, but, you need. Can we just talk about the obvious play here? Well, after shutting down the scouts, all he needs to do is send Mewers to 12 o'clock. There's two cannons there, and once the scouts are shut yeah. down, the goons can't reinforce. It's an easy win from that point on. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if he ever scouted thinking. that, did he? Hold on. He should assume it's there, I mean. No, I mean, he should yeah, know I mean, it's there, but yeah, he never that. scouted it to know how many cannons are there, so maybe he's just thinking it's cannon to all hell. But when he sees it now, he might be kicking himself because that's really yeah. undefended. It's like so easily overwhelmed. He had enough mutas there to easily overwhelm that base. Cannons are not good against mutas. I mean, like he's he's very he's very sloppily moving into it now, and he'll still kill this cannon. Yeah. Um, he does not have four mutas. I don't think beat a cannon. There's another muta in the wings. Four mutas beat a cannon, but you lose too much damage. I mean, you lose two mutas ish. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, he'll, there's nothing else that can get down here, so it actually doesn't matter that he loses all the two, but now the scouts are here. 
too little too late. The, the scouts, the the unit known he, for being anti-muta. Yeah, even if he yeah, finishes coming up this base, there's only like 600 minerals left at this base. But look how effective this play was as sloppy as he did it. Imagine if he mm -hmm. did it yeah. when he had the opportunity to do it. He would have really shut down Vile here. Oh, 100%. All right, we're taking yeah. the bottom left main here too. It's Reaver. difficult. There's a, there's a lot of spots where he could have just outright won the game that he missed. But I mean, that's that's Brood War for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many of your yeah. own games do you play and you go back and look in the replay and you're like, oh, if I just attacked right now, holy crap! Oh, he's yeah. going to suicide for the pylon again. He's going to get it this time at least. Any supply boxes? Let's open go. Up oh, don't keep pushing up this ramp though. There's still enough army here to to stop that. Yeah. So they finally have, yeah, okay, finally has uh, Hydra range, so the Hydras can finally attack from the low ground, but that's not exactly what you want to be doing. Yeah. This is, um, eh, it's not the greatest. <laughs> well, at least we have Hydra range. I mean, small miracles. Maybe he doesn't have, no, he doesn't have Hydra range. No, he doesn't. No, um, I don't know. It's really hard different. to tell a low ground, a high ground. It's hard for me to. It's hard for me to judge the. Okay, no, that that right hydra definitely has a range that's sitting on the high yeah, ground. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has range. range. Yeah, the low ground to high ground math makes it weird because of how the angles right. work out. So he is gonna this break this. this is yeah, he just, going, right? yeah, if he just rallies, there's another nine okay. goons coming out. So let's just uh, let's see. Rotato here going arbiter tribunal on the back of scout. I mean, how else is he going to get his army out? He's not going to recall. Whoop in a pylon, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the Hydra production is not coming across enough to keep up with the gateway production, even though he should be able to, because it's only five gateways. So it's looking like Tomato is going to once again hold. Yeah. Reaper is taking oh. a fourth base. I mean, he's got plenty of stasis now. He's getting a stasis? What are you going to stasis? <laughs> yeah. The mineral lines. He's going to stasis the mineral lines, okay, Naka? You Please. got a problem with that? That would be amazing. Please stasis the mineral line so that way I can screenshot that and make it an emote. <laughs> if he honestly does it, I'm gonna he's gonna be my new favorite player. Hey, have you guys <laughs> ever watched uh, a little game called StarCraft 2? What happens to the mineral lines with Protoss? Hmm. No one cares about StarCraft 2. <laughs> Look. Oh, well, okay, let me rephrase that. Aaron cares about Starcraft 2. <laughs> stasis wards are not nearly as cool as the blue crystal. I mean, Vile Tomato's sitting on 4k, 4k, but he's about to mine out at that natural... His Ooh. his third base in the center actually doesn't have very good saturation, so, like, maybe if Reaper just wiggles this down and, and plays patiently? Two mm. mutas flew into 12 o'clock and absolutely got obliterated. Oh, hey, Naka, don't you feel like sometimes mentioning StarCraft 2, like, at a Brood War event is much like showing up to a skater park in rollerblades and trying to look cool? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That makes sense. You're just jealous because I look cool in rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds Damn. like you guys are just jealous of rollerbladers. Yeah, he got anything. you, Zoom. Yeah, you got me there. Okay, yeah, this is not the play for Tomato. <laughs> this is good for Reaper. Any extra units that he can trade out is, is, is he really needs. I mean, here you go, two goons at a time. Have fun. It's okay. We I got still... loads of we got loads of drones ready to cross the map. We're going to contain him with hatcheries and sunkens. Dude, please take his take his mineral natural. Please take the mineral natural. Let's do it. valid. It's just that a rally point. It's just a rally point, it. but it would be funny. We got two arbiters here. I still like. I feel like mass drop play is the only well, real can, option can, he has can, left. Let's point it out. Vile's now wait, mined out, wait. so he's on one uh, one base economy, and the Zerg with, uh, with low drone saturation will be mining for a lot longer. So right now it's like four base versus one base for the Zerg. So. Even though there's a huge bank for Vio, if he can somehow stop the pros from expanding and keep growing himself, he can put himself at the right position. Train. All right. Oh, well, for sure. All right. Reaper's drone not train. out of this game. A One question that will we're... actually be valid, guys. I didn't think this question would ever be valid. But I have a question that's actually valid at this point. Go on. How many spores does it take to stop a uh, recall from going down? Too um, many. Not too many. <laughs> too, uh, what define from going down? Well, like it's flying over the cliff and there's a, a wall of spores. Yeah. In the, in the same way that Terran wet dreams about having enough turret to stop mm. a recall. How many spores do you think it is? I mean, spores are better than turrets, but it's still like it's yeah, probably yeah, a good eight or so. Yeah, I don't think you get enough <laughs> pack tight enough, especially because you have to build a hatchery next to the, like the wall to get the creep over there, or else have to like creep yeah. walk over there with. With three colonies. And if you if you uh, activate the recall like at the perfect time as well, it's really hard to stop. So yeah, yeah. It, it, 
I don't I get know. it. Recall's good. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes' main issue right now is exactly that. I think he's probably going to go for recalls to get his army out, but he doesn't know how to get his army out of his base, and that's what's keeping Reaper alive right now. If Vile Tomato could spend his money and figure out how to get his army out, this game would probably well, he's be He's going to go over. recalls, but uh, yeah, there's not much else he can do. He should go. He should get Storm, though. So, but I don't know why he hasn't getting Storm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Doing good unit. That's his I hope. do like that these mutas are kind of useless now, so he's using them to scout other bases on the map. That's a good use of, of those mutas that a lot of players just don't Ooh. bother with. And Suicide he's right. diving mutas into this. onto a lot of cannons with the mutas. Yeah, that's too many cannons for the mutas to take out. Well, he'll kill the, yeah, the he... right side cannons, but he can't kill all the cannons. Oh. <laughs> if he focus fired, he probably could have killed oh, those cannons with go. the mutas left over to harass this mineral line. But yeah, yeah I don't no, know. He, oh. he could have killed only the we right side cannons. We did not a recall, boys. But... We denied a recall into the middle base. Oh, there you shit. Go. That... Yeah, one Arbiter got taken out there. We have another yeah, Arbiter, Arbiter trying to move all the way down Another Arbiter is trying it. Okay, Reaper's if he casts it, why does he get above suit. this? Ooh, the so Hydra's he gets the recall in position to now. try and deny it. Oh, he's casted it. It's oh, he it. it. He gets it. Oh. But there's only Dragoons Money. here, so... <laughs> if there was somehow, like, more muters... If he didn't sacrifice those muters on the... the Cannons just a moment ago. That there would be enough muters to clean up most of these dragoons, and they could the, the muters could fight yeah. with the probes uh, with the uh, drones to clean up most of these dragoons for sure. I mean, it sucks to lose this base, but it also really doesn't matter that no. much. He's got a lot of drones now. He's getting bases elsewhere on the map. And this base was getting pretty close to mined out. Now, what do you do with the goons in that base? Yeah, I mean, he's trying to live there he, now. He left and, and Reaper... a recall elsewhere, but meanwhile we have a hydra bus coming in, killing that. Um, there's no pylon here for these ca um, cannons again, so. Gonna be picking off these dragoons one at a time, and he still hasn't got storm. So these hydras being really cost efficient and just absolutely devastating these dragoons right now. All yeah. the blue blood just uh, um, being formed on the ground mm -hmm. as they get broken apart one at a time. Remember, it's worth noting it's two juice. one hydras against one zero dragoons too. So dragoons are already pretty bad against hydras. Yeah. That's just really bad. Yeah. But his opportunity to break this might. Oh, so he's bringing more I in. Have no idea why Vile is constantly trying to remake a pile on that these cannons. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's like so much value, like 100 minerals for 5 cannons activation. I mean, that's pretty valuable. Oh, there's the stasis! No, oh, let's stasis. go! He stasis he did it, boys! <laughs> let's go! Watch he did stasis. it, boys! Don't build a pylon, please! <laughs> I, so, I don't think Bile is trying to win as much as trying to be stylish. <laughs> it's starting to feel like that a little bit, I, yeah. I think he's trying to take it to game three. I like I genuinely would not be surprised if he's like, you know what? I'm just having fun, you know, because of how Reaper feels. So if I can, you know, maybe not try and win the game, just have a bit of fun, try and lift his spirits. Cause that's the kind of thing Rotator would do. He's too cool of a guy, you know? Well, what, what, I just what, want to say... If if you tried that to me when we inevitably get matched, <laughs> Potato, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> I want him to stay with oh, you on the ramp. He recalled That's his it. army back into his main. I feel like if I was me and someone was like being quote unquote nice and keeping the game going so I could maybe win, I think I'd just get more annoyed than I would feel like. Oh happy yeah. About it. I... I'm not saying he's got the right effect. I'm just saying I feel like that might be what he's doing. But now he can't stasis the ramp anymore. No, he can't. He's got no more stasis <laughs> nope. energy. What's oh, he gonna no. do? What are you doing? You're out of stasis energy. And these lurkers are hitting. Uh, ju just so you guys know, guys in the chat, lurkers don't have any um, hit accuracy when shooting up high ground. So each time these spines are hitting for maximum damage. Ripping. There, so yeah, and they're 100% splash damage. So it's not like a siege mm -hmm. tank or an archon where the the main hits. That's uh, 100% splash damage the entire attack. It's a really efficient lurker field that Reaper set up at the bottom of the cliff here, and uh, Vile's just playing yeah. right into it. Oh, Reaper's gonna clean up. He might be able to push up here and just end the game. If if Tomato loses his base, it doesn't matter how much of a bank he has. He's never gonna be able to make uh, gateways to remake his army anywhere. Yeah, I mean, the entire left side of the map is now zerging up. Meanwhile, these are, or these Dragoons are just being oh, Dragoons. Stop dropping into the drop, high ground. drop, drop, drop. Finally, we have High Templars out, but we don't have Storm Energy. No. He's only just now researching Storm. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even oh, have Storm no. yet. Okay, well, Lord and Lurker being just started buried up onto the high ground as well. Gonna slowly start encroaching on this Pro's position, little by little. More Overlords in position to start elevating the we units just... up if he needs to. Come on, boys, get in the elevator! 
You might even need to get in the elevator. He's just uh. going to start charging up the ramp with the Hydra's focusing down the arc. There's only a handful of Dragoons left over. There's a five gateway oh, no. production up against a stream of Zerg coming into his base and starting to rip apart the remainder of his units. The core will also go down now, so that's the end of the Dragoon production as well. A literal uphill it's battle. Fine, though. He's got, he's got goons queued up all the way down in every gateway, basically. Dragoons aren't the answer anymore, though. There's enough hiders on the high ground, yeah. and they're here. And we have cracklings? Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe they're crack? Hold on. No, Storm uh, has been the, the answer player. for a long time, and it's a little bit late. Yeah, this is, um... That entire bank G -G. is gone. GG, well played. GG, well played. Reaper's gonna tie it up. We're going to game three. Oh, man, OMG. The Reaper cannot believe he won. <laughs> Cookie leaves, the replay's still going. I didn't know. No, the replay's still going, guys. I didn't know. This is like, like island did, map. Uh, Vile didn't know it was an island map. Poor Vile to me. couldn't even get out of his base. Rip. Yeah, no, it seemed like he was really struggling on figuring out how to get his army out and, like, trying to come up with 20 different answers instead of just doing one thing. Yeah. Well, if you got an NSL game... Just a lot. Maybe just GG. play every map at least once just to make sure you know what's what. No, this really is what I told the team. Everyone pick 76 because no one knows how to play on it. Mm -hmm. And the boys are taking that to heart. Well, I guess we're going to go to a break. Yep, take a quick uh, two to five minute here break. So go get your drinks, go get your snacks, and we will see you guys here in just a minute. You guys are off. Sweet. Oakley Doakley. Oakley Doakley, Ned Flanders over here. Are you, are you guys doing another team set after or just finishing the last match after? Uh, we're just finishing the last match after. I don't think that Cookie wants to go for another three hours, let alone everyone. Nah. I didn't I know think we're going to you... call it after this. I didn't know if you guys were struggling voice-wise or not, so I slipped in. No, you're more than welcome to join. Like, no. that's how the Nom cookie channel works. Everyone just randomly joins in. But it's more like... Yeah, this is where, this is where Love Snow got it from. <laughs> oh, that we got the uh, semi-erect penis over there as well. Oh, boy. It's always erect. <laughs> always <laughs> semi. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a drink. Okay. Aaron, All right. yep. I saw your post for this land in Chicago. Is this a, real? Yeah. Uh, no, I left, I put it out. You know, a month after <laughs> April Fools, just for April Fools. <laughs> no, yeah, of course it's real. It's a yeah, thing. Dude, that's fucking. That's meta as hell. Hell yeah, we got to get everyone there. I'm not far. Maybe if should have done it in I mean, Vegas. I'd always, saying. I'd always like to go to the land. We'll see. Yeah, my goal is trying to make it in a place that's easy for enough people to get to, and Chicago is pretty easy to get to for any most people in NA, you know? Yeah, you have a layover there no matter where you're going. Exactly. It, it's the sec, third largest airport in the country, I think, because I think it's um Atlanta, JFK, Chicago. Yeah, like if you're on your way to hey. Washington to go to your grandma's funeral. You get a fucking layover in Chicago. Yeah. And then we'll the place to live. Hey, Naka. Hmm. Good job carrying the cast, by the way. <laughs> Naka hard carry. That's, yeah. that's rude. <laughs> Poor Aaron. <laughs> Especially if Zoom's in there. Well, he just showed up, but yeah. I like casting. I like. He's been here the whole time, but he just showed up. I need to cast more again. I've been here for one There's game. There's always more casting. Are we going to play some games after these uh, casts? Fuck no. I'm going to go relax and play RimWorld or something. <laughs> play what? RimWorld? He's going to go RimWorld one this after. Was, I'm going to go RimWorld that's, that's, what, that's what they get up to at the gay club, Simi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't know. Yeah, you never been to Club, club Cabapoo? That's just how it, you know, that's how it is. No, I'm trying to get I'm in. not surprised. They keep telling me to come through the back door. I don't know what they mean. Let's be honest, they're real well. Fucking <laughs> 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 Rimworld does sound like a good name for a gay club, right? It really does. 
Oh god, that's too good. I hate it. <laughs> Thank God we're muted and no one can hear us in the chat. <laughs> I'll have to ask Chad if they think it's a good name after we get back live. <laughs> do it. You're gonna get the stream banned off. No Twitch. balls don't if you don't do it. No, no are you kidding? That's, you that's no worse than anything I've said on my stream. I've said some pretty bad things on my stream. Yeah, you can say some pretty crazy shit about getting burned. There's some weird shit that you can't say that you'd think that you could say, though. So you have to be somewhat yeah. careful. I made Love Snow talk about child labor for 20 minutes once. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good troll to like get a stream and talk about those subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit, man. Oh, man. G5 versus Hawk. This is going to be good. Yeah, boy. It's going to be sick. I can't believe Hawk shows up and he's like, guys, I'm not going to play a whole lot. Don't like, don't focus on me. Don't think about me. Like, I'm just going to be here. Try and play when I can. So he gets drafted fourth and goes, motherfuckers drafted me fourth. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to play all week, every week now. And I'm like, dude, I love Hawk, though. He's great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, is he salty that Wolfie got the number one spot? <laughs> yeah. No, he was so upset, apparently, that he wasn't drafted <laughs> first. But, he was like, no, now I'm playing a bunch. Hey, I still stand by the decision. Of, we'll fix it. We'll show up every week if I need him to. There was no guarantee on the rest of them. Yeah, no, I 100%. That's exactly why I told Surrey. We're not drafting Hawk if we get first because there's no way he shows up every week. And then he's going to show up every week because he wasn't drafted first. <laughs> Uh, I think we're live now. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to it. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll put you live now. Pick it up. <laughs> okay, should be back now, I assume. All, All right. right, guys, we're, we're here. We're here. Got one more match to finish out in this series, and then we'll be moving on to our final game, which is going to be Hawk vs. G5. Yeah, buddy. Wait, why are we on Heartbreak Ridge? Uh, cause we have, we're 1-1 one, one right now, tied up. For, it's the best uh, map in the pool? Yeah. Tomato and Reaper? Uh, because, um, Brotato decided Heartbreak Ridge was the map he wanted to lose on. Dang. <laughs> I would say don't talk about my tomato like that, but he's playing Protoss, so I have no sympathy. I'll talk about potato all day long. Damn, anyone else hungry? Uh, yes, I haven't eaten yet today. Uh, earlier. I'm not hungry. I had pizza already. I'm I'm oh, nice lucky and bastard. Sa satiated. I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat a pizza. Zoom, you you handle the rest of the cast. Aaron, you got this. <laughs> hey Anderson, have you eaten yet today? Have you eaten oh, any buddy, food? I had that Mother's Day dinner. I'm I'm down for these matches. Down well, my mom's in uh, California, so I don't got to worry about Mother's Day this this week. Same. I have to go next week when I go back to New York. She took my sister to Disneyland. What'd oh, she wow, get you? you lucked out. Womp womp. I wasn't lucked out. I just didn't want to go. Why would I want to go to Disneyland? Yeah. Naka got to not go to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, that so was I'm my first day gift. I'm from Canada, okay? It sounds exotic to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, to us Americans, especially on the West Coast, fuck California. I mean, yeah. But also, we also have this thing called real bacon, which I know scares most Canadians. Oh, come on, bro. You don't got to be that way. Oh well, look, you know, you guys you guys keep eating your ham. We'll keep eating our bacon and we'll you can call it call your ham whatever you want, I guess. You do, you do bacon know is we ham. have bacon, right? Like we 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 have bacon. Yeah, but Canadian bacon is just ham. But you can just buy just just regular bacon too. It's not illegal. Yeah, you know what else I can buy here? Better maple syrup. You know what you can't buy? You can't buy milk and bags. But you're jealous. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually, no, actually, actually yeah, there's one thing I am very jealous of. All season chips. You guys have all season chips and they're freaking delicious. Okay, and the American all, version sucks. First of all, they're called all dressed. Okay? All dressed. That's first it. Yeah, all, yeah, yeah. All dressed. That is no. You know what? No. Okay, forget I it. I'm going to cancel it. You said they were called all dressed and now I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> all right. Our game here on the left hand <laughs> side, we got our blue Protoss. It is a vile tomato. And on the right side, it is Nam Reaper here on Heartbreak Ridge, currently tied up one to one. Times two speed, so I'm assuming we're here for a long one. 
Yeah, Matt, they have I, Peach we, Gatorade. That's actually it's an important indicator okay, as well. You know what, Peach Gatorade? Gatorade. I, I, okay, we don't have that in the States. I'll be willing to try that one. I'd be willing to try that one. Boy, have you delicious. always got ketchup chips? We do not. Oh, yeah. You Which is part, ketchup, why our, it's part of the reason why our all-dressed chips suck, because they don't have the ketchup flavoring in there, too. Yeah. Oh, I just put ketchup on my chips like a real man. What That's is disgusting. <laughs> What the hell was that? Did he just put a nexus down up? No, it was, was a pylon. It was a pylon block. It was a pylon block, right. and then he cancelled it. Then we got a nexus sure before. before like that I was like, huh? Alright, well, okay, I think this is... Is this the right version of Heartbreak Ridge, then? Because it's still a wide natural. You still have to wall it in a kind of funny way, but he's doing the wall in wrong. It's certainly all in just ends this game. Okay, are we sure the right ones in the map in the map pack then? Are we sure the right ones in the map pack? Because that would be devastating if yeah. it's not. So, I'll check after this call to Surrey. be sure. I'll, I'll, I'll check after, after the cast to be sure. But yeah, if it's not, that's that's unfortunate. Someone's getting a slip. I played Heartbreak Ridge in week two, so please don't tell me that. <laughs> Shame on you! You didn't know it was the wrong version. Shame on you. Yeah, if the if the new version has a, a more narrow. Natural that that's that's such a massive difference because wow. this is, this is right. such an outdated Dude, right, so 2.2. So it is new heartbreak ridge in the map pool. Okay, Bio transferred eight probes to his natural. <laughs> it's so Holy excessive. crap, that is saturation. He's got yeah. five probes in his main, six now, <laughs> and like 20 Let's in go. his natural. Oh my gosh, Let's go. Let's go, dude. I blame Artosis. Isn't it Artosis who says that like you always transfer eight SEVs no matter what? What? It's a mind game. So the Overlord sees this like no probes in the main. He's thinking, what kind of cheesy shit is this guy doing? That's that's what it is. Yeah, yeah the mind game. <laughs> Where's your SR, your probes, bro? I'm so far ahead. That's what you think. Well, get... <laughs> I'm mining really inefficiently. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> well, that Reaper's gonna mine out his own back mineral. Yes, good. I mean, I think it's the right decision if you take that base, so I like that. Yeah. Three Zelts moving across the well. map, though. He did see it with the Overlord, but I don't see any Zerglings coming up there. Did he just not make Zerglings? I think he just didn't make uh, Zerglings early on, so he's only got four Zerglings out now. Drones are popping out of that third base. Oh my god, these, these Zelts can do so much damage here. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they're coming in. They're ready to slap. Ooh. One drone's going to fall for sure. He does pull three of the drones back. The mineral still hasn't been mined out. Okay, he's sending them back to the natural. Loses two drones. That's uh, not enough Zerglings with good micro. That's definitely. Nope. Oh wait. Okay, that's not how you with micro good this. Good micro. Then again, it's um. Then again, it's Brotato. So. <laughs> I'm kidding. He could have drilled okay, one drone on top of the the zealots to glitch them out a little bit there to help trade nicer. But he's doing a good job of cleaning up yep. the three zealots there. So well played. It's from still a good trade. Five zealots or five yeah. Zerglings for three zealots is still end up working out. Oh but... it's a, yeah, it worked out really nicely for him though. But that could yeah. have been a lot worse. He didn't have any any Zerglings in the map and pop drones out of there. Second gas in the natural already taken. We do have a Spire on the way, so it's looking like he wants to go for uh, Hatchery, or excuse me, Hatchery, for uh, Spire tech. But mm -hmm. I think he did this last time I went into Hydra, so I I you know I hold that with reservation. We really need to spend some money. My goodness, he's rich. Oh, yeah, he needs to throw down Lucky. micro hatcheries like crazy right now. He's getting yes. ready for the pending economic issues. Oh, Don't worry. He's going for this wall where he puts his the macro hatchery in the choke point to the third. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that either. I've seen some people no. do it. I don't advise it. That's just so easily picked off by dragoons and stuff. It's not easily defendable. You have to come out and do a narrow from a narrow choke into a, a wide open concave. I don't um, know. And he's, wouldn't he's got... it be better to put it up top so your larva spawns on the bottom? You can actually move your army around it. The, the the larva will naturally go to the left. It's actually probably naturally going to go to the right side of the hatchery, so your larva will be on the outside of the hatchery, too. Mm. You picked off All the right. first Corsair with the Scourge and chased That's down good. the other one. Could could use this Scourge to scout, but instead going to lose them to the cannons. Is he making Mutas, or is he going into the Hydras? He's got a Hydra list down. I think he's going to not go Mutas again, so this early gas. Yeah. Once again, Reaper, the don't don't take this gas unless you're planning on going Mutas that early. There's no need for it. Mm. Um... Already lurkers, like really early lurkers. I do like that though. If you're gonna get the extra gas, use it. The well, lurkers is a good choice. Mm -hmm. But I would get, like to yeah. see them containing on the southern map. If he's gonna go for that, use this high ground even. Like you can just yeah. use the high grounds. Like you can get lurker aspect right off the speed rather than getting range and get a slightly earlier lurker timing that way. If you want to go for a really fast contain. Yeah. No. 
it's not a horrible yeah, thing. I've never seen it before until now. I've never heard of it being, but like it's actually a right. pretty valuable, value, viable sounding option. Mm -hmm. I do it quite Course a few times, especially against uh, Sarah, Sarah Zello. Interesting. Good to know. DT's going to come in wait, here. They're not going to find much. Wait, is that hatchery bugs? I think the lava is bugging yeah, on the hatchery. Yeah, there. that can happen. Some it's of the larva is going to die instead of instead of move to the side. But like mm -hmm. I said, the ones that do move to the side are going to be on the outside. I think now that they're uh, uh, spawning on the outside, it should be unbugged, but, but some of the larvae definitely died before then. Yeah, you can get the, there are quite a few spots where if you build your hatchery on the, the bottom cliff like that, the larva can bug out and you just get wasted larva. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen a few games like that. Those are always tragic. There's a Dark Archon being morphed in the natural. I mean, he's got a lot of DTs. Might as well. Well, the, it's very Mine good can, protection oh. from a, a muter switch to protect his uh, yeah. high, his uh, high templars. He's got three dark archons. Yeah, oh, three okay. dark archons. Okay, we're styling, boys. Who's we're Maelstrom? styling. Somebody watched All a certain right. um, ASL game that I'm not going to talk about in case anyone hasn't caught it yet and got really uh, inspired. I better see mind control. Damn it! I better see some mind control. We're gonna go three <laughs> dark archons. I want to see one mind control get dropped. I don't uh, give a damn if it's a single link. I want to see it. mind control when? Let's just mind control the army. Why kill it? You oh, know, yeah, it's kind of trolly, but mind controlling lurkers on top of a Hydra army might actually be a valid tactic. Could potentially be viable, yeah, although it's very uh, situational and nuanced. Extremely situational and extremely expensive if it's the wrong situation, but I think mm -hmm. if in the right situation, it's actually really viable and really doable. Yeah. You know what's better than killing Dude, your army? Me that... having a second army now. There's actually one situation where I think mind control would be really good is if you know the Zerg opponent likes to do drops and you use Ooh. the Dark Archons for drop defense and Ooh, steal the I'm Overlord gonna... with the Lurkers inside of it so you get a three for one. Yeah. Even then, though, I think the Maelstrom would be better in that situation because you can Maelstrom a bunch of them at once and then just storm them. So I think that in that situation, Maelstrom's still better than mind control. Larva is still dying, by the way, at that macro hatch at the third. Is it? I, usually that fixes yep. it once the, no, the larva moves. But... No, it, no, I if saw it, one pop. If it's bugs, they, um, not all of them, but some of them will always pop, I think. Some of them will be fine, and some of them will always pop. Yeah, if you mind yeah, control, you don't get the upgrades, but... You mind workers control, are, lurkers, lurkers are never weak. <laughs> yeah. Name me a bad time to have lurkers, please. Yeah, Granted, They're not great against Hydras, but... There's one thing in free for all, like when I, um, if you in free for all games, if you go mass carrier to protect yourself from mind control, you actually have to get really dense upgrades so that when they mass mind control your carriers, you can kill your own carriers really easily because they don't have the upgrades anymore. Yeah, that's the one place that, that mind control is a very viable and actually required thing is in free for alls for mass yeah. PC and mass carriers. Reaper here playing pretty defensive. I'm actually surprised at how defensive both of our players are being. Neither one of them they're wants gonna, to be they're, they're, both, they're both playing passive. I think they will stay playing passive for another good while. Yeah, and that doesn't favor yeah, the Zerg on this map. Scared. There's just not a lot of easy bases for the Zerg to take. So if he's going to let the Protoss take a bunch of free bases... Oh, oh there's the first Maelstrom. Here. Second Maelstrom. Oh big score on my that. god. There. Wow. But there's no detection here, so... <laughs> and a really weird lap... Final storm, but it's fine. Didn't storm a single one of those lurkers either, unfortunately. So those lurkers are all full HP. Observers are out now. He's gonna move one down there. He could bust that, but the hatchery hasn't even started yet, so it's not the end of the world if he does. Oh, but we're loading up a big drop in the natural for the Zerg right now. Reaper starting to load up this huge fleet of overlords with hydras. Oh my god, yeah. These are that could be big. If he can get that around um Reaper, excuse me, Vile Tomato has some pretty good scouting on the map though, so if it gets seen. And at this level, it's entirely possible that you fly over a Zella and they just don't notice it on the mini-maps, so... Yeah. Even if you notice it... Well, not all of these overlords are loaded up. I mean, a lot of these overlords no. are still empty. He could have loaded up more from the uh, base at the top. I think he's now starting to load a few more overlords at the uh, third base now, but could load up a about, lot more. All right. About half of these overlords there's, have units. There's Hydra's so. following behind the overlord because it was full, <laughs> and they're going to give it away. <laughs> All right, is he going to just U-click, or is he going to actually macro or micro the unload? Nope, he just U-clicked. That's okay. There's no uh, there's no High Templar here to storm that. If there was a High Templar here, this is the worst thing you could possibly do. But since there's no High Templar, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. All right. Our little hodgepodge army of... Now, this is actually really dangerous. 
Because if you look at the natural, that choke that's supposed to stop the Zerg from getting in is also stopping the, the Zealot or Protoss from getting in really easily. Moving. And Hydras are yeah. good in big numbers like this. He needs to not... Mm. Yeah, don't focus the gateways. No, focus the attacking units coming in on you. You can clear this out. Yeah, you can are we going to see the Maelstrom? The Protoss player is coming in a, in a streamline, so if you focus down with yeah. the Hydras, you could kill a lot of this Protoss army off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't have focused the buildings, attacked the units as they're coming because they're streaming. That Dark Archon had 250 energy and died without nothing. Big Storm. That storm is massive. Yep. Ooh. Nice. Second Storm whiffs a little bit, but he's going to finally clean this up. He did lose a lot of gateways, though. That's painful. He had to pull mm -hmm. probes out of the main. Who gets the shuttle with the oh. Reaver inside it, I think? Hey, I'm not sure there's anything in there, but he gets the shuttle. There is one Reaver in the natural, so I think there's a second one in the natural. Maybe he didn't load up the Reavers. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Yeah. Either way, we traded uh, a lot of hydras for a lot of Pearls infrastructure, so the production of the Pearls has been cut down, but so did the uh, oh, yeah, Zerg yeah. army. Oh, so it's it's usually, usually worth it, especially because you traded an army. Anything, right? A lot of those times you send them in and then like you lose a bunch of overlords because like they're storming or they've got Corsairs or something. He didn't lose any of the overlords. They all got back home just fine, so... That's one of those things that's like, all right, normally I like, have to re remake the Overlords, but not anymore. Not but the Protoss is on five base to the Zerg three base, and that's yeah, I don't. That's like... not scary. Yeah, that's that's, that's game ending. Yeah, I don't like how Reaper has stagnated his growth too much. He's staying on three base like this will hurt him in the long run. The one thing that they both of them have going for them is that neither one of them have a strong macro engine, so the extra bases aren't as big as they could be. Yeah. Because we've got a huge flood of Hydra streaming into the natural outside the natural of Vile Tomato, trying to get a concave set up to help uh, fight against these. Uh, oh my but a huge maelstrom going to lock down those Hydras. Beautiful. And the High Templar going to start oh. storming to uh, clean up on our 5 as well. As those Hydras come oh. out of the maelstrom, they just get absolutely blown apart by the true damage of this. Oh, storm. and another one! This is going to get cleaned up by the Protoss, but the Zerg got a decent trade there, especially considering the fact that there was Storm and Maelstrom going on there. Mm, but the, I don't know if it's going to be a good enough trade, though, with the income difference. The, the major problem I see is that the Zerg is not researching 3-3. He's staying on 2-2 two, two grades, and the Protoss already has plus 3 attack and is getting another yeah. plus 2 armor and shield, so... Well, he's got the Queen's Nest, but he's still on Lair Tech. Yeah. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he look at the third he base. Hive at the third. I, I, I just Wait, what? That. He has he a hive, hive in his third and a lair in his main. What on earth? Yeah, right. I just noticed that. Oh. Well, he heard <laughs> us talking and he's just started his 3 3 upgrades, so that's something. Okay, that's good. That's always nice yeah. when players cheat in the past. <laughs> I don't like yeah. coming I down mean, this middle. This is a but... bad. Yeah, this is a bad angle to attack from. If you can hear into the future, is it really cheating, though? And he's still overpowering he's... these dragoons, yeah, though. Yeah, he's got enough. The Protoss did yeah. get his infrastructure wiped out, so he has not been, even though he's got a lot of money, he's not been producing off many gateways, so small window of opportunity here for Reaper to pick off these he units needs to bring the rest of the critical mass to have infiltrated to be able to stabilize, so... Yeah. Now here's the question, do you go for the main and try and rewipe the industry, or do you go for the, the expansions? I think I personally go for the main here, until yeah, I, I see this Reaper. I think you constantly trade off units and production right now. Mm-hmm. Big Maelstrom goes down. I don't think this Reaver's going to get in here in time to uh, capitalize on it, though. Maelstrom doesn't actually last that long. Yeah, they're going to unburrow. Mm. But these Hydras are being blocked by the Dragoons. They still get on that Reaver. Ooh. The Reaver drops almost instantly. Gets in almost no damage. Stream these into the main now. The production. Get on top of the production. Don't worry about this natural. Just go right into the main. Get on the top of the production. Yeah, he's just day moving. So they're just going to sit here. Oh, but the rallies are not really reset. So Yeah, that's the problem with, with getting on top of production mm. is, is the rally points. I think... This might just end the game. If he gets these Hydras yeah. into the main base, there's no way that Vile Tomato ever cleans this out. That's too many Hydras. He just can't produce units fast enough. Yeah. He He needs just... to actually move these units in so they're not punching up at the stroke. There is though. a DT in production, and this Overlord is low HP, so if the Dragoons could somehow snipe off this Overlord, maybe the DTs could get something done here. But yeah, it's looking pretty bad for Vile Tomato right now. He's got such I mean... a huge bank, though. Yeah. Even if the DT cleans this up, how long is it going to take and how much damage are the Hydra's going to do before then? If the DTs aren't even going to finish, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he's going to lose no. his whole main base. I don't know how you recover from this. There's no real infrastructure. I mean, I guess you could make um, gateways at that, like, kind of uh, 5 o'clock position where that cell is sitting. Yeah, Reaper's drying out, though. He needs to transfer these drones to his third right now. He's got hardly any minerals coming in. and needs to take a third, uh, fourth base as well, so... Even though he's cleaning up the main base of the Poros, he still hasn't finished the job completely. He needs to make sure yeah, he still but... has some e economy coming in. 
One, yeah, it's, he's it's actually killing the 6 o'clock base right now, the probes. Two, look at the supply for uh, Brotato. 58 probes, 60 supply. Like, he's only got one combat unit, and it's the Zealot. He's remaking yeah. his gateways at yeah, that he bottom had... right base for some... I don't know. Well, this should be an easy game for Reaper to close out, but if he doesn't, like... Yeah. If he if he if he doesn't get on top of it soon, like Bio has enough money that he can slowly turn the game around again. Yeah, no, the biggest danger right now is that there's not a lot of infrastructure area to make his buildings. Mm -hmm. But where that zealot sitting in that five o'clock position, I think that's all buildable. So he could make his gateways there, and if Reaper doesn't punish that, yeah, like you said, he's got the bank to remake an army and outproduce Reaper at that point, anyways. So Reaper needs to. He's got the the army advantage. He does not have the income advantage, and he needs to utilize that army advantage. Yeah. So that same thing we were talking about earlier. That get ahead, win ahead, get more ahead. That doesn't that doesn't always mean expand more. In this instance, he's more ahead in army. He needs to use that army to get more ahead, not try to expand. Right. But he's he's just not mining a lot right now. He's still got a lot of idle drones. Only just now taking his fourth base. So even though he's kind of all over him in terms of army right now, he's got hardly anything coming in. Mm hmm. And this is one of those instances where it's like, if you're not paying attention and you just don't, or like, you're not thinking right, you're like, oh my god, I'm macroing so well. My money's so low. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually starting to look like a campaign mission here from our Protoss player. Where you the get these really weird spawns. would be to take his main base. <laughs> is there even enough minerals that yeah. make it worth it? <laughs> I guess some of those patches have 400. And it's a moral victory. Back. That's a moral victory. No, it's very simple. We just morph Great Aspire, and we kill the 6 o'clock base, and that's it. And then we kill bottom right with Guardians while expanding. Yeah. This is easy. Now go uh, one, uh, base with, <laughs> with Hydras. One Dark Swarm, and just move a couple of Lurkers in at a time until he runs out of Storms. Either one. So this should okay. be GG. It just might take a long time for Reaper to kill him because this bottom right base is so well fortified with these huge uh, yeah. fortifications of cannons and Templar. Yeah, he's turtled really hard, and if Reaper doesn't actually like make the correct units here, it's gonna he'll never break it cost effectively, and it's a matter of how it cost ineffectively he breaks it. But eventually, he should break it. Vialtimator's just never gonna get the production he needs in that base to actually ever. Get back out on the map. Reaper's Re 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 no. so focused on winning the game with what units he's got. He still has all these drones idle in his natural, and he's still barely mining anything. And the fourth base is yet to touch a mineral. Yeah. yeah. He's gotten the advantage he needs with his army. Now he needs to go back to economy. You got to balance what yeah, you're focusing you just... on. Like, the only way we lose this game is by doing what we're doing now and only looking at the current game state and not thinking ahead. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is where you just put a hatchery everywhere there's minerals on the map, right? Yeah. Top left. I mean, but even just have the money for it, but, but yeah, like even center. if you just... It starts with just transferring his yeah, drones. Even just mining. transferring those natural drones to the fourth would be more than enough. Yeah. His main as well. His main's got 400 minerals left in one patch. Like, he can transfer all but one of those drones and just ignore it. Well, he's finally... He's, hear, he's, he's hearing us, man. I'll tell you, like... <laughs> yeah, now he's time, moving the drones. <laughs> time is non-linear, guys. We've been lied to, okay? Time does not move in one direction. You've been lied to. Reaper is uh, Reaper's cheating here. <laughs> yeah. Listening in from the future. Doctor Who had it right all along. Who? Yes, who? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, don't, 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 don't try and drop this. No. Don't this you guys is... start that. This is not the play here. Okay. This is not the play here. I don't want him to see how bad of a play this is with this. Well, like, he I doesn't don't... know that there's cannons in the back in the mineral line, I guess. But yeah, it's not yeah. ideal. I mean, I would try it, but yeah, as soon as you see those cannons, yeah, you can't, you can't do it. <laughs> it's, his two main options are to go into Defiler or to go into Guardians. Either one of those. Brotato mined play. out. Brotato mined out the little in, the fake minerals in the bottom left to try and start long distance mining his main. But Reaper just had three hydras there and killed all the probes. <laughs> poor, poor tomato. He's gonna morph some lurkers back there, but now there's Ooh. cannons. I, I don't even know why he's making these cannons. This base is mined out. This base isn't important anymore. This Re infrastructure is no. never gonna matter. Reaper is. He's got a thousand a gas, guys. Is he? Okay, he's good. Great spire, yeah. I like the Greater Spire more than the Defiler, but I think either one is valid. The Greater Spire and the Defilers both uh, struggle with storm, and it's just a matter of baiting out enough storms. Mm-hmm. I mean, you do kind of have to like micromanage your guardians a lot and split them apart to make it hard mm -hmm. for them to be cost efficient with uh -huh. the storm. But 
Yeah, when you have to do the same thing, if you were to go to the filer, you yeah, it's, it's, like... it's still the same kind of headache. I, 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 th I like the, the simpler approach of the Guardians in this position. No, I agree. I've, I've never done it before, but now that you've mentioned it, it's like that's that's actually obvious, and that's so much more like less strenuous to deal with the Guardians than to deal with constant re swarming and re eating and re moving in lurkers. Yeah. It's like Vile squeezed out some more gateways in this bottom left base, so he's building up a small contingency over there with the Dragoons and High Templars, slowly banking up a bit of an army with his resources. He is slowly, but how are you ever going to move this army onto the map? Awkwardly, but it's still viable. <laughs> <laughs> right through this It'll choke, through all these buildings, through all the lurker... I mean, all the Reaper has to do is expand like he's expanding, even take the middle base, like take that middle base now. And then just start reinforcing these two positions. You're never going to break out, and then make the guardians. And I don't, I don't know. Well, yeah. He's making guardians now. You've also got two guardians on the left hand side to kind of control that other choke to stop the pros player from getting out the back alleyway. I like that. We'll see what he does with these guardians. The, the micro and the guardians going to be important because if he stacks them too much and storms are just too or too efficient, like Reaper could still lose this game if he's just so inefficient breaking these bases that he actually runs out of money on the map, which is almost impossible, but is. Technically possible. Yeah, it could happen in theory, for sure. One cannon goes down for one guardian, but that's almost a trade you would expect because the storms. Storm only hits Ooh. one guardian, but he does take out another guardian. And this is just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how Tomato gets out of the situation. Theoretically, Reaper just slowly continues to push in with the guardians until it's over. Reaper's. Losing, uh, or Reaper's attacking on both fronts now. He's got the Guardians attacking the gas at the other base, which is pretty good because that gas has still got gas in it. Ooh, gotta be careful with those Guardians though. Accidentally, uh, yeah, Guardians are kind of dumb, and if you leave them alone for too long, they'll just kind of float towards well, the he, buildings they're attacking. He actually was manually targeting the High Templar and uh, uh, was unable yeah. to get the snipe. Ooh, you losing these Guardians to, to cannons and dragoons mm. is exactly how you lose this game. It's too resource inefficient. Like, yeah, there's a ton of resources on the map to be mined, but. You can still yeah. technically be too inefficient. All right, we got a shuttle. We're going to drop the High Templars on the low ground and the bottom left to try and storm down the Guardians. Good storm on the first storm. Going to get two. Oh, nope, didn't get the second storm off. Is he going to get the second off now? Yes. Okay, both he those Guardians are going to fall. Another High Templar. I don't know. I feel like these High Templars would be better served storming drill mines. Slow down the economy. Yeah. Port some of that money to go back into remaking the economy. Hmm. It's it's an uphill battle that I, I don't, there's almost no way for Tomato to win, but like optimizing wise, I think I think storming the drone lines is a better option. As my cat decides to start screaming. <laughs> Look, your cat just wants to join the cast, you know. But she wants it to happens. be included. That's a very cat thing. You just coming in to try and snipe down that shuttle. They are going to get picked off by the storms and the uh, insane number of cannons that are here. And this is this is kind of what worries me. If Reaper is just too inefficient, yeah. Tomato's got a massive bank. Like it mm -hmm. is theoretically possible. Oh yeah, no, it is. I wasn't joking earlier where I said that he could turn this game around. Like for sure he can. Mm -hmm. I really do wish he would start storing some drone lines with this though. Do you know what yeah. the main problem is? Is that Reaper's not mining gas in the top left, and he's only mining from depleted gases right now. So he's actually limping with his gas count, which is not making him not able to make enough guardians to be able to deal with these positions right now. You're right, and that's part of why I want him to take the middle. Two hatcheries, that's two free gases. Oh. You could even retake that main for the gas, like he was saying yeah. earlier. It's not even a not even a flex play at that point. That main gas in the Protoss probably has not a thousand or so in it. Uh, three hundred. Okay, I was a bit off, but ah, it's still worth the cost of a hatchery. Definitely, especially at this point in the game. There's plenty of minerals there, too, so... Honestly, there is a world where you just flood cracklings into here. Alright, Tomato's entirely mined out now, so... What you see is what you get until he expands yet again. If he can, yeah. I don't think this is the play either. I mean, picking up high templars mm. is great, but... That's a lot of hydras for... Well, to be fair, Vile still has 2,500 gas in this assimilator, and if he makes mostly High Templar, he can still make quite a few units with uh, what he's got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we, we go. Storm, storm drop on the middle line, finally. We see another one Ooh. like that at 12 o'clock, and that could actually yeah, be a really massive. nightmare. Yeah. 12 o'clock has about 18 drones there, so that's half of his current drone count. That'd be pretty devastating yeah. for him to lose that. 
Dude, it, if Rotato makes a comeback, I will personally. I kind of want to see Tomato move his probes out of the way, make a Stargate, and just make one scout. <laughs> It's the same as like a Terran making a Wraith to kill the, the Guardians. Like, that would do a big. Yeah. It'd help a lot in the cost effectiveness. Ooh, beautiful score. Oh, he's out. Bio is out. He's, out. he's broken oh my gosh. the contain. If he can secure this mineral only, that's huge. No. His supply is no, up on no. Reapers right now. Reaper actually doesn't have a big bank, and it's really, really hurting for gas. There's even some no, probes. No, that are no, no, no. He can actually turn this game around. Yeah, I mean, Reaper took a long time in establishing himself after being so far ahead. Still isn't mining this gas in the top left. As you can see, no gas left for him. Only a little trickle coming in at a time. So, no, yeah, no, 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 this no. is uh, looking actually a little bit bad for Reaper if he doesn't stop mining yeah. gas. If Tomato gets this Nexus down, I, I, I pretty much almost guarantee that Tomato's going to win this game. No. He's got the Observer here. Both of these Lurkers should get killed off. We're trickling in Hydras like five at a time. Five Hydras does not kill this army. You should trust the Clairvoyant that is Zun calling this game or the comeback from ages and <laughs> ages ago. The Clairvoyant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone thinks a bit highly of himself there, Zun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are producing a ton of Crackling, so that's about all he can produce. I like how he's mining out the, the Zero Minerals. The uh, drones ran out of mining, so they went to go mine that because it was the next closest mineral patch. <laughs> Yeah, this base is no. going to go down. The Cracklings are not going to beat this army. Is there... Okay, there's no splash damage outside of the storm, so... Well, Maybe with enough Cracklings? Well, one thing Vile isn't doing correctly is he's not um, gathering his army right now. He could have busted out this contain on the right-hand side of his mm -hmm. army, flanking from the left sooner, and then conjoined his armies to fight. So right now, there is a chance for these Zerglings to overwhelm this position because the, not all of the Protoss forces are consolidated right now. Beautiful storm going down the yeah. left. Clearing up some of those zerglings, but he's not noticed the zerglings. Oh are no, not he right doesn't yet. have adrenal guys. Oh yeah, he doesn't have adrenal guys. That's actually pretty bad. That's enough zerglings. So I don't think it's gonna he, matter, either, but... he is upgrading the adrenal glands, glands at least. So. Yeah, but he's got no more money. He's got no more money. Yeah, he's got nothing. He's he's mined out tomatoes. Entire. If, if he loses this nexus. Ooh. Oh man, he really needs to get, like you said, he needs to get that other army out and combine it. Yeah. Protoss is stronger as one army, not as a split army. Those lurkers have like oh, one shot from the Oh, coming in from the well. back. He's gonna get the Nexus if he targets it down. He needs to target oh. the Nexus down, that Nexus has to fall. Oh, he's oh Link's coming in from the, the back, I don't think it matters. Side. Goons are gonna fall, this Nexus goes, goes oh my go gosh. Go surround, let's go. Bio's got so he's... many units that he's unable to bring oh, to bear right Oh no, now. the Nexus is he's almost dead. He's finally breaking out, but it's too late, this Nexus is gonna go down. Oh. Oh no! His army is not designed to fight Zerglings either. I mean, like, if he morphs some of these into Archons, maybe he's okay, but... The Crackling upgrade has now finished. What are our upgrades? Oh, we got throwing that whip. Three, three armor on these, uh, these, um, uh, Zerglings, so... Dragoons are really bad against them. And Vile just yeah. made an Archon from Templars that had enough energy to storm, so he's realizing he needs something to help fight against these Zerglings. Yeah. I mean... Oh, man, I wouldn't have used all of them, but I would have probably at least sacrificed two of them for it. More uh, Zerglings trickling in here. Now, Reaper doesn't have a big economy. He's going to mine out soon. Yeah. He's entirely reliant on Zerglings. This isn't technically over yet. If Vile Tomato can combine his two armies, he's got a ton of Dragoons at the left side, he's got this army on the right side, he can... and pushes across the map, maybe he can end the mining and end the Zerg player, but well, this is it. But Vio needs to start long distance mining this base at the 6 o'clock as well with all these probes just chilling on the right yeah. hand side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he, he needs to start long distance he mining. He needs to move across the map before the. Like, Reaper just needs to chill and delay the push because if he can get a big enough army to crush this, the game's over. But. Vile is going to win this game. Look at this army. Oh, yeah, no, Tomato should win this game. I don't think that Reaper has the, uh, the money anymore to, to handle this. No, he is just fatigued after. A 30 minute game, I think. That's it. GG. Tomato's gonna take it. What was that about, uh, Sir Williams? GG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I called that a long time ago, right, guys? <laughs> Zoom, Zoom with his clairvoyance calling that for sure. Uh, what is it you said, Zoom? Time isn't linear. Time isn't linear, <laughs> boys. Time isn't linear. Uh, uh, I'm so sad for my boys. Ah, uh, not like this. Sometimes I say I don't know. 
Fabino. Don't you do it. No, you do <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to do it. It's not a nom thing without that now. Oh, man. There was so a the moment, though. The thing we can do is uh, <laughs> we got to crop the stream image. Can we do that? <laughs> crop the stream image. Yeah, like the badly cropped meme that keeps getting shared. Yeah. Oh, that was one hell of a series. Yeah, that was really close at the end. It could have gone either way. Like I said, you know, the Zerk player was in a demanding position, but if he's just too inefficient and he was just too inefficient, eventually the Protoss breaks out and ends the game. (laughs) Maelstrom, 100% win rate. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't wrong. Pearl spells you guys are going to see. I'm not going to tell you what happened. I'm not going to even give you a hint of what happened. I'm just going to say next week we're going to see the greatest maelstrom of all time. Yeah, don't don't spoil it. You'll know it. You'll know it when you see it. Don't worry. <laughs> I want him to maelstrom his own units. Honestly, that's kind of what I want. I I want it to be the biggest whip of all time. And he's just hyping it up. <laughs> like, I, I used to watch a ton of BC back in the day. And uh, I still think that was probably one of the best PvZ series I've ever seen. Understandable. It's a pretty good series. <laughs> Spoilers, NSL will cut to ASL just for Maelstrom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Yes, Vile120. Oh. Is the graphic wrong? Oh, yeah, it is. The graphic seems to be wrong. It put two points for us and one for them. Oh, you want to fix that cookie? Rockets Raiders should cookie. be two, and Hydra Lick These Nuts should be one. You mean to tell me that Cookie trying to do like five jobs at once can't do them all perfectly? I know. That's it, Cookie. Shame. You're, kicked, you're kicked out of Alberta. Yeah. Damn, the Canadians are kicking out. That's pretty bad. Wait, was, was Wild Tomato the Zerg? No, he played the Protoss. It, it was the Protoss. Did, didn't Reaper win then? No. No. The Protoss no, won. The, you gave the point to, you oh, gave the point yeah. to um, oh, okay. Reaper. You gave the final point to Reaper. My bad. Sorry, it uh, happens. It's been a long day and a lot to deal with. <laughs> In my head, I was thinking that it was Reaper. It's the tomato name, man. That's supposed to be only a Zerg name. Probably should have been Reaper, eh? <laughs> oh, I mean, I think oh. so. I Fame think Reaper them. should have won. I'm not live on the cast, by the way. Yeah. We know. Everyone, we're just talking to ourselves here. It's fine. The voice in our head is telling us things. Yeah, the voice is in our head talking to us. Yeah, you can't so, be a uh, without a voice in your head. At least you have to have at least three, from what I heard. Which is <laughs> great because I have eight. So is there eleven five? Yes, it's yes. eleven five. And we'll get two extra points. It looks like. Yeah, we'll see. The two, two for sure. Could be three. Nice. Don't worry, G five did it too well real quick. Hydraulic did win one series, okay, so Alright. G five is gonna come in here two oh real quick. It's gonna be beautiful. <coughs> I'm calling it right now. There's my clairvoyance for you. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. <laughs> All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. All right, here we go. Here we go. In the top left position, we've got the man, the myth, the legend himself. It is our Red Zerg, Hawk. And in the bottom left, his opponent, the blue Protoss from IRK. It is G5, two Titans fighting it out here in the NSL. Our humble Let's little go, lead. G5. Let's go. And some <laughs> Zerg. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's relevant somewhere. <laughs> Look at that. Hawk already <laughs> teaching me something. I thought that the mineral patch to the left of the current drone was, was more efficient than the one he's mining from, but, but now I know better because Hawk is mining from that one. Yeah. How dare you mine from the wrong mineral patch? I know, right? See, learning already. So much to teach us, Hawk. So much. 
Which patch are you the talking about? The hog is a great Sorry. Zerg teacher, actually. The, instead of the bottom, so the bottom farthest right one, the one to the left of that, I thought the one above that was more efficient than the one to the, the bottom left one. Yeah, I think he's manually boosting it, though. He's, like, manually aligning yeah, the is. drone each time. Yeah, he's yeah. manually boosting it, which I think is why it's more efficient in this instance, because otherwise mm -hmm. that left one is more efficient. Oh, look at this drone movement. This is absolutely beautiful. It's one of those things where, like, that top patch in some maps, I think uh, Fighting Spirit has it and Polypoid also has it. The top patch is more efficient than the inlet patch, unless you don't, or unless if you boost, if you don't boost, then the inlet patch is, is more efficient. Mm -hmm. All right, G5 going to get the first scout off. We are getting a Forge expand out of G5 here. Hawk looking like he was going to go for the 11 hatch, but he's going to have to throw down the... Uh, no, he's going to ninja it. He's going to try and ninja it. And he, oh, no, he was going to try and ninja it. He was anyway, going to try, but, but yeah, he got denied. Yeah. So he's going to throw in the spawning pool instantly. Rack. That hurts as a Zerg player. That hatchery time, or that pool timing is painful. Yeah, you don't like to Wrecked. do G5. G5. You can 12 pool <laughs> against Terran. You can 12 pool against Zerg. You do not want to 12 pool against Protoss. It's, it's, not, it's not good. Now, he could yeah, block this fine. ramp with one of the drones and get the hatchery down. That'd be good. Okay, he's going to not block the ramp. He's going to send the drone to the third, it looks like, just in case it goes for the block, and then he can at least get his hatchery mm -hmm. down. So This is wise from yeah. Bork, just kind of hedging his bets a little bit, making sure he can place down that hatchery one way or another. Does Ooh. ideally want to get it in, and he is going to get it. He did oh, it! The oh, ramp went God. too far oh. to the right and was unable to get the block. Great play from Hawk. That was beautiful. Hawk getting down the hatch. That's important. I like If you have to take it on the third, that makes you much more vulnerable to mm -hmm. uh, aggression. G5 is going to go for the Nexus before Cannon. Because of that 12 pull, he's able to get away with that. If that was a normal over pull, he'd have to be a bit more careful about taking that Nexus before the Cannon, but now he can get that Nexus down early, and he's delayed Hawk's expansion by a lot. Cannon's going to come down now. He'll get ready to place down the gateway if he needs to, but uh, we're looking like it's going to be a pretty normal game going in from here at this point on. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything too crazy from here on. Looks like both players are going to be lining up for a macro game. Hawk going to be throwing down his third hatchery and then probably taking his third gas soon after. Yeah, I should see the third gas here any moment now. There it is. Gateway is coming down for our Protoss player now. Nexus will finish up before too much longer. We'll see a transfer down there. And then, yeah, this will go into a standard yeah. game from here. We'll have to see how long he can keep the probe alive. That's really important. Because mm -hmm. Hawk could still go into a 973 or any kind of other bus type of play from here. Good control from the probes so far, though. Ooh. Good control from the lings as well. It's actually really hard to chase uh, probes and, and workers around if the control on the workers is really good. So... Hawk showing yeah. some really good control from these Zerglings to be able to, to keep the, the mm -hmm. uh, probe away from his hatchery. It is really hard to kill a probe with Lings, with only two Lings especially, because it regenerates shields so fast, so you have to be constantly hitting it, so it does require a lot of APM to be whittling that probe down and start to chew away at his hold points. Yeah. And keep in mind, the Zerg needs to be at three locations at once. He's got to be moving drones to mind this third and his natural. Like, that's a lot of APM that's involved and a lot of control. And, like, yeah, yeah it's, it's just keeping this probe alive isn't easy, but it's also really hard to kill it. Okay, so Hawk hasn't yet started his lair. I'm wondering if... Okay, there's the Hydra den. That's why I was wondering about. I was wondering. We haven't seen the yeah. lair yet, so I'm curious. He's going to be throwing down that den in the natural. He's identified that G5 likes to keep this probe in the main base for now, but after not seeing the lair, I'm sure he's going to come Ooh. on down into the natural and see that. So he might be seeing Perfect like a, a 9734 fake out of Hawk here to kind of force a few cannons and put on some pressure while they're transitioning into more of a macro game. I doubt he'll commit to the Hydra bus, but he did see the cannon up against the wall, so it is ideal for a 973 being able to get on top of that cannon and killing it without even needing to wait for the range upgrade and then being able to use the Protoss' wall against him if there's not cannons currently finished after that cannon goes down. Yeah, at the highest level you usually see Protoss players put their cannon back more for that exact reason, so the 973 can't just jump on that first cannon for free. I like that he put yeah, the Hydra in the low cool. ground. It was a bit of a mind play, because at that point, G5 knows he's not going for a lair, because he knows the time of the lair should be coming up, so he needs to guess, is it Hydra Den or is it Zergling Speed? More than likely, it's Hydra Den, but he needs to confirm that. He does confirm that, so the fact that, that went down to the natural is a big thing. It's just a small play that, that puts a little bit of uncertainty there for a moment. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, yeah. go on. I was going to say, he keeps your opponent guessing, and the longer you can keep them guessing, the better for you. Yeah, and the Stargate timing will be able to confirm for sure whether or not Hydra's are going to be in production, but it's going to be hard for G5 to identify whether or not this is a full committal from Hawk, or if we're just going to see like seven, eight Hydras to kind of force cannons and maybe snipe off the uh, gateway. So we'll see just how much Hawk wants to commit to this. I, I'm kind of smelling that he won't commit to this. We see a Zealot at the third base actually trying to get on top of the uh, pro production. He sees four drones here, which is kind of telling that 
maybe he's not going to commit to a Hydra bus. We see more than three drones here at the third base, but it also could be a bit of a mind game for the Zerg. Sometimes over makes drones at certain bases to kind of throw the Pearls player off a little bit. Does get one of those oh, it's drones, a drone. so big pick off Ooh. there from G5. Not only denying the mining time for a while, but also snagging a drone kill. It's going to be a huge pick for him. Yeah, G5 playing this really safe too. Like he's getting the extra cannons, but he's not overproducing cannons. He's got a second cannon now. He's making two more. And that's that's it. He hasn't like overproduced cannons yet because of what he's seen so far. Mm -hmm. We've got the fourth and the fifth hatchery coming down from our Zerg player. So our Zerg player really is looking like it's going to be just a small pressure to try and force out cannons and going into a macro game from there, which is entirely viable. This is not a cheese. This is not an all-in. This is a very normal build that's entirely viable. You're you're forcing the cannons, which delays the gateways, which yeah. allows you to drone up behind it. Um, Hawk actually floating quite a bit of larva here. I, it looks like he's making some more hydras. I think he got himself supply block. Yeah, he got himself supply block two overlords in production at the moment. I'm sure. Yeah, it's very hard to stay on top of everything as Zerg. Uh, it's very easy to get supply blocked to uh, weird junctions, similar to how Terrans can, can find themselves supply blocked to say like 44 quite frequently. That similar mm -hmm. thing does happen to Zergs during these sort of like high octane games where you, like it's hard to remember to do everything. Yeah, um, there's, the, 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 there's two logics behind the 973. One is to, to overlord as you need, and then one is as the 973 finishes, you pop three overlords so you don't get supply blocked. Mm -hmm. And I think both are viable. Yeah. But that, that other variant came out exactly for that reason, because of the potential slight pie block. If you just pop three Overlords, then, you know, you just mass Hydras as, as you need to. Yeah. Lair is coming down. It's going to finish up before too much longer here. Corsairs are out. They might get an Overlord here with good control. That Overlord's pretty weak, but there are three Hydras here going to push them back. He definitely doesn't want to lose a Corsair oh. here. Overlord right clicking on the one Overlord. Yeah, oh. Hawk wasn't paying attention, yeah. and uh, G5 going to be uh, abusing the AI to snag that Overlord, overlord kill. And yeah. uh, that's a nice little pickup for him, actually. Any little, any little helps going to have Storm on the way now for G5. He let the fifth cannon oh. finish to kind of respect this Ruined. Hydra bust a little bit. Denying plus one here will be very nice for him. Yeah, the deny mm -hmm. on the plus one's huge. And that, that is big, that Overlord pickoff is big, besides the fact that he was already supply blocked. 973 is really delicate when you're going to go into a macro from there. You have to use you know, all that time to get the drones up, because you're putting yourself at an economic disadvantage early on to try and get an economic yeah. advantage later. So any time, any delay on the, the drone production there actually hurts a lot. Yeah, and G5 actually remade the forge a little bit delayed, so his grades are going to be really falling behind. And he's only remaking the one forge. Usually you'll see uh, Protoss players uh, get the two forge, but it looks like he wants to go into really heavy uh, sairs. He's even trapping a probe behind his mineral line to make sure he can stack his sairs to snipe down any potential scourge later. Oh. So it's looking at him seeing a very heavy uh, sair commitment from G5, potentially. I do like the Hawk is getting the Spire. A lot of Zerg players will do this kind of 973 into Lair and then just skip the Spire since they're already on Hydra production. That Spire still is important to get out, if for only to threaten the potential of Mutas, even if you never use it. Um, but a good player is, of course, still going to make some Scourge to deal with the Corsairs that are on the map, especially with G5 making more Corsairs and looking like he wants to go into a Corsair-heavy game and control the skies. Yeah, that Spire is going to play a huge role here in mm -hmm. this game. It's looking so like he's he's thinking up. that there might be a uh, muta switch behind this as well because he's starting to get cannons in his in his uh, mineral lines just to be extra extra mm. safe. I don't know what he scouted to tip him off on that outside of the layer timing, but that might just be enough. That this level, these kind of players know each other's builds really well. They know the the more standard plays and, and timings and things like that really well. I, so he might just have sniffed it out entirely. I think G 5s like really meta gamed Hawk here because like Hawk's starting to like transition into a muta switch, and G five was already well prepared for that. So yeah, I would say yeah. that G five has has won the the mind game in this game. He's really lined himself up nicely of what Hawk wants to do. That's a quite the high Templar tech count that's being built up too. So even if he doesn't go for the Muta switch and tries to go for a bus or something like that, like, but there's the Mutas. We are seeing the Mutas pop out. There's five out at the moment. We'll see if he wants to commit and go full Ogre Zerg or if he's just going to try and get what damage he can with that five. Five is enough to one shot a probe. I think at two shots a Templar. Um, nine, mm -hmm. five. Let's see here. That's no, it's three yeah, shots well. a Templar. I, f I feel like though, with making this much of a, a sec commitment. G5 should have gotten weapons attack. He's only he's now getting dragoon range, but he, he skipped getting yeah, yeah. weapons on his sairs. So we, we have we have seven corsairs moving out, but they don't have plus one, so they're not as strong as they could be. I wonder yeah, if that decision out just as the mutas come in. Yeah, I wonder if that decision was unintentional. Like the corsair switch was was so late that he just didn't have time to get the dragoon range and the plus one, and he decided that the range was worth Ooh. more. Good moving Ooh. shots here from these corsairs. Going to get two of the mutas instantly. We'll definitely Ooh. get a third. Well, that's gonna, Is he going to hunt down a fourth? That's going to really discourage um, Hawk from wanting to commit any more to Mutas. We even see a shuttle and robotic support bay oh. coming up, so we might even see some uh, Reva Serre action, interestingly enough. 
Ooh. That's that's crazy. I haven't seen Reaver Sarah, especially at a high level in a long time. I'd be excited as heck to see that. We'll see if he does decide to go for it. He is. He's making the Reaver. We're not making any more Corsairs, though. We're stuck on seven. But even in old school Corsair Reaver, you usually didn't go above like 10 Corsairs. The Corsairs are only important enough to keep the shuttles alive. They're not your main army force. And Hawk's now supply block. So when does he get Corsairs D-Wing? Roaming. Is the real question. Yeah, no, he's gotten three or four overlords with these uh, Corsairs, which is big. All the overlords on the map, except the one that's down there at that Ooh, lake. Flying over the Hydras. Oh, he might lose one Corsair over here. Gez pull back. Corsairs oh, manages to save them. Most of them have hull damage now, so another move like that, he's going to start losing some. But yeah, Corsairs actually have a lot of health, so they do manage to get out of there. Mm -hmm. There's only one overlord left on the map and one Zergling, and that's pretty much all the vision that Hawk has. He has a Zergling kind of patrolling at that that nine o'clock base, but that's a pretty pointless position for it to be in. There's not a good chance that the army moves through there. Um, mm -hmm. Some hydras that on the map. We are getting a fourth base up here from. Oh, I thought that was a hydra busting those cannons. I heard the cannons explode. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth base is coming up here from Hawk, and, and uh, we are getting reavers loaded up into a shovel. So we are at the very least going to see some reaver drops potentially with these corsairs, even if he doesn't go full corsair reaver. Although he is keeping the reavers with the army for now, so it might just be a move out to try and bust a base that might be turtled. Ooh, I just yeah. can intercept oh. the Corsairs and maybe gets two pickoffs. That's two. actually pretty huge for a uh, hook there, producing that uh, count. Going to help him out a lot of uh, not letting too much air superiority be uh, dealt Ooh. to him with these huge Corsair numbers supporting the Reaver play. So that's going to be really uh, worrisome for G5 now to move out with this uh, Corsair Reaver, I think. Yeah, it's really risky too. As you lose more Corsairs, it makes that potential of the Muta switch mm -hmm. again that much more dangerous. And the Muta switch at any point in time, if you're caught off guard, can just end the game outright. So... It's really important that you keep those Corsairs alive as much as you can. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have plus one att um, attack upgrade either, so like he can't even one-shot Scourge anymore, so it's really risky for him to go for these plays with a low yeah. Corsair count. Yeah. Hydras are pretty much his only vision on the map right now, but he is making good use of them, sending out some Zerglings just to see if there's any hidden bases on the map. This army is moving out now, though, from G5, and Hawk is entirely blind to it. He his Hydras aren't positioned to see that. He's lo more looking to see if there's another base coming up rather than attack. Looks like G5 is going to push towards those Hydras, though, so he will see this eventually before they start moving across the map, which will give Hawk the time he needs to decide to set up a defensive position mm -hmm. wherever he needs to set it up. And that's that's a key point in like high-level games that you'll see. Army movement in the map. Armies are constantly moving yeah. around, and most of that's for scouting information to see what's going on. It's a lot of APM to do it, but it's highly, highly, highly valuable information to keep a constant eye on each other's armies. Yeah, well, your army doesn't do much if it's just kind of sitting in a corner, mm -hmm. you know? Their army's a fighting thing. Okay, so it looks like Hawk wants to kind of like bait the Protoss army across the bridge to maybe go for a flank from behind here. I would hope that G5 is a good enough player not to risk trying to go across that bridge, especially with Lurkers on the other side. Like, even if he's got the superior army, it's not going to be an efficient trade. He does have the Reavers, so he's probably going to try and like Reaver down these Lurkers, but he's got to be really careful about getting flanked here. It looks like that's exactly what Hawk is setting up to do. Mm hmm. Hawk's supply count actually really high, a scary supply compared Ooh. to more G5s at the moment. Those Reavers are really cost inefficient for supply. Okay, so here we go. Looks Ooh. like G5 is going to be slowly sieging uh, Hawk's position across this bridge. But meanwhile, it looks like Hawk moving out into the middle, going to be cleaning up some of the reinforcing units with these uh, two or three control groups oh, of Hydras these in Reaver the middle. Shots, so. Meanwhile, there's so good many Lurkers and Hydras going down across the bridge. So, so far, G5 making good progress, but right now the there's supplies are really favoring. There's still a ton favoring. of Lurkers. Yeah, the supplies are really favoring Hawk right now, though. If he gets a good surround of these Hydras, they are coming in from the Southern Threshold now. He's going to get ready to pincer of this army from both sides. Lurker moving forward to try to borrow fairly good oh. Storm Dodge, and then shot dives forward. Oh my god! Oh, there's a few oh, oh, Storms oh. behind. Absolutely devastating the train oh, of Hydras. Oh, so oh, many oh. Hydras. Oh. Oh Decimated by those gosh. storms. G5 was ready for that attack from behind. He had the High Templars in position. Another massive storm on the bridge. Now using oh. the bridge against Hawk. <laughs> this trade was efficient. Hawk was actually up on supply. He is now down oh. 30 supply. That was such an efficient fight for G5, even oh on that bridge. Lord. There's still a lot yeah. of lurkers left over here. I don't think G5 is going to be able to push in and end the game here. But he has even that, that army count out, and he has put Hawk on the defensive. Hawk no longer has control of this game. Yeah, I don't think G5 even wants to expand. I think G5 just wants to finish the game from this position. I think he understands that if he tries to expand and play a little bit more passive, Hawk could overwhelm him. But if he keeps attacking in this tight angle and pushing up and laying siege to these macro hatcheries and keeps storming all these hydras, oh. it's going to be really hard for Hawk to fight this army. Oh, There's only two no. lurkers left. If he can break these last two lurkers, he can definitely break through the rest of the space. There's two sunkens there, the natural, but two sunkens aren't going to stop this army coming in. One lurker left, about to get uh, knocked out by these... Uh, 
Dragoons and, and Zealots here, but actually they're not focusing it down, so it's getting some free damage on these units here. Reaver is about oh. to run out of Scarab, does pick it up and save it, it has almost no health left, pulls it back and lets it drop down, but Lurker reinforcements are coming in, big Scarab on the Lurkers there, trying to keep this Reaver alive as long as possible, gets oh. another good connect on this, this uh, these Lurker clumps, but Hawk is finally going to clean this up, I think pushing across the bridge was just too much of a risk there. Yeah, and G5 actually might not be able to finish the game, which actually puts Hawk in a really advantageous position, and uh, G5's now mined out in his main, will soon be mined out in his natural. He's running out of steam, he's running out of gas, like, he's trying to put the pedal yeah. down, but there's just not a lot left in the tank for him right now, and Hawk has slowly whittled him down to a nub, and now kind of evened out the supplies yet again, and with a healthy count of 53 drones, 56 probes, like, there's a lot of production for the Zerg right now. Yeah, if G5 had Storm at least drop. a third base coming up, I'd say maybe this is a, a playable position, but it's feeling it's feeling like Hawk should be able to close us out at this point. Mm. We're down to one mining base, like you said. There's no third base on the way. There's Ooh. no ability to take a third base. Storm drop in the natural does do quite a bit of damage there, but it's it's just not enough. Yeah, there is another Zealot run by in the 12 o'clock position. Zealot's going to be getting on top of this drone line. Great pull from Hawk, going to be saving the majority Ooh. of those drones. There is some Hydras also there to intercept and prevent any further damage, but yeah. so far G5 but doing Zealot... a good... Sorry. Is it cool. Zealots in the main, Storm Drop in the natural, Zealots at the third? He's not... Like, all of a sudden, all of his drones are just moving. They're not mining for a minute there, right? Mm-hmm. Which isn't a lot, but I mean... Yeah, but G5 has no economy. Another Storm Drop in the natural. There's like, this could be a huge yeah. storm. It's, oh, oh my gosh! So many drones uh, just bit the well dust. Killed on the High Templar. Twelve, that man. Oh. Suddenly we go machine. from 56 drones to 34, but again... G5 is out of money. Mm. He has no more mining. He's got yeah. one mineral patch left with 20 minerals, and that's it. That's Hulk. all the gas he has left. Hulk gonna make a pair of scourge to clear up that shuttle. One reason why that spire is important, even if you aren't going for the Muta game early on. Okay, but um, yeah. Hawk actually might lose these uh, hatcheries in the top right. There's a whole control group of Zealots uh, streaming in there, and he might actually lose both of these hatcheries. If he loses both those hatcheries, it may put G5 in a position where he can play this out, but... Hawk is still mining on three bases, and G5 has no income until this Nexus that just barely went down finishes. So even if he loses both of these bases, tries to block the ramp with the yeah. Lurker Egg, the Zealots do still get passed. I just don't know. Yeah. Uh, G5 is trying to play the delay game. He's trying to delay for as long as he can to get that base up and running and maybe get some more steam into this game, but it's not looking good. There's a lot of drones no. up here, though, that are being pulled. More and more drones are going to start falling here. Even if he saves the hatchery, if he loses all these oh, drones, I don't know if that's worth it. He's lost so many drones. Okay, yeah, finally pulls the drones. Dropping. Six drones left over. I don't think he can focus the hatchery in time, so maybe attacking the army here is the best option to get what damage he can, but... Uh, pulls back, tries to get some more drones. Oh, both of those lurkers glitch uh, out, or both of those zealots glitch out, don't get no damage done, but we've mm -hmm. now secured this third base. There's no breaking up that ramp. The problem is, is can you hold this third base and your natural at the same time? Because the Zerg can attack both locations. No, this this shouldn't be a tenable position for G5. Like, Hawk should be able to identify the game state and take advantage of it. Um, it's, it's, it, it's possible that Hawk will yeah. make a mistake, but from this position, it's Hawk's game to lose, I would say. Definitely. Now, we do have two Reavers in these shuttles. There's only Hydras across this bridge. A couple of good Reaver shots. Maybe he breaks this location and delays for even longer. And that's pretty much the name of G5's game right now. He's just trying to hold on just long enough to maybe make something happen again. Storm goes down. Big Storm with a couple of good Reaver hits, but there's a bunch of Lurker eggs working on the other side here that aren't quite Lurkers yet. If he can get a Storm on that and one uh, Reaver shot, that might kill most of those eggs and, and no pretty much wipe out all of this. No energy left for Storm. This is such a bad position. Oh. This is so rough for G5. And here comes the sandwich from all three angles. Oh my from God, the behind. But big Scarab is going off and popping all of those lurkers. So great pick off from G5 there. But the rest of his army is going to be absolutely oh, gobbled up by the three, acid spines of these hydras. There's just too much supply here from Hawk. Even with those massive Reaver hits, finally get a Storm out. Ooh. But it's just not enough. Hawk is a... Uh, Managed to secure that top right base. He's taking that uh, bottom right natural again, or top right natural again. And G5 is only on one mining base, which is entirely undefended. He's got a natural, which is only defended by what cannons are well, left hang over. On. He's got a shadow and a red HP Reva. I mean, that's something he might be able to do. Yeah. Then. I mean, I play Protoss enough to know that they'll hold on for as long as that shuttle's alive. I mean, that Reva has one HP, guys. Yeah, and 12 kills. But it also <laughs> has a dream, Zoon. It has a dream. <laughs> oh, don't say that. It's going to get shot. Well, I guess, like, AI has rights in the uh, Protoss world, I guess, right? <laughs> I mean, I think almost all the units are AI other than the Zealots and the Dragoons, so, but even the Dragoons are, like, partially AI. 
Yeah. I mean, I guess oh, they high are held in too. high regard. High Templars, Dark Templars, Zealots. Are the rest of their units robotic? Um, I think so. I think other than the Zealots, uh, yeah. the Dragoons, the High Templars, and the Dark Templars, I think all Protoss units are robotic. I they, guess the Archons yeah. technically are not uh, robotic as well. Do you think there was yeah, ever I, I AI revolution the in the Protoss history and they squashed it and subjugated it? No, they already the, had uh, a revolution. That's how we got Dark Templar. Oh, uh, okay. You know, you're asking the questions that, that really need to be asked, but uh, unfortunately, Modern Blizzard is not uh, capable of answering those kinds of questions. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I guess scouts have pilots, carriers have crew. Oh, that's true. Carriers and well, carriers are automated. Intercept interceptors are automated. Well, yeah, but the carrier itself has. A, but the carrier has crew. Captain. Yes. No, the carrier has a full crew. It's despite the size on the thing, it's an actual like full size battleship. Yeah. With a full crew. So uh -huh. no, you're right. Scouts and corsairs as well. Yeah, I mean, the scale of the game doesn't really quite put it into perspective, but those battle cruisers and carriers are supposed to be enormous, right? Dude. Oh, mm -hmm. God, Scourge! Oh, oh that, had, that had two High Templar and two Dark Templar in that shuttle. Oh, no. Rest in peace, shuttle. There is one Dark Templar moving across the map. There is no Overlord at this uh, top right uh, natural base, so he might be able there to kill a bunch of drones here. But... but he might notice it for a while, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not in range to actually see this, so if he doesn't notice, although he did just send drones to gas, did he catch that just in time? He doesn't look like he did. Nope. Oh, so many drone kills. Oh, I, he's going to get every uh, drone here. Does he go into the main from here? Does he kill the gas drones? Okay, drones are popping out. He should send those to mine and then look and see, like, what the heck happened to my drone count? Oh, he's going to get all those drones as well. He's going to go for the main. If he just runs past here, like, the Hydra will get some shots off, but he's he not being He gets the transferring drone as well. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know that it's enough, the other but disrespect. G5 is trying to make a play for it. Like, he's not giving up. Mm, I mean, he definitely shouldn't win this game, but it's, it's nice to see him try. Yeah. If he could get a fourth base up somehow and drag the game out for another 10 minutes, maybe, but... Mm -hmm. Zerg's now going out of control. Zerg's getting a 6th base going up now. He could easily take a 7th base at any point in time he wants to. He's got full control of the map. He's just sitting back playing defensively, getting his Hive Tech up. And this is going to be the safest Hive Tech I've ever seen. Like, like I said earlier, Hive Tech is kind of a tenuous <laughs> situation for Zerg. You're pretty mm -hmm. vulnerable as you're transitioning. Uh, Doc yeah. is not vulnerable right now. This is a free Hive Tech. This is kind of the position that Zerg want to put Protoss in, where they have to take a fourth base, but then you can force a fight. As soon as they try and take that fourth base, you can pull their army out of position and get a good surround on it. And uh, right now, Hawk is kind of what playing storm. CVP. Beautiful storm on those Hydras. Going to be whittling down some of the Hydra count, but there's yeah. just so many Hydras, even of all perfect yeah. storms. There'd still be too much left over. And a huge flood of Zerg and um, Hydras coming in from the south going to be cutting off the retreat yeah. of this army as well and slowly pincer it across this bridge and I think that Hawk's gonna be ending the game shortly. So many Protoss infantry yeah, being with over. Yeah, he's being super efficient here, G5 is, but there's just too much Zerg. It doesn't matter how efficient you are at this point. Yeah, slowly but surely G5's army being whittled down to a nub. Hydra's moving in from both sides, trying to pick off the Reavers uh, oh, a few at a time. To storm. To yeah, Hawk honestly is playing maybe even a little too safe here. If you just sandwich this army right now with he, both he, sides. He, the only way he can lose the game is by G5 getting perfect storms, so he doesn't want to risk that. He wants to like only trade with a few Hydra's at a time. Two, two High Templars dropped, dropped in the main, but there's nothing up here. Mm -hmm. There's literally nothing to storm. They don't even have storm energy. One Okay, one got storm energy as he was walking towards the hatchery, but when they were dropped, neither one of them had storm energy. Incredible. Big storm there. Oh, another great storm. He's got to be really careful about that. If you're not paying attention to your army, one storm drags your entire army into mm -hmm. death. That's exactly why Hawk's like taking it slow, because the only way he loses this game is if he tries to like engage the army fully and loses everything. Mm -hmm. But there's no way he should yeah, lose this game. Just... No, this is it's an untenable position. <laughs> sure, Ooh. he'll get one or two perfect storms, but he needs, like I don't know, 15 or so at this point to have a chance. Yeah, he had pretty good juggling there of the Reavers, but even then there was just too much High Templar to do anything with it. Dark Templar coming out on the map, maybe it makes something happen, but I, this is just me reaching at the potential that maybe G5 has something happen here, because this game is... This game is... It's untenable. There's no winning from here at this point. Uh, G5 is just such on the back foot at this point that it would take an actual miracle. <laughs> <laughs> There's essentially four mining bases against one, and a, a yeah. way, way more production as a result for the Zerg. So. I, I know that Protoss... You know, race is extremely religious, but even divine intervention can't save this game anymore. <laughs>
Maybe if all the tribes united and fought as one, there'd be some hope, but these guys are a little bit too tribalistic for their own good and uh, too much infighting has yeah. uh, seen the better of them. Yeah. This is it. The last stand, the last six dragoons, seven dragoons, I guess someone just fell. Can they hold oh, it? No, they're just going to abandon their probe friends. Screw you oh, guys, we're out of here. Yeah. Rip, rip the These probe. These have already died once, they're not going to die again. AI might have rights, but your lives are not a priority. <laughs> <laughs> Aditi cleared up um, the 12 o'clock base. Yeah, there's still more no... drones than there are probes, and yeah. now there's no mining at all. Ugh, there's almost is... more drones than there is Prodos supply. I'm pretty sure at this point G5 is just hanging in there just to take a quick break before going to the next game. I don't think he's actually trying anymore. I think he's I think he's taking a small yeah. breather here before he says GG. He might even be... And that's um, a very valid thing to do in a best of series. Oh, yeah. Trying to wear out Hawk as well. Oh yeah, 100%. Sometimes um, just staying in the game, processing the loss, thinking about what you want to do the next game, wearing out your opponent a little bit. It could be a very long drawn out series, so everything counts. So sometimes this this, yeah. this, 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 this this kind of decision in a series can make sense, even though it does seem a bit bizarre <laughs> and late GG. Taking, taking another Nexus, he's really going <laughs> to try and drag this out. But no, you're not wrong. Like Stamina is a real thing, and, and like if you just half half asses it for the next 10 minutes and drags the game out another 10 minutes and forces Hawk to like play super hard. That's so much more energy that Hawk's expending that he won't have in the next series. On top of allowing himself to recuperate a bit of energy as well as he's mm -hmm. kind of just like slowly dragging it out and not like putting yeah. his full effort into it. And I mean, all he's doing is just moving some goons around, storming here, there. About it. Oh, transferring probes. <laughs> Links could have gone for him and they stopped. Merciful Links. <laughs> but they're all going to get caught on the way back by all these lurkers that are coming down. Well, it's, it's important here that Hawk doesn't overcommit to like the uh, ending this game out. Like he should take it slow and, and relaxed as well for that exact reason, so he doesn't yeah. wear himself out. In fact, he's not even going to go for that base. Yeah. If he can break this natural, the game's over anyways. Well, so one thing to note is that in late game CVP scenarios, usually the pros natural is the least defended location, and Hawk understands mm -hmm. that. Yeah. G -G. G -G. Call it finally, GG. Hawk's going to take the first game. We're up 1-0 in the series. Come on, boys. G5, you got this. Bring it back, my man. But it's definitely non-bias cast over there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Zero bias nope, here. No bias. Nope. We are reasonable here. We don't have bias. Ooh, I haven't seen this map yet. I haven't played in this map yet. I'm excited for this. Oh, yeah, this is a fun map from what I've seen. Mm. I think this one was made by Minerals himself. Uh, yes, it was. Well, I cannot deny I absolutely, absolutely despised the Blue Storm when it came out. So I don't know that I'm going to like this map, <laughs> but... Well, it's definitely a lot better than Blue Storm. It's I definitely better than Blue Storm by a lot. <laughs> All right. You guys, this is very relevant to the second series we casted. Apparently, Ponger beat Lana in Game 3 on one base carriers on 76. Uh, we were wondering what was going to happen in that series. Now we know Ponger won it all out. The series that should never have been casted. <laughs> yes, but now we have closure at least. Yeah, at least now we have closure. I'm glad to know that Ponger won in the end. <laughs> Did you see any of that series, Zune? Uh yeah, that's it. That was that was so weird. That was the weirdest <laughs> game ever. I, I was freaking out. I was freaking out and complaining at things that were not happening that should have been happening. <laughs> like the gateways not being killed for twenty minutes in the back of the yeah. person's base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like come on, Ponger, you're better than this. All right, here we are on Sandstorm, the Blue Storm remake. In the bottom left, we have the man, the myth, the legend. It is Hawk, the Red Zerg, playing here in our humble NSL. And in the top right, not to be underestimated, just as strong of a player, it is IR Case G5, the Blue Protoss player. Oh, I don't know if I'd agree with that statement, Naka. I would say that Hawk is definitely the favor, favorite. In I this think that sort. Hawk is the favor, but you got to yeah. hype up both players here. Come on now. Oh, yeah. no, G5 is definitely oh, going to yeah. win this game, guys. <laughs> You can't just be like, look, Hawk is an amazing right, player. I'm, I'm looking control. at my crystal ball right now, and it's telling me something else, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should clean it. I think you might need to clean your crystal ball. Well, I think I've it seen might enough Hawk's play to know sometimes he does some really weird timing builds that just don't make any sense and loses, all right? It could happen. Okay, okay, okay. I like to see it. I like to see it. 
Nah, no, don't worry. G five, G five's a goat. He's got G five is a strong player. player, but yes, Hawk is definitely mm -hmm. favored in the series. I don't think either one of them would yeah. think otherwise. But you know, you can't just like write him off. You can't just be like, yeah, Hawk wins this. this is not even play it. You know, you know, you never know. It's like we're going to be seeing a uh, another Forge expand out of G five. No early gateway pressure. Sending this. We're uh, seeing a scope. nine pool out of Hawk. Actually, not yeah. an over pool, an actual nine pool. Yeah, oh, I shoot. like this. This is good. This is a good map for it too. The rush distance between the two bases is actually really short because of how these bridges work out. It was a, it was one of my main yeah. problems with well, the original blue storm is certain pressures were just way too strong because the rush distance is so well, tiny. Uh, well, there's actually an issue with blue storm. The the gap is too small, and you can you can slow down pushes like nine pool with like a singular worker in the gap. But it's a lot mm -hmm. harder to do that on this map. There's a slightly wider gap. Vultures and lurkers can't fit through, but there's more surface area for links to fit through. So yeah, these kind of plays are a lot stronger on sandstorm than blue storm. Yeah, you can't. I don't think you can block that with just one worker anymore, like you could with the blue storm. Right, exactly. And even if you can, you'll have like three or two or three zerglings hitting it instead of just one, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. the problem that the old one had. One zergling hitting one probe, yeah, it kills the probe, but it's going to take a second. That buys you the second you maybe need. Okay, so pylon block from G5 going to be denying his hatch. We go down, but um, Hawk doesn't mind that. He was just mind gaming uh, G5 a little bit there, delaying yeah, the direct. I didn't see. Did G5 actually see the pool timing, or did he go straight for the block? Uh, I didn't actually check that. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I, I'm assuming he only just now checked that because he only just now started his cannon right as the uh, links are being made. So either he did identify yeah. that, and he's making his cannons right on time, and he's gonna slow down these links with this probe, and he's got it well calculated that he will finish these in time. But uh, Hawk actually could do a run by on this cannon because only one will be finished in time. Yeah, G5 is gonna yeah, have to pull need some to pull of the boys more. here. Yeah, two cannons beat six zerglings. But Zerglings can just run past them, and if only one of the cannons is finished, which might be possible here, you can actually kill both the cannons. He needs a pro block here. The only way. Here's the pro block. Yep. Okay. Good block there. Delays for just a little bit longer. This Ooh. cannon's about to finish up. He's he's gonna hold just barely. He's yeah. got to be careful with the run by though. He, he, he absolutely calculated. Very well calculated from G5. Just barely enough pro block to stop the playing run by potential. Like, and I that, love yeah. this. Going for the Nexus for the gateway, a lot of players might go for the gateway for that extra choking up to make sure they, they can't get Ling all in, but uh, G5 going to go for that Nexus be a little bit a little bit less safe, but uh, more looking towards the long game here. The one thing that does worry me is G5 has no information on the map anymore. That probe got picked off, the scouting probe, and uh, Hawk is going to yeah. go into a two-base lair, so we're definitely going to see super fast muta aggression mm -hmm. here from Hawk. He needs to it's, deny this probe getting out on the map. He's doing a pretty good job of it so far. If he can keep this up and deny the probe leaving, this is going to be really good for Hawks. This will go unscouted for a very long time until it's almost too late. Yeah, if this goes unscouted and G5 goes for a normal build, he almost almost certainly just straight up loses. The Hydra, or the uh, Mutalisk will be here before he can ever respond mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Uh, what, what, one interesting thing to note is that Hawk went up to eight links specifically to deny scouting, so we can block two on the left side and uh, have the rest on the right side. So that when the first Zelot comes out, there's no chance that the probe and the Zelot can uh, get. G five using the probe range to try and pick at those zerglings. Yeah, that was pretty cute. It was pretty. Cute. Oh, that's that that's cool. Yeah, I, I almost wonder at this point, like, do you send two probes? Because it's really hard to micro and stop two probes from getting out to see if you can maybe squeeze one past. Like, you really need some scouting information here. Yeah, you but always... Hawk's also a good enough player that he probably could block two probes from getting out as well. So, like, do you risk it? I don't know. This is the thing with StarCraft. is like, do you, in a normal game, you don't usually cripple your economy by, like, trying to heavily commit to a scout by sending out multiple workers and stuff. Okay. So. He's finally going to get the scout. He uses the... Wait, he's not going to send the no. probe out, though. No, he can't. The speedlings now. Oh. He can't get out. With oh, the they are speedlings. Anymore. Yeah, you're right. I didn't notice that. I mean, he recognized it. He's a better player than I am. Yeah, as soon if he as... sent the probe, it would have just lost. Exactly. As soon as he yeah. saw the speed upgrade, he was like, nope. Yeah, Stargate is now on the way, but the Mutas are going to be here before the Stargate, or as the Stargate's finishing, and that's not the position you want to be in. And if he doesn't put preemptive that's cannons down in his mineral line, he might just lose the game. But if he does that, and it's not Mutas, then he might be putting himself in an economic disadvantage. So G5's got some really tough decisions here to make, with zero information to make them. Yeah, and Hawk can also uh, make a pair of Scourge right away to catch the first Corsair. So it's even yeah. worse for a G5 if he does the sort of like four muta one pair of scourge combo. Like running with that, it's really difficult to deal with. Yeah, no, the timing that Hawk's going for here, his scourge would reach the Stargate before that Corsair pops out. So if there's not a cannon here to defend that, 100%, he can just straight up lose that first Corsair and have no control of the air.
And this is by no means an all-in from Hawk, just so you know. He's going to transition into a yeah. normal game after this. He can even go into four hatch Hydra as a follow-up. Um, no, it's not an all-in, but it is an aggression play. He yeah. does need to do some damage. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't do damage, he actually does put himself behind. But this is meant to do damage and then macro behind it. It's, a, it's an aggro aggression yeah. play, not an all-in. Mm -hmm. It's it, a harass build. And you're going to harass them with it for a bit. Yeah, like right now, if if he it was if he had a, a better build going into this, he would have had enough economy to have four hatcheries worth of production and a lot more drones. But with the state of affairs going nine pool, he has to get some damage done with this two hatch meter play. He might get this first corsair if he gets oh. behind it. Oh. He's gonna get it. Oh, oh, oh. he, he might have controlled that a little bit. He does. The corsair does get back to the cannons. That's big for G five. This corsair can't fight the mutas, but it can mm -hmm. slow the damage they can do down. Okay, but yeah. there, there is five muters, and cannons are only just now warping in the main. So Hawk can get a lot of damage done. The, the Scourge can uh, also get on top of this other Corsair that's just Second popped Corsair out. Corsair is out. This cannon is not going to finish. There's no oh, way the Hawk will finish. He gets the Corsair. Oh, that's massive. Oh, no. The second Corsair is going to die to the mutas. The cannon might finish just in time, but five mutas kills one cannon, especially if they're getting free shots on this before the first shots come out. So this cor cannon is going to go down. More mutas are rallying across the map, and G5 has Target lost control of his main base. The cannon. A second cannon is finishing up. Uh, it's a bit of he loses one muta. This is tragic. It's actually a bit of a missed opportunity from um, Hawk there. If he was more on top of his uh, control, he could have uh, also gotten the other cannon. But uh, it looks like there's some Zealots going to be streaming into the natural of uh, Hawk to try and uh, distract them a little bit, clean up some Zerglings, and keep these muters fighting the, the Zealots to buy him some time to warp in more cannons and restabilize and maybe get a few more Corsairs out. But right now, Hawk's Meanwhile, still flying around. Probes are going down, though. Yeah, Hawk's still flying yeah. around. He can get up the probes on the bottom of this mineral line still, so going to be chipping away at his probe count. It's currently 30 drones to 21 probes, so right now, Hawk can. A great position economically speaking so even any more damage he did now would just be icing on the cake that he's already baked for himself yeah no this is what we were talking about about not being an all-in like it has to do damage but he's set up now not that he's done the damage and he did yeah. more than he even needs to do mm -hmm. yeah, he's done so much damage now it's just he's, he's going been, in for fun and then macroing he's going to commit to ogre zerg from this position he's going to get um uh, armor on his mutas and then just start flooding a few uh scourge here and there and put on a lot of pressure onto g5 Ooh. So we're going to be seeing That's a good position to do it from. We're going to be seeing he yeah. he doesn't have to commit to this too heavily though. We are going to be seeing macro hatcheries as well. So he's going to be depending on a little bit of pressure with these mutas and some scourge. But meanwhile, going to be also yeah, building up his infrastructure so he can transition into a late game as well. Going to be getting upgrades of an evo chamber and like going up to six hatchery production. But all the while putting on a lot of pressure with these mutas and some scourge to kind of zone out the corsairs. I'm actually really impressed that first muta swipe in somehow only four mutas attacked other those eight. So he didn't actually kill a probe yeah. with that first one. Gets a Corsair mm. though, that's huge. Another Corsair going down for free. Each one of these Corsairs matters massively. Every Corsair he loses is that much longer before he regains control of this game and is able to play the way he wants to play. Hawk right now has full control of the game, full control of the air, and he's able to do whatever he wants. He can drone massively at home, he can switch into Hydras, he can go into full Ogres or Ogre Zerg. The longer that it takes for this Corsair account to build up, the more time Hawk has to do whatever he wants. Uh, one thing I've just noticed, actually, there's a there's a neutral Protoss Dark Templar in the natural of the Protoss. You're neutral. on the character. Click on the character. Oh, cactus. yeah, there is. You're That's right. That's really cool. Maybe it's a little Easter egg. It probably Wait, is. It's is a, it? and then behind the mineral oh, line in the natural of the Protoss. It's one of those doodad Easter eggs that they used to see in a lot of maps back in the old days, like the the new oh. icon, the new circle always being there, or like invisible ghosts that like attack. And yeah, it's one of those mm. doodad Easter eggs. I've never seen that one though before. That's that's interesting. That's I've cool. never seen that. Yeah, I think that's very cool. Nice, I think that's an nice actual shot, Dark Templar, neutral Dark Templar, with just a doodad placed over it. Because I, I don't I think that's so. one of the doodad glitches. I believe so. There's also eyes behind the gas in the little black spot behind the gas. There's eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Minerals putting a whole bunch of little Easter eggs in here for us to look at. Aw, oh, what a great guy. Okay, so... Right, look... Go ahead. I was say, okay, it looks like uh, Hawk is going to be going up into that 6 um, hatch hydro production, getting his upgrades, and uh, also probably thinking about taking his fourth base. Uh, he is going to be able to basically zone out and contain the Protoss, from even getting scouting information, having this uh, fleet of Scourge out on the map. Going to be forcing a lot of Corsair out of G5 before he's able to move out. Currently only sitting on five Corsairs, and I don't think... Yeah, he's not even getting weapons plus one. I think this is a bit of a weird play from G5 to go kind of Corsairs to counter the the air of the Zerg, but not getting the plus one weapons on his Corsairs, I think is a bit of an oversight. And it's especially worrying because Hawk is doubling down on the mutas. Like, he's not making anymore, but he's getting plus two carapace now. 
he's wanting to keep control of this guy's entirely. Like, mm. he doesn't need to make more mutas because he's not trying to end the game with the mutas. He's keeping just yeah. enough of a muta count that the Protoss can't move out of the map safely. And then recommitting to those mutas so that way those mutas are even stronger going into the mid game, into the late game. And meanwhile, he's expanding behind it. We've already got a fourth base coming up. He's got a drone position to take a fifth base, and our Protoss is just stuck on two bases. The Protoss cannot move onto the map yet. Yeah, I mean, I, this is really rough for G5. He's going back into Reva Ser again, but I, I, it's just going to be mm. too slow. Like, Hawk's already going to be powering up like crazy in the meantime. Well, it's, there's no way he can keep control of the air. So, mm -hmm. you know, Reva Ser, or, yeah, Reva Ser is only going to do so much when, you you know, your shuttles keep getting killed by Scourge. Exactly, yeah. and, and missing out on the plus one attack, we're going to have plus two Carapus armor Mutilus. These Corsairs are going to be hitting the main Mutilus for three damage and close Mutilus for two damage. That's not very quick kills on those Mutalists. I don't think you even need the Scourge anymore once that finishes. Scourge are just icing on the cake at that point. Yeah. yeah. The Scourge will easily overwhelm the Corsairs in that situation. It's going to be quite devastating for him once he realizes that, because the, the Scourge yeah. just won't die. They'll just fly in and kill everything. Yeah, yeah as it's... long as Hawk does what Hawk does best and not just throw a bunch of Scourge at every single um, Corsair, he should kill them all, as long as he splits <laughs> them right, you know? I mean, you don't even need to necessarily split them. It's a, a bit of a misnomer that a lot of, I think, Zerg fall in, falls into. As long as you keep your uh, course or your Scourge spread out, you right-click on top of the unit, and once they're actually on top of it, you A-click and then right-click again. Yep. Only the Scourge that are touching it will blow up, and then you save yep. the rest. So you don't have to, like, perfectly split your Scourge up. It's a, it's a good way to, like, save macro and micro time is to just control them by keeping them split up and, and attacking only when they're touching the target you want to blow up. Yep, that is the oh, technique neat. I teach to my Zerg students. I can definitely vouch for that. I have learned a thing today. Yep, a really good tactic to have. Obviously, if you have the time and the APM and the ability to clone it, go for the clone, because you're going to be more accurate that way. But it's a really easy way to low APM split your, your uh, Corsairs up, mm -hmm. or excuse me, your Scourge up on what they connect to. The the, the beauty okay. of that technique is um, you can also line up the Scourge in the same formation as the air units you want to intercept. So if there's a triangle of uh, science vessels, you can put your pairs of Scourge into a triangle formation so that when you fly over them, they'll all be lined up to detonate perfectly on each individual science vessel, for example. Yep, and it's Easy extremely to low up. APM to deal with. DT in the top left, as you said. Get, get two drones there, picked off a couple of larvae. I actually like that. A lot of Protosses mm. ignore the larva, but a DT one-shot's a larva, and losing larva is actually kind of a big deal. Aww. But it's not enough in this situation. Hawk is just so far ahead. I don't I don't know how G5 does anything here. He's trying to take a third base, and he should get it up, because Hawk's going to let him. Hawk's massively ahead and is trying to get the economy advantage. He's not trying to just end the game right now. So G5 will get yeah. the space up, but then what does he do with it? Where does he go from there? Well, yeah, G5's kind of like doing the pros thing of like kind of like having a little bit of a gamble. Like if I can get enough done with these Ooh. DTs, maybe I can claw my way back into this game. He is getting something done with these DTs. Had another DT at the yeah. uh, fourth base of uh, Hawking, another couple of drone kills while also screwing mm -hmm. his third. But the third base timing is a little bit slow for him. So he is very behind the economic curve against Hawk here, so he is still fighting an uphill battle. It's going to be very hard for him to attack onto his high ground peninsula on the west side of the map as well. There are going to be so many lurkers controlling the high ground eventually, and it'll be extremely hard for him to push up there, and there's enough surface area for Hawk to kind of navigate around and dodge a lot of storms as well, so I feel like... Yeah, Hawk's... this is a really good map for Turtle Zerg. Yeah, I feel like Hawk's going to really trade cost efficiently with the plus two carapace on the air as well. Like, everything's going well for Hawk right now. Mm-hmm. The one thing I will say that G5 does have going for him is even though the Hawk got that 4th and 5th base up a lot earlier, between the DTs and just the delay on transferring, he's actually going to be mining from his 3rd as those are coming online, but a 5 base yeah. Zerg to a 3 base Protoss is still slightly favorable for the Zerg, especially since Hawk is already in a strong position over the Zerg player here. Yeah, look at Hawk's bank. He's got so much gas that he's just not spending. Oh, those will be Lurkers soon. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah. waiting for Lurker Aspect to finish researching. Oh, I didn't realize I was that close to done these banking that much. I'm not sure how I feel about flying into the main. Like, this is good scouting information. Oh, if he catches these Scourge, though, or Ooh. these Corsairs, though, it's way worth it. Only these, connects on a couple oh, of them. These Muirs are so them. tanky, though, and the Scourge are just here to zone out the Corsair while the Muirs have their fun in the main base and going to be trading up a lot of those Corsairs. Ooh. A lot of them do detonate on the same target, so like you were saying earlier, very characteristic <laughs> of Hawk losing a lot of Scourge to one Corsair. Those, yeah, yeah, those Mutas, though, they did a lot of damage. They can fight these Corsairs. With the armor they've got, oh, they yeah, definitely they can fight these. a lot of these Sairs. Gotta be really careful, though. Ooh, Storm <laughs> Rally, or Storm clicked from forever ago that didn't get cancelled. <laughs> nice. You love to see it. 
Yeah, extremely inefficient trade for Hawk, but Hawk's in such a, a, a lead that it's actually probably the right decision here because that's that much more mining that he's denying. He doesn't need to be efficient at this point. He just mm -hmm. he needs to choke the Protoss out. But Hawk has his nine yeah. hatchery late game production already online, and we only have how many gateways? Five gateways. So we have nine nine hatcheries to five gateway production. So there's just like absolutely no way the oh, Protoss can keep up with that. And he forced G5 to, to create five or four cannons in his mineral line, too. So that's that much longer, those gateways, before they come online. That's mm -hmm. uh, I honestly feel like that might be a bit of an overcommitment from G5. But at the same time, if he doesn't do it, yeah. then the mutas just come he, in and do that same thing again. This is all He's because... got more cannons in that mineral line than he has probes mining minerals. Yeah, but this is all because he didn't get the wear weapons upgrade and commit to a few more Corsair. Like, he, he could have mitigated this uh, situation just by getting some upgrades on his Corsairs and building a few more of them. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, these mutas just have full control of this game. I mean, to look at it this way, the Protoss is scared to leave his actual bases. Like, he hasn't moved onto the map at all. And mm. what's stopping that is eight mutas. That's the only things he's seen all game is eight mutas and some Scourge. Hawk is not, ha doesn't have some massive army across the map containing this, his opponent on. He's containing his opponent with eight mutas. Now that's... we've got the lurkers moving across the map. If these lurkers can get set up on that little, um, on that high ground ramp there, like that's a, yeah. I don't know how you break out of that. Like you can go all the way around, but that's such a long way to walk around. Hawk's maxed out, Narka. This is like absolutely crazy situation. We do have a DT that's on the high ground peninsula that's going to be uh, intercepted by this overlord, trying to sneak around nope. on the map, trying <laughs> to find some damage somewhere. But unfortunately for him, there's Hydras and Overlords set up at all of these expansions posted and acting as sentry, preventing any further economic damage to his 62 drone count. Right now fielding an army of 138 supply, currently sitting on 2-1 attack upgrades. And a heck ton of lurkers, 10 muters, more Hydras out on the map, going to be picking up that DT kill at the 12 o'clock location. It looks like Hawk will be setting up to... a. Uh, slowly whittle down the Protoss force of G5. A huge storm Ooh. going off on the front line, uh, softening up the Mews just a little bit, but not really enough to um, deal with this force. Still only on zero yeah. air attack upgrades. There's no way these Corsairs are going to provide any kind of proper air support that they should usually be able to do so. A couple of Reavers slugging it out, moving over to the ramp to start being siege to some slugging of these Slugging it loaders. out. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's yeah, kind of telling that um, Hawk has full control of his high ground and doesn't even have half his army there. Like, half of his army still at home, hasn't even moved across the map. That's how much of a control the supply lead is. And usually I would argue that when a player goes muta, like, that usual supply count lies a bit. The uh, Zerg can be a lot closer to the Protoss in, in supply, and it's still an even game because mutas are two supply unit, whereas Hydras are only one. Ooh. But Hawk's maxed, and G5's only at 150. That's... Yeah. Hawk yeah, the just... problem is that the supplies aren't close. It's just in the yeah. wrong direction. Yeah, yeah, very wrong direction. And Hawk's even like sniping off the observers and and such every time that G five tries to move out a little bit. I really think that um, G five should have got the uh, observer sight range upgrade. Would have helped him out a lot in this position, so he didn't have to worry about his observers yeah. getting picked off so easily. Yeah, kind of an underestimated uh, or underappreciated upgrade. I see a lot of observers get the speed upgrade, but I don't usually see the the site range upgrade. Ooh. I even like to get it on uh, the Overlords on occasion in certain matchups for certain mm. things. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, it's not that you should be getting the Observer site range a lot, but there's a lot. There's a few situations, especially situations like this, where you really should be getting it. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's one of those upgrades that's just really overlooked because there's no. It's not. It's just like not you something that's usable like, all the time. Yeah, it's not like you can say, "Oh, use it in this scenario." It's like. All right, well, sometimes it's useful, like, in this point, but, like, also, but sometimes not here, though. It's just, yeah. it's one of those really weird upgrades. A big engage coming up this ramp, and G5 is going to break the ramp, but, again, even after that massively successful trade, like, that was an extremely cost-efficient trade, Hawk is still up in supply, Hawk is still up in yeah. bank, mm -hmm. and still has full control of this game. You see massive amounts of units rallying across the map. There's still half of his army just waiting to be broken into, like... Hawk's not fighting with his full army. He's he's in, in, intentionally no. trading inefficiently to take oh. safe trades, so he doesn't accidentally lose his whole army at once. We stormed our shuttle. Yeah, we're so gonna now be, that's gonna die immediately. We're gonna be churning out a lot of cracklings. Uh, we got plague on the way. That's gonna be activating soon. A lot of Zerg upgrades are about to finish up as well. We're gonna be having plus two carapace, plus three ranged attack. I'm not sure what the melee count is gonna be. It's gonna be a plus two. So really, plus really two, strong yeah. upgrades for uh, Orc right now. 
And uh, Hawk to... bought himself the time to safely get into that that hive tech, and that hive tech is about to come entirely online with no risk to him at all. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see. Is it Zerg? Like these lurkers aren't here to win the fight; they're here to delay long enough for the cracklings and defilers to come online. But one thing we can yeah. say is that G5 has managed to build up a sizable force of Dragoons, but now that the Defilers have come online, things are going to change for him. Like, his, his one thing he had going for him Ooh. is he had a critical mass of Dragoons, but now that Plague's going to become relevant, Plague. it's going to be really mm -hmm. difficult for him. Now, the Dragoons have a limited window where they're extremely effective, and that window's already passed. Yeah. Oop. A moved High Templar. It's absolutely wrecked. See, now you can see, like, just... G5 was slowly whittling away at the army and slowly pushing in here and trading it really effectively. Now that Plague's out and, and Cracklings are out and all that, G5's army yeah. is slowly getting deteriorated. Mm. He is going to finally push out and retake control of this high ground, but is he going to ever be able to do anything else on the map? And I, I don't think the answer is yes. I think the answer is no. Another no. big Plague about to come out. Oh, snipes it before it goes off, though, so that's at least something. But that's only one Defiler out of the 50 that he could probably make anytime he wants to. I mean... G5's only mining on that third base, and it's not even fully saturated, and the mining is screwed up because of the cannon. So he is not in a good spot here. He has so many workers that aren't mining right now. So many in his main and natural currently haven't yet been transferred. He's trying to do what he can with what little he's got. He's got a decent force of infantry yeah. on his high ground peninsula, battling back the Zerg from that position. Does kill a defiler and starting to attack the units that are streamlining in. Hawk wisely going to disengage his units from pushing further in. He's waiting for, waiting for more to uh, become available to him to set up a, a, a much more sizable pincer on this formation. I almost wonder if it's better for G5 to just play passively and pay defensively and kind of play that like Turtle Terran style, the Turtle Mech style, where you just expand and let oh, your Zerg high like, going down right now. Oh my Free gosh, every single High Templar going to go down. One storm gets off, but these mutas are so tanky that they don't even care about the little bit of damage they took in that storm. These are the same, yeah. the same mutas that were here from the beginning of the game are still alive in this game, still getting damaged, still picking off High Templars. Like... G5 is yeah. going to finally try and take a fourth base. He's going to take the gas base over the mineral only, but there's overlords here, so it's instantly scouted. A small contingent of zerglings, cracklings are going to come down here, and they'll cancel that nexus before the army can ever respond to it, so... Yeah. This is the problem that um, Protoss players can face quite regularly, where they're able to get that third base online, but without being able to secure a fourth, you don't really have that kind of power of production you need to keep up with a zerg, especially not a zerg that's on, like, 14 hatcheries. Mm-hmm. No, it's one of those things. The way that I play my PVZ is I try and deny the third. If I can't deny the third, they're never going to get a fourth. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Wow, absolutely good storm. crazy good storm. storms cleaning up most of the army, though. So G5 doing a pretty good job of what he's got. The problem is, is that there's just so much more for the Zerg. It doesn't really matter if the Zerg trades at a slight cost um, inefficiency. Even trading at a 40%... Um, kill to death ratio would be more than enough for Hawk to still win this game quite comfortably. So G5 doing his best to battle back, but will the shot? Let's be careful. It's gonna get picked off. There was High Templar oh, and a Reaver in there, and no. now the Dragoons are unsupported. They're going to be in full retreat to the safety of their cannons. These Dragoons are in refugee mode. There is a plenty more High Templars coming up from the rally point. Uh, one storm apiece with a second storm apiece coming up shortly after. So there is going to be ten storms available to him momentarily to help fight back, fight this army oh, back. All the DTs round of five DTs, yeah, round of five DTs in the middle of the map as well. Just killing as many rallying units as they can. One thing I got to give G5 is, despite the uh, being on the defensive this whole time, he has kept up on his upgrades. So his upgrades are actually looking phenomenal. Yeah. But Hawk has as well. Hawk's a uh, 3-3 three, three for his uh, melee is about to come online. His 3-3 three, three for his um, hydras will be online at the same time because his plus 3 attack's already done. And that's something that a lot of zergs miss out on is that the power of their own upgrades. A lot of zergs skip on upgrades, and Hawk is definitely not skimping on that. Now, Hawk has gone through a lot of his bank, um, but the supply count is still heavily in favor of Hawk, and that's not the position you want to be in as a Protoss. And how is the Protoss ever going to take a 4th base? Well, he's and that's getting kind it of the again right now, Narka. Yeah. Yet again, being knocked down. Ooh, we don't even get the Archon. Both High Templars get killed trying to merge. Yeah, yeah the Zerg does not down, need so. to trade effectively. He just needs to stop the third from going up no matter the cost. Or the fourth, excuse me. Ooh. Well, I mean, there might be a lot of Protoss players watching this and thinking, like, Zerg's overpowered. But you could also look at it. Zerg has to play this good to beat Storm. Yeah. Ooh, a high Templars in the natural getting picked off by this massive attack in. 
Yeah, here comes the counter count to the natural. Hitting the natural is pretty much always game ending, and as Zune said in the last cast, this late into the game, this is usually the weakest point of the Protoss, and it's really easy to exploit it. Mm. Especially once you yeah. have Cracklings out. And yeah. oh, exploiting it, he is. Yeah, he's got his little turtle shell hammer out, and he's cracked G him right G open. GG. GG. Hawk's going to take it 2 0 in some pretty, uh. Pretty great pretty one -sided games. games. Great work by Hawk, honestly. Yeah, Hawk's showing us why that. he's one of the best foreign pros in the scene. Those games uh, went just about how I expected. My crystal ball is rather clear. Oh, yeah, is it? Uh, is it? Uh, Who was it that won Tomato versus, uh, you know, versus Reaper? I don't know. Who so was it that one tomato versus reaper? You know, I'm just you know, it's just saying. All right, that's it for our games tonight. So thank you everyone for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, NSL going strong. We're only on week one of ten weeks, and then after those ten weeks are up, we still have the elimination tournament that we hold just at the end of every season. So look forward to a lot more games coming your way. So much StarCraft. So much StarCraft. So little time. Ain't that the truth? All right, I think we're going to send it over to Love Snow, if I understand correctly, since he is also casting NSL. Nice. So thank you all for hanging out with us. I hope you all have a great night. And, I don't know, watch more StarCraft. <laughs> watch more StarCraft. Wise, wise words to end on. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time. We've been forgotten about. <laughs> that sounds like Brock. I just unmuted the stream. Yeah, I unmuted the stream too. I think we're off. Naka, what did you say at the end? You had me so confused with what you said. Yo, what's up, gentlemen? What's up, Snow? What's up, what's Snow? Uh, I don't know what you're referring to to tell you what I said. Which part are you uh, referring to? Right at the end. About the, um, the game. Very one-sided games? Oh! About who the, won about between the Tomato and Reaper? Yeah, yeah, what did you mean? Well, I didn't understand what you said or what you meant by it. Uh, yeah, I said... Like, fun of me. Who, who won between uh, Tomato and Reaper? Because of the... Um, the clairvoyance or whatever it was that you said. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. I, did, I, I didn't understand... Maybe because I was, like, really high. I just couldn't understand <laughs> or make sense Bro, of what you are. said. I just, I just decided not to engage with it because I just decided not to engage with it because I was just decided not to engage with it. I was kind of out of nowhere if you weren't like expecting the context. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Hookie, for the fat raid, baby. Woo! -wee! Oh, that was funny. <laughs> you want to keep on casting, Zen? Yeah, yeah. What, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I'm about to cast Love Boat versus Just Desserts. Okay, okay. Fucking open hand. Hashtag open hand unreliable. <laughs> I can hang for and, a bit. Uh, I'm tapping Zen. out. I gotta get some work done. Yo, Aaron, thank you for the resub, baby. All right, I'll catch you later, my man. I'll be a reliable friend for you, Snow, and come to your rescue. Even though he yeah, wasn't reliable for you. Yeah. See, that's the that's the thing, right? Now he'll feel bad. He'll be like, "Damn, I let my boy down. He's got my back. I need to do better." <laughs> Ozzy, you want to fucking co-cast, man? It's two PVPs to start this off. God knows, I don't know what the fuck's Chiseled going on. Chiseled with the Sausage Monkey emote. Look how limited edition that shit is right there. That that guy is balling. Come on, Ozzy, slide in here. Damn, he's like one of the only people to have that emote. That, that yeah. fucking legendary see, that's, that's, emote, that's, dude. See, that's some limited edition shit, right, Snow? That's going to be... Oh my god, dude, that's lit. Yo, Cookie! Are you still there, Cookie? Oh yeah, no. Cookie. You never sent me the the streaming package. I sent you a bunch of stuff on Discord there. 
Hey, where's oh, my streaming right package? Now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. All right, I see it now. Hey, thanks for inviting me to, to uh, cast after I asked you to. I thought you were sleeping, you farm boy. No, I, I literally just woke up, yeah. Oh, perfect. All right. <laughs> um, Afternoon farming nap. Hold on. What's the scoreboard one that you were using, Cookie? Have you used it before with CPL? So I need to read this use for storeboard. Is this thing? Hang on, Snow's up oh, here, no, but no, he's uh, 25. No, no, I, I have the stuff set up for the in game. Um, I was looking for the one that you're using between games, like the intermission looking one where you can show the scores and stuff. Let's see here. Did you send me that? I think you did. Okay, let me see here. Dude, the fucking stream was legit, man. You guys did really, really well. Oh, thanks. Yeah, the guys did most of the work. Well, you're the cameraman, dude. What are you talking fucking about, Cookie? I don't want to fucking hear it. I'm sick of this humble motherfucker. Like, you're carrying this whole show, man. It's you, okay? <laughs> Stop fucking being so humble, bro. I'll slap you. <laughs> Zoom ain't wrong. There's no NSL without you and all the production that you put into the, the pre show and the actual cast itself. Trust me, as yeah, someone who I, streams I just, on their own time, that's a I, lot of work. I just show up here high as shit and talk shit, okay? You do everything else. <laughs> Well, I couldn't do it without you guys, so thanks. We got your back, bro. Freaking Canadians, man. I know, right? Like, just overly polite. Like, couldn't do enough here. <laughs> Intro video, okay. So, gentlemen, the cast will start momentarily. I got a couple things I'm adding to the stream right now. And it looks like it's going to be Ozzy to Hockey and Zun joining me in the casting booth today. Nice. Always a good time with the boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Are we already Liddy? Oh, yeah. All right, you kiddos have fun. I'm going to go get some food because I haven't eaten yet today. Peace. Do so, Naka. Do see so. You, Naka. Naka, good cast. You did well. Yeah, oh, nice thank work. You. Um, fuck, where did I download any of this shit? Yeah, Naka was like kind of in his flow state. I, I enjoyed letting him roll a bit. Yeah, he was in the zone. I was a clairvoyant of those games, though. What did I? Oh, I think I have Quark's stream open. I hear a bunch of clicking. Oh, it's Irby. I was going to say, are you sure it's a bunch of clicking? Bunch of clicking. A crazy amount of clicking. Yeah, Much clicking. If so, then it's not Quark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quark's like playing with your feet, kind of clicking. <laughs> Sometimes I'm wondering if like Quark's just like. There, legitimately, like turning a page, reading a book, or just playing with his feet. He's got, <laughs> he's just trolling us all. He's like way better than he lets on. So, now did you actually stay spoiler free on my series? Yeah, I only saw the first game. Okay. Part of the first game. I didn't even see the second at all the second game. Good. I only I only Good. know the results for like one of our team series since they decided to post it all in the chat. I won't name names. <laughs> but that's the best I got for the uh scorecard love snow. You just gotta do it manually. So just use a all text right. and make like the one to seven or whatever. Okay, I'll take a look right now. I'm getting the. Uh, I'm just gonna start with just the just desserts and love boat player list, and then I'll do the rest later. Oh fuck! Thank you, Cookie. Fucking a lot of work went into this media stuff. It's fucking lit. Yeah, I'm kind of envious. Where's my streamer package, eh, Cookie? 
Oh, I got one for you, buddy. <laughs> Look at that logo, sick. BO507, did you make this for them? Are you a... Uh... Fuck, uh, what's the name? It starts with an A. Anderson? Oh, you're Anderson. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Sick, dude. I guess we'll play a little bit of music while we're getting everything set up, and then we'll mute the music once we start this, uh, the cast. I've been really liking this song lately. I don't know who made the Cookie Monster art, but hopefully if they somehow see this, they don't mind. <laughs> what? It's transformative. Right. You're good. Intro video. Let's get that downloaded. Oh, I like their their logo here. I haven't actually looked at the logos for the teams yet. Our logo is pretty sick. Also, they're doing 500 damage per Protoss you own. Didn't you pick like a ton of Protosses for our team? I did, dude. Hmm. Of course he did. He wants that Fusagi, man. These NSL maps are kind of wild, dude. You know who fucking thrives in wild fucking maps that are just disgusting? The Fusagi race. Fusagi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that Snow's Forgotten Bros logo, dude. It's fucking amazing. That was hilarious. I know Raz was pushing for a different fucking logo for their team, too. Dude, this production value is legit. Yeah, man. Dude, it's so good. It's so professional. It's fucking wild. The, like, I know we had a lot of help from a lot of different people, but who was the one that did the the intro video? Was that Cookie? I'm I'm digging the sort of like honeycomb flag wave wave pattern in the background as well as a layer. Super sick. It's almost like the mesh of space time of StarCraft itself pulsating around the game as our micro and macro warp space time itself in the cosmos definitely stoned <laughs> <laughs> this looks like ASO quality shit dude maybe even better it looks like ASO quality shit dude maybe even better it's fucking wild so you even got like some cast ad libs. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Mate, NSO is the place to be. Never mind if I was being part of this disaster. Look. Cookie, um, if you're still there, the last thing I need is the stinger. Cookie, um, if you're still there, the last thing I need is the stinger. Yeah, so I'm missing the stinger. Yeah, so I'm missing the stinger. Stinger. Stinger missiles. Oh, 
the quarter as production makes me think I might actually sign up for a second week at some point. Quarter as production makes me think I might actually sign up for a second week at some point. I was just gonna do one and done, but <laughs> fucking you hearing it firstly. This is hype. <laughs> the dragon wants to descend upon the land to feed. The dragon wants to descend upon the land to feed. You gotta play Aussie. Yeah, no, I'll do it again. I'm already preemptively saying that I, I really want to play against Jun. Really oh, I want to see that. Oh, I want to see that. You know, uh, he called you his Achilles, Arzi. You know, uh, he called you Who did? Achilles. Snow called you his Achilles. Who did? True. What? Yeah, well, he, he's, he's, I, I guess he's referring that I'm like Hector and he's gonna like send you like to the gates to like call me out or whatever. Hmm. But I'm gonna like bite your ankles off, okay? Yeah. But I'm gonna like bite your ankles Good, I'm glad gotcha. you're, I'm glad, I'm glad you're on board with that. Turn on casino? I like that. That's a good idea. Fun fact, when I was a kid I've ruptured my right Achilles tendon. Oh, well, there you go. You got a bit of a prophecy yeah. keeper filled here. It is your destiny all along, Achilles. It's probably one of the highlights of my life. <laughs> oh god, dude. The kill Wait, you ruptured your Achilles, is that you just said? Yeah, it snapped off. Like a oh, fuck. disconnected. That must, that must have been very difficult to deal with. Yeah. I was in a cast for nine months after. Uh, yeah, 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 the Achilles is definitely something you don't want to tear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I think that might be worse than like tearing your ACL, dude. Um... I guess yes pretty, and no. Pretty damaging. The problem with ACL, like knee injuries in general, is that stuff like lingers forever. Like that seems to be permanent damage. Well, can't you have surgery for the ACL? Yeah, I mean you can have surgery for both. But it, it, whenever people have like ACL tears and stuff, it seems to be a reoccurring injury is the problem. Mm. My Achilles grew back, like, a lot thicker, and there never was a problem again. You just tore that muscle and made it stronger, dude. Well, actually, so it's funny, see, when it happens, you're supposed to get surgery to have it reattached, but what happened was, the way it tore, is it pulled off a chunk of my heel bone with the tendon, and because it had bone still connected to the tendon, they decided that they could just cast it, and the bone would naturally go back where it was supposed to go. Oh, shit. So, in a way, I got lucky. It hurt more, but I didn't need surgery for it. Killer A says, we're good at healing bones, but not ligaments and tendons. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Exactly. Very true. Exactly. Very true. Lampshade says, Killer Ace, you biology medical guy. I like. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Me approve. Badass. Killer Ace is a veterinarian. Yeah, boy. Saving the animals. He also helps out drug dealers from time to time if they get like a slug in their leg or something. But that's, that's neither here nor there, okay? A little money under the table never hurt anybody. Killer, if you're a veterinarian, that kind of makes us friends by default because... As a farmer, I, I have a lot of veterinarian friends. We're just getting everything set up over here, ladies and gentlemen. Did we just become best friends? The silence is palpable. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, I think I got everything. Stinger, let's see, does Stinger work? Yes, singer's good. Occasionally goats, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have goats. A lot of goats, cows, chickens. I don't think the cows or chickens are greatest of all time, personally. Pigs and sheep. What'd you say? I don't think cows, pigs, or sheep, chickens are the greatest of all time, personally. The greatest of all time? Yeah, you said goats. Oh. I gotta add text boxes. Okay. Dude, I didn't. Spots. Yeah, I got you now.
I was flying on my team. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, Ozzy, if you got high, you'd be dragon stoned. Good job, John. <laughs> yeah, that's a good I'm Game super, of Thrones. That's a good, right that's a good Game of Thrones joke, man. I don't care what anyone says. You're a beekeeper, too? That's cool. Oh, is this Khalees? Or Khalees, yeah. I mean? Yeah. You guys said that, and I was thinking of the Khalees. <laughs> Wait, he's a veterinarian that keeps bees as well. This guy gets cooler and cooler. Not a fan of being a bee vet. There's some things where... I don't know, when it comes to, like, bugs and stuff... If they're dying, just let them die. I just had this like mental image of Killer Ace like doing CPR to a bee. That's exactly what I was thinking, dude. <laughs> <when I> was... <laughs> like using just like your fingernail or something, dude. <laughs> your fingernail. Don't you die on me, bee. Oh, hey, by the way, if you get stung by the bee, can't you, don't they have to, like, corkscrew out their stinger? Because if they, ju if you, they just pull it out, it'll, like, rip out their intestines. So they, they have to, like, corkscrew out their stinger to not kill themselves. I think that's true with honeybees, right? Like, certain bees, but not all of them. Hmm. But yeah, it, like, yeah, they kill themselves when they sting a lot of times. Yeah, but they they can corkscrew out. They just they never do it. But I guess you could. Could you help a bee corkscrew out? Like, is there any way you could like gently hold the bee and like help it out, or would it would it just not work? It would eventually the stinger would come out and that's it. If a bee stings me, can I put a drill next to it and have it grab hold of the drill? Mm, fuck, we'll call it that easier. <laughs> you need to get your mind out of the gutter, my guy. <laughs> I'm just go with white. Kind of racist. Hmm. I mean, unless you could somehow like hold it still, and you like walk, you like, uh, step into like a walk-in fridge, and like reduce the temperature of the bee enough that it's like immobilized, and then you could help it corkscrew out. If it was like cold enough that it'd be kind of like you know, pretty chill. Doesn't how how does the smoke thing work? Right, they run smoke whenever they're like removing beehives and stuff. I I guess the smoke helps them relax or calm down somehow. I think it disorientates them, no? I, I, allegedly, it calms them down, but I don't know why. Yeah, I was curious, kind of why. Do you know why? Stops the alarm them? signals. Oh. Yeah, that I think I heard something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Stops the whole hive sending out signals and going crazy. <laughs> then they have a nice little din din. It's kind of a funny thought, actually. If their home catches fire, they just stop to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's crazy that like almost all the bees are fucking chicks. It's called you social. Same with ants. There's even one species of ants that can clone the the father the. The, 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 the queen originally mated with and you don't even need to mate again you can just keep cloning the father over and over again to keep creating more queens so they can live forever essentially yeah Kelly that's what I figured the reason would be but I like to think of them as if they're just having a last meal before they die mm, trying to find the right color for this
Let's take a look at this glorious team of the Love Boat. We've got JY. That's J. That's J. Yoon, right? Yeah. And then we got No Meth. Vudank. Love Snow. Ozzy the Hockey. MG Flying. Berman. Saiyan SC. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I fucking put the wrong. Uh... What? I put the wrong fucking thing, guys. My bad. Let me fix that. We've got Javier. Got Neon Sword, the troll. Arcane wins. Ash return. Albert. Home slice. Zvar. Author Valentine. Burr house. Mika. 979. And Dada. Got game as well. Got Shimmer. Shim Shimini Shim Shim Sharu. Got taco, taco. Is it taco or taco? Uh, it's probably taco. Uh, taco meter. Taco meter. Yeah, taco. Right. We've got ish the fish. Fucking ish the fish, dude. There we go. We fixed it. I refunded all your channel points, guys. And, yeah, ish uh, the fish will forever be remembered, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's immortalized. Fucking wild. <laughs> and then we've also got last but not least, Zell. As the glorious team that is the love boat, led by your captain, your savior, the NA's last hope, none other than Love Snow 7. I like that our first game is uh, Dragon vs. Gia Yun. <laughs> Look, it's a work in progress right now, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> he told me, I'll send it to you in 20 minutes at 8 o'clock this morning, and then just sent it to me right now <laughs> after he rated me. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually going to do a couple games before I went to milk, but I could have milked before we started this at this rate. Yeah. We're just about ready. I I'm made the mistake ready. of thinking you started your stream when you were actually ready to stream. No, this is love. You played him in a show match. Right? Yeah, no, I, I know. I, like, I, I do know better. It's, it's 100% on me. It's, <laughs> it's not his fault. you, isn't it? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost ready. You need to milk the cows. He's... Fucking milking the time over here, man. Hold on, where the fuck? Little time okay, wizard I over just, here. Just need this thing and we're done and we're ready. <laughs> Chiseled to uh, giving the little cry dragon emote. Yeah. God, I really gotta update my one emote. Yeah. Dude, get um get untouchable to make your emotes, dude. He's down yeah. to do it. I don't think he'll charge too much. You might even do it for free. I'll, I'll start running ads on my channel whenever I get an actual set of emotes set up so mm. that there's a reason to be, for people to sub. I'll get him to make uh, emotes for my non-existent Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think when you get to a thousand subs on YouTube, you can start doing stuff for that, too. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll get, I'll get back image. to him in like a year or two, then, I guess. <laughs> Overall, your channel hasn't been that bad with the support. I know, like, you've technically only gained a couple. Uh, mm. But this is part of the filtering that's going to happen from... Oh, okay, there we go. We found it. Coming back. Let's so see an image. Welcome to the stream, if you're just tuning in. Ah, oh, Chisel. I appreciate using that emote, Chisel. It actually cheers me up legitimately. If, 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 if you were somewhat satisfied by my stream, Chiseled, that's enough for me. I'm happy. One person is, is happy and chill. I'm happy and chill. It was worth it. All right, I think we're good. I think we're ready. I'm ready. All right, boys. It's time. It's time to kick ass it's and bubble gum. And we're all out of gum. 
We gotta get some Bruce Buffer in here. I think Semi might hop in here for this first game. Nice. Be nice to get some P P Protoss knowledge. And all the Protoss knowledge we need. Why is Sun not on the list? This is a very good question, Chisel. Why is Sun not on the list? Which list? Cheers. Salut. The, the, I think day, he's everybody. referring to the team list. Hmm. What could, what could have happened with that? You might have to uh, clue chiseled in, Snow, why Zun's not on the list. Why is Zun not on the list? Yeah, what happened with that, Snow? Oh, boy. What happened with that? Uh, my memory seems to be failing me. Maybe uh, you could uh, refresh my memory there, Snow. Oh, boy. Well, I guess while we sit down and have story time, I'll play this video again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I um, I was a little intoxicated, and I, I just got a board, a little dart board with everyone's name on it, and we just started throwing darts, dude. <laughs> Wherever that dart landed, we picked that person, man. <laughs> they picked me not realizing Zen was still available. Look flying. You're going to perform this season, baby. You're gonna perform, bro. You're gonna fucking kill it this season. That's why we chose you. That's why you're the chosen one. This dude named everybody as his boy and then proceeded to pick none of them. <laughs> Semi. Yes, mate. <laughs> Tell it how it is. Oh, we, we picked exactly a bunch of them. How it is. You can't get you can't get all the boys in here. It's too many of them. And then as if and You then, got zero. As if that was to beg for saying. As if that wasn't shameful enough, he then started begging to suck the dicks of people to make trades with him <laughs> to fix his mistakes. <laughs> you beat Vermin in a best of five series and I'll reconsider my decision. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? I know I picked Vermin over you, but that was that was just the dart landing where the dart landed. <laughs> I mean, it was close. Like he he I may have been aiming for shot on us. I think you're throwing your own shit at the wall. My own fucking shit was a little too skinny. It just didn't like land. A sausage didn't land. Hey, at least own How your shit, you? Snow. At least own your shit, okay? Hey, we had story time. I explained to the people what happened. Mm -hmm. I had a blindfold on while I was throwing this dart too, man. Just <laughs> put everything against me. <sighs> Alright boys, after this um, intro finishes, we'll go into game number one. This should be a good one. Dragon vs. Jayun? I've actually never seen Dragon play ever. I've heard a lot yeah. about him. He's pretty strong, right? He's pretty strong, yeah. I don't know how strong he is. He looks pretty skinny. <laughs> Dang, dude. Everyone thinking Just Desserts is going to take this series. We'll find out. Wait, this is NSL? Yeah, this is NSL. What's the... What's the What's teams it? we're playing here? It's uh, Team Just Desserts versus Team Love Boat. Man. Good job hyping up the series there, Semi. I don't really care about my team. <laughs> <laughs> what team are you on? Apes. Uh, of course. For a minute. Of course. Definitely is that a suitable team? team for you, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's fitting. Yo, can I swap teams? <laughs> You're an intelligent ape. That's why you made the team, Ozzy. Yeah. I do feel like I'm not very Protoss for a Protoss player. All right, let's hop into game number one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm not using the right one. It's this one. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game number one between Team Just Desserts and Team Love Boat. Spawning over here in the top left is none other than Mr. J. Yoon. No intro needed. This man's a fucking stable of the community of the brood war scene 
just played in the Ascension tournament that Artosis was casting and running. Playing well. Definitely happy. A very strong first pick, I would say myself. As he is playing for my team. Let's see how our Gladiator fares up against his opponent spawning in the top right. It's Dragon representing his Nas tag. Honestly, don't know much about Dragon. I've heard a lot about him. I've heard he's very strong, but I've never actually seen him play. We're going to see how his PvP looks like here in this game, number one. Yeah, I'm not sure how strong his PvP is. Uh, I'm not. I don't, I don't think it's his strongest matchup. Uh, he, he's very good at um, off-racing ZvP, so I think maybe PvZ might be one of his better matchups. Uh, I haven't seen him in PvP a lot, so hard to gauge his strength in this matchup. But I think Jaehoon definitely going to be a strong contender for him. I've actually never heard anybody ever say that PvP is their best matchup. Have you ever heard some fucking Rain play? Yeah, I don't know who Rain is. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Well, then honestly, PvP I'm just, I'm joking. I'm joking. Rain is like the god of PvP. I don't know I don't how think good Dragon is at. I don't know how good Dragon is at PvP or Jaehoon for that matter. But I do know Dragon's been playing for a while. I'm pretty sure I was in a team he with has. him. A long time ago. He was in the original CPO. Like, really, like, the first few seasons of CPO. Oh, I mean, I was in a team with this guy, like, ten years ago. Oh, ten years ago, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just don't remember which uh, team. Simon's an old man, dude. You guys already having back problems. Uh, mm -hmm. Why do you call him Simon? Team. Why would you call him Simon? I need to understand this. What, is his name Seaman? Like, jeez, what do you guys want me to say Semi. There's, There's not even an N in there. In there. His name is Semi because he Semi. can't get it up anymore. Like, well, you know, that California education is pretty fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love Semi. Right there. Pylon traps two probes. See yes, if you can nice. get him out, he gets one. Both players go in one gate uh, core by the looks of it. So, no early aggression besides yeah. this uh, mana pylon is going to be disrupting the uh, economy. The dragon the is making a zealot, though. So, the zealot is definitely. Uh, if he went probes. straight goon here, it would have been pretty pretty rough for him. But making the zealot, he'll be okay, I think. But this is definitely worth it, right? It's always worth it to do the pylon block here. Oh yeah, hundred percent. There's so much lost mining time. It's worth it. That's what they say. That's what they say. They say. Yeah, I mean, in TVP, whenever this happens to me, I'm usually feeling pretty good about it. I'm like, all right, just get two free pylons. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's not good against Terran. Looks like Dragon opting not to do the same response, so Jane is going to streamline his build straight into the Goon with the Goon range on the way. And Dragon, a little bit of money shortage, can't afford to get that range right away. Sweat, he's going to pick so up two good. pylons. What's up, Quark? Hi, right, Quark. Oh, Quarku hopping in here. Yeah, although uh, you're not streaming on Discord, so uh, I'll have to cast the next one if you want me to cast. I can stream. Or do you want to stream? Sure. I can turn it on. Yeah, do snow. Oh, okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. See this PG, it. man. Still not getting goon range. It's kind of odd. I'll have to see what his follow up is. I guess we're going straight to Robo, huh? Hmm. Could be. He's got one probe on gas. Maybe he I just don't even know what he's doing. But he's got three hundred twenty-two gas. That seems like a mistake. Well, I think he's just. How up. could he get away with just going for a nexus with no range? Yeah, it's kind of wild. Jan dropping down the robo. He's is... scouting the little position here, thinking like you know something's a little off, a little off here. There's no core spinning. He confirms there's no proxy here, and it looks like he hmm. might send that goon to twelve. No, he's just gonna send that goon home actually. Uh, he is gonna go for Nexus. It's weird. Yeah, I've never seen this before. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. I'm, I'm not sure how it plays out. Like he is against one gate, but still though, it's surely going for the expansion here before even get in Dragoon range is a little bit crazy risky, no? Uh, it's definitely uh, risky. Uh, it does put you ahead if you uh, you get away with it because mm -hmm. you'll still have Dragoon. As long as you don't have a fight before both players have Dragoon range, then uh, mm. you can just shuffle the order around, get the same thing, but in a better order, and be ahead. Right. 
Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're playing a mirror matchup, any corner that you can cut successfully puts you like so much more ahead. It does seem wow. like uh, Jayun's gonna be pretty passive as well. Does he's gonna be just like getting his uh, robo out and waiting for his tech to come online before wanting to move out. So he probably will get away with this at least for the time being. Gonna be going. Yeah, that's good for Dragon. I, okay, Dragon's build is like the uh, the ladder sort of uh, cheesy build where you uh, there is actually no timing on this because if you go robo. So what you do is you find somebody who doesn't want to lose to you. The person who doesn't want to lose to you is not going to skip over because they're worried about DTs. Mm -hmm. And so by the time they uh, see what's happened, they get an observer into your base, which of course lets them know that you've done the cheesiest opening ever, but there's nothing they can actually do. Right. Mm -hmm. The reaver timing is too slow if they go observer first as well, right? He still doesn't have range. He's still yeah, not even upgrading. It's kind of bizarre. But, but he, yeah, but, he like, should have but... started by now. But like Quark says <laughs> though, but like Quark says though, this observer first, so like there's no reaver timing. I mean, he he probably he'll eventually get range probably in time. For no, he's end. he's definitely right. You know, yeah. obviously <laughs> with the range he could have punished him, but since he failed to do so, Dragon is going to be pulling ahead, especially because mm -hmm. he has the three gateways up, yeah. which uh, you know, and because he went observer first, he lost the reaver timing, so. Dragon's gonna be way ahead. I still. We're getting to the point where I think he's range. forgotten. To be honest, I think he did forget. Yeah, I think honestly. he's forgotten. I think he must have forgotten. Right, there's no way he'd be moving out right now about range intentionally. I bet he finds out after this fight. Oh yeah, as soon as the dragoon starts shooting, he's gonna be like, uh oh. <laughs> okay, huh. he can, he's got a timing here. He can actually get. The shit yeah, he can here. still punish this. And and the the big thing is, Jayun doesn't know that there's no range, so he's gonna respect this as if there is range, right? Well, now we know there's no range, but the Observer coming back is huge. Because uh, the Observer coming back means that uh, Jayun doesn't even know that Dragon is uh, on a Nexus here. Dragon is like telegraphing a uh, like free gate uh, timing push. But it's not a free gate timing push, it's a Nexus free gate timing push. This is fucking wild. Like, he is, uh, Dragon is in such good shape here. Dragon still hasn't started range though, this is very peculiar. Yeah, if he loses this, it's because he never started range. <laughs> How does he not notice? Like, surely he notices, right? right? Yeah, you has to. It's, it's plus two range. It's not like it's plus one range, and it's hard to notice. There's a big difference. Uh, is that uh, Viva damage that Jane's getting? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, sexy. Yeah, that's uh, pretty spicy. I would say. Feels like a really good counter to rangeless games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's gonna click on a mineral patch here and go. Wait a second. You've had this nexus for how yeah. long? Yeah. Yeah. The reaver damage makes such a huge difference in these, you know, dragoon engagements with that splash damage. You can pop, you know, four or five goons at once if you get a good uh, hit. He's yeah, he still hasn't started range. He, he 100% it, forgot. He's definitely forgot. But what, what's more strange is that he hasn't noticed during the engagement because dragoons have a base range of four, which and they go up to six, I believe, with the upgrade. Is that right, Quark? Yeah, that is correct. He should have noticed that, honestly. He should have yeah. noticed, uh, yeah. Because if they also do go into when they aren't in range, just bash off of everything. They like form a wall and don't let anything else get through. So, uh, like, when your dragoons aren't in range, you notice because it's the most frustrating shit ever. Maybe he was like, holy shit, I can't believe I'm getting away with this bullshit build uh, <laughs> that he forgot. He's about to have more reavers than dragoons with range. <laughs> I think that number has came and passed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Viva attack isn't done yet. Uh, if he doesn't have range, he's gonna fucking... He should mop him up, honestly. He, well, Dragon doesn't need to take this fight. He's gonna back off, hopefully. Yeah. Because uh, you look at Dragoon Viva and you're like, I don't want any part of that. Yeah, I would have liked yeah. to have seen him do the move out in a few seconds time when damage upgrade was finishing. Because it's finishing just now. Yeah, he's ready. He does, he does need to throw down some more gateways, though. He's got four goons in one, one in the other. He must have that one double hockey. Mm. He's going to be bypassing this 12 o'clock annoyance as well, not going to be allowing the high ground advantage yeah. of the Dragoons. Observer yeah, he seeing can't that get position. up there. He also going to be now he's super out of position. Okay, I think Dragon's actually going to lose right now. Yeah, because he's out of position. He can't defend yeah. properly. And he's got to, now he's got to attack into Dragoon Reaver, and uh, he's going to have a this. bad time with that. Yeah, he's, I like this he's in trouble. This is good, though. He is stalling him. 
Yeah, he is stalling him. He's kind of like jostling him around a little bit. If 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 Dragon sandwiched this army from the other side, maybe it'd be okay for him. But right now it's okay for him just to buy some time, I think, because he's getting a few more unit cycles out and uh, might be able to defend. But the Dragoons well, are really coming in quick enough. This would be if you even killed that observer above his army, this would be a very different situation too. That observer above his army is absolutely uh... yeah. Oh, so many Dragoons going down for Dragon. Yeah, and the other half of the Dragoons aren't even in the fight, and he can't get on the Reavers. The Dragoons are just be trying to get across the bridge from the western side, but it's a great position for Jayun to exploit, doing a really good job of shuffling his Reavers up into the shuttle as well, mitigating most of the damage uh, set to them, dodging almost all of the Scarabs. But um, after the Dragoons have thinned out, he's going to be shuffling the Reaver around to the right-hand side, maybe getting into the natural to get some probe damage. Yeah, and no Dragoon range is going to be shuffling here. Dragon was up eight workers too, and now he's uh, not up eight I, workers. I, I really love the play of like dropping the reavers right up against the minerals so they can shoot over the mineral fields. I think it's a great yeah, way of avoiding that, duds. That's, yeah, I wonder that, if that was calculated. I didn't know they could just skip over like that. What's also nice about Jayun's position is because of the way that Dragon's main base faces Jayun's like this, what he could potentially do is if he gets speed. He could run a speed shuttle into the main and force Dragoons to respond to that while busting the front at the same time. What's nice about Jane's position is that he's won the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's even killed all <laughs> the oh, Dragoons the with this Reaver and he's going to get some probe the kills now. If you don't have a scab, it won't remember what your target is. So oh my god. Scab, it wow. GG. There it is. There's a chance that he never knew. Wait, so Quark, I don't. I don't think he knew he didn't get uh, get in, uh, get goon range. I wait, Quark, can you run that back one more time about the scarab and uh, target memory? Okay. If your reaver has no no uh, scarabs, and you're building a scarab and you tell it to attack something, it will not accept that command. It will not mm. accept any attack command for no scarabs, and so it won't remember what you uh, told it to attack. And when the scarab finishes, it will just immediately attack the nearest building. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll attack whatever target is nearest it's uh based on threat yeah non photos uh, players have no idea how bad the photos ai is it's <laughs> <laughs> it so bad i was going to say it's going to stick into the thing of photos it's insane months. considering the fact that the dragoon and the reaver is such a huge core of the army in so many matchups mm. and you have to literally fight these things but I guess that's to do what you want them to do. But I guess that's why players like Snow shine so much because they're so deadly with those kind of control and able to mitigate the bad AI. I mean, if you can control Reavers well, like Snow, then yes, they are yeah. extremely dangerous. But um, if you can't, well, you're gonna <laughs> crash and burn. Yeah, I had a game on uh, Butter that uh, I got really far ahead in PvP uh, against like a 2200 Photos. And uh, then he demolished me with this amazing Reaver micro. And afterwards, I'm like, that's odd. Let's look him up. Fucking snow. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, he was just dodging Jeez. every Dragoon hit and just uh, like two Reavers to jump out the shuttle, nuke a pair of Dragoons that were too close together, and then just jump back in, do it again. My Dragoons <laughs> did nothing to his Reavers. That's demoralizing. You, well, you can think it, you can feel it. You, you, you know when you're playing snow. Well, we got spawning in the top right, currently uh, one game down. It's none other than Dragon, representing the Nuss team in the pale green trunks. And his opponent spawning in the bottom right. It's none other than Jayun as the white Protoss. We're going to go back to red and blue. If you hit shift tab, they're playing top or bottom. Uh, I think the Dragon is going to change his name to Rangeless after this. Dra Dragon Rangeless. Yeah. Uh, really quick, I just want to say thank you, Mukau, for the follow, Learning Glab for the follow, Serrano for the follow, and Ultra Lyrics for the follow. Appreciate you guys. All right. So, so Quark, in a best of three series PvP, you're up a game. Best, like, like I said, best of three. Do you take any kind of risk here, or do you just play kind of similar? You're like, well, I won the game where I played pretty stock standard. Do you just run it back? Knowing yeah. you already had good results. Yeah, Jay, you got a worst case scenario with the build orders. Uh, admittedly, the lack of Dragoon range helped him a lot, but uh, like he got a worst case scenario with the build orders, and he still just won because he went to uh, Shuttles Reavers and it worked out for him. So you do the exact same thing again. The uh, the uh, Reaver expand opener off one gate is in PvP just the opener. There's actually not really a hard counter to it. Hmm. You know, now that I'm thinking about it. 
I wonder if Dragon, obviously not getting ranged later, was an accident. But Jayun had those mana pylons, right? So he saw that range mm -hmm. was never getting upgraded, which obviously forced the Robo, which allowed Dragon to get that expand. I wonder if he mind gained him like that. That would be some sick shit, but, you know, obviously messing or missing the range literally lost him that game. Mm -hmm. 100%. Okay. Uh, Jayun is skipping the Zealot, so he's going to get an FFP for open. And I actually like that. Uh, building the Zealot when you've confirmed one gate versus one gate isn't really required. You can use the Zealot to get some like uh, timings where you press them to take an expansion. But if you... Uh... Okay. And once again, Jayun doing the double pylon. This time around, though, Dragon's going to have that Zealot a little bit quicker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, really quick. Thank you, Irmond, for the raid, bro. I appreciate you. Love you, dog. Making the mana pylons allows him to skip that zealot because obviously this zealot has to respond to them and can't come to your base. Uh, one zealot's not scary anyway. One zealot. Uh, yeah. Uh, you should always skip the zealot if you, uh, unless you're getting mana pylons. If you confirm a uh, uh, one gate versus one gate, it's just it's better to skip it. You get yeah, because the zealot's not gonna get there before you have a goon anyway. Yeah. If I if I'm doing a twenty-one gate. I'll definitely get the zealot, but uh, and now the other and then the other uh, you know strat you wouldn't need it in this situation, right? Yeah, a twenty-one gate is a uh, for anyone who doesn't know is a two gate like dragoon range uh, time where you go for four dragoons and a zealot and you hit their natural. Or it's it's like better on Silphid or butter where you can actually just micro into their base, but right, right. That, it's not super important to have the zealot. Oh, exactly. Dude, not, not... He rushed this time around. He showed the range and he's going Citadel behind it. Okay, this can be tricky. I've run into this before on ladder where I saw that they had range. Well, he and might. DTs came shortly after, which was very confusing. Well, he might assume that there's uh, not. Um, if there is going to be a quick uh, robo, it might be Reva first. Like he's probably one, assuming one, a Reva yeah. expand. If Dragon's doing the Reva. same thing. Yeah, yeah, he's going he's... Nexus this time. This time he remembered range though, but he's going the he's... same thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so this is Jayun just uh, like keeping him honest. He's saying, "Okay, I saw what you did last game. Mm -hmm. Let me just do a counter build." You just a Dragon can't throw the same thing out twice. Yeah, that's not good. If you want to do something, you could do a strategy that looks the same but is slightly different in that way. No, I mean, it started not on you. Uh, Jayun should just do a Robo again, the same exact same build he did last game. And uh, if he'd done that, Dragon would be uh, in trouble. A uh, Dragon would be ahead, but instead, uh, Jayun mm -hmm. picks it up. But I would, in, in, in Jayun's position, have just done the exact same thing again. Yeah, this looks like big time trouble for Dragon. There's no Robo even started just yet. Once again, he's going for the triple gateway. Yeah, he's he's not going to have a Robo. This is over. The DT's already making. Mm hmm. He'd have to start the robo right now, and even then, it's like it's close position. It's too close. Like it, it'd be different if he like had some kind of weird variation where he, instead of making the third gate, he made a forge and a cannon in the natural. Maybe like he could make something like that work, and like did an adjustment to his build. But he's no way he's yeah. going to be sniffing out this DT. You never will do that because uh, if you do that, then uh, it doesn't. Uh, you don't get the advantage of uh, being no. able to defend against people with the free gate. Yeah, yeah, that's not. Yes. Weapon is, you wouldn't. This is, is the yeah. is the forge here from June just a response to what to handle the goon pressure, or is it just for uh, DT no, just he, in he, case? Yeah, he doesn't okay. know, and he he knows what his DT timing is. He thinks that uh, his dragons can't be as fast as his because he had the uh, the pylon scouting inside dragon's base, but it could be like ten seconds later. And if it's ten gotcha. seconds later, so the cannon just to counter that so he sees as well. The other thing that Dragon, so Jayden could do, if he, saw, if he sees a blur and he sees it as DT, he just puts the DT on his ramp and he's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah there's nothing. This is, game, this is game. No Robo, no Forge. Yeah, yeah It's kind of interesting how this plays out. Because, like, from Dragon's perspective, it was his build felt good, he just forgot range, right? So he wants to fix that, and then Jayden just counters that potential rebuild. Well, I mean, Dragon's build is a cheese. It is. Uh, yeah. It's not a good build. It's a. Uh, it's a one-time just steal a win from somebody going Robo build. So it's. Uh, it's good that he got punished, honestly. 
He was flipping a coin and hoping he would land heads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the mirror yeah, matchups, especially PvP and ZvZ, can be a little bit rock paper scissory. I don't know why Dragon's doing a conflict build against Jun though. I would say that I would prefer to play Jun in PvP than Dragon. Hmm. Yeah, if I was in Dragon's spot, I would just. Uh, I mean, Dragon's like Viva control, shadow controls. It's good. I would just uh, straight up play Jun and go for the win. Well, looks like Jayun taking a quick game two. And the series kicks off with game number one, go or series number one, rather, going to Jayun versus Dragon. 2 0 in favor of Jayun. And Love Snow up two points. Team Love Snow, or Team, uh, I guess, sorry, Love Boat. As we go into game or series number two, Chi Toss versus Ozzy to Hockey. Chicha switches his name like every fucking week, apparently, but he's also known as Jaggerty uh, for a lot of you older people in the Nom clan. Hakron. Hakron as well, yeah. <laughs> All right, and spawning in the top left, it's none other than one of the boys, ladies and gentlemen. One of the many boys. <laughs> I had a lot of sons. <laughs> It's Ozzy to Hockey, who's actually joining us in the casting booth today. It'll be interesting to see his thought process. We might be able to ask him some questions. Sure. <laughs> I can't wait to critique everything since he can hear me. Yeah, go ahead. By all means. Oh, he, he, he needs it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's spotting in the top right. It's none other than the man with seven personalities. It's Mr. Cheetos. Well, I can't I can't really... You should start I can't from... really say anything because if you answer soon, I'm B rank. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying, dude. Like I have trouble beating you, and like I beat Protosses that are like 300 MMR higher than you. But he's <laughs> so not B rank. B -rank he just doesn't dude. play ranked. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like next time you cast us, no, you should uh, start from the bottom MMR and work up to the top. I couldn't do that, but I, I wanted to start start off really strong, you know. Yeah, I'm just a little years, so. little self conscious following Jay Yoon and Dragon in a PVP. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got oh, these games are gonna get bad you got real quick. <laughs> work in here, like you can ask questions. <laughs> Definitely a good opportunity to learn a little yeah, bit more sure. about PVP. Oh, and even, I think they taught you a little bit last game, right? No, no, yeah, 100 percent for sure. Like I was like really focused. What do I do? Yes, yeah. sir. I have no idea. Blue photo for the right side mining got a uh, 120 uh, gateway, which is like five seconds slower than you should have without right side mining. This is this is a fucking late gateway, and uh, he's getting two gated, so that's going to be an issue. Like having cool. your gateway be like seven seconds later than it should be when you're getting two gated, not ideal. No, but well, please point out everything these players do wrong this game. Yeah, for sure. Like actually, unironically, like please, my okay. PVP well, needs so much help. Uh, so you'll notice he went for a 13 core. He went for a 13 core because he should have been able to do a 13 core and still get the probe. Didn't get the probe. That's because his uh, split was bad and his mining was bad. So he's he's following a build order that was written down for him without actually knowing like how to do it. If that makes sense. Damn, this is like the most basic opening and he can't execute. Yeah, he can't actually do 13 uh, <laughs> 14, uh, 13 core, uh, 14 probe. Uh, He's building a zealot, but I mean, he hasn't actually scouted his opponent yet. He's he's going to have trouble against the the free zealots when they show up, if they ever show up. I, I, I like would have to in RZ's position because RZ's uh, rush has slowed down a lot from this. If he just put, built the pylon on time in his base, he would have been fine. Mm. Okay, he's trying for the bond of two gate variant. That's when you go uh, free zealots and then uh, take a gas and go into core. Wait, no, he's adding another zealot. Okay, he's just supplied. This is terrible. <laughs> Keep going. It's okay. make any sense. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna lose probes for this. This, uh, like, just build zealots or build, uh, or build pylon core. Don't, don't he, do. He's making a pylon that he doesn't need right now because these other ones are in danger of dying. Are they though? I mean, the zealots not even attacking the pylon. The I said, are that, I said they're pylon. not in danger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the three zealots are just gonna show up and kill like five probes. Although, okay, so the Freeze Alert should be together. This is bad. Uh, 
Because mm -hmm. the Dragoon will slowly kill a uh, Zealot, but the Zealot will get stuff done before the Dragoon kills it. So what you want to do is show up with three Zealots at the same time. And then the, the Dragoon will slowly have to work through them one at a time, but mm -hmm. you're still getting the damage done. Yeah, because by the time these other, other two Zealots get here, the first Zealot's already dead almost. Exactly. Yeah, that's why he's... Why is he attacking the Dragoon? The Dragoon isn't the target here. The probes are the target. Yeah. You can have maybe well, one, one Zealot off. fighting the Dragoon and one, fight, one fighting the okay, probe. Okay, I finally realize he's after probes, but yeah. I mean, he's killed one probe. He should have... Okay, two probes. He should have killed a lot more than that. He's got two Zealots uh, making... He should have killed probes. Kill still three. Mana balance. The game's over. The game is 100% over. But that was the worst executed Zealot rush you've ever seen. That's fine. That's what I asked for. It, there's just no uh, comprehension of what the objective of the rush is. Like, he's just... Oh, it's 100% true. I'm, I'm just winging it completely. It's like that subreddit roast me. <laughs> okay, I don't like the third gateway here. Uh, the third gateway... I, I, you look at him going three gateway dragoon, you think, okay, what do you actually beat with this you weren't going to beat with two gateway dragoon, right? We've got a bunch more probes, your economy is stronger, your army is stronger. At this point, you should be trying to avoid losing, right? You should be saying, okay, I'm going to make sure I don't die to a hidden base, I'm going to make sure I don't die to DTs, I'm going to make sure I don't die to something weird. Hmm. A third gateway doesn't get you there. He already has what he needs when he killed the uh, probes. A third gateway allows you to convert a game that you've already won into a win. These two zealots that he has, these should have been dragoons, and with four dragoons, he could be pressuring Cheetos up his ramp, getting a soft contain going while expanding but himself and getting a robo, and yeah. then he'd really be in, you know, in an extremely unlosable situation. Yeah, it's just he's he's trying to just, uh, as I said, he's trying to win extra hard. He's trying to he's trying to play for points. He's like I, my army could have killed you in two different ways. It's like yeah, but you could have lost to a DT. He's not building probes. His advantage is that he was up in workers, and he's not building workers. He's going to lose mm. his advantage. This is this is the only way he could actually lose this game is playing like this. <laughs> <laughs> really, if, uh, if all you have to do is stay on two gateways, build a robo, build workers, and make sure the guy doesn't take a nexus. At least he got range. Yeah, positive. But I mean, this just isn't part of his uh, his win condition. Is uh, doing doing this doesn't actually. To be any more likely to, to win. There's no builds that uh, he was afraid of that this blocks. Whereas a DT would just kill him. Like it's, this, is, this is creating yeah. lost conditions that didn't otherwise exist. Mm -hmm. Cheetos isn't setting up a proper concave of his goons in his natural. No, but he does have four gateway goon. Yeah, but. There's two See, zealots near the tank, and some. there's already Contain seven them. dragoons. He's gonna get on top of gets one kill. Yeah. Gets on top of the Sushek and dragoon. He doesn't finish off that dragoon though. Left it down, but does yeah. finish off with one dragoon phase disruptor shot. So it's like Arzi the Haki gonna be able to break through the natural position of Cheetos and slowly get yeah, on I mean, top of the production. He's gonna win the game. But <laughs> GG. But that's not what we're doing here. We're not trying to win games. We're trying to play perfectly. <laughs> He won the game. Quark, like to be fair, one. mate, to be fair, mate, the only way I could beat you in PvP years and years ago was Free Gate Goon. Yeah, but there's, there's Free Gate Goon when it's an appropriate build and Free Gate Goon when it's an inappropriate build. Mm, fair enough. I'll take Just that. It's a game full of blunders, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like when you have a six probe lead, you don't, uh, do any, you don't do anything that has a hard counter to it. You don't do anything that dies to DTs. When you have a six probe lead, all you do is uh, build a Robo, add an Observer, and then uh, go Nexus and Slow Reaver. Yeah, I agree with that. There's nothing you lose to. I agree. Man, I know I needed help, but I didn't realize it just sucked. No, but he's <laughs> right though, because you're, you're like you're you're like you're you're rolling the dice when you don't need to. You're trying to push a I win more button when you don't need to push it. No, I, I, I mean I 100 understand what he's saying, and I'm not disagreeing at all for sure. Yeah, like he was Sometimes, asking me to see uh... help. Like I had. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> I, I just told him. Sometimes it's hey, hard to know. Always. You know, we know we know that we want to continue to push our lead, but that isn't always, mm -hmm. you know, inherently known. Well, sometimes it's just what you need to do to potentially throw the game in that case as well. No, I I even knew while playing, like straight up, I just Ivy was going DT behind that. Like, I even knew this, and then I still went for it. I think it's mostly just me being uncomfortable in the matchup and kind of wanting to get out as fast as possible each game. 
Mm. Yeah, it's. Uh, I used to be that way in a uh, PVT, and I used to lose the games because I was so eager to like try and do something cheap. Yeah, it was. It, I needed a full mental switch on how I played the game to, uh, to get away from that. So uh, top left, Prodos uh, has been mining like the worst crystals in the worst way. <laughs> He's like doing the very bad angle from the bottom crystal. Let's see what the guy, the top right's doing. Oh, the guy on the top left forgotten his pylon. Yeah, the, uh, we... uh, he must be I tilted. Know. He he's probably tilted out of his mind after game one and has lost the will to live after oh, Artie Dahaki's amazing this? performance. Uh, to give a little bit of story going into that, we did get a non-GG into him telling me just to pick the map and saying it doesn't matter. Oh, well, I mean, in go. fairness, the map doesn't matter with this guy. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> well, <he's> not wrong. <laughs> well, pick 76 then, please, next time. Yeah, yeah. I I hate the pylon scout. So I have a thing with scouting where you can do any scout time you like as long as you can clearly articulate what you're going to do based on what you see. Mm -hmm. If you could say, ah, yes, if I see him at this first sight and I see this, this is the follow-up. If you don't, if you can't clearly articulate what you're going to do with the scout timing, then it's, uh, you're just hurting your own economy. Yeah, you're saying if you don't have a clearly defined decision tree to follow from the scouting probe, you're, you're literally just causing your own detriment to no gain. Yeah. That's why I stopped doing pylon scout, because I used to pylon scout and I stopped for that exact reason. Well, if you sit there and think about it, what what is there to be seen that you have to see with a pylon scout as opposed to a gateway scout yeah. or something? Okay, uh, so this is two gate, but it's a late two gate against a uh, co opener. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I like that. That's, that's fine. Uh, we need another pylon just to make sure we don't get supply blocked, but. Uh... Ozzy scouts the yeah. two gate, so we're not mining gas, which is fine as well. Yeah, I like one probe on gas in this spot just because you've got spare probes, but uh, okay. So this is an interesting spot because it's, uh, he knows it's a two gate. There's only like uh, three ways you can go from a two gate from the blue photosis position. Uh, three Zalot Nexus. 5 Zalot Nexus, uh, 3 Zalot Gas, 5 Zalot uh, Gas. And you can tell what it is because you look for the third pylon. And you, if you see a third pylon, you know that they are going for 5 Zalots. If you don't see a third pylon, you look for gas. If you don't see a gas, it's got to be a Nexus. Mm. And that is actually what our red photos is doing. Except he's going to lose. Oh, no. <laughs> he's just the scouting probe, unfortunately. The scouting probe well. is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah it is. It, it just tells you how to win the game. You can't actually lose with a scouting probe. <laughs> and the Zelda yeah. really should never catch the, the one scouting thing probe. That you should never do was just done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going for uh, Peruvian Gates. Peruvian Gates. He's from <laughs> Peru. <laughs> the guy he's playing, I love it. Yeah, he's from yeah, Chile. This, this is Peruvian Gates. This is like oh, a real. This thing. is right. the, Come on, man, the ultimate joke, cheese. Sammy. This, this I mean, is this, this be a real build that yeah, uh, like comes out of <laughs> We're going to see another two gateways out of Cheetos here at the fourth base yeah. location of Dahaki. Going to be seeing four gateways, Zelot production, pure all in. It's like Dahaki, though, going to be throwing down the shield battery on the ramp, going to be giving a lot of buffer time to these uh, Zelots on the ramp, recovering their shield HP, making it very hard to penetrate this uh, position. Yeah, Dahaki, did you know you were playing a Peruvian? Uh. uh I was told that he does do it, and the reason I thought he was was because he wasn't making probes when I was in his base. Yeah, that's a, that's a reasonable uh, call. Yeah, so I mean, the shield battery hard counters it. Uh, we can go next. <laughs> what can he do to screw this up? Go down the ramp. That's exactly <laughs> what he should not do. This is exactly what we can do to screw this up. Exactly <laughs> this. Yeah, but even then, it's not, he's cut probes as well. He's on like, like 20 probes. It's, 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 he's fine. This is yeah, like as long as, as long as Zealots can get back to the ramp. As long as he doesn't go down there and get completely oh, yeah, scout yeah, gets yeah. in too. The scout probe should never get in here. Yeah, we can okay, so everything. Okay, so we know it's really gets now. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to see like a probe just attacking through the uh, Zealot wall. Uh, building like one degree and the rest of Zealots. Because Zealots are actually better against uh, Zealots than... Yeah, we can set up an... You see this like three-on-one concave oh, here as well? Yeah. This is really yeah. good. Except uh, you don't hit, want to hit. heal everything at once. You only want to heal one zealot at a time because uh, when you click on the heal battery, every zealot stops oh, attacking. Oh no! You you he he messed so up you, his really nice concave though. But you lose a lot of DPS if you try and heal everything because the ones that haven't taken any damage will still pause. Yeah, I was trying to do individuals, the ones that were getting healed. And this is why you don't do Peruvian gates. Wow, just, this is this so is what the bad. Game like. Yeah. Oh, this is a mistake, though, trying to move down the ramp with the Dragoons. Yeah. Let's not try that. Like, yeah, you never try that again for Gate. Just go do two. <laughs> yeah, 
You literally just sit and tick. Yeah. Just go DT, he said. Okay, I like that. Yeah, just go do DT and go find the pylon and kill him. Like, never ever go down the ramp because, like, you, you've been in his this face. Is the only way you can lose. Have, uh... <laughs> well, the only way we can lose is by moving down the ramp, no? Yes. Yeah, exactly. You just you work out what your loss condition is and then you just don't do that. That's literally StarCraft. It's just. <laughs> Don't do the thing that loses you the game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's simple in theory. It's just that a lot of people struggle to execute that. I think they're just over and, uh, overthinking it. That's yeah. what happens. I I start overthinking and kind of like borderline panic. Like in my head, I was like, well, what if he just dropped a Nexus behind us and stopped Zealots and I'm being yeah. too defensive? What if he dropped a Nexus and made carriers and DCs <laughs> all at once? <laughs> then what do I do? How do you well, counter everything? Yeah, keep that pile on it's natural. Fuck it. It just reminds me yeah. of the thing that Day9 was talking about, how he would get all these submissions where they're like, well, what if my opponent's doing this? And he's like, well, they shouldn't be able to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is risky, but on the other hand, we kill so many Zelots, it doesn't really matter. This is... Mm -hmm. As long as your Dragoon Micro is good enough, you can do this. Yeah, it's... Just don't do proving gates, people. Well, uh, to be fair though, uh, Semi, a lot of people are analyzing the wrong thing in games. Sometimes a lot of their mistakes are happening in the first like five, six minutes of the game, but they're like looking at minute number 27, wondering how do I counter carriers and PVC, even though they lost the game even before the carriers were made. <laughs> right. Yeah. That happens a lot in PvT where like they, uh, there's a like free 2 Terran push and they don't have any of the tools they need to defeat it. And they're like, well, I don't feel like I can deal with free 2 Terran push. And like, no, you can't if you don't have mm. Arbiters or carriers or. Mm. Or, or mass like, Templars. Yeah, or another corner. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you're like throwing your army into this maxed out town and losing it is is mm -hmm. not what went wrong here. It's the fact that you don't have any of the tools is what went wrong. You're not supposed to be able to beat that. Ten minutes with, ago. With right. just Zealots and Dragoons, you're not supposed to be able to beat that. Yeah. That's the point. Well, there you go, Ozzy the Hockey, getting a, a, a crash course lesson in PvP there. Yeah, that was a crash and burn course. I have a guide on uh, my YouTube channel on how to do a Bond of Two Gate if you want to watch it. Okay, yeah, sure. Because uh, you got to go for the uh, probes and you got to go for the, uh, the like, 21 gas, uh, 23 core, 24 pylon. Ooh. Because the beauty of the build is you can get three zealots off of uh, two pylons. Mm -hmm. And then go straight into tech. So your gateway thing go offline. You're not building any units, and you can pivot to dragoons very, very quickly while also getting a lot done with your free zealots. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, zealots I mean, are kind of like... probe line. They kill probes. You should be able to kill scouting. like four to six probes. He's fairly easy. Well, you know, sometimes they dance around on that, but that's still Lost mining losing time. mining time. Yeah, same exactly. Thing. So, so you're costing mining time. You're killing probes. You're scouting for goon range uh things like that and then if they do go goon range um you're gonna have more goons than them because you're producing off two gates so every production cycle you're gonna go up yeah and that actually produces some really good timings as well you can have four dragoons without range at your natural when they can have three dragoons out of one gate and you can have six dragoons at their natural when they can only have five dragoons and a nexus so uh if you if you master the timings on the bonf2 gate you can uh you could just hard counter a lot of the other opponent's range. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of like what I was... I, I don't know the actual build order, but that's essentially what I was, like, in my head, what I was aiming for. So it would be nice to learn the correct way to do it, essentially. Uh, I did it to a, like, 2550 Protoss a few days ago, and I put that on YouTube as well. And uh, he his micro was decent, but, I mean, I still got my Zealots in. I still uh, forced damage. I still uh, confirmed his build. It's And yeah. uh, ultimately, it set me up for the win. All right, well, going into the next series, we've got Vermin spawning in the bottom left for Team Lobo as the blue Zerg, and his opponent in the top right as the red Terran, none other than Niblime. So, someone in the chat... Oh, okay, Quark's responding to that. <laughs> Thank you for the tips, Jizzled. Jizzled, Jesus Christ. Jizzled. Chiseled, <laughs> oh my god. Chiseled and salmon. The Freudian slips of use now. He's got a Freudian a cock in his mouth. A lot of stuff on the mind, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, oh, when uh, we get into a matchup. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Quirk. Uh, I was going to talk about last game. You can talk about this game, given that's the one we're watching. Uh, let me just say one comment on this. I just want to say that uh, 
a matchup that I actually understand quite well. So let's see what the openers are going to look like here from Neblime and from Vermin. Is that going to be a little bit more interactive, I'm sure, in this one as well? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, go ahead. You can touch on that last game while we start off this one. Uh, just the practice that uh, the uh, uh, Cheetos player needed last game is practice you can do in single player. Uh, just uh, nailing the timings on the build, uh, like making sure that uh, like we're not going for a uh, in this like he made uh, he had 50 minerals for his ninth probe and the Nexus <laughs> offline, so it should have been a nine pylon, but it was actually slightly worse than a nine pylon on his eight pylon opener. He hit it on eight, but only because he wasn't building probes. Hmm. Um, or the uh, the 13 core that uh, really should have been a 14 core, but he just stopped building probes the game before. It's it's single player practice is what he needs, unfortunately. Exactly, and not only can you practice the build order in single player, but the computer will build exactly like he did, so it'll be very similar. <laughs> it's it's great practice. Pick zero tool. I am from Brazil, and I would never do those gateways. <laughs> <laughs> well, we said Peruvian gates, not Brazilian gates. Yeah. <laughs> El Chitas is from Chile. Chile. Belladonna would be disappointed. <laughs> is Dada from? No, Dada's not from South America. Or who did you say? Uh, you know him as LeBlanc. Oh, LeBlanc. Got gotcha, gotcha. LeBlanc. Hey, Untouchable, what's up, bro? Okay, so it's like Berman scouting the one Rex uh, FB, only going to be making one pair of Zerglings, trying to squeeze out a little bit of extra economy with those drones. I love to, yeah, as a Terran player, how, do you, how much do you like it if the SUV is just able to uh, scout for this long? Is, does it make the build easy, or does it not really matter? Oh, yeah. The big thing that is beneficial to doing this is if you can keep the SUV long enough alive, you can skip comm stats. Which just helps you just mm -hmm. get your tech quicker, and you don't miss SCVs. So that's like the big, big thing that's really helpful with keeping the SCV alive long enough. And secondly, you see the ling count. If you don't see a lot of lings, you know you can skip a bunker. You know you can do things like this. Like, look, Neblin's pushing out on the map looking for an Overlord. He couldn't do that if he had no SCV alive. He could just be dead right now if it's speedlings and there's like eight or eight or ten of them or something. But with him having this SCV, just scouting around, confirming everything going on. He's able to do little things like this. Unfortunately for him, he's not going to get lucky here, and Vermin's going to keep this Overlord alive. But it was a good attempt by by Nebline yeah. to look for this Overlord and try to pick it off. Because he knew he's, 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 he's not there. he's not looking for the Overlord. He's looking to counter and pick off drones. But the Overlord saw the move out, so Vermin's going to be prepared for it. But it's really hard to scout the move outs on this map. So if what's weird about this is that if those uh, Marines had actually just moved across the middle of the map, across the bridge, normally the Overlord wouldn't have spot them moving out, and maybe would be. Not throwing down this sunken at this timing and maybe it'd be a little bit punished here. Uh, we're gonna miss the timing here, I think. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no chance here. Yeah. So 100% he was looking for the Overlord because he went down to this position over here at three o'clock. He right. was hoping that the Overlord went from bottom right straight to the cliff, mm -hmm. but Vermin cleverly did not go for that. Yeah, no, that, that I, I'm assuming he did intend to kill the Overlord initially. I'm just saying that if he if he didn't try to go for that play and instead moved across the map, the Overlord wouldn't have noticed the Marines. He would have probably punished the uh, Vermin. He probably would have just killed him, honestly. Yeah, that's what I mean. Or yeah, so like going right. for the so overall really... delayed the thing yeah, and also Vermin scouted had no him. He had yeah, no idea yeah, exactly. what this push out would have been. So yeah. Vermin, I guess, getting a little bit of a break there. Is but there any situation where the second sunken would have been necessary? Not at there. This no. Um, yeah. at, uh, it could have been like a, at five minutes. You can assume there's like a two rex timing, maybe. So you might want to throw down the second sunken just to be safe. But that's mainly because he's not being active with his lings and like scouting and checking for the move out. Did he ever confirm the CC? Uh, yes. I don't think so. I he think, did. No, I think he did with the drone scout. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I mean, the second sunken went down because it's just normal two ca two racks of CAD timing is to come in around. I mean, it is cross map, so it's a little bit slower, but like around like, I don't know, five, a little after five minutes, it's usually when they're pushing across the map. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the case. But for some reason, Nebline's two racks of CAD was a little bit slower. Maybe he was just controlling the Marines and missed the medics or something. Yeah, we got a safety bunker for uh, Nebline. It's actually really important to make this bunker, even if you're making it really delayed, because one situation you don't want to happen is being in the main, defending against the muters, and then links come into the natural and start picking off your turrets for free while you're trying to deal with the muters in the main. I'd like to see more turrets in the natural on the bottom side. 
Uh, yeah, he prob well, he's got a decent bio ball, so he's not too afraid uh, right now, but he probably does want to add a third turret onto that natural very quickly, yes. Well, in the main space, there's a big blind spot uh, to the bottom right of the minerals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very exploitable position there. He's only got six meters. Oh, okay, he has seven now. He can one-shot the SCVs. Hey, Molly, how are you? Yeah, there's the, a good technique for Zerg players is to go up to like eight meters and then like dive into the main base and just uh, either dive onto the turret or uh, dive, uh, just kill SCVs. And it's really hard for the turret to deal with that. You can usually get like six or so SCV kills, which is all you need to get an economic uh, edge. Yeah, it looks like we're not. He's not actually going to commit with them, which is odd, given that he's still building them and he's getting his plus one. So, mm -hmm. is he just going to like try and kill the uh, the bio ball here? Because he's he's building a lot of muters and he's getting a plus one. Is he just going to just all mute it all the time, overwhelm it? This is just kind of a yeah, stylistic but... thing from Vermin. He likes to go for the eleven meters and likes to have eleven meters at all times in the mid game, and he gets the plus one damage. And from Neblam, he's not moving across the map because he saw the third hatchery, so he knows there's potential to have that uh, kind of like battle or ogre zerg style where you just make lots of lings and you fight with the ling muta against the the first ball. So he's waiting till he has a little bit more critical mass. Yeah, cool. and he's also waiting for range right now. He's yeah. he really desperately needs the range before he can really push. Yeah, Quark, if, if he was heading for like a crazy Zerg build or like going for a fast hive build, he'd care more about hurting the economy of the Terran, but because he's playing more like Battle Zerg style, he actually cares more about reducing the bio count. Oh, gave away a mutiful fee there. Yeah, it's not too uh, smart from him, but let's pick off a few of these straggler marines. If he comes Welcome back down to the left hand side, could maybe pick off the other marines, but doesn't do so. Really wants to be able to get behind this bio ball as soon as it moves out. Every time the Bible is still, you kind of want to just uh, sit and, and wait. And as soon as the Bible starts to move, you want to sweep in behind it and start punishing it. So we have an SCV that's done a tour of the map. We've checked 6 o'clock. We're checking 9 o'clock now. <laughs> he's he's going to know that it's uh, top left at this point, I think, just because he's ruled out. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he scanned bottom right as well, so he knows it's not bottom right. So now, some scans going down. I okay, think Neb, Neb Lime has sniffed out that. The Zerg wants to bait him out on the map right now and wants to kill his bio with a mutiling stab, so he's going to build up a big enough board to not worry about that for the time being. Yeah, that worker difference is uh, considerable. I know the Zerg doesn't need as many workers, but 28 is, uh, is pushing it. Yeah, Vermin's actually hitting a number that you actually don't need this many. I mean, this, this is fine, because eventually you're going to make a third and you'll transfer, but you probably should consider cutting at this point. I think he should actually transfer a couple from his main. He's a little oversaturated in the main compared to the natural. Uh, but he's done a great job responding to the way Vermin's playing. As you can tell, Vermin made like 12 four, or like 24 lings or so, which is definitely him looking for a fight here. Vermin doing a good job of doing this little backstab the second that the Marines move down to the natural. And he's actually going to get on top of the SCVs here. This is actually a big time trouble for Ned Blem. It's going to take a lot of damage here. Yeah, because it looks he's... Like the yeah, because he's not really worried about the uh, counter-attack. Usually the main thing you're worried about when going for these deep dives is a big Terran counter-attack. He's got a few Sunkens and Lings out on the map to kind of ward away the bio from doing something. But right now Neblime going to be sh uh, shuffling over to the northwest corner of the map and wants to take this base on. The Mutas are going to try and intercept on the, mm. the Marines at the 12 o'clock, but they're not in position in time. They're going to start dogging the, the bio from behind and killing some of the straggler Marines and picking up maybe some of the medics. But the bio ball is going to get into the top left corner uncontested and will pick off this hatchery denying the third guess from Vermin, which is a big problem. You know, I don't know I, about that move. I, I would yeah, prefer he kept like those meters in the main. I, I, I liked him just killing the main, 100%. I'm kind of yeah. very confused by this attempt to try to save uh, top 100, left. Yes, 100%. He should be sacking the top left and just doing yeah, damage. No, John, well, he, he didn't even need to sack it. There could have been uh, there could have been lurkers on the map there. The fact that there weren't lurkers on the map is really lucky for Terran, but Terran is, is voluntarily placing himself all in. He's saying, okay, I'm going to just let you kill as many SCVs as you like as long as I get top left. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no guarantee he's even going to get it. This is a uh, yeah, big, big mistake there. Yeah, I mean, he got it, but there was there was no need to... to yeah, just because that play was successful doesn't necessarily mean it was a good play. Well, yeah, he, lost, says, he lost all his... Hey, Molly. All his uh, later, Molly. He lost all his Mutalists, and he lost the Expo, so he really... It was a lose-lose there. That was a bad decision. Yeah, I, I mean, there the was main. literally no turret. All the Marines left. He could have even probably in, got on top exactly. of the turrets on the barracks and just completely killed the barracks. Like, that was definitely a little bit of a misplay, I would say. <laughs> and he could have even ran the Lings in as a counterattack. He had 24 Lings. He could have just ran in and killed the bunker with the Lings. Like, that yeah, I mean, at that point, you're trading a hatchery with no drones at it, basically, for the entire Terran economy. Right. 
I think the a little bit. Uh, so the bunker is a great place just because uh, he, I don't know this place at this point is feeling really good. Like, he's like, I've got my battles, I've got uh, you down to two gas. How do I actually lose this game? Well, something happens by natural and uh, I get busted. So he just goes yeah. Easy. This is definitely a very smart response. The second that you kill, excuse me, the second that you kill a third base of Zerg, a lot of the time Zerg just wants to go all in and try to bust your natural. So building the bunkers as a response to you killing the the third is really really clever. That's a very very smart thing to do as Terran. Nibbling could be loading up the drone as good well. too. Uh, does a Zerg friend have an Evo? I don't think so. Nope. Nope. That is going to become an issue when the uh, Link is having one he, damage to the... Uh... Yeah, Quark, he's probably just going to try and end the game now. He wants to set up a Lurker contain and then like uh, get the Defiler over here and try and like one-two punch the game out. He's got two Defilers rallying in the middle of the map now. Consume's just finished. If he can get some Consume's off and push really deep right now, he could finish the game with the Dark Swarms <laughs> if he's quick enough. This dropship mm, doesn't have a medic in it, so... Yeah. I like the inclusion of the Scourge then, because the vessels are really the only thing that Terran yep. has that counters uh, Dark Swarm. So, exactly. yeah, uh, he's got to kill those vessels. If he doesn't kill the vessels, he's got no chance. Well, you he can't have one Irradiate available. Yeah. He's scanned ahead oh, of the Defiler. One Irradiate does oh. go off. The other uh, vessel doesn't quite have enough energy to get the other one, though, so one Defiler does remain unradiated at the moment. Oh, if you can pick off that vessel. Oh, uh, too oh the Defiler gets gets a radiant before he can get yeah, the Dark Swarm off. Can he cast the Dark Swarm? We didn't nope. start another Defiler as well. If there was another Defiler being rallied behind us, maybe the push could still oh commence. But unfortunately, that there's not another actually Defiler. Killed base. Yeah. Yeah, and the drop is going to be coming into the natural. There is some links that intercept the Marines as they unload, so the Marines will not be successful in their assault. Um, but it doesn't matter. The third base has been denied yet again, and the the... the there's no more Dark Swarms to continue this assault. It looks like Vermin's just going to push it forward ahead anyway, and that's going to be the little trigger for Nebulime to go forward and uh, put an arc on those Lurkers and start shaving them off. I don't know about fighting the uh, Lurkers here, given that there's no upside. We have we have vessels building. Uh, what about the decision to go two dropships? How do we feel about that? Because there's a second dropship at 6 o'clock. I feel like if you're living and dying by your Irradiate, then dropship's not the play. I, well, I don't think it's a bad pick move. Up the I, I think it's mount, okay. it might help, but we'll see. No, but I'm just like, unloaded It's like a win, win harder play, surely. This is a, uh, like, it, if you get your irradiates off, you kill the defilers, he's on two bases, you, you've won. Using well, the drop fair, tips, win harder. Yeah, I, I agree with you, although it does kind of give him an alternative win condition, because if he snipes the defiler mount, he doesn't necessarily need to worry anymore as well, so it does give him an alternative win condition, maybe. But if there was a third mm. defiler, it gives him a loss condition because he only had the two irradiates. It's true. I think Vermin just kind of slipped fair. up there. I, I think he he definitely. I mean, he ended the game with almost three K minerals, one K gas. It definitely doesn't feel like a perfect game, right? It's a lot of links he could have made, or a couple more lurkers, or even just some defilers that like we only saw two defilers, and that was it. He was just like, you know what? I guess I can't make defilers anymore. It's kind of wild. But he definitely should have had more than two died, defilers too. being made initially. You, do you want to assume those first two defilers will get radiated? Because very likely he'll have two irradiates, but it's very unlikely he'll have more than two. So making the third defiler would have been clutched there. And I feel like you make two defilers, if I get radiated, like that unit's worthless. I tried it, didn't work out. Do something else. <laughs> well, to be fair, he didn't have any upgrades as well, so it'd be really hard to transition into a normal game. Maybe in the chat, Zan would have done better. <laughs> <laughs> So true, AK. No, MIK, MIK. Mick yeah, Tarrant. I'm going to skip the next yeah, one. Mick. But, uh, I'll, I might listen in. All right. Thank you, Quark. I really appreciate you helping us out with the PVPs. I think Ozzy's the one that's probably the most grateful out of all of yeah, us. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate the insight for real. I'll uh, link you to the, uh, the Bonner 2 Gate uh, video. Yeah, that'd be awesome. After I learned PvP, I'll uh, aim for S rank tomorrow. I mean, Bond of Two Gate uh, got me to S rank. It's just, it's, it's fucking easy. <laughs> it's what I do instead of learning how to use Vivas. Yeah, oh, I, I, dude, yeah, honestly, Cork <laughs> is your favorite teacher, Ozzy. Like, he's, he doesn't really use Vivas. <laughs> I never learned how. I just, I just looked at the Bond of Two Gate and was like, oh, yeah, you, you hit them with timings and they die. Okay, I can do that. There you go.
I uh, used it against a Korean pro called uh, Sins who was in ASL a few years ago, and uh, got, I mean, got him to it. It's, just, it's the easiest build. Yeah. Yeah, we casted Sins in KCM recently. All right, spawning in the top left, up a, up a, a game. It's none other than Nebline. And down here in the bottom right, Vermin. Down a game. Definitely feel like he had that game number one. I really think if he would have just sat the Minas on top of the command center, picked off all those SUVs, and maybe transitioned to killing the turrets off on the racks, he could have found himself a victory there. Unfortunately, he decides to turn back, ends up losing all the Minas and losing the third. Doesn't even save it. And yeah, and then even at the end there, it looked like he was so close to getting the Dark Swarm on top of the bunkers and getting the lurkers all there, and it, it could have been a, a game-winning move. Just a little bit too late with the Defilers. The Radiates got them just in time, and Nebulam took game one. So let's see how Vermin wants to open here in game number two. It looks like it's going to be an Overlord, most likely just a 12 hatch once again, and Nebulam going for that. Oh, he's actually going to open with Arax. Okay, I thought he was just going for the wall. Nice. Uh, this actually is going to be a little bit difficult for Neverland to pull off because we are cross spawn positions. Hmm, I've been complaining so about think... his peripherals. Yeah, it Doesn't... seems like Vermin might be having some mouse troubles here. Doesn't Neblan, um he Arax is pretty often, right? Well, I, I actually I thought Neblan was a a, a mech player, and uh, maybe I'm he, thinking he, of Zesky. Am I thinking of Zesky? Is he the mech player? Or I might be thinking of Mes uh, Zesky. Oh, okay. Yeah, was, I thought Nebulon was more of a mech guy. But I could be wrong. I remember casting a lot of them, but I, just, I don't remember his TVZs too much, to be honest. I know he's got good TVZ, though. <clears throat> do you ever do the forward 8 Rex? I do occasionally. When would you call it a success? What does he need to accomplish here with this? Three drones. Three drones, Three drones is, like, super successful. And then if you keep the Marines alive, even better. Two drones is like even. Three drones is great. If you deny mining a long time or make the drones come really far out onto the map and stuff, that's good too. Hmm. And going for Arax on this map is actually pretty decent. because, Like you can see, he has that wall follow-up, so he's pretty safe. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen him put it farther forward. He could just float yeah. it back. I agree. I, I Typically, when I go Arax on, on Vermeer, I, I place it a little bit more forward. And then I just lift it if I see Ling's, if it's like pool first or something. But mm. I guess in this scenario, he's not going to have to deal with having to lift it. So he'll keep the marine production constant. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the only upside. Yeah, even though it's forward, though, it has to run all the way around these depots, which kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion. Mm, that's but... a good point. I didn't think about that. You're right. Yeah, it is, is really kind slow. Of factor. There's a reason why it's they another build it three or four or five soon. seconds. Yeah, pool's going to be done by the time he actually gets there with the marine. So we are going to see a bunker here. Are we going to see a drone pool? Oh, we're actually mm -hmm. seeing a major drone pool. Okay, nine, nine drones. drones. Is that a typical response? To that? No, it's a, between six and seven is way more uh, typical. Sometimes even five is being super greedy. Oh, he pulls between the six and really seven, good. maybe six and a half. Yeah, six and a half seems good. <laughs> well, six or seven. <laughs> Pedantic. Huh. Semen. <laughs> All right, so Vermin going to be leaping forward, trying to get on top of the Marines, but Nebulon gunning down one of the drones already, so looking really good for them. Gets another drone as well, already breaking even, and might even get a third. Does get the third, ah. does deny the bunker going down, but he's already done his job. Might even get a fourth for his trouble. Does indeed Oof. get that fourth drone kill. Does Nebulon, so Vermin in a world of hurt right now, and Marines bunkering away and denying the sling from picking up any kind of salvageable situation from that. Yeah, nice, I like the fact that he retreats too. Yeah. He knows, excuse me, he knows Lings are going to be morphing any second now. No, that's smart. Not but like, like in theory, like, like, oh. like let's say in theory he could have stayed and killed another drone or two, but it doesn't matter, like it's way safer to just run there. He's already got the job done. Killed more than enough. Right, and now your push will be two Marines stronger. Mm-hmm, there you go. Yeah, I wonder, he's going for the refinery here, so it's, it's going to be eBay, I would say. Follow up here, plus one. Let's see if he throws down the eBay. We still haven't seen a decision from him just yet. It might just be Valkyrie rush from here, but that um, would be a little weird. Berman's going blind, two hatch all in Ling. And does, does, he doesn't even know about the wall, right? Uh, I don't think he's scouted them. No, he yeah, no. Them he's doing a blind two hatch all in Ling, and he's letting the SUV see all the Ling, so this is a big misplay from Berman. Yeah, this looks actually... Fuck, my, my, poor, my poor champion. Sorry, who, <laughs> did you pick this guy over me, by the way, Snow? 
This is the oh, guy. Oh, you would have just died to the eight rats, dude. Are, are you joking? Way. Please tell me that's a joke. I'm going to show you replays of me killing the player with my drones after the failed 8 Rex. If only you were one of the boys. Yep, if only I was one of the boys. Yeah, we're, we're just the, dead here, Zerg. We're, we're out of the <laughs> Bunker's unnecessary. Yeah, it, it definitely wasn't. He's just being uber safe, I guess, because he saw no drones being made. Yeah, I mean, it's an all in, right? Like, it's okay to be a little extra safe against an all in, I think. Well, Just Desserts gets their first series of the night. Not Lemon, aka Nebline, taking the series 2-0. to zero. Gonna have a couple words with Vermin after this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mate, oh, you need like 50 Vermins to trade for me. I still say no. <laughs> Can someone that's a mod delete all these fucking F1 Donald Trumps? Wait, is that Magic yeah, Bullet? Please. I was gonna ask about that. Is that magic? What the fuck, dude? How many did he post? Dear a lot. God. A lot. Like fifty or so. <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. All right, uh, I'm gonna put the intro video really quick, or I go take a leak. I will be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna go milk some cows. That's some sort of euphemism. They really He's gonna have his own cow. <laughs> oh, we got we got a TVP next, Ozzy. Uh, Fear and swap. Fear and swap. Hmm. Should be actually pretty decent. Be right back. Just tickles your balls. Goes BRB. Let's you stew on it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, TVP is definitely my favorite to like. Watch, play, watch, play, learn, watch, play, meet Protoss, laugh, love. <laughs> Saying SC says, Love the music, great transition screen. I wish he wasn't a mod, I'd ban him for that. Great transition. <laughs> I wish he wasn't a mod, I'd ban him for that. <sighs> Compliments to the crate. Who's casting the other series? You guys are doing this one. Is there another group doing the other games? I assume so. Who knows, man? Who knows? There was uh, a group a cast before we did this one, yeah. Hmm. The, the higher match was on. I remember my match was Hawk and G5. I fell asleep during the cast though, so I don't even know who won. I assume Hawk though. Looks like they did Raiders versus Hydra Lick these Nuts. That's what it was, yeah. Excellent. I love the little caster, like, uh, ad-libs and stuff in the highlight reel. Yeah. I like that the, um, promo includes Love Snow losing the Voodoo Inc. Yeah, like that's always the, uh, a bonus. That's what it ends on. <laughs> Hands on high note. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could redo my second game today. I like the map pool. I wish I could redo my second game today. <coughs> I like how my team logo is like a fucking Escalade with an ape on it, carrying a dog. 
well into NSL six. Where can I see it? It was in the intro. Where can I see it? It's too late now. It was in the intro. It's too late now. We'll never know. <laughs> There's just no way. There's no way for me to find out. Finding out. <laughs> There's just no way. There's no way for me to find out. Way of <laughs> well, Saiyan has to redo his match now. Oh God, Saiyan, what have you done? Well, Saiyan has to redo his match hey. now. Oh, hmm. God, Saiyan, what have you done? Hmm. To be fair, your opponent messed up too. It's kind of embarrassing, though, isn't it? Fair, like I'm embarrassed for you. It's kind of embarrassing, though, isn't it? Like I'm embarrassed for you. It was ZVZ. Mm. You didn't even think about what phone booth you were fighting inside. You just got into the nearest phone booth, got out your knives, and started chewing each other's face off. Got into the booth, got out your knives. It's my first tournament ever. Well, then that's okay then. Yeah, you can screw up as much as you want then. Well, then that's okay then. Yeah, you can screw up as much as you want then. I didn't know it was your first. I didn't know it was your first. First tournament? First tournament? All I need to know is what week am I playing Jin? Jin Jin? Yeah, which week? Jin Jin? Yeah, which week? Alright, back. Yeah, be careful versus Jin Jin. It's got that strong mental. Although we might like um, freak Jin -Jin. out if you like make a certain unit or something. Not Jin Jin, I said Jin. Oh, oh that's why I was confused. Because it's Jin. That's what Whatever the hell it is. Oh my god. Saying, <laughs> saying, saying he played the wrong map for the NSL week one. Just <laughs> <laughs> say that was game two or something. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. You could just submit the wrong replays and then it gets casted anyway. What is that? Well, it can't be more of a fuck up <laughs> than casting the wrong series like they did earlier. I mean, no. that's what I was saying. Yeah. Did Jeez. they do that today? Yeah, man. Yep. They stuck. Yeah, fuck. Oh my god! Cheers, oh. salut, gun bay, everybody. Who Welcome they to NSL six week <laughs> number one. Love Longer boat and Lara, versus just desserts. Well, it's funny because the yeah the match they casted it wasn't even the right matchup. The guy that wanna was against wasn't even the right race. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I haven't seen uh, Swaz ZV TVZ or sorry TVP before. He only played TVZ all of CPL when I casted him. As right, so we just wait for the players or the people to hop on in here. So currently the series, or the overall series, 2-1 to one in favor of Love Boat. Fear looking to tie it up here. Zan, you hopping back in? Yeah, man. Love Boat. Love Boat. I thought your guys' team name was Snow's Forgotten Bros. <laughs> I like the Mind Faces modeled after a Dark Templar when I like never make DT. That's my team, Sammy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the guy that uh, yeah. created it, he really didn't know too much about the players. Yeah. That He just wanted your guys' pictures to put your faces on there. I mean, at least I got a Protoss unit, so. Your face is on a Protoss unit? Yeah, he, he integrated my yeah. face into his tool. <laughs> Where Where's that? Yo, Chiseled, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the 100 bitties. I think it's the... the it's the logo. Yeah, it's the furthest right one on the logo. On the boat. I'm Not played in TVB. God. Actually, it's fine. One second. Hmm. We got to switch up the names on the scoreboard. Yo, confusing. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it.
What does Fear's name mean? Komanir. I'm sure that's like his language or something. <laughs> I can only assume. All right, so spotting in the top left as the orange Terran, it's none other than Sva. He's a mod for the Artosis stream, a gentleman of the community, and I'll be seeing him in New York, baby. He might be rooming with us, actually. And in the bottom right, spawning as a yellow Protoss, it's none other than Fear, who actually has some decent PVT from what I remember. I, ever, I think I've played against him once or twice. I think he's definitely taking games off of me. He's a big fan of 12 Nexus, like the Forge variant. But it looks like this time around he's going to go for the gateway. What's up, Banshee? Ayaya! Sfa! And going for the gateway scout. Terran's depot seems a little bit suspect. But it looks like he'll just be building that Rax a little bit farther out. How do you feel about Pro building the Rax closer to the ramp like this? Would you prefer keeping your base a bit more like tighter at the early game? I just I wouldn't even build the depot there. Like I would just build like if I was gonna build the racks this far out, like the depot is kinda like yeah. In my opinion. Mm. I like it yeah. tight with the double micro hole. At this point it's kinda like you're not really gonna micro with it anyway, because the probe will just block it really easily. But it doesn't look like Fear's actually got any any plan for a zealot first here. He's gonna be throwing down the core, keeping the the probe production on the way. So no zealot. And it's okay for him because it is cross spawn. The Zealot would have taken a little bit extra time. According to Google Translate, come on near. What's with the mustache? <laughs> and check. <laughs> That's a funny name. Whoa, yeah, he's got 500 APM. Look at him go. Dancing those fingers across the keyboard. Wow, and Spa even checking middle of the map here for some sort of proxy gateway before going to top right. Mm. Playing very, very safe. Maybe Fear has a reputation against them for going for something a little cheeky in the early game. Probe trying to get a little bit of harassment done here. It's not going to be able to accomplish anything. This Marine's going to just push it away right away. It does confirm that there's only one SCV on gas, which is nice to make sure there's no possibility of a two factory. Yeah, and he should get this probe out unless he plays around too long he should just click his mineral patch and go home and yeah he'll be able to make it out here i think he should be able to make it out yeah i hope you out <laughs> sometimes it's worth to like actually manually path your worker out in those situations just to guarantee it doesn't get caught mm -hmm. so he's queuing up a second gun third pylon do you make the third pylon before the 23 Nexus? No. That's what I was... That's what I thought. Okay, so we are going to have like a 25 Nexus then, it looks like. Yo, as you Yo F1 see... scan. Stop posting that shit, bro. Yeah, well, as you, as you can see, uh, by building the third pylon, look how late he is. Uh, Nexus is, is... You definitely don't want to be building that uh, pylon if you want to be getting that really quick Nexus timing. I have nothing yeah. against Donald Trump, but it's just annoying to have you flooding the chat with it. And as a Terran player, the two things you're looking for is either a third pylon or the Nexus being placed down. You look just to confirm that there's no potential proxy or hidden tech as well. So those are the two things you're looking for as a Terran player is that third pylon or the Nexus being placed at 23 supply. A Vulture going to be out on the map here. I'm definitely a bigger fan of a 23 Ooh. Nexus if you're going to do a one gate expand, but... Uh... I think we're gonna have a vulture drop this game. He's not automatically going to lose because of that. It's actually this is really interesting. Spa going for two vulture before add on. You don't really see that kind of ever. I so I'm curious what he's planning. Doing a very fast vulture this. drop. No, but even when you go vulture drop, you still get the add on because that way you'll get mines and speed before the drop happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I agree. You probably should definitely do it that way. But I think in his mind, he's just thinking I'm going to do a really fast. Uh... Starport and there's an uh, app tell the optimization of it. I don't even know where my hats are, man. I haven't been home for a couple days. Oh! Used to be uh, sending one SCV directly. Oh, you can't lose this vulture. You can't lose this vulture. Ah, he loses the vulture. That's definitely a big time mistake. 
I was too busy microwaving. The yeah, he was too busy yeah. uh, distracted with the uh, bunker and unloading the marines to shoot the dragoon. He needs to make a tank. He needs yeah, to make a tank be... and not a vulture. Yeah, he's he not can get mines. Yeah. yeah, like our second vulture can't even get on the map. We cancel the vulture to make the tank here, which is good, I guess. It is. We definitely need the tank here to push back the goons. But losing the vulture on the map is like devastating. And the response, or not necessarily response, but looks like fear is going to be going into the three three gateway goon with obs, I would assume. Maybe yeah. forcing out a big repair bill until this uh, tank comes. I think Sva is just trying to do too much right now. Yeah, he's got even an armory going at this point. Kind of. I mean, not a, not horrible to get the armory going, but we don't have an eBay. He needs to put out one fire at a time. <laughs> okay, so as far as tanks gonna poke oh. forward, he's be a little bit careful. Don't want to take too many shots on that tank. These goons could pounce on it in a moment's notice. Does try to do so, but they're gonna be unable to get on top of that tank. Spar pulling it back at the right moment. I think Fear's going DT drop. Citadel. It's pretty late for that. It could be, but I, maybe, pretty, but it could just late. it could just be a bulldog, to be honest. You think it's just a bulldog then? Could be. Seems like a really late, like a kind of early citadel. I mean, like if you're just playing like a standard game. But when he sees these mines, um, I don't know. I don't, it, it could be. He could have intended to go DT, but I don't think he will. Maybe after seeing this. Why get a citadel this early? You don't even have a third nexus yet. That could be I don't know. some crazy two base timing that he wants to do. Not necessarily a good build or optimized build, but something he might feel like he can win with. I think he kind of built that in a panic, honestly. Yeah, because they're not even building a Dark Templar or a Templar Archive. Maybe he wants. Oh, he probably wants to go into two base arbiter. If I had to guess. That's that's Second another guess. that's another good guess that it could be. Yeah. But he's getting speed. Oh, well, guess I was right. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> it's very strange. The clairvoyancy of the weird games continues. We made double dropship as far here. That's probably a mistake. Unless he's really going for the double dropship play. Maybe he forgot. <laughs> and then he started the first one, huh? I was just sitting there. There he goes. Well, this dropship would do a lot more if it came in from the north. Oh, the dragoons are actually moving out right before the, the dropship's no, starting to come in. This is, this is actually correct. You want to drop two vulture in the natural and control them and drop mm -hmm. one in the main and just let it do its work. Oh, no, I agree. I just meant in, in this uh, situation where the goons were mm. positioned, it would have been easier for him to get damage with the other method. Fear saw it, though. Fear saw it with his goons Yeah, he's going to intercept this. He might be able to get, like, Ooh. one probe. Oh my god, he's gonna lose the dropship. But he gets oh, the two vultures, vultures in the main, though. Gonna be able to plant down some mines outside these gateways and start gunning down probes. Could get quite a few for his trouble. The Dragoons are desperately trying to get in to help. One, one mine he actually does have gets a nice killed. Wall. All the probes could be pulled off the line to intercept the vultures to deny as many of the kills as possible. And only a few probes did go down, so actually pretty nice defense there from Fear. Yeah, definitely, um... You're not feeling good about that drop as Terran. You lost the dropship, you got three probes. You really didn't accomplish very much. You didn't even force a pull. I mean, you forced a slight pull at the main, but it's not worth it. Not feeling good about that. No, I would There's say it's a uh, bit of a bull lake for us far to deal with. How are we going to be going into mm. taking a second gas? And we completely forgot about our second gas as, as Terran here. So our, <laughs> we're not going to be able to get our factories up. We should be going up to like five factories right now. Yeah, our third is also seen the right drop. Now. He should be taking his third and just kind of yeah. playing a defensive position. He should not be going out on the map. Why is he trying to do a tank drop right now? This is like suicide, no? Uh, I think he had the drop ship and he's just like, you know what? Let's fucking use it. He's, oh, like, he's not going to su uh, suspect I'm going to have another drop ship. But Fear is going to scout this thing with the probe. Oh, okay. We're just going to kill the probe. Okay. Well, that drop ship won't do anything. Uh, please don't fly that way. He really needs to take his third. Oh fuck, is he gonna get intercepted here? He so close, so close ah. to being intercepted there. The goons see it. I don't know if he actually saw it, saw it, but the goons saw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think he was paying attention, but 
they were they, they could have uh, just as easily lined up to uh, kill that on the way it was a bit lucky that the goons were just already past that trajectory so yeah Spa's still not mining gas in our natural which is definitely hurting us here and I mean we might as well just start the third CC and just build the CVs out of it we have so much money just build a couple of extra depots, build a CC, mm. just use the money that we got. Make nothing but vultures for a second, even though this is really bad because we only have one tank. But I mean, we technically we have three. You got two in a drop ship. But he's he's not mining a second gas. What's going on? Why yeah, is Spot not mining a second he's, gas? He's not even mining like with the initial SCV that makes the refinery. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I'm so confused. Why does he's he not want to mine gas? Optimizing his mineral mining. <laughs> is he going to make four command centers? He could. I mean, Quark told me there's a build where you just build six CCs and then go six starports. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? He was like, let me show you. He just died every time he tried to show me that book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this is when I was trying to teach <laughs> fucking Quark TBT. He was doing this build. <laughs> We're like really trying to make this tank drop happen. I mean, he's delaying a third Nexus, I guess. Fear really <laughs> needs to take his third base. Yeah, I, we're at 11 minutes right now with no third. It should have been taken like, before. Not nah, if you get to, it should have been taken around like seven minutes. Dude, like yeah. six thirty is like the normal timing for a Nexus for Protoss against Terran. Mm. Looks like we're going to be double expanding. So I'm building one CC on location at 12 o'clock, but another CC being placed in the main base. So we're going to be making quite a few command centers, banking uh, those minerals into something a bit more useful. Does they also need to start mining the gas in the natural? He's still not mining the gas in the natural. What's <laughs> happening right now? Yeah. yeah, he just. This is. Is this worse than the forgetting our range in PvP? This is pretty crazy, no? Like, I don't know about that. Uh, I, this wouldn't be so work, bad yeah. if he already had factories. If he already had eight factories and he could just churn out a crap ton of vultures, it'd be one thing. But, but, but not having that many factories and not mining gas, that's another, right? Yeah, I feel like he's. He's about to start dropping like orbitals or something. Oh man, I really need him to take his third nexus. Please. How is he not taking it yet? Holy shit, I thought he started at 6 o'clock. We're He's got two probes in position here at 3 and 6, and neither He's one of them. He's got a fucking one. DT patrolling his main for drops. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, next level play? Unloading the tank in fucking cannon range? Yeah. He scanned that the DT so I can see what was oh coming. My, my drag, my drag. Oh! Nice. That was beautiful. God, so do we, is... do we call Please. this a two base all in from Fear? Is that, is that what Please this is now? Please make the Nexus. Please. Fear's just like, you know what? I was taking Quark's advice. What do you do to not lose? <laughs> and he's like, well, if I take a third, I can die. So <laughs> we're just going to stay on two bases. What, what's crazy Fear is that? Come on near. There you go. Look, there you go. The mustache? There you go. There you go. Nine o'clock. Only three o'clock. We got a Nexus. There you oh go, Sammy. Oh, my God. We might see a double one. expansion from Fear as well. I might take the six. Fear makes from well. the future. Take six right now. Time also. is not linear, Sammy. He can hear you from the future. Then he would do it. Oh! <laughs> the, you guys need to start trusting me more, I'm telling you. Why would I trust you? You're I trust you. But he literally did it because Sammy told him to. Yeah. He trusts me. That's I think you're, you that. missed all the casts earlier or something there, Arzi. Oh, I was... Uh... I was lurking. Well. We finally noticed we have no SCVs on gas, so we decided, you know what? We're just going to put two on it now. <laughs> Man, <sorry. laughs> Don't, you need, Don't you need four on that? It's you need four on that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever there's a comm stat to the right, you have to put four on gas to be optimal. What do you call it? GG. GG. The comstat? Comstat. Um, Jesus um, fuck. He said comstat again. <laughs> this dude is literally dyslexic. He might be. I'll never forget his spelling of satellite. Yeah, but that's not dyslexia, right? When you say the word wrong, is it? That's when you read get, the letters on the screen, like visually get oh, jumbled. Oh man, up, I right? still haven't learned how to spell it correctly. It's a new breed, <laughs> you know, we're still discovering it. <laughs> you know what, you know, the word that took me a long time was restaurant. I was like fucking 20 and I was like, I that's, a, that's a tough word at least. What were you saying? 
I don't know. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Oh god. Oh, that's funny, man. Wait, I'm still in college, like, boys. All right. People like trust you with their children, right? <laughs> Yes, they do, Sebi. <laughs> I know how to say the word. <laughs> yeah, you guys ever go to the fucking uh, restroom and get some spaghetti? They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know, the place down the street. Are you hosting or what? Yeah, game's up. <laughs> Literally just made it. <laughs> Oh shit, you guys cracked me up. This is how he spelled satellite. <laughs> That's how I spelled oh, it right now when I was typing it. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, like, I, I don't expect you necessarily to spell it right, but not that wrong, if that makes sense. I would expect you to get it closer. Yikes. Was that like you like putting the eyes on her at the gym? So she just left? <laughs> Do you know what a gym looks like? <laughs> I think you forget to like play volleyball like every day. An earthworm, right? Oh. <laughs> the playground? Fuck, I hate that I have to redo this goddamn scoreboard every time I switch scenes. There's gotta be a way I can fix that. There's gotta well, be. In the bottom right, we got the orange Terran. No gas, kiss my ass. Fuck <laughs> three. <laughs> and in the left side, we got the yellow Protoss. What's up with that mustache? What's up with that fucking third Nexus? It's good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He doesn't uh, believe in third Nexus. I have a he question. won the game before his third Nexus third finished Nexus working, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at like 15 minutes. I have a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. When you're doing the mineral boosting on the top patch, am I correct about this? It's the slowest if you don't mineral boost, but it's the fastest if you do? Yes. Correct. Okay. I was never 100% on that. You can actually mineral boost the third patch as well, but it's just tryharding, in my opinion. You do it the exact same way you mineral boost the top patch. I don't um, mineral boost, that's some sweaty one? shit. Yeah, already... like, if, like, we're looking at right side, right? Yeah, but it, it's already going straight, no? Like, it's already so super straight. In theory, you can boost every patch, because whenever an SCV turns around, if you hit C perfectly, it'll go straight to the command center, and then if you click back to the mineral, it'll go immediately to the mineral faster. Because if you just let it do it manually... There's always like a, a slowdown before it reaches deceleration. The patch. Gotcha. Deceleration. Yeah. Is that only for Terran though, or is that? Terran? I think it's applicable to all. It's of them. applicable to all, all races, races, to be honest with you. Like oh, if, okay. you, if you somehow had like a supercomputer that could handle like thousands of APM, they could like optimize each of their mineral fields, and it'd be insane. Well, that's, that's Flash in the early game. Yeah, have you seen AI in StarCraft too? I was gonna say, have you seen Alpha Star? Because it like, gets ridiculous. Where it builds a bunker. In between yeah. the geysers to make it faster. It has one SCV, or I guess two SCVs with the bunker, and it's Oh, like... yeah, the bunker hopping thing, yeah. And... Wait, what is this? What but, but basically, it was uh, an AI that learned a trick in StarCraft 2 that no one would ever think of, and it like, built a bunker between the command center and the gas, and they were like, why is it building a bunker next to the gas like that? And all of a sudden, it started like using the bunker to transport the SCVs from the CC to the gas back again. What the fuck? And it was actually faster doing that? Way faster. Wait, well, there's no travel time. No travel it time. Faster, Way faster, yeah. just extremely APM intensive. Nobody ever think about which is that. No, no problem for Alpha Star, obviously. There's, yeah. there's just no way you could possibly do it. You can't yeah. do that. Well, no one, no, no human that. could execute that efficiently, so no one would even or think that that's did, a possibility. Or if they did, that's all they would be doing. Yeah, no one would even <laughs> think like to do that. Like if you had a team melee game, with like eight people, and you're like, all right, you're gonna do this. But what's fascinating <laughs> is that the algorithms of the AI figured out that from nothing. Yeah, they figured out that's that right. that's the way to get gas the fastest. That's that's fucking mind blowing. 
Yeah, I saw a fucking chat GTV or GBT or whatever the fuck it is GCC. versus uh, Google AI in a chess match. And during the chess scene that they were playing against each other, there was fucking like weird shit going on. Like they were moving pawns backwards. Like, you know, obviously you could your pawn can only move forward. And then they were like taking their own pieces to get better positions on the map. And they were just like teleporting over pieces like like the queen you know can go any direction any number of pieces if there was a piece in the way it would just like hop over it and just <laughs> it's like what the fuck it was bizarre chat or sorry uh ai does some weird things man well it's because mainly those ais are constructed up of uh, purely language models and they don't actually have like a good like representation of what those games are and how they play to a full extent right now. But as they get more advanced, they'll be anyways. Able to back to the them. game. Yeah, Spa's dead. Fear's going two gate. And yeah, two, two factory, factory and Fear went twenty one two gate. This isn't even two factory with with three tank timing. This is two factory with one tank vulture rally, which is really weird. I don't like this version very much at all. I think you have to go to the three tank version if you're going to go two fact. I think three tank is way better. Yeah. Oh, he's going to go for a second tank here. So he's going to buff like it's an FD or something? That was if I ever see the push come with a single tank, then I feel super comfortable. I think it's funny that, like, when I used to play this game, FD was the thing, and now it's never done. It's pretty strange. It's really not good unless they go for um, 14 Zealot, like, forward gateway or something. It's like a Nexus. Like, that's really, like, the only time I like to use it. That being said, I really, really don't like two gate. Two gate, I don't mind. But uh, a map like this is actually pretty good. Like, there's no ramp, and you could just bully. I think it's okay. I'll but I mean, if, if you play against a standard Terran Whoa. opener, and just go siege mode. Then, like, we're just going. Oh, holy shit! Actually, does Fall win this? I think Fall is actually going to win this. You should have just ran as soon as he didn't see that command center. Yeah. Oh man, we're actually gonna get a full repair on this tank. That's huge. That's huge. We're not making anything out of our fucking factories or marine or marines or SCVs or a command center. We have almost six hundred minerals. What is going on? What are we looking at, Swa? What are it's we like... looking at? We're looking at our tank dying. What is going on? He's got two hundred APM. Okay, he's on top of it. What are we microing our gas SCV right now? Yeah, man, he heard you. <laughs> Time is non-linear. He started doing it. Wasn't the last game. Dude, we haven't built shit for the last fucking minute. Like nothing, nothing was blinking. Not a single thing was blinking. What were we looking at? We should have coached him better. Is fire a teammate? Because you're yelling at him a lot. Let's fucking take it. Let's fucking take it. That mine was almost a disaster. <laughs> he almost killed all our marines. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, he could still win though. Surprisingly, somehow, some way. You could body block this dragoon with the SCVs as well. How Trap many vultures it. we have rallied? Oh. Two, four. We got four vultures on the way. I think you know what? Should I be can't believe it. Siege or speed or something. We've got some mines here. Yeah, we don't, we don't have money for the upgrade, so we're definitely not getting that. Three you shots are going down on the tank. Another couple of oh. shots. Two shots remaining. Oh, keep to that take tank alive! Keep repair, the tank though. alive! Barely enough to keep it alive. So, unfortunately. With that, fear should hold. Well, let's see how the mines are. Got plenty of mines left to go. One of these dragoons are already on red HP. Could snipe that with the SCVs and Vulture after Ooh. laying down the mines. Ooh, nice. Unfortunately, oh, nice though, mind drag. Nice mind drag. unfortunately, it doesn't pick up that dragoon before the mine detonates, so we'll be losing his uh, most of his units there. Oh, this is a complete fail. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not in a good position as Terran here. All right, honestly. Um, Fear could literally right, take two more Nexuses right now. Thanks for joining us. Have fun squeezing those udders. <laughs> He's adding two gateways when he could literally take two expansions and Terran can't do anything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he thinks the follow-up is... <laughs> Actually, I don't know. There's no command center. Oh, there is a command center. Okay. I would have liked even Reaver. I thought that would be okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Thought it was just squeezing the chicken head or what? 
Uh, I don't know. It's pretty freaky. I mean, it likes to get down, anyone. likes to party. Alabama, man. <laughs> Alabama does get a little wild. That doesn't help this case. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like this cannon position in the main. What do we have a cannon for? He's worried about drops still? from last game. Yeah, he's making an adjustment for the ultra drop. Yeah, see, now Terran has to build all these turrets, and they're not even in an optimal position. Fear, yeah, please, please expand. I mean, Fear has, like, a PTSD of taking third Nexus or something. He's getting robo speed, too, hella early. Observer speed? Uh, yeah, observer yeah. speed. Hey, don't you just oh love... Look how much gas Spar's got, and now he's taking a second gas. Don't you just love how in the first game he had, like, no gas at all, and now we're getting a second gas, we've already got 700. We should build a bunker there. <laughs> you know, what, what's really disappointing about this is the fact that our macro cycles are difficult as Terran wants to move forward. Because right now you can have the factory hockey and it's no problem. But once we start hockeying our armies, it's going to be like annoying to have to move your screen up to click on that factory every single time. What are you talking about? This looks exactly there. like how your base looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we worked on that, all right? The depots are a little less neat, though. Yeah, Snow's base design is a little bit less discombobulated these days. That's good. I'm, I'm glad for that. We're going to walk into the shots. We do. Okay. Good. Takes a shot there. All right. Looks like he's positioning to take 12 o'clock here at 10 minute mark. Definitely about five minutes faster from game number one. Good sign. <laughs> he's got two goons to hold Terran in, 12 to kill a mine in an expansion. And the probe's still going to die. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. The probe lives. That would have been fucking wild if he killed the probe there. Yeah. That would have been pretty crazy. Imagine Dude, if he, he then tried seven, not to expand off. gateways. Seven gateways plus one. We got leg speed already, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we didn't get leg speed yet. Are we gonna get leg speed before your fucking Nexus? I guess we'll find out. I don't know, but if he made like two rounds of zelts, he could literally just run slow. Leg speed for Nexus. We are gonna get leg speed before Nexus. Dude, don't even build a Nexus at this point. Just go bulldog him. <laughs> He's got six tanks in a dream. He's got a good macro, though. Like, as Terran... Well, I guess this was the two-factory opening. Okay. Because typically, you add the five factories by nine minutes. I like the latest. Nine, ten minute. Oh, my God. That probe's going to die. He killed the probe. All right. That means no third this game. <laughs> All your thirds are blind to us. Oh, he is sending another probe. <laughs> Malik. Hi, how do I get into voice chat? I'm an expert, expert Terran player. Are you not in the Nom Discord? Is Malik a Nomer? I don't think so. He would be in the Nom Discord now. Probably. Hmm. This looks like a UMS game where you have to survive, like every wave. <laughs> I mean, the flying BW, I think nudes would suffice. I wouldn't mind that either. Oh my god, this Nexus really hasn't started yet? Holy the probe shit. Dies again. Oh my god. I thought, I saw things building. I, I assumed it was a Nexus. He built a cannon there. <laughs> oh, what the His fuck? His macro's good, though. Yeah. He's from Poland, right? I know he's. I think he's from. I know he's from some part of Europe. He's got upgrades going. He's getting his tech. You know, he's got six gates. You really don't need the six gates until after you take your third, unless Terran's doing a timing push, but. You know, well, he, he has a good idea of what to do. 
There goes the third. We're still two minutes faster than last game, so we have improvement going on. Mm. Fawz building a control tower. So what are we going up to? Three, four, five, six, seven. We're at eight factory on one on two bases. Kind of wild. Third CC should have started long ago. Am I crazy or is it super weird that you built a machine shop on the factory that was the furthest away from the front? I mean, I I know I, I mentioned it. It was going to have problems later in the game. In the early game, you have a hockey. I mean, even now, he probably still has a hockey because I doubt he's hockeyed his army yet. He might just have vultures on one right now. Or Does something. he have it? Ozzy to hockey? Well, Ozzy doesn't <laughs> hockey anything. He doesn't even hockey his hockey. army. He just fucking clicks oh, and drags shit. and prays. <laughs> All right. I made a round of Goliaths. All right. I like it. Goliaths are good. I'd like to see Fear make, uh, you know, another 12 probes or so. Definitely a little bit light at sitting at 48. Well, we were still on two basic economy to each probe transfers. We're transferring over a good, healthy uh, 12 or so probes now, finally. But yeah, it could be doing with another 10 or so probes. Ozzy the hockey. The hockey. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, what's up, Shimmer? We're, we're getting close to your games, man. I think you were game number seven this week, right? Shim shimini, shim shimini, shim shim shroo. I think this map's actually okay. This map reminds me of Longinus. Yeah, it's like a mix between... Well, it's definitely like a neo Silphid remake, but it does kind of remind you of Longinus a little bit. Not as bad, though, for against Arbiter, because at least like our third base kind of blocks one angle of how Arbiters can fly into our base. I think it just reminds me of that because of the third base position. But then again, that could be... You know, that does resemble Silphid. Yeah, just, just no... No terrain change. Right. I guess Longinus... Doesn't have the high ground in the middle of the map either. Neither does Tilfin. Uh, Longinus has some high ground in the middle, but um, the third oh, base I'm is also a middle. Cross. I'm thinking of Tau Cross. I'm not thinking of Longinus. Yeah, Longinus is an old, old map. Definitely played on that map. It sounds familiar. It's very old. Big engagement coming through. He's got some Templars. We're gonna get some clutch storms off. He's just gonna run him over. It's too much. Yeah, it is just, it's just too much. He does have good uh, upgrades as well. Hmm. To attack. Two one. Damn, we we beat the Terran two one timing. That's wild. <laughs> But well, this is off the back of a two-fact opening that was botched, so definitely in a disadvantage the whole game for Swa. Yeah, he got supply block for too long. That really hurt him. Well, good game. Good job to Fear. That was a good timing from Fear there to hit him just before 2-2 kicked in. Yeah, I think he was just going. He's, you know, he was taking the third. It's a good time to go. A lot of go, a lot going on for Terran. When you're taking the third there, you got to position all the tanks. You got to transfer. You got to make sure you hit your macro cycle. You got to refact, re hockey all the factories. There's a lot going on there, so it's always a nice timing to go for Protoss. Dang and fear tying up the series two to two. As now we're going to have Arcane Winds versus... Oh, God. I'm going to butcher this. <laughs> Varl Visguden? Maybe I hit that. All right, Snow. I got to bounce uh, for the evening. All right, man. Thanks for helping, Cass. No worries, man. You take it easy. <laughs> M.I.K. Taryn. Okay, man. Let's trade Spa and Vermin for Zun. <laughs> Oh, Man, fuck. need a few more players to make that trade. 
winning. Hey, good night, stream. Good night, chiseled. Good night, everybody. Stay cool. Take care of my buddy, Love Snow here. He's a good dude. Sometimes. <laughs> Yeah.